Hi Bill, here with Bobby. Just want to make a round through the vendor section here. So Fatty, uh, where are we? What fairgrounds is this? This is Fayette County in Dunbar, Pennsylvania. For the Dead Man Show. Dead Man. Two days of crazy, crazy driving, crazy cars, hard cars, team cars. Look at all these vendors out here. Yep, we got little cars, we got big cars. We got pro stock cars. I'll tell you what, the pro stock cars are really impressive out here. I'll tell you, we'll just drive around, we'll take a look at them. Uh, you guys got a lot of New York guys coming down this year, Bob. Do they, uh, do the New York guys hit harder than what Decker does? Cause he's from New York. Well, Decker's, I, uh, to watch Decker's videos, that's how we go to sleep at night at my house. Okay, okay, my, mine too. We even have them uh, at our uh, Thursday night church group. Yeah. We uh, we watch those, and uh, because he's such a soft hitter, you know what I mean. He's like a, a caring young man. Look at these cars. Yeah, we got old style sedans. We got Roundbacks. We got Crown Vicks. I tell you what. What would you What would you prefer, a wagon or a Crown Vic? I uh, depends on the rules. But this is Roger Rafferty from Ohio. Hi, Roger. Let's let's ask Roger some questions here. Well, come on over. It looks like Roger. Is this a '98 to '02, Roger? 92, 98-02 frame, yeah. 96 body. Yeah. What made you go with the 96 body? Because it had the rockers in it. <laughs> had the rockers in it. I'll tell you what, it makes a big difference on these Crown Vicks, don't it, Roger? Yes, sir. It, it, especially when you come to a bigger show like this, you you got to have the whole, whole ordeal. you right. got to have a clean body, clean frame. Where are you from, Roger? The Jackson, Ohio. Jackson, Ohio. It's about three and a half hours away. Good. Not Good. bad drive. Yeah, so yeah. are you in the you in the mini car class? Is that what this is? <laughs> yeah. Is this your my first derby man. with the little mini car? Yeah, my little man kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky his boy's not here. Lucky his boy's yeah, not. He'd be yeah. kicking you for sure. So what would you would you come here with a wagon or are you a, you a straight I, Crown Vic guy? I, uh, Crown Vic, they're more all around for this type of build. Now, are you gonna go straight after the wagons? Or are you gonna see how it plays Nobody's out? Nobody's gonna know until it happens. Are you a heavy foot? Like, yeah. I'm just learning who you are. Like, we're, we're, Fatty's talked about you, so I'm learning who you are. are. You a heavy foot, light foot? Heavy foot when I need to, light foot when I need to. I'll roll with the pace. If the pace is rolling, I'll roll with the pace. So is your nickname Chameleon? Yeah. Could it be Chameleon? They call him Driver. 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 That's old Driver. <laughs> old Driver. Old Driver. Well, good. Roger, do you always paint him brown like this? Yes, they've always been brown. Why brown like this? Just blend in a little better. So you're a Chameleon. Chameleon. Bob See? was right. Bob was right with the whole Chameleon thing. Good looking build here, Roger. Good thinking build. Thanks for coming out this weekend. Good luck to you. Thank you sir. Good luck. Good Thanks. luck. Thanks for your time. We greatly yes, appreciate it. Yeah. Let's go check some other stuff out here, Bob. While we're right here. Got the head caps right here you run them uh, you know what that looks like I'm not, I'm not making no fun but when I first started I had the four in a row on each side and the little clampers <laughs> how did you then, tell if it was knocking or not with that click clank clank click clank 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 all the time because I didn't drive a, I didn't have a Chrysler engine in there so we didn't have to worry about clank clanks uh, you know Bob I noticed something about the one behind it it might be missing a little something up front here where's the driver of the 99c here all right what's the secret to the no radiator uh, 
so you're running out. Oh, let me come over here. Got the round bar for the back bumper. I like it. What, what's with the no radiator here, sir? Uh, don't plan on running long enough to need one. I'm How on long? alcohol too. Oh, so you're on alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol. Oh, they don't well, touch. They don't have alcohol rule here where they test you for like point. Yeah. Back yeah. home, it's like point oh eight. Yeah, you can't drive on alcohol okay. back home. Yeah, yeah they lived it past here. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it'd be like a Bud Light, Bush Light. What do you do? Whatever's in a can. Whatever's nice. Can. I noticed you got some tow here. What's the? Is that for the turn or? Or what? What's the deal? Doesn't help any. It's just. Just, just towed. That bad, just yeah. towed. See, when I seen it, I thought because have you seen the track? Like we're talking straight clay, like dirt track clay. So we thought maybe you're gonna go out there get some speed and hit, yeah. hit really hard. Yeah. Is that what you're gonna do? Are you gonna, he's gonna put gonna it finish, down? He's gonna finish this car off. Nice. What's your name? Where are you from? Buddy? Uh, Luke Cannon. I'm from Accident, Maryland. Accident. What engine do you run? Uh, an LS, five three. Just you? You built it, or do you have, have it built? It's a, it's a stock, stock bottom. Everything stock. It, get it out of a junk pickup and just run them. But they come with some power. Yep. What yeah. about the rear end? Like who's uh, rear end? It's a 14 bolt GM rear. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Transmission. It's a Turbo 400. Anybody you want to thank back home? Uh, I'd like to thank my uncle back there for helping me and my nice. dad. Good. Good deal. Good deal. We well, appreciate yeah, your time, yeah, thanks right, Thanks for Fatty? coming out. Thanks for coming out. Just. Just never, just never seen such a thing back where we come from. You ever ran without a radiator, Bob? <laughs> I always had a radiator. Always had a radiator. Hey, good luck to you this weekend, fella. Thank you. All right. Oh, Bob, what do we got back here? We got a. We got Bob, a... what do we got back here? What's his name? This is Cameron Grandstaffed. Look at this. Look at this pretty wow. thing. Cameron, what are, you, what are you running today? Oh, it's a 74 Buick Electra. I like it. I like it. What made you pick this car? Well, uh, my buddy Bill here picked it up, and we do a little, little wheeling and dealing back and forth. And we got bored one night, so we signed up. And I, I said, "Hey, go ahead and throw this together within two months." And that's what he did in a couple months. Oh, it's pretty. Do you run a radiator? Yeah. You do have a radiator in this. Yes. Oh, We've no. seen it optional at it's, this it's track. It's optional. Yeah, here. optional. It's no. very optional. Yeah. Very beautiful build you have here, Cameron. Yeah. Now, uh, for people back home that are just getting into this, you know, the younger kids and stuff, can you tell them what gives you the drive to want to do this? Like, like instead of going and doing drugs, is this not like the biggest high you've ever had? Oh, yeah. You can actually go out there and hit something and not get in trouble for it. Right. And it keeps you busy education because of you know you're learning angles right even mm -hmm. just like building your cage look how amazing this cage is so you have to learn angles and stuff right uh, yeah oh, i didn't do anything on this like i said <laughs> bill bill oh you're, you're very bill, humble you do bill. you did yeah. good work bill yeah. Yeah. now can you explain what's inside your car what, what's what's this thing with the big handle right there oh uh, this is a uh, smith's metal works cable shifter they do uh, good work oh yeah i got their trans uh cooler their pedals uh, NOR battery box, their uh, switch, uh, Circle Z fuel cell. It's it's got most of the good stuff in it. Now, uh, I've I derbied for a while, and this this whole new brake setup thing totally different. Can you explain that your master cylinder is in the back and not where normally people would see it up here? Oh yeah, that is the best option. Instead of fighting with your foot in here, stepping on the brake lines, you got it all the way back here. You can run a short brake line. Uh, I love that Smith came up with that and makes it a lot easier, nicer, cleaner. I run that myself. I run that myself. I, see, I, I, couldn't, love, I, it. I, I could, love it. I couldn't afford that kind of stuff, Eddie. Yeah, well, <laughs> when you don't quit derby and Bobby, uh, you, you just keep buying newer stuff instead yes. of selling it. Uh, that's that's but, the big but thing. But anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you, you, you just keep uh, you know, buying updating. Yeah. Uh, but no, that Smith Metal Works, it's the best, it's the easiest brake system I've ever had on derby cars. Now, now is this no the line. biggest oh. show you've been to, or do you do all uh, big shows? I ran a bash a few times, a couple times, but we're starting to travel around this year, go out of state, where we signed up for their show over in uh, uh, Portland. And... Uh, where are you from, Cameron? Uh, Howard, Ohio. So, nice. little... awful lot of Ohio drivers Bob, here. Bob, Ohio no wonder you're smiling. Yeah, I mean, I, I might know a couple guys out here, you know. So, well, Cameron, good luck this weekend, buddy. Thanks. Beautiful build, beautiful. Yeah, build. it's a really beautiful yeah. car. Well, yeah. 
Bill's the one. Bill did, you did a good Bill, job, Bill. you're getting all the credit. Yeah, you did good, Bill. I, I just get in here and I hold the wheel. That's nice. That's <laughs> nice. Well, Cameron always drives hard, so it'll be a good it'll show. It'll be a good show, yeah. yeah this thing will oh, be he's all from Ohio, so we know he's going to be It'll be, be twisted foot. every way, uh, which I'm, we're right. All right. I'm trying to get out of there quick. <laughs> yeah. I want to get some, some liquids in me. That's so. right. <laughs> That's right. Well, good luck this weekend, right, buddy. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, let's, Bob, why don't we take a little stroll? We got some mini car action going on over in the other building. Uh, we can, uh, we, we got all kinds of stuff your, going your on. Your buddy didn't like when I asked him if there was a mini car. See, well. I'm still kind of learning, you know what I mean? Well, so, Bob, you, you've sold out a couple times, <laughs> you know, I mean. I, I didn't sell out. I just wanted to help a younger guy from Kentucky, wanted to get involved. So I thought, what better way to support the sport than to sell it to him? Yeah, that's fine. You sold out. Okay, all right, everybody. Uh, we're going to go check out the uh, the rest of the stuff here at Dead Man. Always a great time here at Dead Man. Especially with Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill. all this. Uncle, Uncle Bill's Bill. here. Couldn't He's do it without man. him. We could not do it without him. Couldn't do it without Uncle Bill. That's for sure. Thanks for your time, guys. Thanks, gentlemen. Good, Good luck. luck. Yes, we good. Man, that is a beautiful car. That's a beautiful car. That is a beautiful car. All right, we got a mini car here. What about the weather, Fatty? Oh, it's beautiful here today. Isn't it not? Beautiful it's, it's here today. To, it's supposed to get in the 70s, maybe get a little cloudy, maybe a little rain later tonight, but not nothing nothing we can't handle. Right? No, no, and it's a little windy, so it's going to dry everything out real, real nice, I think. I'm telling you, that track, like, that track is amazing. I'll tell you what, I was walking across it earlier, and if tires stick like my shoe did, should be a it's gonna be phenomenal Fatty, we're, we're live you cannot lie i've not seen you walk yet today <laughs> well my golf cart on the okay, other side okay. um <laughs> yeah it got pretty good you gotta remember your friend, friends and family are bob, watching you they bob, don't want you to lie bob what about the the mini car team show this weekend i i when i was driving here i passed some of them uh I'm there's pretty, a couple canadian teams here and i'm super stoked yeah i'm excited you got you look i think this is mason stacy's uh, bus right here and you know, back, back home in the day, you're like mini cars. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go work on my car. Yeah, there was always a filler. Oh my God, not no more. These mini cars put on the show. Yeah, I uh, I was. Hi, Mason. I love it seeing the younger you kids. It's a three generation. You think we should talk to Mason? Let's yeah, I'll tell you what, Mason, where's your car at? Why don't you stand next to it? We'll just pull up here and talk to Mason real quick. Mason is a force to be reckoned with in the youth or the adult division. Mason, how we doing today, sir? Goodish. How we doing? How, how you feeling? Feeling good. Now, is there a youth class here this weekend, Mason? Yeah. Is that what you're running? Yeah. But is that legal? Look. Is that legal? I don't know. We're not talking about you're that. You're not. You're not. Do you really? Is it really fair at this point? I mean, what'd you get in the, the unified point series last year? Second. Is it really fair for you to run the youth class at this point, Mason? I don't know. Still let me in. They, they, hey, I agree with. They let Bob in here. So I mean, I'm Bobby, nice to yeah, meet you. Yeah, this is Bobby I've Brockway. Heard, heard a lot about you. I'm just getting into Derby, and so get to come out here and, and learn a little bit. And I'll tell you what, I've been around Derby's a long time, but I've never seen that. It's homemade. Homemade. What's the theory behind that, there, Mason? Well, I can't get forklift tires, so I decided to make it. You made them. What was that made out of? Trailer tires I had from Point Cars. I have so many extra ones. I just wrap steel around it. I got to figure out a way to put the treads on better. And, and that's then, something you come up with all by yourself. Yeah. How old are you, Mason? 15. How many cars a year you built from start to finish? Uh, so last see, year uh, I did 20 something. 27. So the self tappers is what keeps the rubber around it, right, Mason? Yeah. Is it, have you, have you done, ran this before? Or is this the first time? First, first time. First time. Bob, we we'll have to keep an eye on that. We're gonna watch this and learn. We're gonna watch that. You, there won't be a self tapper screw on the property after he runs this. No, game. no. <laughs> he just started something new. Yeah, that's. Yeah. You, that's nice. Okay, what Mason, you, you what want? Are you running, Mason? Sorry, I mean. No, no, no. That's what we was what just getting you, ready uh, to. What are you running here? Uh, Toyota Camry. Is that your uh, choice, or is that what you had laying around? My choice. Is it a four or a six cylinder? Four cylinder. You prefer the fours? Yeah. Why is that? Longer heat, last longer heat, the rad blows. Oh, okay. Now, how's the safety stuff, the admissions? Is it hard to get these to run after you take the dash and such out of them? Not really. You make a simplified harness for it and put your own wiring in. Nice. Now, is that a little freebie harness? No, that's my harness. Oh, that's your harness. Yeah. You probably showed a little freebie how to make that harness. I get it. I get it. Um, it's a nice build, Mason, and you do all this yourself. You put your own cage in, you yeah. do it all. Uh, I do it all. Do you, do you do you run the same engine that comes with it, or do you have an engine that you run? I run 
Depends on it. This was a V6 car, and I put a four-cylinder in it. Okay. Just any four-cylinder, or do you have one that, like, that, that's my four-cylinder right there? I did. I burnt that one up already. Ah, probably trying to beat a little freebie, huh? We don't talk about that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, Mason, you got a beautiful build here. Uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Uh, if you need anything, call Bob. It was nice, really nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah. Bob, he's won more derbies than you will ever win. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> and he's 15. And he's 15. You they know what I was doing when I was 15? All right, it's a PG. Okay, good luck, Mason. <laughs> All right, buddy, have, have a great weekend. <laughs> nice meeting you, buddy. Nice. All right, great kid. Great kid. We should... We should probably get a GoFundMe for the hair. Yeah, I was a haircut. I was gonna ask him, like, because I thought uh, I thought mullets were the style. What? Well, I think he's from Michigan. They, that's a muffaletto. That's a muffaletto. Muffaletto, back home where I'm from. I like that. Man, look, look at, at the paint jobs on these. Oh yeah, we're pulling up. We're pulling up. I'm all about this mini car. Uh, I team of like I said before, I wouldn't watch them. Now I love watching them, man. They go crazy, one into the other. Oh, look at these. And the thought process to build these cars. Oh, it's insane. Is the driver of this car here? Oh, let's take this. Look at that. Look at you. You're look at this. Good. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the cage in this thing, Uncle Bill. Look at that. You got a second, buddy? Talk about your car? What kind of car you got here? 93 Honda Accord wagon. You prefer the 93 Honda Accord wagons? This first year I ran the wagons. I usually run from 93 to 91 uh, regular. Just uh, Hondas? Yeah. No kidding. No kidding. Is this aftermarket here or is this something like you can start selling? I might. I mean, I've not seen this and I really like it. The it blue was, goes with the purple. Yeah, nice. is, I like it. I know. How long did it take you to build this thing? We were about a, we've been on it for about a month. About a month? Yeah. Okay. Factory engine and everything? Factory Stock engine. engine? You don't yep. pull the engines or yep. nothing like that, huh? We've been Works asking good. people like, do you just run the engines that come in the car? Yeah. You don't have a special engine yep. back home? Nice, nice. So for somebody that wants to get started in this, like, Fanny and I are amazed by these many cars. For somebody to get started, how much do you think that a youth could get started in something like this? I mean, the hardest thing is finding the cars right now, but you probably have about seven, eight hundred dollars out of it. Instead of thirty thousand dollar car to go. This one here, I got about almost two grand in it. Bob, we'll have to get a one with the material car. Something for my fat head. No, you're well. If, or my if, belly. It, if it catches on fire, Bob, we gotta <laughs> so have an exit. Get out. We gotta have an exit. Well, they they tell you 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 know you look pretty stocky, so if you're gonna bulk up, you gotta put on. Well, TV gains get... forty pounds. Sixty. <laughs> okay. Um, so what do you you're here with the team, correct? Yeah. Which you're, uh, you guys going out there, setting the pace, you know, go out there and see how it goes. Go out there like we did last year, see what happens. How'd you finish last year? We were done less than a minute. Oh, so we're here to redeem ourselves. Oh, so, see what happens. Now, now the, the, the two teammates you got, did you uh, you run with them quite often? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Local fairs and stuff. You yeah. from Where are you from? St. Mary's County. Oh, okay. Who yeah. would you like to thank for uh, getting you out here, getting the team together, putting the stuff in? Just all the teammates. Good, good deal. Well, hey, we appreciate your time. It's a beautiful car, and good luck. It's thank really good, buddy. Nice beautiful car. Yeah, thank you. All right, Bob. So we need a, a 93 Honda wagon with a sunroof. So that if something happens, I can get out. So you can get out. It's just, um, it's safety. It's not a fat thing, Bob. What about oxygen, like, on the top so when I get struggle to get out, I can... Well, we bring oxygen to every derby because we're going to have to cut. <laughs> good, so, good call. So... You want to go check the track Let's out? Go check Let's this go track, track out. out. Yeah, we like, got to show Uncle Bill. Like, yeah. yeah. He's I, seen it a couple times, but he's got to see it with you walking on it and your feet actually sticking. I, I tell you what, if if this track holds up, it's going to be gnarly this weekend. It really is. And I keep hearing all this stuff about these New York guys coming down, Bob. I, I tell you what, I'm not going to lie, Fatty. I uh, went to San Filippo, which uh, you got to go there. It's an experience, which I know you have. but. The way they hit, they don't care if they win or not. Yeah. They just want to put on a show. Have you ever had that mindset going into a derby, Bob, that I don't care how I finish today? Going with a fresh car. Never. Ne me neither. Never. I, don't, I, I wouldn't know how that, how you just prepare yourself just to go junk everything you worked on for the last and three, they, four, six months. And it's not just one or two drivers from New York. It's Look at all the drivers, but hashtag Daddy Decker. Yeah, and the only one that And he worked. makes fun of me. Uh, yeah. And he makes fun of me. Yeah. But, but Bob, Bob, look at this. Look at this track. Look at this track. Bob, look. I'm 
telling you. Look at that. It's this is dirt that. track. I tell you what, Bob. Bob, you get a little water on this, it dries up. It's gonna be it's and, gonna be fast. They were prepping this track so much so that the loader was driving in, packing it down in between each tire. That's how much time they're taking to prep. Bob, this they're track. still prepping the track right yeah. now. That guy there on that skid loader is a machine in itself. Yeah, TJ and his crew, they put on one heck of a show. Oh. They don't miss anything. They do everything for the drivers. Yep. And uh, anybody that wants to talk bad, like, he's the type of guy, you got a problem, go ahead, hit him head face. Oh, yeah. Right to right. his face and talk uh, to him. And that's Tell what him I like. Feel. And that's what I like about TJ. He's right in your face about everything. Yeah. And nothing to hide. Nothing nope. to hide at all. But this facility, Bob. This Amazing facility for a derby. Look at this. Covered, covered venue. Covered venue. All kinds of food. To make skinny, skinny's here. Oh, uh, look at skin, skin dogs dog. here. Skin dogs here. So we're talking about this track. track skinny. Skin. Look at this what track. What about the track, dog? This track is hard, hard. It's a great track. It's going to be fast track. Three on three compacts out here. Oh, did we're we talking see, about. We've seen some compacts. The compacts like the back home where we three came on from. Three. Skin, like Indiana, Illinois. Back in the day, compacts, you're like, uh, They were fillers. They were fillers while you were working on it. No, no, they are, they're an event. Yes. They're the event they, now. And some shows, they are the main event. Compact cars are the main event now. It's just not your big full-size old iron anymore. These guys bring the mail, and that's what it's all about. Wrecking stuff. It, it's, it's, ask a kid. Ask it. A kid will not lie to you about anything. They like watching the minis because they hit. Yes. They hit hard. And then we were out there talking to a young man, 15 years old. Mason Stacy. Ready to put on a show. He got second in the Unified Point Series last year. 15 years old. Builds all of his own cars. Welds. Dude, he's got hair that you would just die for. So he puts, you would die he for puts all of his money into his cars and spending time doing schoolwork. So we're thinking maybe a GoFundMe to get him a haircut. Yeah. Make him a I think he needs about 12 bucks. He's got a muffaletto right now, but we figure we can get him the skullet or great, something. Great kid, though. Great kid. Cold a sack. Cold a sack. Yeah, great kid. Great kid. Awesome. Yeah, no, this track is going to be fast. It's going to be a great show. Y'all got to tune in to Track Shot Live because that's where it's going to be. Free 99. Always free 99. If you're not here, you're missing out. Yeah, it's definitely. Be, you've seen the cars. You talk to the drivers. You see the pace. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's do it, Bobby. Let's go find food. Let's go find some food. Skin knows where the food's at. <laughs>Hello, track shop fans, Skinny here. You're looking at this awesome track out here. I want to tell you fans at home, TJ from Dead Man Derby Productions, he takes pride in finding hard tracks all around the United States, but he's found one here. This man says he never wants a track to take out a driver, and I 100% agree with him. Folks, as you can see, this track is as hard as concrete. Out here, you will see three on three compacts Look at the size of this track. This track is not going to take out anybody but each car. Why? Because they're going to be hitting hard. This track is going to be fast, and it's going to cause a lot of damage today. To folks, tune in to TrackShotLive.com. Free 99 is where you're going to watch this. Hi, my name is TJ McCullough, a.k.a. The Dead Man. I'm with my beautiful wife, Kayla, Dead Girl. We are Dead Man Derby Productions. We're here today at the Fayette County Fairgrounds in Dunbar, PA, for No Mercy 2. It's the second coming of the hearse. We are ready. It's going to be a jam-packed evening. We have 12 different classes, over 300 cars registered. We're here to bury the competition, to show no mercy. We're about ready to get started. Dead Man Derby Productions got started in 2022, which was crazy because it was a COVID year. And that's absolutely insane. People always ask ask us how did how was it starting off in a year like that it was such a big challenge but we we, we dug deep, we had an amazing support from our fans and our drivers, and sure enough, here we are, we've survived, and now it's time to turn it up to the next notch. And what I really love is what Kayla has done to really add to that next level, to turn that up and put Dead Man in a different direction. So when TJ came to me with this idea, if you know TJ, you know he's level 100, 110% in everything he does. So I said, if we're gonna do this, we have to do it wholeheartedly. And we've really decided that we wanna be more than just a derby, we wanna be more than just a show, we're Dead Man Derby promotion so we're gonna promote a whole event from you from the moment you walk through the front gate to all of our staff we have every every part of the show something for kids something for your family 
um, even our apparel line. So we pulled um, Dead Man Derby Apparel Company and started that. And then at the end of last year, we added to that with Dead Girl Apparel. So we really try to have something for everybody, the guys, the girls, the young, the old, come make an experience and be part of our family. Girls absolutely love to shop, and that's one thing is that Kayla has given her twist to her apparel line to make the girls. Hey, listen, when you come to a dead man show, if you got kids, we got something for you. If you got a wife, we have shopping for you. I mean, what more could you want? And if you're a Derby fan and you love Demolition Derby, this is the place to be. Now, let me tell you why we're different, and I really think that that is so hard to drive home to some people until you actually feel it, until you're here. I always say that Dead Man Derby Productions is a feel. You really need to be here to understand what we're all about. What we want to do is be different on a level, and what I like to do is keep you guys on the edge, and what I like to do is make you not feel comfortable on the track. For far too long, everybody's driven on that track and said, I don't get nervous anymore. I even say it. I challenge you promoters, get out there, make your drivers nervous. Don't give them that confidence. Put them on the track, throw something at them and see how they react because that is television. That is action. You want to see a real true response? Come here tonight, watch Track Shot Live tonight and watch what we're going to do with this mercenary. Let me show you some of the things that we do. We have a 1972 Cadillac hearse. This is the mercenary. This car was clipped with an 03 and newer front frame section. It's got kickers going down to behind the A-arms. This got a cage that runs all the way back. The rear bumper is a attached to the cage. This thing is an absolute monster. We ran this last year. Andrew Myers came out and showed that death was there. He absolutely put on a show in this car and we brought it back for its second coming. This time we're going to give one lucky fan a chance to drive this on Saturday night to close out the entire No Mercy 2. Really looking forward to seeing who wins this thing, who turns it up. We do different twists. We do triple threats in our constellation. So don't think that you can just park with your buddy because we might make you fight to the death to get to the feature with your buddy. You never know what I'm going to do. And let me tell you right now, there's 330 guys here today that have no clue what's about to happen. Everything else is just a derby. This is Dead Man.
Good afternoon and welcome back, Tracks Out Live fans. Day number two, no mercy. Ben Decker, the rest of the crew, bringing it to you live to your shop, to your workplace, into your living room, on your couch. Folks, we got a big day today. 14 heats, Decker. 14 heats. 14. A little bit of everything. Uh, Ben's actually got the list of what we're going to see today. Yeah. I mean, we, there's everything. Yeah, we're kicking it off now. They're getting ready to kick off the power wheels. And then right after that, they're going to scoot the guys off. And we're going to go right into the Joker three-man team compacts, Concies, uh, pro stock Concies, then the youth compact, then the bone stock V8, then there's bone stock compacts. Then the vans, SUVs, and mini trucks, the dead man compacts, mm -hmm. the two man extreme, mm -hmm. the bone stock compacts again, because they had so many of them, <laughs> half ton trucks. Then we're going to, we switched it up a little bit. He's putting a mercenary V8 class after that, and then we're going to close the night out with two features the three man, Joker three man feature, and then a pro stock feature. So that's a. Ex I'm going to use good words. Extensive list. Extensive, Extensive list. <laughs> Extensive list. Go get a handle. <laughs> All right. You're going to need a handle to get through the day, my <laughs> friends at home. <laughs> get you a handle or, or a box. Uh, but, uh, uh, it's going to be a full day of yes, action. If you have anything planned, shut it down because you're just yeah. going to be chilling wherever you're sitting yeah. right now. Uh, yeah, so a lot of, a lot of heats. They're going to yeah. do power wheels right now, go to two consies. Then mm -hmm. they're doing some sort of intermission and uh, an actual – starting oh i know it's a little it's yeah a it's little, a little yeah, yeah. so uh then we're going into youth compacts then i'm up oh. yeah oh, well, you're stock, racing today yeah, yeah. i can't yeah. wait i'm excited I to thought cody was running it i'll let cody run it if oh, he wants. oh look out y'all there's an easter bunny on there's the a track. rabbit out there there's a lot of hun <laughs> there's a lot of hunters here <laughs> <laughs> yeah so decker what are you running 77 caddy Bone stock. Now, before everyone, you're going to hear it out there like, you're like, oh, that thing sounds like it's got the original Quadrajet on it. Okay. I did put a new distributor in it. Four and a quarter? Four and a quarter. 425 okay. with nice. stock gear. And I just, well, I mean, let me tell you, I started it on Monday, and on Wednesday night, I was pretty much done. I had to fix the steering column. Awesome. So, um, I'm going back in the old days. I just wanted to have fun. I want to get on a track. I told you guys that. I'm just trying to hit the track as yep. much as possible. Yes, sir. And that's it. Just having fun. Well, I will say this. The paint job looks better than the build. Yeah, absolutely. Good job, Bailey. Thank you. <laughs> she did great. She, she did. Wonderful. I did. Uh, You're bringing it back old school. I, Rosa. I just want to hit the track, man. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Actually, all, I have my kids' names on there, but I, we lost some people this year, and I have their. My I lost my father-in-law. We lost Martin, and uh, mm -hmm. of course my mom. All mm -hmm. never. So I got a little little extra help on that one. Yes, huh? sir. That's why I have no fear. Amen. I have no fear. Out oh. There. New York style MPA straight for junk in it. Don't worry about the tuck getting trunk, folks. The nose will be sky high. Yeah. It was funny because like when I was tucking it, Jerry's at my house. He's like, why are you doing that? And it's like, I know. I shouldn't even do it. But if I don't, people are going to say, you are a super bad builder. No, I can at least tuck a trunk. I would have threw the deck lid in the scrap pile and just let her eat, cut the braces. Yep. Notch her three times, Decker. That's what I prefer on the metrics. And let him go to the back window. Yep. Let's see. Humps ain't on the ground. Trunk ain't on the ground. And I just notched it twice. My first one's deep. Sure. My second one I just put right in front of the body mount. The second one there, not behind it. I put it in, well, behind it. I'm sorry. Sure. Towards the bumper. Yes. Yep. Uh, whatever. If, if it's, but I don't even want to use it. Yeah. I go fat notch back. Yep. Medium notch second. Yep. At the dog leg, a simple right slice. Right at the bottom of it? You, yes. Okay. I don't simple know slice that. like a width of a torch, yep. pencil width. Yep. And that usually kicks her in the third time. Hmm. Yeah, you know them good old metric GMs. Oh, I hate metrics. Backs. Yeah. The backs are garbage. Yeah. But the noses I like. Yeah. Now, this one, I took an old junk bumper. I just hard-nosed it. I mean, it's sure. as simple as that. I took sure. the bumper shocks out. Just, you had to hard-nose it. You couldn't run the bumper shocks. Or you had to, just the way the rules were, I figured it was simpler to hard-nose the thing. thing. Is that got the key below the latch or next to the latch? No comment. <laughs> no comment. Uh, <laughs> it's an 80s yeah. newer cat. Put, I love just you. put different doors on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But, you know, it's funny because this morning Trent and I went to warm it up and time it and stuff. And sure. You know, Trent's run my LSs and yes. he rent Ben's at meth small block in the driveway and stuff. And Trent's like, I don't know, Dad. This thing's just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, nah, it's, that's that's all it's got, man. That's yeah, he, all it's got. He couldn't understand. Like, he why could, are we breaking yeah, it loose? It's yeah. like, no, no. He's no. kind of been in some in some spoiler drive trains. Exactly. <laughs> he really has. <laughs> he really really has. Really <laughs> has. And playing around in the driveway, he's in the good stuff, you know. Sure, so. sure. 
Yeah, when you say welding gears, when's the last time you blazed some gears together? A long time. Yeah. I, and that's I like what's that. fun, I, I had fun doing yes. it. I put a rod shifter in people. Yes. Okay, I have that. The old school rod shifter, three wire. I'm three wire, rod shifter. I did not even put a full cage in. The dash is in it. Can I, I just put a back <laughs> bar. <laughs> did I, you put the rod shifter and cut the seat so the wire holds the rod shifter and you run through the seat? I use two zip ties, uh, figure eight them. Okay. So my, my rod will not come up or move uh -huh. around. It just slides in and out nicely. Sure. We used to run through the GMC because it had the wire yeah, on the outside. Had the wire yeah, outside. I never did that. And That's a good right idea. And it never moves. Yeah, Mopar seat too. Yeah, See, I know. stick a screwdriver through it, yep. sure. zip ties. Okay, I'll try awesome. that again. No, hey, everybody's got their own way. No, no, I like trying different things. that's taking us all back to where we come from. A lot of us. Yep. Dude. Us old dirt folks. Dude, I did even Trent's. I did the old school. I got my bat mat over my battery. <laughs> I got my gas tank bolted to the floor. Yes. Old school, man. I yeah. mean, I got, I mean, dude, I had that thing together so fast. People are like, you're flying. Well, it's four bolts, four bolts. <laughs> Yeah, I just I'm excited to no, run. That's, I, I don't yeah. care about. Listen, people, if I get smoked on the first shot, who cares? We'll take it home, and Trent will run it next month. If not, the crusher will pay you more than you just won at the dirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're golden, Deck. And I paid 300 bucks for it. Amen. A guy, old man, was driving it to the golf course and back, <laughs> blew the brakes out of it. Sick of it. Did Done with it. Oh, I was gonna say, did you tell me you're gonna junk it? He got hit and had been rifling golf balls all <laughs> over the place. All <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> then we got frozen paintball. <laughs> you know, frozen paintball style going in the crowd, right, oh, man? Yeah. Oh, Just yeah. launching golf balls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no good. <laughs> he could have, well, no, he should have took his time. He took all the golf balls and autographed them. And then when they got sent out, they, they can't complain. He said, I'm just sending the autograph I'm stuff. Yeah. Ellen De Decker was too long to get on Ellen the golf De ball. Ellen Decker, I hate you <laughs> so much. God, I hate you. Uh, another good division today is the half-ton trucks. I don't oh. know if you guys seen the trucks that were rolling in. My God, you said last night, rollovers? Are we going to yeah. throw, throw 20s on the table gonna and see who's going to get it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. The height of some of them. Yep. i seen sure. an avalanche, exploders, yeah. expeditions. They're up there. Yeah, no, a little bit of everything, Decker. And then you got the the vans, the SUVs, and mini trucks are crazy huge track here. for that huge <laughs> track for that yeah i mean they're, they're just gonna be they're gonna be punting each other like footballs out there and do you guys remember the bo guys from boom that had boom on their yes. vans that were yes. just sending it two of them here today again nice. so we'll look forward to you know that they're, yep. they're gonna send it for us for i sure. see i see butters back too butter yeah remember butter that. he's yep. in your class yeah oh, butter. Is he? i think so okay it looked that the car that i seen that had butter down the side of it it is a stock. stocker stock 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 the mud has taken these car, these yeah, power these wheels, power and wheels. Just stuck them right. They're yep. having a hard time moving now. Cause that is some sticky clay. It out there. is. What an awesome track all day yesterday. It will be just as good today, folks. Guys, we junked some stuff yesterday. We got to see some stuff get junked. Ooh, it's, <laughs> it, it, I, it's, Wasn't a bad one yesterday at yeah. all. Did you guys go through the pits this morning? Like, oh, yeah. There's, like, just carnage. carnage. Uh, yeah. Yes. There's yeah. cars laying around, like, ooh, that's not getting fixed. Yeah. That's no, not no. getting fixed. Yeah, I talked to Cody out there, Cody Riley and and uh, Dave Riley and all them, and uh, they, they just in some other people that were getting tore up. The number 11 car there that we are talking about in the heat, he was actually a Massachusetts guy. Um, the one that was sideways down there in Ohio, guy that with the old with the old iron, yeah, were Be commenting up. about yeah the back, you know, if he could yeah. just get somebody square, yeah, and sure. then he pushed to shove them, he shoved him down in the corner, and then he used them to square up and yep. and roll his back. Uh, they got that put together pretty back together pretty good, so he's excited to come back yeah. out. He goes, I guess I shouldn't have sandbagged. <laughs> and that was his words. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not, that, that, that was I, that's a, I should say quote. Yeah, yeah, a quote. But um. No, well, and, and everybody's excited. Caught. Well, yeah. everybody's excited to come to get back out there. Yeah, you know, it's not just kind of uh, they're all wound for sound. They want to come back out and play. The track is fun, right? Absolutely. And I did see the they were allowing guys to fix past the fix it plates if they got permission from the officials. Correct. If they if they're like, and and they were giving them. I did find out for a hundred percent for sure. That if they're pulling them down and pulling them back, and they and it splits, the frame splits, or they get a split, they're able to re-weld it single pass, half inch wide. 
Nice. So that's that's a super bonus because yeah. there's a lot of places like, yeah, you want to bend that back down if you ain't got a fix-it plate, guess what? Tough. Yeah. Interesting, though, so, because let's say you were someone that put all your plates on the start. Right. You're kind of benefiting a little bit, right? Oh. Uh, yes. Yeah. And no. Yeah, because I'd bend it back down and make sure it tore so I could re-weld it. I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's exactly what you would do. That's exactly what you would do. Yeah, the track has taken the power wheels out. By storm. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's engulfed. Them batteries, they might have put some 20 volts in them and had some big batteries, sure. but it just sucked the juice right out <laughs> of them. Look at the mud on some of them tires. So. Yep. Them parents are like, yeah, we carried these things out there, and they just gained about 250 pounds on them. Yeah. I don't know. Grandstand side with the cover is full of people. Yeah, there's some people here. That is sure. There were some people here last night, too. That, and, oh, yeah. and yesterday was just the most beautiful day you could ever imagine for. Great derby day. For for derbies. I mean, it was nice. The sun come out and, you know, it, yeah. the, for the more insulated people, they basically had T-shirts and shorts on. But, you know. Hunter. I yep. was cold. But. Yeah. No, it was. It was. And now today, we got a little chilly, a little overcast. But that's Hopefully okay. Hopefully that R stays out of here. Yeah. And we'll be okay. Yep. Yeah, it's. But like I was telling Decker, Ben, this track can handle a little bit of moisture, so oh, that's not yeah. something we're gonna have to really worry about. This ain't gonna bother these guys at all. But nope. after the first heat, they'll go out there and scuff it off, and it'll be it, 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 nothing wrong with sure. it at all. It's just not good for battery-operated vehicles. So if I could jump in on the Concy, I just thought yeah, about go ahead. this. Yeah. I don't know if he's putting every team that didn't qualify, and I'm, I'm sorry, people, because I didn't get to talk to TJ. He's very busy this morning because such an early start. That poor guy was, like, running. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's going to break them up head-to-head because – can I just look at this quick, Ben? There'd be a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so nine teams – did not qualify. So nine teams could come into the con C. Is he going to do ones of three? Is he going to do – I don't in, know. In how many in, – in, and there's a lot of them that, um, as everybody knows, there's a lot of them that left the heats that – unless they were dropping their motors and trannies into different shells, they weren't right. coming back. <laughs> right, right. I mean, right. It, it, it's it, – it, some of these cars look like they were in a banger race. I think some of these will not see all. Yeah, the so for sure. like you said, it's it's a hit and miss thing, you know, when they get whatever list they get or who they comes and re-signs up. So, and we're gonna shoot from the hip, right? So right. Oh, I have yeah. I have the drivers' names from last night and the team names and stuff. But as they come out, they just roll with us because we don't know exactly. And you know what, America, I'll I'll tell you a little backstory about us because I know a lot of people will say like, you guys are not good at your jobs. But <laughs> they only tell you that, Decker. But, yeah, I get a lot of it. Uh, <laughs> but you know, we 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 got here early yesterday. We were here on Thursday. Yeah. So yesterday we worked all day long. We went we went to Applebee's last night. We got to bed at twelve. Well, we got in our rooms at twelve thirty at night, right? Yep. We got up. We were all back out seven seven thirty out meeting at the trucks. Back here putting all our stuff together to get kicking off here at twelve thirty. So tonight we're gonna be here till late late at night. Skinny has to get on a plane. He leaves the hotel at 3.30 a.m. So just, you know, sometimes people dig on me specifically. And just remember, we are working hard here, and we are stepping away and, and working hard. I, I feel bad. When you said that this morning, I'm like, damn, man. I, thank God I don't have to pay you because, oh, you, you know, I mean. I, I suck at what I do. I'm not <laughs> worth it. And I you, feel way more guilty. Yep, yeah, you just send me in work, and out, yes. But your free work, so free I'm okay 99, with it. Bro. I'm free 99, bro. I'm always going to be free 99. Oh, he's free 99. <laughs> um, but, no, Skin, Skin and Bill both got to leave first thing in the morning. Then they get back home, and then, you know, it's Easter. Then you spend time with your family and stuff. So yeah. these, we're, we're rocking hard this weekend. We're running hard, and bear with us if we make yeah, some Yeah, happy mistakes. Easter, everybody. Yeah. You know, is it as we get older, when we were kids, like, the holidays were, like, such a big deal, right? Is it when you get older, or is it has times passed in history? I don't holidays know. don't mean as much. It's, it's a different way of life now, though. Yeah, Jack. it's a different way of life. Yeah. And, and once you lose the glue of the family, the parents, grandparents, yeah, you know, all that, that was it's my not mom. the same, bro. Yeah, my holidays were like, you know, the oh. whole day you spent the day on the holiday with your family. <laughs> Absolutely. And my, my You're right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now it's just the four of us usually. Um. All right, so, yeah, we're going to kick right off now. We're going to go right to Concies. All right. And I think that he's doing national anthem and ah, 
again, I don't know. You can't. You, we said it last night. It's you can't. You can give us. This is a guideline. Okay. <laughs> right. This is a guideline paper <laughs> right. that, that should have on the top. You know. Uh, Changes, change. changes may occur, <laughs> you know. So it's like yeah. it, it, it's because you never know with him. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm just no. Gonna he's, switch the, he's the worst with it. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's he's just keeps us on our toes. For people that yes. are OCD or have any type of even <laughs> even a hint of it, would just go batshit crazy with him because and he's our just OCD got, man is right <laughs> oh, yeah. there. Ben will do it for us. Yeah, I'm kind of. Ben can't have that. We we adjusted the camera this morning. Then the, it's out of frame, and Ben is like, "We gotta get this camera. We gotta get down there. We gotta yeah, get this." That's... And that camera bothered him till we went down there and fixed yeah, it. Yeah, I kind of. I kind of. We need your OCD, Ben. Yeah. Okay. Oh, absolutely. We need, it. We, need it. I, we need all walks of life in this group. Yes. You know, Ben is our fine details guy. Amen. But We've got stuff. He doubles really brings now, it man. together. I can't wait for that. <laughs> We've got some good stuff going on, people. Uh, <clears throat> Look at the mud around the tires. Of this oh, car. right, bro. There's there's an extra seventy eight pounds on that. <laughs> I know, thing. It, and he's losing it on the way out. Had a lot easier time pushing it in. Yeah, yeah. we had uh, we had our share of a broken broken parts last night. Oh man, um, compacts, a lot of a lot of axles, a lot of uh, a lot of bent subs, a lot of broken struts, bent subs. Uh, full size cars, a lot of broken trannies. Yeah. Um, axles. Yes. In um. In they're not just stock axles. No. <laughs> I mean, we, we've had there's some aftermarket stuff that got broke, and that just tells you how how good of a hard hitting show it was. I will say this: driving out last night, I noticed Vendor Row was still open. People trying to buy parts. Yeah. Drivers trying to get some parts. This morning, Vendor Row was packed with guys trying to get them parts to get them cars back yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. And good thing he's. That was one thing I'll say. They do have a nice vendor row, kind of like a San Filippo out there. They have a great venue of everyone chills yeah. in one spot. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. you need that. It's part social. Is there social? Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's hard to see that. You know, back east they are a lot, but man, a lot of what I used to see. You know, fifteen, twenty people selling stuff. It's not like no. still, out here. It's still like that. Yeah. But back east, I mean, back west, you're talking six, six, seven vendors, maybe. Yeah. You know, that's it. Yeah. And the food trailers that show up here, yeah. by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal, yeah. man. Yeah, the <laughs> first time I ever tried one, and, it, and it's like my I can't wife and all. my wife and daughter are going to shoot me because of, uh, that deep-fried Reese's peanut butter oh, cup. Oh, last night was money, right? <laughs> I'm not one for deep-fried food. And it's like. I told Ben, and he's like, woof. And next thing you know, he's like, oh, yeah, we could go for another round of this. <laughs> yeah, I was like, skin hooked me up. That was good, man. <laughs> it was peanut butter and yeah. jelly, deep fried without the jelly. You yeah, know, like, it, was, so it was good. good, man. Nutella with peanut butter. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> but they're closed today. <laughs> Bobby, well, wanted, Bobby wanted to get one. They got them closed. late hours they were. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of <laughs> That's true. Yeah. They got all day. Amen. Yeah. But what are you doing? They got one stuck at the other end. <laughs> <laughs> Going to have to hook a golf cart to it to get it out. Um, um. Now, again, after our consies from last night, it was heats from last night, the consies today, we're going to go youth compact, bone stock V8, bone stock compact, minivans. So that'll be the next four after that. Dead man compacts, two man extreme, two man extreme. I mean, that's always a riot. Yeah. Bones, and there's some cool cars in it. Oh, yeah. Seen a, oh. Like 58 Lincoln Premier. What Something like that. One? There's the cool. Lincoln Premier, and then there's another There's another uh, newer style Lincoln. Newer Lincoln, not – um, I shouldn't say newer style Lincoln. Everybody will think it's 80s and newer. But like a 70s Lincoln, it looked like down mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a wagon, newer style wagon, which I think there's a few of them that had ran the, the fall show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did in, see – Box yeah. box wagon, box GMM, wagon, like yeah, and with bumpers on the back and looked like not much for a notch and tailgate no. still. I'm like, I'm <laughs> opposite, no tailgate, no bumper, triple <laughs> yeah. notch that sucker, cut the first 18 inches of the rail off, don't even use the and back run of it, it yeah. right? Yeah. No. Yep. Used to TP him with a bumper jack, dead dead center of the back window, and those things would go up like an old roundy. Yep. Just I'll, kick I'll and say push this: em. if you're at home, when you see a GM wagon or a Ford, the the guys that are hammering down on their on their roof. In my opinion, you're ruining it. Yeah. That girl's got to go up. Your roof has got to go up. As the body pushes up, your roof goes up. Amen, For brother. you guys pushing them down, it's not – and hoping it rolls. That's yes, not – a sir. wagon don't work like that. Wagon's roof is so much stronger yeah. than you think. <laughs> Pillars are so much stronger than you think. Yeah, that's stock. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I, I learned that. I learned that's that. Th that's just when they come in stock. Then when they come out of the shop, they're a lot tougher than what they well, want to yeah, get oh in yeah, stock. Oh, yeah. Is oh, that yeah. Whitney Point, New York stock? Yes, sir. Okay. Ben Hall stock. Yeah, that's just <laughs> Ben Hall stock. Just, too, that's right? just not, I mean, that's just my thought process version. <laughs> Well, Ben got his mod car into a stock class at one point, so. Absolutely. It happened. <laughs> it happened. It happened. I was going to run against, but now picture it. Okay. <laughs> I wish you picture. had. I wish you had done it. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a thought process that was like three hours late in, uh, on the way down. I was like, yeah, you should have brought, brought the New Yorker down and put it in a stock class. <laughs> <laughs> that literally, I mean, Skin, you've seen that car. Oh, yeah. And it would have been going into class and running against cars like Josh is running right now today. That's what they put me in with. Nope. And, and I just didn't have the heart to do it. Dude. I said, I'm not that guy. <laughs> I'm not that I guy. Will. Well, you know what? That just tells you how much you, I matured and grown over the years. <laughs> true. Because, like, 10 years ago, I'm it would have been like, I'm not that guy. <laughs> I'm going. I, I You know, Funny. so. Yeah. But, uh but no, and that's that's the thing. It's it'll all come around. Yes, I want to touch the last night too on Harold in that hammer car. Harold tore it up last night, my yeah, friend. It's Absolutely, good. and he's you know, and his car looked great rolling it's, out. It's Not, push, it's pushing a little bit. Now. Okay, yeah. yeah, but a little bit of work and some more hammer. Oh, yeah. He's just gonna hammer that sucker some more. Yep. But Harold the hammer, awesome run last night, yep. buddy. He's had some bad, like I said last night. He's had some bad luck. Yes, at yes. The, at the no Merch, at the Dead Man shows. Yes. And uh, I was just so happy to see him go out there and just drive his drive his race, drive his derby, mm -hmm. and come out on top yes. and and, uh, and make it to the feature because he's gonna send it. I oh think, yeah, punish people. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know. You were speaking. He. <laughs> Possibly has a circle track engine. Yeah, it's, like I, a, it's a 602 or 604. Oh, it's it's it's, it's like full full blown like high super. It's so high compression that he's saying. He told me last time I talked to him. He goes, I can't run race gas in it. Okay. He goes because it won't run more than than like eight minutes. Sure. Eight well, 15 minutes. I sure. think he said. In uh, and it's and it's hot. Yeah. So that he's running alcohol in it because it's got such high compression. Absolutely. In it. And that, that's why Josh and I, where you guys come from, 20 minutes, man. Is, it's it, it's kind of like a Utah show, out west show. A 20 minutes is all you need. 15, so 20 minutes, yeah. We speak like circle track engine in a derby. Yeah. yeah. What do you know? That thing's going to be hot in no time. Well, where we come from, yeah, three hours at a circle track ain't going to work. But I'm telling you what, a circle track works in the east. Oh, yeah. Engine. And I'm a fan of it because that bad dad was letting her eat last yeah. night. That one, sounded great under the grand stands. At one point, I think it was a 358. Nice. I love and, it, man. Uh, I found out, too, that our boy, well, though everybody hears me. I, I, yeah, I'm a little biased. Cody Cody Riley came out last oh, night. Yeah, he, was, he was a little, he got some bad luck. And uh, I was over there talking to him about some different stuff earlier. And uh, he actually is talking about, well, he actually has a motor from uh, it's an out west motor okay hunter had the shirt on yesterday where the motor came from oh no kidding yep air plugs required huh epr motor nice <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah wow. yeah yep wow what they're all gonna laugh at us they're all laughing. Look at Bill. Look at him. Bill Bill's dying. giggling. Bill's giggling. <laughs> He's giggling like, what the hell's going on over here? Can you guys get back to work? I get know. out of here. I know. Get I back know. to work. Like at Applebee's last <laughs> Jesus. night. Jesus. Poor Bill just giggling on himself. What's wrong with Bill? Spitting all over himself. Had to get a tissue and clean himself up. Yeah, What's Fatty happening? was Fatty was da dabbing his lips for him. we got to get rid of this Fatty guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a bad influence on us. causing a lot of disruptions yeah. in here. Just changing the game here. <laughs> Yeah, but no, you're right. That's that's a great engine, man. When oh, it comes yeah. out of that camp. He was, tell, he was telling me how they were color they color coded their blocks. Nice. From really? the different from a three thirty one to a three fifty five to the three eighty threes. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But yeah, it was it was pretty cool. They, they, well, I guess it, my whole point of that tangent on that was it's pretty cool how something like that way out out west like that has made its way back east. Yeah. You know, east and. He's got a couple cool ideas what he's talking about doing that's really going to make people 
kind of scratched your head, but it's it's funny. <laughs> he's a builder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's a driver. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like Cody a lot. Looks like he's. We're getting ready. Okay. Well, I found out some other stuff about some other the compact guys too. Some of our compact guys, but I'm not gonna say it on air. Just be <laughs> okay. No, no. I, I just I want to tell you. I, I th just thinking out loud. I like you see that, y'all? Throw it out there. Thanks. Yeah, yanked right it back. back. Gotcha. I, I, I'm known for that, but um, no, you guys get a kick out of it when I tell you off air. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just all got tidbits, don't you? Yeah. If you guys could just tell me the team name, I could. This is. This is that Salvage Sav team. Upstate no. Savage. Yeah, Upstate Savage. 23X, Brett Hibbert out of Bath, New York. 13K, Ben Byington out of Naples. Savage. And 1R, Raymond Patterson. Oh, it's actually about these guys, too. Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's the Savage team! <laughs> Raymond Patterson in the 1R. Was it, I, what was TJ saying before we come on? He was changing it up a little bit. See, that's he, why. I, I miss, but that's he why you don't. But about last place, they're getting changed up. So they might, uh, depending on the amount of teams, he might he might throw. I think he's putting them all in. He might throw four teams out there. Built for banging. Yep. Corey Dakin in the A41. Number five, David Lawrence out of Dahlville, Indiana. And 747, Bo Haynes. Jamestown, got, okay. Indiana. Now we got Dallas's team. Yep. Dallas. Uh, okay, that's that's. Uh, New York nasty. Zach Herman in the 315Z out of Seneca Falls. 18R Patrick Dallas and 37W Freddie White. Wait a minute. Out of Oswego, Wait New York. Oh man! Oh, he smash topped it. Never mind. This is uh, LMR, Tim Patchen yep. out of Seneca Falls. Yeah, Cavallero and 35D, Dan Cavallero out of Marion, New York, and Dave Stone out of Waterloo. So ABC's out there. Team ABC, five Cody Cesarni, Cer Cesarino, C yeah. Cesarni. I'm sorry, then, brother. Uh, ABC Austin Bates and 62 Brock Swain. Then ri riding, riding, dirty. riding dirty. That's a Canadian team, I'm pretty sure. 18 Justin Tilstra out of Canada. West Riley in the 40 out of Canada. And 87 Donnie Dust Champs. And then you got the, s Ontario, the slackers that yeah. snuck in. Two slackers snuck in. 23D is Dan Mulliken out of Bangor, PA. Charlie Bozart. Out of Bangor, PA in the 8X. And nine, three quarters of Sam Bosser out of Bangor, PA. So that's six compact teams he has out there right so now. So it must be that the other three couldn't make it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He might have just bun bundled everybody right. into one. All right, so that means we're probably going to take this down to a winner. It's a bundle. I like it this way, right? Okay, this is the only thing that's going to drive me nuts, and I'm going to say it on air. <laughs> because TJ's going to hear it, is none of these guys stood in front of us yesterday. True. <laughs> yes, Ben. Well, I mean, you are great at yelling at people. Not my show. No. <laughs> Not my place. <laughs> Not true, my true, place true, true, true. because just like I, I said to my bosses at work when they wanted me to be a foreman, I'd fire everybody just about. <laughs> Yes, you will. And Dallas coming out swinging. Dallas got that Honda wagon, the Dagon. Yeah, you see that? These got her all looking nice. Good enough for I thought it was a sedan when he pulled out. Right? I'm like, wait a minute, he come out with a different car. Yeah. Man, they're just piling them in this corner down here. are being pretty strategic today. Yeah, I was they're not, just thinking that. Yeah, they're not. A little bit different than what it was yesterday. A little bit different in the mindset. 
Well, they had all they had all last night to work on them. And you got to go to another round after that. Right. Yeah. That's a good shot, 82 foot. Crack is nice and tacky, fast. Oh yeah. to get some open spots where they can open them up, get their good, get pick their shots. Oh, that was a yeah, 35 bet, pretty good when he hit the 23 D. Second order in here. No right turns in Demolition Derby, my friend. No. Because that happened twice. Exposer at whole passenger side. That hurt him. He's got no steering. Nimrod is sticking over in the corner. Great shot. Nose nose up the middle. Look at what he did to 87. Oh, Just junked it. Job. Yeah, he did. Team Slacker took out riding dirty in one shot in the middle of the arena. Yep. Wow, look at that front end. Oh, didn't see that one coming. Red flag. Must be lost a bump bumper over here in the corner. That was all done. I was going to say, we've lost at least half the field. Man. Yeah, there's just a, a flood of bodies going off the track. Here comes another one. Canadian team down. I think Canadian team's done again. Maybe they got one guy left down here, maybe. Possibly. No. One, yeah. Upstate Savages is, uh, they still got a full crew. Uh, looks like Bill for banging, I think, is down to two. Yeah, he got broken tie rod. State Savage is looking good. Yeah, they are. They're working real well together. Hibbert and Patterson. And they got, they get rid of the.
looking real good. Now what are they doing? Well, they could be pulling. Okay, those cars are going to the feature. Okay. Those teams are going to the feature. Okay. Upstate Savage is going to the feature. Brett Hubbard, Hibbard in 23X out of Bath. 13K, Ben Byington and Raymond Patterson in Upstate Savages. Then they're taking the other New York team. Okay, which is Herman's group. Yep. Zach Herman. No, not Dallas. Freddie White made it through? Um, the, no. Nope. I don't know. They're Patchen. just so excited out Patch, there. Look at these guys. Group. <laughs> They are happy, happy they're going to the feature. Uh, Tim Ke Patchen. Yep. 35D is Dan Cavallaro and Dave Stone in the yep. 80 out of Waterloo. They come out They come out with only two instead of three. And then um, looks like the slackers made it through, too. Okay, so did New York Nasty make it through? Yes. Okay, they have one run in there. Yeah, so they're in. 23D, Dan Mulliken, Charles Bosser, and Sam Bosser make it through. Good guys Well, which there. one's New York? I don't think it's New York Nasty. They weren't New York Nasty. New York Nasty's group. the purple and green. Yeah. No, they, they LMR didn't. LMR is they the. Didn't, yeah, they didn't make, the purple and green didn't make it. Fatty and backseat Bobby. Yep. They're um, out there. They're trying to catch the. We don't got a light. Backseat Bobby yeah, from uh, Airport it. Road. Sorry, Ben. Tell me when, Hunter. Man, oh man, what a heat, buddy. What'd you think about that? It was wild. Wild. Yeah. Oh, wild. Yeah. <laughs> what was the team strategy out there? With so many different other teams, I mean, did, did, was you with any other teams? Did you come here by yourself? What, what, what was your strategy? Out was, there? Wasn't really with any other teams. We just kind of just drove the pace. Nice. Just let it come to me and just. I got junk, but Timmy here ended up making it, so. Timmy ended up. Come on over here, Timmy. <laughs> Oh. How was it out there, brother? Oh my God, a rush! <laughs> uh, fired up. You guys, did you guys run here last year? First we time have, here? We have not. First team show ever. First team show ever. Now, when he was trying to give you, like, I, you know, tell you to watch this, did you see him trying to give you little signals up here on the berm? I thought he was waving. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was waving, folks. He thought he was waving. <laughs> Down like three times from up there, he's trying to get your attention. You guys were kicking butt out there, man. Yeah, thank you. No yeah. doubt. You guys have never ran together as a team this or not? Like, this is my first ever compact build, period. We've never ran together as a team. Never ran. Well, great job, fellas. Great fuck. Uh, great, job. great job. Great <laughs> job. <laughs> he caught him so. Good job. Well, caught him. Fatty and uh, old backseat Bobby. And we're right, glad to be back. Man, Fatty. we didn't get fired, Bob. Well, we did, but well, Ben rehired us. <laughs> that's, that's why we have Ben. And uh, what are we going to call that today when we send it back? Because we can't go upstairs. It can't go upstairs. <laughs> We're going to say that's the hog barn. The hog, hog barn. barn. Ben is in charge. Back to the hog barn. Oh, you guys oh, are great. We love these great guys. Great job. You're having too much fun. In, uh, Way to go, Frank. Those guys, that that, that, that that team they just interviewed, the two guys, that was a three-man team, and then only two two of the guys made it back out. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Dave, Dave Stone was didn't make it back out there. So they went out. Down one and still made it through. So that's that's why they're 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 pumped. They're pumped. They have all a good reason to be awesome. And uh, so now what are we what are we into now? After Pro stock that, Conti. Pro stock Conti. Then we take a break. Okay. So, uh, opening ceremony thing. Okay. And then we go to youth and then I Decker's up, this, which I'm cold right now and I really need to warm up. This Pro stock Conti I think is going to be pretty radical. Well, are, uh, yes, I would say so. I think so. Because there's some that are wanting to get rid of that junk yep. and some that are going to try to make it. How many yeah. are going to come back out? Uh, there's a bunch of them. There, was there? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to say at least 14. Yeah. Well, that many. Yeah. If they can get out, yeah, we may see 14. Um, what? Because there's some of them. I mean, there's some of them that are feature cars. I mean, like the Reaper cars, like Cody. Cody's. Cody's not going to be in a feature. Right. He's he's on a trailer. Dave Early, he's not. He Reaper, he put his on a trailer. 
Really? Um, yeah, he broke uh, broke some ears off the motor, and that Whoa. was that was the new Mopar yeah. motor. When you said ah. that, I was like, oh, yeah. man, that thing you was sick. You could hear the, the depth of it. And uh, but he's like balls behind it. You know? Yeah, I mean, he's got so he, he's got he's not coming back out. And uh, that was not Dave running it. That was Tracy running it. Oh no, shit. Yeah. Not many people knew that. Um, I didn't know that. I thought it was Dave. But, um, well, his name, Dave's name was on the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's supposed to. Some things. Gotcha. There's reasons why he didn't. Sure. Um, Burr. The torpedo would have been great, Ben, huh? I know. But <laughs> I've been asking him, did you bring we it? Don't, well, did we didn't. Bring actually, I looked at the weather and was like, I don't think we need yeah, it. Yeah, right? Actually, it would have. Probably set the trailer on fire. We got a lot of flammable stuff down the other That's end true. this time. <laughs> well, and ba backseat Bobby's loaded with gas from eating last night. So, oh, yeah, yeah, we would have been yeah. blowing up the trailer. <laughs> I'll say, hey. I'll, or the hog bar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The hog we don't need a torpedo. We got a, we got a, we got a, mo we got a mobile torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a lighter? Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> 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 we get Bill, we get Bill to film that. That'll be a commercial. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I did You're, have to give that, him a heartburn pill this morning. I wonder if it's all on that, fire. Dude, that's, a, that's like that's like, uh, that's like a survival tactic. We can, we, can, so we, can, so we can do a commercial on home survival tactics. Got, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, Bobby only knew. The <laughs> <laughs> hog barn. Oh, we better put the curtains down. It's getting cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We are just loving it today. We'll have to go. We'll have to, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, and it's only the first heat. I know. <laughs> Thirteen more to go, folks. <laughs> Woo! Thirteen more to go. We're gonna go get some of the deep fried Reese's peanut butter cups, and we'll all sugar up, and we'll be good to go for a couple hours. Then we're all gonna just crash. <laughs> if you're on your couch, nice and warm and cozy, with a drink in your hand, I envy you right now. Right? <laughs> I kind of wish I was cozy on the couch right now. Well, I got a suggestion. You go to the store now and buy more, because we're gonna be here for, we'll a be while. for a while. Put yeah. another log on the fire. You're gonna be here for a while. Then tomorrow wake up. Mm -hmm. Help your kids find that Easter baskets. Kids, are you good at finding your Easter baskets? Do you still hide your own eggs? Yes. Okay, just double checking. Because uh, most do when they don't remember stuff. <laughs> 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 Let's say my, my you know my kid laughs at me all the time because I can't remember anything. <laughs> my memory is shot. I'm with I'm with you, Decker. In. <laughs> sure. Uh, let's go to a video real quick, everybody. Let's do a little AB Cat Tech. Yeah, our boys AB Cat Tech. Let's let's. You got cats? Here's how to make money. Yeah, good money. I do. I do have. You do have. Skinny a got some. <laughs>
Track Shot Live fans. So day two, no mercy here. I'm gonna introduce you to my new stunt double, Fatty. And y'all be ready for day two, no mercy. That's great. Oh, that, that is great. That's My exactly stunt double, nice. Fatty, in the house. How'd y'all like that one, huh? That was a spur of the moment, and Bill said, we have to be on in half an hour. Yeah, Decker's yeah. like, you think we could do this? We talked about it last night, but... My mic's off. Okay, there it is. Yeah, there Thanks, we are. Man. Yeah, we're all good. Yeah, that was great with Fatty there, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Fatty is part of the Track Shot Live crew as well. Well, hopefully he comes back to work next week, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, he, we... he may not like Decker, but I'll keep him around. I don't think he'll get through the paperwork. Okay, yeah, I don't you're think right. He's going to get through the paperwork. Not but, but maybe so. Yeah, I don't that know. was great, though, man. Perfect. Me and Fatty, I love Fatty. Skinny and Fatty. Oh, my God. How are you going to deal with one but two now, Deck? I'm stressing out already. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. That was, I mean, the premise that you guys came up with out of Blue last night, it's like, yes, let's do that. Yeah. And, uh, that was just like really quick. We decided that we're going to do some. We're, we got some. As soon as we started doing it, then more ideas came yes, in. Yes. We're going to keep parlaying that. It's, one, it's so. fun. You know, the stuff we throw around here, you know, wild harebrained ideas, and oh, let's do a little something oh, with yeah. Dukes of Hazard and throw it in with Skinny and Fatty. And yeah. We would have done better, but we don't. Nine wire and. Headers and those, those little oh, bitches yeah. to try to go slide across here on these cars. Yeah. Well, next time we're going bigger. Like, next time Fatty's got to jump off a second-story building. Yeah, like in Minnesota when I just, you know, wanted to Jack Decker. But if not, I just choked him that really one, good. I love that one, He actually. still got <laughs> neck injuries from that. I, I apologize. Quick story. If you guys didn't see it, there's a video out there. <laughs> and we ended it with Skinny strangling me, you know, pretending to strangle me. And, okay, let's shoot it. We start shooting it. It's live. You know, we get to the part. Skinny grabs my neck like he's like, ah! I mean, he strangled me. If you watch the video, I I'm, I'm, can't breathe. I'm choking. And he's laughing like this. And Bill was laughing, too. It's not funny at all. It's like, Bill's this is acting. Laughing. Acting, please. Can we act? Scene. <laughs> but y'all see. That, Bill? It's one of my favorites. But still, yeah. but, man, Skin got a little violent. Got to love it, but. Thanks to our number one sponsor out there, AB Cad Tech, Burlington, Wisconsin, all over the United States from the East Coast, the West Coast, from the border to the Southern Coast. If y'all want to sell converters, get a hold of AB Cad Tech, get a hold of Skinny, Mike Ticks. We're all around the United States buying converters every day. But hit them up, folks, AB Cad Tech. So real quick, just so, so people understand that, there are buyers all throughout the country for AB Cat Tech. Correct. Like you, you are one of them. Correct. So if anyone is near Skinny or going to be somewhere where Skinny is going to be, he can buy cores from you. AB Cat Tech prices, which are killer. Amen. Yes, sir. You're absolutely right there, and Decker. The, and professional. The one thing I want to say, like, if you have a fly-by-night guy where you're a little nervous sometimes, or if you ever feel like you're getting shorted, you just don't trust it. Go to a company like AB Cat Tech. It's, it's a reputable company. It's been around for a long time. They do everything above board. Mm -hmm. So yes, when sir. you get your dollar amount, that's what the market is dictating on that day. It's not just what, what Jimmy out back in the shack felt like giving you today. Sure. No, it is. He'll. Sh it's shown. You can watch prices fluctuate and cats. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. They have an app and all different things. So please go on. There you got a website, right? Yep. Hi. AB Cat Tech. And what? You get right on there and find your local dealer or you get right you contact them and they send you Absolutely. your local dealer. contact yep you can get a hold of them and go from there and the new I, they're launching the new one you'll see a new the new uh add into the app and launching the website there more of that's to come and you'll see who all the franchisees are in your area and where you can go as we're laid out across the united states awesome but uh, as well i will be in california for jess williams red bluff and i am buying converters out there folks so out there on west coast Bring your converters to Red Bluff, Jess Williams Show, May 1st. Decker and I will be there. Buying your converters and bring you track shot Woo! live. We're going to have and fun just, all day. Just think, I'll, it'll be easy for you out there, Skinny, to because converters in Cali, I mean, they're probably just like they were like when they got put on a car. You'll be able to code read them oh. without a wire wheel. <laughs> You're absolutely you right. You know, it's <laughs> just like, <laughs> yes. you'll, you'll be like, geez, you know. Let me you, ask you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 30, 32. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of cats that the California emission cat is worth more money, right? Absolutely. Is Do every car in California have them cats? They got way better. They had to meet oh, really? the, the emissions so, of California. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so pretty much every cat out there are higher dollar than the ones you'd find in other places usually. Absolutely. So, yeah, if it's a true 
True yeah. West Coast, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So oh. once again, that's another key factor on a derby car. Interesting. Yeah, we you used see, to be where you bought it. Now it's going to be like, hey, it's yeah. got a Cali Cat on it. I'm getting, right, five, right. I'm getting 500 more. <laughs> yes, right. you know when yeah. that West Coast can comes east because like, <laughs> oh my lord, but Jesus, where that one clean. come from? Yeah. 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 Well, super clean, not only but the price of it, right? Yeah. Right. Right. And you see the switch material that away. You know that mm. is a better can that you really only see a big and dog set off a of, off a of Crown Vic. You only see that on the West Coast, right. truthfully. And I've seen them here, but that car was transplanted. Like, right, I bought a few at Capital City Carnage when I was there buying cores. And I'm like, oh, you got some good ones here. Best of the best. And he goes, what do you mean? I said, these cars came from the West Coast. He says, yeah, I got them shipped in from California. So there you go, buddy. Yeah. He couldn't believe the price of them cans on them cars. Right, bangers. But bangers, great money is right. As we say, bangers with sugar. But let me, let me just, everybody at home, right? And some people get mad, but if you're somebody that, don't have a lot of money in your pocket and you're trying to make ends meet Absolutely. and you're getting you know you're getting a, this is me i know my paycheck is going to be whatever let's just say and i remember the younger days i got 500 bucks coming in but i got 800 dollars in bills what are you going to do right mm -hmm. you need to take that 500 dollars and make it into 1200 mm -hmm. cores mm -hmm. cores yep. trust me go find look on marketplace go drive around do the old tom shivers leaving notes you see cars without plates in New York, if their plates aren't on them, you have to turn plates in as soon as it's off the road. Absolutely. When I see someone take a plate off the car, I take a note out of my pocket. I write, Josh Decker, interested in your car. Give me a shout anytime. By the time you get home, you're either going to get a text or a call. And there's days where I go out blasting, and I'll even tell my old lady, yep. phone's going to start ringing, babe, tonight. I got cars. I left a bunch of notes, and here they come. And I'll tell you, you, you cut a cat off a car. You take it to your guy. He gives you $1,200. Amen. Okay, he gives you eighteen hundred. He gives you seven hundred. You take a pile to him, and you see four or five grand. This is how you're paying your bills. This is how you're doing your hobbies. Yes, sir. And I've done it myself. Listen, I'm I'm from a poor area. I'm poor. I grew up poor. I've struggled a lot of my life. I love my core buyer, and I tell a lot of people this, right? Because my core buyer and me are old school. I can remember days that I was taking my family on a vacation. I didn't have. I didn't have a damn penny to get him there and back right i did wasn't making great decisions sure i took some cats in he hands me a chunk of change and i took my family on vacation and i've told him these stories and then i've had times where i've owed a bill that was like i need to pay this on wednesday i call my cat guy can i come on tuesday mm -hmm. he gives you your money yes, and you pay your bill get with a cat guy start corn uh, trust me right mm -hmm. i mean have you had them days I, 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 oh yeah Decker. <laughs> hey we've all been there man i remember where i come from man. Yeah, i'm man. still there you know and I'm always going to be there. But, you know, on the right vehicle, I'll say this, a 9802 Honda Accord, four-cylinder. You buy the right car, the, that right car, you and that cat's full on it. With you crushing it, coring it, and selling the converter, there's no reason you shouldn't do $1,500 on that car. Right there, 1500 bucks on a 9802 Honda Accord, four-cylinder. As long as the converter's full, you are legitly getting – Go wreck the car and get 1500 bucks back for it in the end mm -hmm. between cores and crushing it. And that's huge. Yes. A lot of guys don't know that. Or their guy is not taking care of them. They're going to ask, well, how do you get that money? Well, isn't your guy paying you that? No, my guy don't <laughs> give me that. I've got guys tell me that I'd give them $400 for a converter. That is a $1,000 converter. Wow. Look at Bill's aerial. You know? Yeah, that's cool. But, yeah, anybody Beautiful. around uh, Kansas, Missouri, anywhere, wherever I'm at, hit me up. I will shoot you straight. I will show you what you make. And the way I buy Decker, and I tell everybody this, I buy 100% right off my app, and I make 10%. That's well, fair. you, you got to make a living. Everybody still has to eat. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. But, you know, that's how I, I buy Decker. And everybody knows what it's worth. So you can say, okay, this can is worth $997. That's what I'm going to get. Skinny's going to pay me after 10%. Yep. yep. I'm walking away with 837 Yep. You know, uh, and that's awesome to know that. Not this, like I talked to a gentleman that came from uh, Massachusetts. His guy would tell him a price nine hundred. He'd show up to go sell the guy. He said six ten. Uh, he just well, roll him in to get him there, and exactly. then change the price. That's, I wouldn't even consider that guy. I wouldn't even sell him a converter. That's let, what, let alone deal with him. That guy needs AB Cat Tech. Amen. That's exact guy. Like if you if that's your core buyer, you need to go give with AB Cat Tech. Amen. That's Bill or Skinny drone. Salvage. What's up, Bill? In You're the drone. You're looking right at us in the drone. Love Check it. That in the out. hog barn. In the hog barn. Spinning wheels trailer. Checking it out. Sour. Tag that thing. Um, but one last thing I'll just on touch on that is yes, sir. my suggestion. This is my suggestion, right? If you go out and you're saying, Decker, you know what? I need some money. I'm going to go chase. Don't try to try to pay less than five or 600 bucks a car. That would be a safe zone. Like mm -hmm. I personally, minivans, I'll pay 600 on every minivan. Because yep. a lot of times by that, get the cats, take the aluminum rims off, stuff that thing with, with 
all different demolition derby stuff. I stuffed them. Yep. I'm way ahead. Just like you're saying, you're yep. 1,000, 12, 1,500. Mm, correct. Um, but, you know, like I go around and look for cars. And don't be don't be scared to pass. You know, you find a car and someone says, like, well, I want 1,000. What I say a lot of times, let me just teach some things here. Don't start arguing with people, okay? Do not make people defensive. As soon as someone gets defensive, they ain't going to sell you shit. Absolutely. What you need to say is, oh, you know what? This thing this thing probably is worth 1000 bucks, but my old lady would kill me. Yeah. My old lady would kill me. This is all I got. All I could do is $600. I mean, is there any, if you ever get a day where you get down to 600 bucks, can you call me back? Yes. And let that patient sit there because by the time you get in your car, that guy's like, you know what? 650 it's yours. And you're like, yeah, or whatever, or whatever. Yeah. You say, no, no, no I'm sorry. I got to stick to my six. But don't be scared to hit people at three and four. And when they say, like, no, nah, I can't do it. Okay, what do you got to have? But trust me, I get a lot of cars, and guys will message me and say, like, I already tried to buy that car. I just, it's how you tried to buy that car. Yeah. Okay. And I'm a salesman by trade, so I'll teach. I, I love teaching <laughs> sales. I'll teach you how to sell and close all day. I love closing. I was taught classically how to tra- uh, close by a true closer. Yeah. And uh, I love negotiating, especially buying cars. Like, God, I love negotiating. <laughs> well, again, Dagger, just like you, if y'all need drive units, sprockets, motors, any electric motors, I'm your boy. hit up Decker, yeah, y'all, for sure. I, I know there's plenty of guys out here that run stuff for industrial. Like, I'm actually you sell, a bearing Dak. specialist. Yes. And I know people are going to say that's even a job, but I can tell you, just send me a picture of a bearing. I'll tell you right what it is. That's my forte. Nice. Bearings. See? Conveyor systems. I'm into conveyors. If you run a, if you guys work in an ag plant, which I say half the country Amen. works in this stuff, you need a conveyor, you need idlers, you need bearings. I'm your boy. Motors, yeah. gearboxes, shivs. I'll even change speeds on them like an engineer. I can change speeds on your conveyor. Listen to this guy. Bah. Sell it, Decker. Come on. But, yeah, no, because plenty, <laughs> plenty of us are in that business here, Deck, yeah. you know. And you can be an asset because I'll, I'll tell you one story. Brad had an issue with uh, the grinding mill and the drum up there in AB Cat Tech in Burlington, Wisconsin. And, you know, I said, hold up, Brad. Let me get a hold of Josh because Josh, I believe, does this stuff. Yep. Boom. Josh had that chain done exactly what we're doing, mm-hmm. knew the size of it. Yeah, and I was, it was actually, 100 chain. I'm like, yeah, go this to, guy actually knows what go. he's talking you about. You can get it right now. Go right to this place. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And next you know, Brad, two days later, has this chain laying in there, and you fix his problem. And that was the best yeah, thing. Yeah, that was and cool. Baron, that was yeah, cool. it was cool. That. Thank you, Brad, for giving me a chance on that. Yes. Well, he said never <laughs> use you again. But I'll find one. I saved them out of one. I saved them out of one. Absolutely. No, you're a huge asset to people like mm-hmm. that and people you know you just say sales what do you do sell a car no no i'm industrial sales i, I like love to it. sell i love my job actually yes. i go to factories and stuff so i've been i get to go to slaughterhouses i get to go to where they make paper i get to all these cool places and mm-hmm. fix i don't do the work you, sure. s- you say hey i need these things yep. i'm like yeah so let me tell you how great my job is kids okay i go to the place and you say josh i need this bearing i call my office and i tell my people that work inside i say they need this bearing quote it and then I go back to work. Nice. It's so nice. I mean, kids, I, my dad used to tell me that salesmen, like, get a real job. He still tells me, get a real <laughs> job. I got a great job. I love my job. Well, you say salesman. I think about the Kirby vacuum man trying I to did give that. it, you know. You <laughs> did, Decker. Not rainbows. Kirby's. I sold rainbows for six rainbows, years. Rainbows, you did. I sold 660 of them. <laughs> I was number one in New York for two years. I was number one marketing A rainbow director. vacuum. $2,189, oh. my friend. Well, uh, it's like nobody believes it. I was a carny when I was a youngster. So, hey, have we done it all, Deck? You know? You, ben, what have you sold or what have you done besides work on industrial iron? He's, he's a baller. Uh, pretty much have done that for anything. Started out basically um, school, all up through school. I worked on family friend's farm for since I was 10 years old. And uh, got into the welding and uh, basically uh, went to BOCES and got out of school and started building dairy gates and headlocks. I did that for two years and then I transferred into and I've been with uh, a company that basically we manufacture and install in highway safety systems, guide rail, overhead sign structures. Uh, We're based all up down the east coast. And, if you uh, get, we if have our own hot dip galvanizing plant, and uh, wow, but yeah, I've been there for, well to be almost be thirty years. Nice, and Congrats, I got bro. yeah, and I got to work till I'm uh, I turned fifty in October, and I got to work till at least I'm sixty. So ten more, you're almost buddy. there, you're almost there. But again, so if anybody needs what. Oh, Matt highway! Hoppers, no, highway. Yeah. You, you drive down the road, yeah. you, know, you drive down the interstate, and basically whatever you see on the interstate, 
yeah. we make. When you hit the guardrail, yeah. Ben's name's you on the back side of it. Yeah, you can, you, you, you can, you can swear at me. Ben, and, uh, ah! <laughs> when the welds don't break, that was Ben. Yeah. Yeah. But and, Ben uh, can tell you angles, pounds, yeah. everything you yeah. need to know about metal. He's a structural yeah. engineer guru of that. But, uh, that's awesome. And, and it's in most people, that's a misinterpretation. It's it's easy to call it guardrail, but it's actually guide. Guide. Huh? Guide rail systems because guide it's rail. they're designed to guide. Yep. Yep. Um, you safely slower down the road. Well, I don't as you cross say safely. Yeah. I mean, I've I've gone down the road before with the cable systems and tractor trailers take out like a half a mile Amen, of it. Right? It's like man, but it's, it's a mess. In the way they're designed, they're designed to post, they're designed to collapse, and the cable to engulf your uh, wheels and axles and everything else. Okay. And that's how they slow you. Yeah, they get twisted up. That is for sure. Yeah. You know, looks like we got some uh, vital. Heat information yes. just delivered. We're still got to go through ProSoc Concy though. Yes, but yeah. So yeah, I've been in that, into that industry for a long time. But nice. I mean, if I could, if I could make the money that I make now in in uh, farming, I'd probably still be doing that. Yeah. Nice. Because I I'm, I'm not a indoor person. I'm an outdoor person, and uh, it's just I get a lot of joy and satisfaction. I used to on. Uh, just uh, just farm work. That's mm-hmm. me too. When I used to always wear my muck boots, Your mu- their <laughs> rare legs fit perfect in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know that was a young age, and uh, <laughs> I feel I feel every kid out there should have to do that form oh, of work when hundred. they're when they're coming up through. Just because it, it instills the greatest work ethic there ever is. Absolutely. And um, that's, I feel that's what the, we're lacking nowadays. Oh, yeah. I told Hunter, I used to feel. Okay, uh, is there no pro? I think there's no pro stock concept. I see use pulling up with helmets. Okay, hel- cool. This is use pulling up with helmets on. But I want to touch on I used to tell Hunter as a youngster, I used to f- fill feed bags. Yep. 50 oh, yeah. cents a feed bag, mm-hmm. filling them suckers in the day. And you're filling 80 pound seed yeah. bags. Yeah, that's a lot of work, we had, man. We had a cleaning mill. The, far, the yeah. guys I work for, we had a cleaning mill, and the, air, the area farmers would all bring their seed, their clover seed, and, yeah. and stuff like that. And we'd have to run the cleaning mill. And uh, that's, yeah, that was I was the bagger. You know, I was the bagger. So I was the I was great bagging. bin that never ended. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, that that's what. You know what? Work ethic is lost mm-hmm. yep. in this oh today's oh end. Right, guys? Oh, my God. It's so sad, my friends. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> There's only a few well, left, well, my don't get, don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it, it's it, the industry, all the industry and everything else has evolved, and the kids coming up through it evolved with it. So, I, we, yes. they're, they're, you know, we're, we're, you know, I could give my kids my phone, and they'll just be like, yeah, duh, uh, dad. I, you know, yes. it's it's the electronic age and, yeah. and all that. and. Uh, and we're, we're just old school, and I just won't uh, come to that. I'm not adapting to that, you know. No. What kid doing? Ben, you still do math on paper and a pen, don't you? Yes, <laughs> I love it. That the Common Core was a joke to me <laughs> when the kids came home with that. Amen. It's a joke. For that, FJB. <laughs> well, we got something. Must be Elliot's come up. Must be getting ready to do the anthem. I think it's opening ceremony. Okay. okay. I'm a little lost. On so we might here. shut up here in a minute. I think I, they're asking I for I just it. checked my phone, and, yeah, it was like, they're asking, please right? tell okay. Skinny to stop. Yeah. Okay. okay. My apologies, my fans. We'll be silent. <laughs> we can accommodate that request. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. some of us. Well, <laughs> here. Some people, they're already muted. They're, they're, it's already muted on yeah. their screen anyway. They don't even know that we're being quiet because they muted us. They're right. watching a silent film right yeah. now. <laughs> okay, so if youth compacts are up, I guess I'm going to bounce because I'm up after that. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we get to rag on you and dog on you. Don't Please not that much. No, I was gonna put your boy up here and let him tell you how you really do it. <laughs> he can. Yeah. I would worry about that, but <laughs> I mean, after ahead. this one, I think we need to get Trenton and Code up here. 
That'd be I a good time for that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because they, they, they yes. come from your yeah, area. Yeah, they come right that. out of your own house and shop, Decker. Uh, so it'd be nothing better to listen yep. to them. During that heat, it'd yep. be, yep, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yep. You know who's worse than my sons? My daughter. My daughter's got a mouth like she. Really? And, you know, every time we've been over, Bailey's no, quiet. She's don't a really one-timer, sing. man. She will rip you apart slowly. Just yep. one time in you, she's got, Love you it. know. Yeah. Amen. Mark, so, hey, Hunter, would you mind uh, flipping the camera just out to the track because no one cares what we're looking like. And I'm not wrong, so I sure. Yeah. Sorry. I got to stand up. <laughs> yeah. Get it off us, Hunter. A little stretch. Yeah, so Mark Elliott's out there talking, doing some opening ceremonies. Oh, so. oh per. I come to you today.
Awesome. All right, we're going to see what's up here next. If it is the youth. Yeah. Is it? I think because he, he said kids start your engines if I heard it right. So, okay, so uh, there's no concies for. All right, well, you know what, guys? If what? you guys do this. We're going to uh, wing it. No, I got I got them. Okay. I got youth. There. Somewhere in here. Close down. Youth wow. compact. All you, Ben. I'm it's gonna all go youth get ready. compact. I'll check with you guys later. I'll throw somebody in here. All right, yeah. All right, well, here we go. We got the youth compact rolling out. Tub Cody and them, they're coming out when you run. So I'm going to run uh, skin. I'm going to run, just run down through. And we got 40 of Chase Clems out of okay. Beach Lake, PA. You got 69 Hunter Wheeler out of Tawanda, PA. 3T Justin Tem Tempke out of Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Missouri. The Cape. Yep. Number 10, Skyler Riley out of Smith Mill, Smithville, Ontario. 75X, Ethan Clifton out of Carlton, Kentucky. 53, Todd Myers out of Friendship, Maryland. 7K, Lane Woodyard, Woodard out of Owenton, Kentucky. Uh, 19, Terry Abbey out of Salzburg, PA. 53, Derby Joseph. Derby Joseph. Out of Rockingham, Virginia. Perfect weekend to be running. 70, Oliver Ross, Franklin, PA. 8E, Brandon Everhart, out of Williamsburg, PA. 27, Salem Rupert, out of Avonmore, PA. 27X, Ethan Smith. 73.5, Kinley Myers, PA. 52, Danny Dular, out of Grafto, Ohio. 62T, Tanner Nyhart, out of Culver, PA. And J.R. Jason Delardo, Del, Delardo Jr. out of Ohio. We got youth. Youth. There's a 17 youth drivers on this list. Here's some bad in, cars. Uh, I tell you what, these are some pretty uh, good-looking cars for youth class. These kids drive better cars than I do. Yeah. <laughs> And the, it's never a dull moment with these guys, the 100%. No. Everybody can agree that these guys are, they're, <laughs> they're, 
I don't think they know exactly what, some of them don't know exactly what their next move's going to be. Some of them actually do have game plans. Oh, but some of these kids, I watch them, I'm like, you've been watching your father drive for oh, 10, yeah. 10 yeah. 12 years. They're so patient. Cody yeah. Wood, Young Wood joining us here. Yeah. What's up, Skinny? Our What's man, up, man Young Wood. And we're going to have... Trent's going to come out, too, when his yep. dad's running. Yep. You come out when dad's running. Yep. I'm getting up, and Trent and you and Skinny going to be here when yep. Josh is running. Because we're going to tag team your dad. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> you guys know the bill. I can get him back for all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he was actually yeah. did not want you guys up. He was like, ah, I don't yeah. know about that. Oh, no. We got you now, Decker. Well, I'll say his famous words. This is the first time I've seen you derby in the sin, like, tw since 2020. There <laughs> we go. Green flag out. All right, here we go. Let's see if these guys are – Gonna get her done quick, or they're just gonna. Oh, I think they're gonna get it done okay, quick. Okay, some of them, some of them got oh, passengers. Some of them got, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> that guy's head was in the passenger seat. There's you some see it? Big hits out there. Myers right here in front yeah. of. Yeah. Putting down some big hits. The 53. 69 with a shot too. That Red Hunter flag. Wheeler. Okay, well, red flag. Got a red flag going. Shut it down, guys. These guys get they're this youth class. They get a good bumper. They get good. Bu they got a decent bumper plate to put on to hold the bumper on. They're allowed to crease the backs. Yep. Yeah, look at that, Ben. They do have a, what is about 10 inch bracket. It's got to be. Yeah, I'll love at least. Yeah. Oh, that's huge on a W body too. Oh, it covers absolutely. up that big hole up front. Well, instead of shoving it all inside and hiding, it just gets put on the outside. This, this <laughs> one, this one, this one faces over his skin. He's got, he's got <laughs> that seventy-four bumper on the front of it. That is, that looks like a seventy-four shove bumper, don't it? Yeah. That, 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 uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's off in Pallor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They are working. This FYM car over here trying oh, yeah, to have. get something off it, or is that the bumper knocked off it, or what? There, there's no bumper on the, the okay. 27 right in front of us. In, um, I wonder if it came off and then now it's under underneath something here. What do they, what, they got a fire or something going? Hmm. I mean, they got a few things going on with that car. Yeah, we got the firemen over Our there. Our officials were really working that bumper. Like around a pump jack over there. <laughs> pump jack. <laughs> or no, bumper jack. <laughs> Old school. Yeah. When you, what's the slot for in this bumper? Only if you knew, kid. I know it. I know it. They're pulling on something in front of the car and reaching inside. I think it's stuck in gear. They can't push it back. That's what it looks like. They're reaching for the shifter. can't really see on Alex's angle either what's going on. He's adamant. He's telling them exactly what he's listen to the kid, dude. He probably built the car himself. He knows all about it. That's the other thing that's wild. You talk to some of these kids and they built these whole cars oh, by yeah. themselves. Oh, yeah. Weld it, everything. Yep. Yeah, I take pride in it, man. My kid used to help me. Now when the car's done, oh, you here's a fire up. I'm going outside. Yeah, I'm driving this one. <laughs> that sounds like Trent. Trent does the same thing. Oh, yeah, thing. Trent, same way. Okay. <laughs> he comes out. Oh, you guys put a motor in my car? I'll stand here and watch. <laughs> I ain't learning. Oh, God. His excuse is the engine crane. <laughs> Got to stay away from the engine crane. Uh, is that what you call it in the Northeast, an engine crane? Yeah. Engine Not a horse. cherry picker? <laughs> I, we call it everything, but cherry pick, cherry picker engine hoist. Yeah, I love it. Everybody's engine got crane. their own horse. What? 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 I don't know. Come on, guys! Is something that bad could just get steer? Is it bumper up through his floor? Did maybe? a bumper? Yeah, maybe. Did a bumper come up through? Yeah, that's a good chance. Scary, scary, right there. Yeah. Yeah, they don't want to take the kid out because he's still running. So, well, if a bumper came in through the door that far, then his door is opened up with a hole that big. That's kind of like. It looks like it went through wheel well and up. Go up. 
It'll go up or in? The bumper go up or in? The bumper went between the firewall and the, the tire, and it's this close to the driver. It went through the firewall. It's wow. On top of his battery and everything. Go get a picture of it, please. Yeah, do something, Fatty. Well, here's the situation. If it's that unsafe a situation, then you, you yeah. I mean, it, it, and this is just me talking personal experience and, and uh, official wise, I, I, you're out of the car. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It's it's like you were just saying. If he has a hole that big in his firewall. Yeah. He catches something on that track and sends it a cup or something from his uh, an axle is coming right through that hole. Mm -hmm. And next time he might not be so. So lucky. Fatty's out there. He's gonna go out there. He's our he's our investigator, investigative reporter. We just <laughs> sent out on the track. He's going. He's gonna go do a photo op and uh, bring us back a pic. Oh yeah, he's no, like he's getting another angle. He's paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> he's our he's our derby paparazzi. He is TSL yep. channel. That's the fastest I've ever seen track shot. Man, we got that's investigative. Have him put in front of the camera. Yeah. Fatty, can you put in front of that camera there to show him? There. Hey, no, Fatty. No, no, the Fatty, other one. that one. Thank you. Wow. Look at that, fans. Woo. Oh, timed out. Wow. Yeah. That's scary. And it came through. Oh, look at that. Hey, wow. They got, they got it out. They got it out. Nice job, Fatty. Thank you. Look at that, fans. That's scary. You think of an axle, but how about a bumper? A bumper. All the way through. And that's the bumper right yeah. there. She right had some front jagged edges on it. That's what got that sucker to go through. Huge. Can you imagine okay. looking over? Thank you, Fatty. You? We're getting, wow. ready, getting ready to go to action here. Officials got to get off the track. That other one was leaking fuel, that wagon, I believe. They're okay. Getting, yeah, that's why they took him off. That one's leaking fuel. They noticed it out there, and I think we got a fuel spill on the track now, guys. Yeah, we got a fuel spill they got to cut out. Yeah, I agree. And back to that, I agree. Seven out of ten of them converters out of those Hondas are usually hollow, by the way, folks. Oh, yeah. And that is the <laughs> truth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so, you know, yeah, they sound good, but <laughs> a lot of them I bought them are telescopes. And a lot of issues with Hondas, head gaskets. Yeah. Head saying, gaskets are, those, are notorious for wiping out converters. Are those the ones right off the manifold? No, those were the bellies. The bellies. 98 to 02, straight 02. I couldn't remember. OGs. Oh, and they look just, them guys are running them Hondas, boy. They like just holding on them. Oh, yeah. Even on the street cars. Oh, yeah. My homies back there, KB. Fast Fab and Furious. Shop. They fast and furious. That was the worst thing for imports. Amen. Because <laughs> everybody thinks they're in fast and furious. When I see them meet them on the street, they think they got an eight second fast and furious car. Ben, did anything happen with the uh, Mustang that we looked at, or still there? No more. Nothing happened right to it. On? No, he's just it's it's it just it's, it's gonna like we talked. It's yes, just sir. it's just gonna sit there, yes, you know. Sir. And and I don't know. Like I said, I just passed the I passed the torch to. Yes. Uh, yeah. And whatever happened happened. Yeah. I was just. All right, back green. All right, there we go. Oh, good shot coming in. Oh. 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 27 just got rocked. She took man. the head or he? Oh, right on the passenger door. Yeah. Wow. Whoever's in that 27 car passenger is a trooper. Take, she just took a beating. Yeah, he, she, I can't tell what it is, but. Oh, her right. head came out the window. <laughs> oh, my God. It's got to be a girl. Took a nasty shot. Yeah, she did. Her whole helmet was out the window. Well, whoever, oh my God, another one. Whoever's driving that car has to get that car pointed north and south in a hurry. Well, that's the one that lost the front bumper. Yeah, this east and west ain't gonna cut it. Yeah. Getting teed off on. These kids are setting the pace for the day. They yeah. got her moving. Oh, big shot, 75. Oh, I let off it. 
I thought the PT Cruiser was going to get it. Oh. oh. Is that like an old Dodge Dynasty out there, that orange one? Oh, no, like or is it an old uh, Century, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, these kids are setting the pace for the rest of the day. Yeah. It's Lennon Eek. Yeah, you may be right, Youngwood. Yep. My neck hurts watching these kids. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, my God. That passenger, how do you think they feel in that one? Oh, my God. That PT Cruiser, man, they're pretty stout. Yeah, look at the back end of that thing all jacked up. Another yeah. shot. Great wheel shot. 6-9 putting on the 11. Hold the flag. Done. Done. That 7, that K is looking pretty good. I love it. This is the way the youth should oh, be. Oh, big driver. That's what I'm saying. The, the, the youth class for youth class. Oh! The, oh, he got on the brakes. Good job. Good job. Good uh, job. But, yeah, Ben, right? These Man, guys. if they were all like this red flag. Whew. If they were all like this, boy. Shoot. But just their their presence of, you know, they're, they're pulling up. They're, they're pulling up, lining up a good shot. Pulling up, lining up a good shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not just out Great. There. Great track presence by that, it was 53, or, no, not 53, it's the guy with the red hood. I yeah. can't see his number, but he had a shot lined, oh, lined up. up. And he pulled a 75, pulled the yep. door on him. Yep, he had a shot pulled up perfect for a front wheel shot, and the door got there, and he got on the binders. Which is a great awesome, job. Because he would have caught that door with the corner of that bumper and peeled it wide open. The corner of that bumper was going right at that driver door. See, that's where it's rough, too, because I, these kids, you got to give them credit, too. These kids, it's 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 one thing when you don't have a passenger in the car. Now you put a passenger on the passenger side, you know. And it might be some of these kids' first derbies, you know. And it's hard enough missing one person. Now you try not to hit two. Oh. Red flag. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> These kids want to stop. Go. They're like, not only we want to stop. <laughs> I want to keep rolling. Um. PT's cruiser's still looking good. They're stout up front, very stout. But he's got to, he's got to, he's got to break the habit when he watches this back or watches the video back. His parents or whoever's videoing, he he keeps turning. And looking over his left shoulder, sticking his head out the window. Mm -hmm. Oh, bad. We still got quite a few cars left, too, I think. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Over Six, half the field. seven, eight. Half the field stuff. <laughs> yeah. And there's some well built stuff left. Oh, yeah, this one in front of me. Nah. I think it's 27X. He's driving smart. No front bumper, still rolling. Oh, 27. Yeah. Oh, here comes 69. Oh. Ew. Hacking him in. Good shot. Yeah, he cornered him. 73 and a half. Is that that 11X again? 73 is dragging in the back. Nineteen down there working on the fifty-three. That's who had that earlier that shot. The number we're looking for. They hit it on the brakes. That was that number nineteen. Here goes a nineteen. Rupert's still going twenty-seven. He's yeah, going. They're, they're they taking a licking and kept on ticking hey, right man. there. They don't care there's no bumper on the front of that. No. No. <laughs> Passenger. She's reenacting that one hit. <laughs> Golly. They're if checking, I, checking the back. If I was that passenger on 27, I'd say, you need to start driving harder so the inertia goes into the other cars. So my I might have gas leaking. Telling her to drive out to the other end. Yeah, you got gas leaking. Yeah. Tank. Internal tank. Good job. Yeah, excellent, excellent. They fall. That's, 
Tell you what, they took a licking and kept on ticking. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They get the Energizer Bunny. Sometimes you're the nail. Award you're for today, and that's that's fitting since it's Easter. Yep. The Energizer yeah. Bunny. Sometimes you're the nail, and sometimes you're the hammer. And yeah, they, they, were, they were the nail that time. <laughs> and that car just kept rolling. That was, they were the they were the pole barn nail on that one. <laughs> 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 They had like a two pound sledge was getting into that one. Might have been an odd mistake. <laughs> Man. Kudos though, because they didn't give up. No. They didn't give up. They kept going. Hold on, they're still red. No. Yeah, they're still red. Hold up, guys. Hold up. They didn't like something at the other end. <sighs> These kids are antsy. Oh, they want to get out down the other end. All Clemos out there, 40. That's a familiar name for spinning wheels. Yeah, oh yeah. Chase. Yep, yep. They got him as Clems. Oh. Yeah, here on their shows. Yeah, there's the young driver that literally builds his whole car himself. Yeah. He built his, his stuff's not ha half no done. no he's he's like I said he's doing all the welding grinding yep mountain tires changes the motors and yeah, they're getting some uh, they're getting some good speed up out there 19 with it. oh he let off he had a good tire shot lined up. We're starting to lose cars fast. Yeah, right 40, he's, he's having a tough time. He can't get it refired. O'Reilly, he's nose pretty good, but he didn't right. care. He, he said he, he, just yeah, he, gave her, he gave her the beans, that one he did. I think he might be stuck in forward. Oh. Well, he gave him a little help. That 19 is sending it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it is. That 19's looking good up front. Oh, just keep packing them in there. Now oh, he's seeing them fall off, so he's like, okay, it's time to go. 19 does not care who you are. He's going no 20, doubt. 27X is, he's driving his race. So he's not letting anybody shake him. He's been in this little corner by himself the whole derby. He's, he's driving his own race. He's not letting somebody come up and put a shot on him. He doesn't go any, no faster, no nothing. He just has his own. He just sits in that corner and waits for somebody to come by. In the front of that camera, he's looking real good still. Cruiser's still looking really good, too. Looks like we're down to five. 69, 20, yeah, 50, 25, 69, 62T, 19. In our 27X. Yep, five cars. In... Just about every one of them, the front ends are still real stout. Yeah. Oh, great wheel shot. Oh, back to that 27. 19. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what you got to do to him. He's, he's protecting that front really well. If you can get to the front of that 27, you well, might these, have a chance. These are like... Two of the best cars that are going to start to square off, it looks like. I think he poked 27X and he's. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Tire shot line. Oh, Look at driving. that. Smart. Smart. The front of that 27 is, still looks really good. Oh, yeah. 
but the pack of them things are just hard. <laughs> oh, man, they just pack in. I'm waiting for that PT Cruiser to turn it around and start using the nose on that. Because they're no, they're no joke up front either. Well, in his head, he might have to. You might be thinking I better wait until there's like two, you yeah. know, two or three. If he starts picking a fight with, with somebody with the front, then it's going to be. Because his 27X would clear his front bumper. Oh, yeah, now. he's high. He's a higher than everybody out there. Yeah. But at the same time, you got to be careful with that because. He might clear him and get himself hung. Yep. But as it takes, all you got to do is clear him enough to poke the radiator. Yep. Oh, that was a, he leaned that wheel over on that shot. That 69 got him. Like it had laid right over oh, there. Yeah. He's still moving around pretty well, though. That tire laid all the way over like that. Uh-oh, he's going to get himself in a tough spot here. I tell you what, for it only being the third heat, this track has come in nice already. Oh, yeah, Josh is up next, he said? Next, oh, boy, yeah. that's going to be a fast track for them bone stock cars. Yeah. And unfortunately, there's a lot of stock 4.6s in this heat. They will see the run forever. Yep. And he's got an old wore out 425. But yeah, they didn't put much water on this track and they're cool. it's nice and cool here today and it's just holding holding the moisture just right. Big shot coming. Oh, well, 19 switching it up on them. Yeah, here they all come. Here they all come. They're like, well, we gotta get a hold of these guys. Get away. Yep. Smart driving, do a loop, come back, see what happens. He looks like you out there, Ben. Go drive a loop, come back. Oh, he's going to, ooh. 19 was looking good. He's getting twisted up in there now pretty good. Yeah. Good battle, man. Uh, 69 is getting hot. He's starting to break up. No friends out here. No. no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, he missed him. Oh, good, good shot. Here comes, comes 27. 27. He's getting a tire shot. Yeah, he wants a. Oh, oh he, he rolled almost himself. rolled himself. Careful, though. I mean, I'm not a camp compact guy, but it seems to me you get up in the air and you're on the gas and come down, them CVs might go snappy snap. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. All 27 stalled. All oh, he refires. All good driving to get your. Stick that trunk out. Yes, sir. Big Dog Hector checking in. You are absolutely right, buddy. Got to stop the bumpers on the track. Oh, 100%. Guys are starting to get hot. Oh, there oh. it is. There it is. He's been waiting for that one. Yep. Look at the front of that 27, still looking good. He pushed the front of that 19 way back. He stalled though. Yeah, he stalled down here too. I wonder if he's getting hot. He's been pumping steam for a while. I think he got her fired up now. Fire. Nineteen's on fire. Take it easy, take it easy. He wasn't worried in there. He's got his fire suit on. Yeah. Hey, at least that kid's smarter than us. He's got fire suit on, back brace. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. I want yeah. to walk by the time I'm 40, not like the rest of these guys out here with a lap belt on, no neck brace. <laughs> This red flag now at 69 needed. He's been hot. 
blowing a lot of blue smoke. Hey, great job. Great job. He got down to fourth. He, I think he might be a contender for the Reaper Award if they have one for this class. That yeah, I'm not she look at him. He got shorts oh. on. <laughs> <Sweatshirt. Rubber boots. laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He had the old warm up pants on. I imagine TJ has a Reaper Award for this class, and if he does, that 19 is a contender. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, here we go. We're down to uh, the 69, the 62T, the 27X. Down to three. I just hope 27's not. Oh, I thought he was buried. He got it. He got it fired up right there at oh. the end. Here he comes. Yeah, he's got he got a lot of front left. He drives this, I mean, he's got a lot of cars. Here left. comes a shot. Oh! Double. You heard that one. Yeah, he just boxed the steering on that. Wow. If he drives this smart, it, he's got it. They're both hot. It, yeah, hot, that hot. PT Cruiser's hot, hot now. He's circling out. They don't even know where he is. No. They don't know where he is. He's sort of circling. Here he comes. Here it comes. Oh, good tire shot. Yep. And by the time they see him, it's too late. They don't have enough power to get out of his he's way. Stall he's, he's stalling out a little bit. He got her fired up now, though. He's had, he was pumping steam for a while there, and he stopped, so he might be out of water. Oh. Every time he lets off the throttle, it's stalling on him. Those guys in that 69 got to be going, oh, he's going to come get us with another one. At this point, you yeah. have to feel so helpless. Here it comes. Oh, oh what a finish what a shot. shot. Stalled again. Oh my gosh, you imagine right now, 69 won it. This would be like the Cinderella store. They've been limping around for almost half the heat. He got her turning over. He's got her turning over. She's just not firing. I don't see no black smoke. It's light smoke. Sixty nine's gonna pull it off, I think. Yeah. Like I said, they've been limping around for about half the heat. Uh oh, he's he's puffing a little bit. He's puffing some out. There it is. Oh, I <laughs> almost had it. He's gotta be close to the sixty seconds. And inside that car, don't it oh. feels like it feels like it's about only twenty seconds. Yeah, absolutely, Ben. They're going to come say, oh, one minute. Was he thinking. running a great race? Oh, Look at this. man. He went for the How kill. the bumpers so, have turned. Wow. So the Great job, man. So Congratulations. the 69, a Hunter Wheeler out of Tawanda, PA. Hunter Wheeler, took, what a took name. Took first, and then the 27X, Ethan Smith. We don't know where he's from. He's blank. He's so Ethan Smith, great, great race that you just ran. I'd want to know where he's from because I wouldn't want to go to Derby that he's running. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Great job, guys. Awesome job, awesome. guys. I talked to that kid and his dad yesterday. He was pumped. He couldn't wait to run. And uh, we got Bobby and... Uh, was Bobby afraid to get his shoes dirty or something? He, he stopped right there. Who? Where? Bobby. He stopped right there and Fatty took off without him. Oh, I think he's trying to keep, bring him back this way. He's going to bring him back this way. Ben, did you bring the heater? No, actually, I didn't. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. I won't lie. 
The cold is setting in on my bones. Yeah. You know, us large people have stuff called fat back. And, you know, it takes about seven hours for it to get chilly. Yeah. And about once it's in there, it takes 14 hours for it to get out. And that's the way I feel right now. Looks like we got uh, Fatty down there. Ready, Hunter? Man, oh, man, boys. How was that finish? That was great. Let's turn around here. How would it feel down there when it was coming with it down to the two of you? Oh, I, I, I got so excited getting top three, and I don't know. It just – I asked Dad, he got top three. He's like, someone's down, we're top three. I'm like, oh, my God, I just got to get first now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are down to three cars. Yeah, I was time, counting them. Time yep. to turn it up a little yep, bit, huh? Yep, yep. That's awesome. Just first time guys down here? Or? First time here. That's awesome. That's yep. awesome. How old are you, buddy? 13. 13. Nice. Where are you from? Uh, Twanda. That's awesome. That's awesome. That had to be one of the best shows of the weekend. It was hard hitting. Like, is that what you came out here to do? Is just I, put put it down? Yeah, I wanted I wanted to get a couple like full half track shots, and I think I accomplished that. I got some good shots. I think you accomplished that too, young man. You were putting it down. <laughs> ah, that's awesome, dude. Right. Are you gonna keep doing this? Like, did that just stoke you up? You're gonna keep doing this now? Yeah, we're gonna make, probably make a trip down here every year. <laughs> Try to hit the V8s next time, I hope. Oh, go step it up to V8s next time. Yeah. All right, well, hey, congratulations on everything. Thanks for coming down. Uh, Man, Bob, what about that heat? That that was probably one of the hardest hitting uh, heats of the weekend, was it not? It was very, very fast paced. These kids are wild. I, if that is anything what we're going to see tonight, it's going to be incredible, incredible. <laughs> what do you got? Incredible. Go? Oh, whoa, 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 hold on a oh, second. Oh, whoa. It's from Skinny. Wow, Skinny. <laughs> Wait a minute. It says that we're we're too natural. Read the script. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, backseat Bob. Hi, Fatty. Did you enjoy that? Yes. Welcome to Dead Man Two. We're here all night. Skinny Salvage, three ninety nine. Um, can you help me with this one? I don't. You don't I don't know if it doesn't know how to spell. I'll zoom in. I love it, it says back. Back no, you hog, put him up to it, didn't you? Oh, back to the hog bar. <laughs> back to you guys. Uh, back Going to you, Bobby. Back, uh, back to the hog bar. Right back to Skinny. Oh, I oh, love you guys. guys. <laughs> Dude, that was classic. That was, that They've was been good. over there for an hour. No, you scripted that. <laughs> They've been over there for an hour practicing. Yeah. No wonder oh, why. So dirty funny. dogs. So uh, funny. If I tell you what, after listening to that kid dog. <laughs> that was legit, my friend. <laughs> wow. Fatty and Bobby, way to do it. That was legit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bill, you did it. <laughs> nice. That was classic. Oh, boy. So, yeah, it looks like next on the list, yeah, we're going to get uh, – we're going to get, I think, Trent up hey, here. Hey, Trent, come here, buddy. Yeah. Come on. Skinny, I'll tell you what, though. After that last so heat. I'll be right back, Ben. All right. All right. Here, jump in with Trent, jump down then down here. You're sitting in with Dad. Oh, wow. Yeah. Trent, we're going to bring you on. We got young Colt in here. We got Trent in here. Trent, I remember when you were one of the little 13-year-old kids out there. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I tell you what, though, Ben, I can't wait watching that kid and how excited he was. Oh, he's stoked, dude. dude. I can't. My, kid, my son's two years old. My stepdaughter seven. I can't wait for. Um, I just bring your microphone in a little bit, yeah. Trent. There you go. I, Hunter's Hunter's keeping you in line. All right. Okay. I can't wait until <laughs> I can do that with my son, though. Build with him and see that excitement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I burned mine out early, so he I mean, didn't. He don't want nothing to do with it. That's also what I'm afraid of. You know, last night the, the fiance sent me a video of him excited. Yeah. Watching the derby, seeing me on TV, but it's yep. like. You're too, man. You're addicted. I hope you're not burned out. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Trent's burned out, I think. Trent, oh, you're I'm burned not. out. You're I'm just getting started. You're getting, you get, just about? getting started. But, uh, hey, it looks like we got the next heat's going to be your dad's heat. Yeah, he's going to. How do you think he's going to do, Trent? What do you I think? Don't I don't know. Honestly, I feel like he's going to take two hits and then start hurting and take a break. Oh, 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 oh okay. His All right. His man muscles are hurting him. His man muscles are hurting him. <laughs> Trent. You know your dad's gonna watch this. Oh, he's gonna. He's so right. he's right watching it right now. He's right watching it right now. He's watching it right now like he did out in Minnesota in the minivan heat. He's out there watching. He can prove me wrong. We'll see it. You know, we'll see you're calling him out, Trent. You're calling him out. Trent says, Dad, you're gonna prove me wrong. 
I will say this. I think Trent's brought more trophies into the shop than, than his dad has in the last few oh, years. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wow, Great man, feet. you guys are brutal. I got to get my shots back. Anyone watching I know, Josh's man. Facebook live videos? No, I got to get my shots <sighs> back. You guys are brutal. I think this is the first time he's derbied in what, since like 2019? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid now to buy my car back and run it. You guys are going to kill me when I'm out there, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, yeah, it, this next heat, it, it, it looks like there's 14 cars in it that we have on the list. 14 full-size bone stock V8s on this track. They're going to tear stuff up fast. They guys don't care at all. They got two or three days to do these builds. Trent, you still got time. You could go out there and tell your dad, let me show you how it's done. No, nah, because then he's going to start talking smack about me, how I drive. Well, hey, you know, that's, you know, you, you, you gotta if you get you got if you give it you gotta be able to take it right. Yeah, you're right. You're you right. know so, but I think you'd have fun on this track. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I wish I could run on this track. Hopefully, I win that mercenary car. Hey, you, Cody's oh. got a two car. Cody, so your car? You Where get gully. It? You get Gully's two car trailer, and then you haul Josh and Trent down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All <laughs> <Haul> them down. <laughs> Josh and Trent get to run, run everywhere. I just haul them there. Like, yeah, it's a cool track. I wish I could run on it. Cody gets Cody's trailer service. Yeah. That's basically yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah basically. We let you work at our house. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to see the electric bill after some of the months. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. But um, what do you think so far this one weekend, Trent? been all right you've been our you've been our official apparel dude out there you uh, and in in uh, hunter it started out hunter and you hunter then just, then hunter i think hunter hunter got he he came to the trailer no hunter got at a first I, at first i thought it was because of hunter hunter had a his, he came sporting shorts and t-shirts and yeah. you know in uh and then he stole a golf cart. Yeah. Now he's and then somehow he got promoted to do that. Now, yeah, Hunter Hunter came up the ladder and got the apprentice program and think smarter now. He's harder. he's a switcher and he's in the he's in the comfy recliner chair right now. I he's he's sporting job. it, dude. He's the youngest guy here and has the best chair. Yep. But uh, no. What do you think so far, Trent? It's been nice. You know, the weather's been holding out for us. Yeah. Track looks yep. great. Honestly, yep. we were a little worried about it since it was so wet when we got here. But honestly. It's all coming together great, and everything's been going real well. How do you think? Seriously, though, how do you think your dad's gonna do? Is he gonna, be, is he gonna stand on it and be done in two shots? I feel like he'll stand on it and be done in two shots. Yeah. I don't think he cares enough. You know, I think he's just gonna send it. Which of course. Yeah, but you know, if if he goes out there, if he goes out there, and I I can I can see his mindset right now. He's if I get, I'm gonna go out there and junk stuff, but you know what? If he goes out there and stalls or something, or gets hung up, and the next thing you know. Well, then the next thing you know, it, there's only he looks around. And it's like, oh, there's only six cars left. His mentality, I mindset's going to be like, okay, I'm going to try to win this now. And I reminded him he hasn't paid his fuel bill yet, so he better win some money so, he has, <laughs> so I can get home tonight. <laughs> but hey, I'm going to jump up. Skin's going to sit in with you guys for this heat. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> skin, it's going to be a rough heat. These guys, these guys are going to turn. <laughs> All right. They're going to be rough. I love it. Nothing better than sitting in there with the two instigators and myself. Oh, I gotta Daddy get, Decker. I got to get my shots back. I get torn apart. On oh, yeah. yeah he no. To do this, hey, Trent, it's okay what you guys say and do. Just keep it PG. All right. So, Hunter, I lost my volume. Hello, you got me? Okay. Um, when did y'all plan to start building this car? Sunday night. I was going to say, not long ago. I can't hear, I can't hear Cody. Can you hear me now? I got you now. Okay. Sun Sunday night. Yeah, no. Awesome. We put this thing together fast. Josh Josh called me Saturday on the way home from the expo uh -huh. and said, I'm pushing that caddy in the garage. I completely forgot about this car. It's been a yard so long. I stopped up Monday after work. He had it all stripped out. Our buddy Jerry welded the bumper on. I put the seat bar in, welded the trunk shut. We left. All he had to do was run the wires and weld the door shut. Tuesday it was done. Nice. You got to like that. Those quick, easy builds right there, guys. That's why I'm having a lot of fun in that. You know, we got to, like Josh, got a yard full of old iron, yard full of cars, and what are we doing? We're grabbing these 80 and newer metrics, and we're burning them up. Why? Because they're fun. You're finding them running, and you can strip them and go derby. Yes, yeah, so this has a stock, stock 425. Nice. Big oh. block. 
All day. With the quadrajet on it. All day. And you slap some headers on her? I slap some headers on her, and there she goes. Headers, Amen. bumpers, 700s all the way around, and rod shifter. I did see the 715s all day. This is a 1995 build. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Trent, what did you do on this car? Nothing. Nothing. I do whatever he tells me to do. Just the small stuff. Well, why do you got to be told? You're just well, supposed to. You should know, know that you got to pull the windshield out. You have to weld the doors on it. Oh, no, Trent, Trent helped. He put the roof sign on. Oh, oh yeah. that's right. Oh, yeah. Clean up I, all the glass my dad broke in the back of it. <laughs> I believe your sister did more than you then. Oh, oh crap. No way. No way. <laughs> she doesn't even come outside. I'm what? helping strip four What do you mean? Cars. I seen Bailey had her name all over it. Uh-huh. She know, painted, oh, pa she Bailey painted it <laughs> and put Trent's name backwards. Yeah, because I do not. <laughs> I love you, Trent. No, we have a great time. You know, we all went to Maine last year, man, and we had oh, a blast up there. Trent, you're ready to do it again, ain't you? Oh, yeah. I've already got my car ready, man. It's already up there waiting. Nice. I already got the car in Skohegan, Maine, waiting. How about you, Youngwood? My van's up there. Damn, you guys are on the ball. Mike showed Mike showed up a couple weeks ago. We pulled my van up. All we did was weld a bumper on it and said, Mike, strip it out. Nice. We'll do the rest. Nice. Got to love it, Mike. Mike Gilbert's a Mike good man. Gilbert up there in Maine, folks. Um, he has that his second annual Memorial Derby for his son that passed away, y'all. September. Who is it's it? Fourteenth? Is it fifteenth? What's the day of that? Uh, tenth. Tenth. September tenth. Thank it, you, Hunter. For so, anyone that doesn't know, Mike, his son was a very avid derbyer, built compacts, and he di uh, died in a motorcycle accident, God unfortunately. Bless him. Amen, brother. You know, and so now he has this, and Mike is a great guy. Oh, and there ain't laugh. nothing better than a main accent to Decca? us. Josh yeah, Decker. Yeah. yeah. Decker. Uh, <laughs> I absolutely love it. All right, here they come, rolling on out here. Who we got, Skinny? Well, I don't know who I got. <laughs> Bone stock full size. We don't have Ben or Josh here to um, read this. All right, so who we got here is 4234 is Hunter Alzuki, Derry PA, 313 Cheyenne Andrews, Paul Mountain PA, 21X, the Josh Decker, Whitney Point, New York, is driving a Cadillac, Lyles, New York. Cadillac. All right, 620 Zach Blystone, Homer City PA, unknown 13C, Chris Ryman. Staruka, PA. Butter. Butter with two T's. I got a, a buddy named Butter, but it's Butter with two D's. This is Butter with two T's. With Dwayne two Chuck, <laughs> Fort Ashby, West Virginia. 25D. Darren Corder, Mount Morris, PA. 31. Tori Musterali, Colden, New York. 18. Billy Moretti, Lakeview, New York. 732. I have a derby number, 732. Daryl Myers, Confluence, PA. Justin Time, Justin Israel, Israel, Lockport, New York. Ringer, Justin Ringer. Kaiser, West Virginia. Triple Seven, Krista Gross, Greensboro, PA. Big Z, Zachary Johnson, Cumberland, Maryland. And There's Big Z. Ford. That's got He's well, in it. Nice. He's well represented there. And right here, look at this guy. Josh Decker. Does anybody know who Decker is? Decker who? Decker who? Look at this guy. He's, he acts like he owns a track, pulls in nice and slow, turn it around. Listen to that four and a quarter galloping, guys. He's got that time and set. Listen to that sucker gallop. Yeah, we were messing with that when we got here this morning, fixing it all. Yeah, he had to advance it just a little bit more. Sure. There's a bone stock. Here's Myers in the 732. Look at that. Love it. How much politicking do you think Josh did out back? Like, don't hit me. Oh, I'm dude. famous. I'm Josh Decker. Don't Was oh, that why me? he asked me, Skin, you got a band of $100 bills? I said, oh, <laughs> we didn't spend them all last night at the dollar store. Yeah, I think he needed to go pay everybody a dollar to yeah. stay off him. Because that is hey, the no, Josh Decker. He was over there saying, I'll get you on track shot later if you don't <laughs> hit me. I'll kick Skinny. I'll fire Skinny, and I'll hire you <laughs> if you don't hit me. <laughs> That's great, Youngwood. That caddy's sitting nice in the front, though. It's going to be good, guys. Uh, from what Daddy Daka said, he's going to junk this, you guys. He so says the back is not going to have a scratch on it. All right, we'll see. We'll see what he does here, everybody. How's he going to do, Trent? I don't know. We're about to 
see, aren't we? All right, yep. Hopefully, since we only put a couple days of work into it, we'll just send it, and then we won't care at all. And we'll Amen. Happy. I'd just be happy if he bends it so it doesn't bounce on the trailer the whole way going home. That's yeah, stock suspension. that is the best. <laughs> that is the best right there. You guys are right. That's the worst part about stock cars is hauling them to the track because they bounce the whole time. Daddy, Daddy Decca. Decca. <laughs> Mark Elliott calls him Daddy Decca. Oh, I love it. I love Mark. He's awesome. He said Daddy Deck is in the house. I wish Mark could do every derby I was at. I mean, Josh does an awesome job, but no one no one can match Mark. Cody, just because you build and work out of his shop, you don't have to praise him. <laughs> I want to be fed next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. Mama Katie will take care of you. Decker left oh, on three. Nothing leaving on three, Decker. All right, Decker with a shot right in the back of that 25D. Nice looking Lincoln in the 18. Just in time, sending it down the track. Good shot back to back. Where's Decker gonna go now? He's driving a lap. Oh, look at making right turns, Decker. I told you don't do that. Good tire shot. Oh, Decker oh. took a hard shot. Big Z getting it put on him. Decker's coming out. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Okay, he just bent the bumper a little bit on her. All right. Yeah. Yeah, he's just doing just yeah, fine. He must miss his tire he and caught the bumper. Much of anything yet, though. He's he kind of is driving like Fatty Clark out there right now. <laughs> oh, dude, we're going to go to bed. He said he's from New York, but he's driving like he's from Ohio. No. <laughs> you know, Cody, that's a great, great comment. <laughs> He is. <laughs> it looks like he's looking for the last handicap stall in the Walmart parking lot. But he'll be the first one to tell us how slow we drive <laughs> yeah. or yeah. how bad oh, we did. Yeah. Well, he said, I'm coming out here junk to sing. What have you done, Decker? Hasn't been over 3,000 RPMs. No, no bro. Just, took off right off the bat. just off an idle, if I'm not mistaken. Grant, what have you done differently by now? <laughs> what do you mean? How? What would you do differently than what your dad has done I right now? I just floored it right off the bat. He feathered it on three. He got caught on three and then feathered it. Well, yeah, it just <laughs> his instincts change as soon as he actually gets on the train. Oh, never mind. I'm now he's going for the money. I'm you see it. it. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. He's cashing checks and snapping oh, necks now. Of course. Yep. I definitely know he can't junk a trunk. <laughs> he ain't gonna blow a chunk. Is that old four? Is that the old four twenty five out there? Is that that? No, that's this one down there. That three twelve. Yeah. Here, yeah, this Lincoln's just got some horses galloping, counting cylinders. That five zero just sitting there purring. Bro, look at the back of the twenty five D here. That's rolling perfect. Dude, look how it took the quarter with the roll. Josh hit that and it never moved. Great. But yeah, that's been pre ran and he did a perfect job bending that. We're back moving down. everybody away from something over there. Or something. Definitely got something going on. It's in the car. Sour painted. That's oh, our man, man Sour's paint job on that one down there that they're all getting away from. I miss Sour this weekend. Hey, Amen. Sour is missed. He had a wedding down in Alabama, guys. And then uh, and I heard it's one of those weddings you couldn't miss or you'd be, like, shunned from the family. Oh, absolutely. Yep. And um, I've seen him enjoying himself. Some good eats. Sour, you are missed. We are in your home state. Next time. Don't plan a wedding on the same day as the Derby, please. <laughs> Whoever you get a wedding invited to, tell them there's something better going on. They need to reschedule. Absolutely. And you always check. The, I know I do. I always check the calendar for the Derbies before I plan anything outside of that. Oh, my fiance, first thing she does in the <laughs> spring, she sits down, what Derbies are we going to? What weekend? <laughs> when are you leaving? Yeah. And we're going to fill in around you. Yep. No, that's awesome, brother. Because she knows if I don't, I'm just going to sit on the couch and watch the whole thing anyways. <laughs> I see him fa it's fatty. Not, it's not over yet, fatty. No, he may be going to get an interview. I think he's running down to talk to somebody. He's quick. Is he going to get Docker? I don't know. He's looking. They're taking a while here. Maybe it was a really, really bad one. They might light it. Yep, not a clue. Sour's paint job here. That's one thing I missed about this weekend is no cars are 
or limited cars are not painted by sour. Mm -hmm. When usually every heat you got five, six cars out there painted by sour. Oh yeah, easily. It's like a it's like a symbol of track shop being there because all the cars are painted by sour. Yeah, he drove sour last week. Was driving around and painting cars, getting everybody's stuff painted. Last week he's driving around painting everybody's cars. Like he made Decker down. drive down. <laughs> he, he, he pulled Decker up here. <laughs> All right, I'm track shot here with Josh Decker. How's it feeling out here? How's the track, boss? I'm pretty sure I'm about to get my butt whooped. I think everybody's <laughs> after me. I know at least three are. Well, the rumor on the street, Skinny's got about 1,200 bucks and bounties on you out here right now. Sense. That makes a lot of sense. No one would talk to me in the pits. I was like, you know what I'm saying. Did they have Skinny Salvage stickers? Yeah, now that you're saying that, it's making a lot of sense. It's All right, back to the hog barn for uh, <laughs> Skin and them. Um, Decker, good luck to you, buddy. Um, hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you one thing. I got a smile on my face, boys. That's um, it. I'm on the track, and I'm smiling. Amen. Cody Woods just sent a message out, said it looked like you're driving like fatty. All right, back to the hog barn. Have a great day. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Great job, Fatty. Decca. <laughs> it was 1600 Fatty. <laughs> All right, we're going to get him back going here. What is going on here? Uh, looks like we got gas leak or we're going to light a fire here. I wish they the fire in front was warming up. I know. Here. I told Ben how we need the bum barrel in here going. Oh, hey, we do have a wood floor in the trailer. Um, yeah, gullying them. You may need a new trailer when we're done because either we're going to burn it right through here or we're going to rip the plywood out and start a fire in front of here. Oh, what a temperature change from yesterday. I know. I got sunburned yesterday and I'm yep. freezing today. Yep, yep. Same thing, Josh was – well, he could say he was cold, guys. He was nervous. Your dad's knees were clinking together. This is the first time I go, do you want to ride to your car? No. Do you want me to come over and need anything? No. Like, I think he had bubble guts. <laughs> he was just quiet and just tried to disappear without anybody seeing him leave. <laughs> Um, kind of like Devin Germain said last night. Oh, dude, Devin was right? cold. I was talking to Devin. He it, couldn't even say a sentence. He was so nervous. And he says, oh, man, I got the worst case of bubble guts today. He's like, I get them every time, but for some reason when you're pulling a track and there's 20 people coming after you, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're bringing the mic out. I will say, though, these sweatshirts that TJ made are warm. Oh, I love I loved the quality of his sweatshirts. It's going in on the 19. Man, buddy, how's it feeling out here tonight? No, I'm just here to have a good time, you know what I mean? How, how's the track? How's the track? It's a little sticky, but it doesn't seem that bad. Okay, we got this Cadillac over here with <laughs> says Josh Decker on it. How you feel about that? Oh, Decker's the man. I'm here to have some fun with him. I, I, with fun, are you running with him or are you, 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 you going to get Decker? I'm going to let him make the decision on that one. <laughs> Copy that. Hey, thanks for your time, sir. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Good luck today. All right, I'll tell you what, we're going to walk over to the guy Decker's talking with. Look, kind of looks like he's trying to get a little buddy here. <laughs> What's going on here, Decker? Are you trying to get somebody to run with? Yes. You are. So hard. All right, listen. Skinny Salvage, you ever heard of him? <laughs> yeah. He's got some stickers and probably a free toboggan if you send this thing oil pan deep in the back of this Cadillac. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, perfect, perfect. Remember that, free sticker and and a, a beanie. All right. All right. Here, look at this guy over here. Hey, buddy. Uh, oh my you heard of Josh Decker? You have? How do you feel about Josh Decker? He's a cool guy. Listen, there's a little bounty on him. <laughs> You gonna you gonna do that? I don't know. Money <laughs> talks. Money Skinny talks. salvages. He's got plenty of it. Absolutely. All right, good luck tonight, buddy. All right. Well, with the bounties out, let's see if uh, how Decker can handle it or not. Love you, Decker. Back to the hog barn. He said Fatty's number one. <laughs> I saw that. He said Fatty's number one. I seen it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who invited this guy? He's hired. Oh yeah. Ben, never fire that guy. <laughs> That's funny. I you, don't care where you, you imagine if we had Mike Tix here too. Oh, oh, we'd Tix. all be we'd all be fired by now. Where's Tix? He needs to chime in. Get somebody go live. Have Tix join your live. <laughs> oh, great though. That is awesome. Fatty's doing a fine job. Bobby's doing a great job. Oh, oh yeah, everybody's doing a great job. You guys it. done a great job. Hunter's doing a great job. We are the track shot live crew, Jack. Free ninety nine. Always. I mean. The people, America, the world's probably happy to see some youth on here, not some old washed-up, has-been derby drivers. Hey, man, I'm glad I'm still young. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> 
No, you guys are right. I love having everybody. I love the our mix. I love our versatility. Is that Josh Decker's helmet that he borrowed me? A true story. <laughs> Josh borrowed me a helmet to run out there at San Filippo in the Eldo. He gave me this helmet that probably been worn 42 years straight, <laughs> never been washed, never been dried you know out. When he bought that helmet, yeah, when he was 19. Amen. That thing was so sour smelling. Skinny was dumping hand sanitizer <laughs> in the helmet to get that out of there because I couldn't handle the gym mat smell. Oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> oh, it was disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Tell your dad to clean his helmet he once won't. in a while. He Yo, Tex, you know what Texie did to me that same derby? I was walking by, Tex goes, Tex going to put on my helmet. I'm like, no, no. He's like, bro, it fits so nice. Wear this. I'm like, I'm not wearing Decker's helmet. Give me my helmet back. I'll let you wear my goggles, but yeah. just give me my helmet back. Yeah, absolutely, Youngwood. That's just a great story, along with bad <laughs> battery cables. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they had to dig quite a hole over there. They must, the tank must have split right in half oh, on that car. Okay. Maybe they had the stock tank. It looked like a front-wheel drive V8, so they might have the stock tank in the back. Hmm. I did not catch that, buddy. It's all right. Would they just take Decker out already? Just take him out now. We're waiting. Yeah, there's, we can derby down here. Don't worry about them over there. Get Decker so he can get back up here and do his job. Yeah, he always, he's great at barking orders. He's not getting paid because he's derbying. If someone can get him to, right over the wall right in front of us, mm -hmm. we'll pay you handsomely. And some skinny wear. Did, yeah, did you? Decker, I hope when you watch this. Mama Katie, are you listening to this? Trent wants Dad put over the wall right in front of us. Dad loves the wall, man. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a front row seat at the hog barn. <laughs> so, quick, quick story. There was a stretch probably seven, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. Every derby I went to around our local area, Decker got put on the wall. I took a picture of him in the feature sideways on a wall in Hartford, Pennsylvania. Our buddy Jerry, who we call our crew chief, has it on a T-shirt <laughs> and still wears it. <laughs> he hated me so much because that picture, every time it pops up <laughs> on my memory, I share it again. Send me that picture, Cody. I will. We're going to use that for a little Decker. I got to get my dirt Black when I got, when I can on him. Oh, absolutely. Because <laughs> you know what? <laughs> He's always on Facebook Live, America. You know, What's I'm building up, this, man? building that. What's up, America? Doing this. No. When are you going to mention Trenton and he Bailey, goes, Youngwood oh. in them videos, right? He goes, what's up, America? I haven't seen Youngwood since 2020. Meanwhile, I've been to the shop four times that week. He's been inside <laughs> taking a nap. Always. Always <laughs> taking a nap. Like he day. is. <laughs> you know, he claims he's Italian. You can make good food. Psh, I've had it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he got so he upset. Go he got so upset that day when you told him, "Like it's all right, <laughs> the, the big ZD's all right." Yeah, it ain't worth the crap. <laughs> <laughs> He's just staring at us <laughs> right now, and we are eating your lunch, Decca. <laughs> and when you get out the car, we're taking your change out your pocket. <laughs> he just knows that we're just over here running our mouths nonstop. <laughs> We got to get him, Trent. Got it's to. okay. Yeah, I've got a place you can live if Dad throws yeah, you out okay. tomorrow. Good, because I don't think I'm going home tonight. <laughs> Fatty already offered to buy me an apartment in Ohio, so I got somewhere to go. <laughs> I love it. All right, looks like they're getting this back underway here. Skid steer about got it wrapped up with that cat. Yeah, Brett's doing some quick work over there. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at TJ dancing. I mean, the one nice thing about Dead Man, there's never a dull moment here. No. TJ's like the skinnier version of you. <laughs> you saying I'm fat? I don't know if that's a good thing. Can you hear Trent fine? Yeah, I've got I a message from Duncan Cram saying he can't hear Trent. I'm not really talking. Put it closer to your mouth. Yeah. You know, yeah. Pick, it, Pick up. it up. Pick it up, though. There you go, buddy. Now oh, now we can hear you. Hey, oh, yeah. Thanks again, Duncan. Duncan's my boy from Vermont. Do you actually have friends, Cody? He always ran Vicks. He went and spent $1,500 on an Impala, and he picked on a Cadillac right off the bat and broke everything in one shot. <laughs> oh. 
Don't do that twice, huh? No. He's like, I'm done with old iron. I'm done. He's a good dude. All right. We're about to close the entrance. Decker's putting the goggles back on. Let's hope he just rear ends someone really fast. Full. F I, I don't know. I, I'd, 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 I'd come forward and make a hard left, bro, and send it down the other way and glance off people. Keep them up. I don't know. I just them rear ends on them GMs. Oof. I know Decker and claims he's a builder, but I don't know. He had to weld the door shut and move wires. Me and Jerry did everything else. Did you guys relief cut that corners on the bumpers or no? On this one? Yeah. No, that was just a pre-ran. Right on. We don't even know what that was off of. It was in the pile. Sure, it was just in the pile. Out. All right, let's see where Decker's going. He's going. Oh, he's first. using the back. He told me he wasn't going to. Oh, oh big shot. shot. Yeah, it was. Oh, it went down. It looks like he went down in the back. There oh. he comes. Front center. Oh, oh. big shot. The Daddy Decker. Go to that caddy. Never move. Oh, he's. Hey, stop. Big Z. Oh, Decker right, going back on. to back. Oh, Decker put him in the passenger seat. Wow. He put that guy in the passenger seat in the front of that he's caddy still, and wow, never moved. I hope he's all right. What broke loose? Look at him picking something up out of there. What was that? He's out. Knocked him. He said he's done. Decker laid waste with the front of that Cadillac. <laughs> Excuse me. There you go. Yeah. Trenton, you just got to yell around here. I guess. Do I really? Yeah. Yeah. Trent, you yell all the time. Why are you shy now? Because I have no idea what to say. No, you're good. Yeah, put it right up in my nose. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Audio man Any hunter closer? will fix you. Perfect. Put it right in my mouth. <laughs> Hunter's, Hunter's got to take care of his buddy. Okay, Big Z staying in there? Good. We got this. Dude, the front of that caddy's. He's good. He's hard. sounding, but he's good. <laughs> I guess I needed it even closer. Oh, no. I there, hear, you're I, good. I can hear Trent a lot better There now. you go. Trent, I blame our audio guy. Not <laughs> they look close to being off the ground, Ben. <laughs> All right, Big Z's getting out of that. Let's give him a round, everybody. Oh, he got yeah. smoked, man. Rocked him. 21X is bringing the wood. I don't know who's in that car. He might be hung up, Ben, saying looks like his rear tires are off the ground. No, they pushed him off. Oof. The back yeah, of that caddy's going end, down, though. and he hey. notched it a lot. No. I told you guys, no deck lid, triple notch him, and walk away. Big well, notch. You know Decker's not going to listen to a word uh, you say. You're right. You're right. He never does. I'll take him to the promised land. Look at that front bumper's rolling down, too, on her. Hey, good job, Big Z. Tell you what, the front of that caddy's not looking bad, though. No, but that it's going to do him a favor with that bumper rolling mm -hmm. down, though, now. It's going to keep pulling it down. Yes, sir. I hate he lied to me and said he wasn't going to use the back. At least he's hitting. He never does that. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> he hasn't won a Mad Dog since, like, North Dakota. He hasn't run in forever. <laughs> I know. He's washed up, Trent. I love it. Mama Kate, if you're sitting at home listening to this, you got to love it. <laughs> They're going to drag another one out on the other corner, guys. Man, what do we got left, you guys? One, one two, three, four. Decker might Five, be in the six. <clears throat> might get in the money. Ah, uh, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, they're pulling my man Butter out with two T's. <laughs> Not your buddy with two D's. My buddy with two D's. <laughs> Butter. Butter. <laughs> this rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Rolando. Like Butter, like Wagging. Amen. Rodriguez. So, Skinny, I'm going to keep getting on your waffles until I win one. Eventually and then I'm just going to trade you one of the cars in the front yard for the one I want so that I don't have to come get it. <laughs> no, bro. Okay. I'll, I'll, take that do I'll get that <laughs> deuce in a quarter. I'll take that no. deuce in a quarter. Only chance you got is a rusty old wagon <laughs> or a uh, rusty Chevrolet <laughs> sedan. Or a, or a deuce in a quarter. <laughs> no, no. Off the market. <laughs> off the market. Yeah, Skinny, come get your cars out of our yard. We're going to start using them. Soon. My God, see? You sound like your mom now. Oh, okay. Lot rent. Because I have to listen to it. <laughs> Lot rent. No, because Trent has to move them. Exactly. You got to move around them and mow, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, it gives you get something to do. Here. You got to know how. Here. You got to know. I wouldn't no. mind nice if I was the Alex one Scott. running them. Okay, well, which one do you want? All of them. <laughs> oh, see? You can't be like that. Our man, all for, all for him racing Alex with a nice shot of Decker right yeah, now. Yeah, that trunk is just <clears> junked. 
Double. Yeah. See them rails? He single notched it and should have had three notches. I thought he put three on it. Maybe he did. I, don't, I left, I him, I left him alone. Two, two. See, I go like I told you, your dad, your stepfather, Cody. <laughs> that first notch is a big one. Second one's smaller, and then the third is at the base of the hump. Just a simple line. Yep. And my GMs do pretty well, my friend. Decker's getting hot. Look at it. There she goes. She's steaming out, guys. All right, come on. Let's do this. <laughs> come on, guys. Let's go back green. Bill's got the drone out. Come on, Gilman. Get your boy started. Oh, nice. Bill's got a big old aerial here. I just caught That's that. That's a lot of track. <laughs> it yeah, is. It really look at that is. track. Look at that drone footage. That's a, <laughs> like from where we're sitting, it's big. But you look from up top, it's it is big track. There's yeah, a lot absolutely. of track with a stock car. Now I see why the pro stock cars were hitting each other at 30 last night. Skin, you look comfortable. I'm very comfortable. Uh -huh. They're coming over to talk to Decker. I think they're going to tell him he's got to pick it up. He's been sandbagging. Yep, they're telling Decker to pick it up. He's been sandbagging. Yep, he's sandbagging. Yep. <laughs> see, I like Decker's idea last night. He wanted to put Ben in that car, and Ben said no. <laughs> that would have been fun. I would have watched that. What, what, you got your eyes closed while your dad runs? Yeah, I'm just napping over here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Trent. <laughs> I told your dad, he's like, no, I don't agree with that. I said, no, I'm bringing up Youngwood and Trent. Oh, We're yeah, going to sit through your he, heat. He knew he was getting burned up here. <laughs> that stare he gave us for like the half hour he sat in front of he us. Knew, he sure. knew. Sure. Uh, what are we doing, shutting her down? Daddy Decker's helmet's back off. Decker, if you quit teeing off on people, the heat would have been over by Bro, now. he's been bagging this whole heat. He finally made two hits, man. He said it'd be junk in three. Well, let's see. Patty. I think you know what's going on. Yeah, everybody's taking their helmets off now. Break time. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to see what happens here, folks, and bear with us here as we uh, babble along here. I think Fatty's going to go down and uh -oh, get. Oh, here comes Josh. Oh, Josh is mad. He's, gonna, he's mad. Oh, oh, like, oh, he's oh, oh okay. like he won already. Yeah, like Relax. he made Champ. one shot. Relax. He made one shot. Yeah. Yeah. Fatty, just tell him he can't be a sandbagger like Skinny, that. Skinny, you make sure when he gets over here, you tell him, better start listening to me on the back of them GMs because you're just wasting them. Yeah, right. Decker, Decker. Yes. Started off a little slow. Had a little fatty. Look, what happened? You can hear me. I started feeling it, and I'm feeling it right now, and I'm not done yet. You hear me at home? I'm going to junk somebody else out there. I'm feeling it. He's <laughs> feeling it. <laughs> All right. So, so how's the car feel? How's the engine running? It's absolute junk. It is a dog. It has no power at all. Breaks up a lot. It's got a quadra junk on it. It's as ugly as it looks. I knew I was going to junk my ass on that. I knew that wasn't a smart move. I didn't care. Right. Well, I'm smiling. Well, the 715s on the back, too, probably slows it down now that the quarter panel's into the tire. But, I mean, anyways, you did a great job with your two hits. Um, what else can we – how many hits do you think you got left? Two. Two more. One with the front, one with the back, or two with the so, front? I'm going to try two with the front. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I know everybody at home would much rather watch me with two shots than 40 shots of yours that puts everybody to sleep. Well, I I don't, they're not Hold sleeping on. right Hold now. On. What we could do. Yeah, go, please, okay. please. I could get in the car and see if I could do better than you. Well, that's a great idea, but we know you wouldn't, and it would bore the shit out of everybody, so we're just not going to do that. It's not even a game plan for us. <laughs> car's everybody. right there. Yeah. The car's right there, that yeah, one. Yeah, it is. Not, yeah. not for you. Not for all you. Right. I um, need my phone, though. Trent, can you right. hear me? Run my phone out to me. Trent, we need his phone. Okay. Well, I, table. I'm going to go talk to some other people that's uh, probably. No, no, no. Stop. Yeah. Stop. And what other demolition derby does, uh, does an announcer come out and start telling people to go after a guy? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We was asking strategy. Yeah. Strategy. Yeah. I, mean, I could hear him. I could hear you. That's the odd thing. I could hear you saying 
We're giving away swag bag. I heard Skinny's name, which immediately gets me mad. Thank you, young man. Hey, Trent, you. how you doing? Come here, Trent, real quick. Why well, I got you on here? How do you think? What do you think about your dad's performance so far? Really under. We've been really underwhelmed. Hey, Trent, get out of here. Two <laughs> hits, Dad. Two hits. Only okay. two. All right, guys. Well, it sounds like the ambulance is back. We're going to get back to the hall bar and back to the action. Thanks, guys. I love it. Oh my God, Trent killed it. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, but oh. that's some funny stuff when your boy straight tells you on national worldwide <laughs> TV. <laughs> Dad, pick it up. Pick it up, Dad. I love it. <laughs> Underachiever, Josh. <laughs> oh, great job, buddy. Trent, you might not get fed tonight. I might not. <laughs> you want to come home with me tonight? I might just be left on the side of the road. <laughs> You're better off just riding home with me tonight. You're heading home tonight? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Deal I made with my fiance. I'd be home for Easter. Amen. Fatty told me I wasn't allowed to leave, that like he leaves me and he feels lost. He has to come back and find me. So <laughs> he said I have to go to Ohio, not back to New York. <laughs> Love it. All right. We got the meat wagon back, I see. Tires are going back into place. I love it just in time. I mean, this is what that 425 needed, though. Let her cool back down a little, a little heat bit. soak and then a little down. Yeah. Maybe good and bad. Yeah, because that water in that box is probably hot, hot, sure. hot right now. Well, no. Nah, nah, what, from idling? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's a caddy engine. They get hot in the dead of winter. <laughs> <laughs> they, they get, yeah, they get hot sitting in the sun. <laughs> Most carbureted engines don't like to start in the winter. They don't like to start in the summer. It's too hot. Right. Oh, fired up. They're about to get going here. Let's see. He's got two more hits, he says. You guys really think? No, that's not Josh's motor. Whose motor was that? That was too much horsepower. No, no, I seen him when he fired his up, gave a little puff. <laughs> I couldn't hear it. I've seen the I smoke. I couldn't hear it either. It was like a quart and a half came out of the right header. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, we're going back green. All right, here, here we go. We go. There you go, Josh making that left turn. He's sending her way down. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh swinging him. I thought you were going after the 777. Oh, he's still after him. Nose to nose. Oh! Right in the T boned him. Oh, he bent that caddy. Yeah, he did. He said he was going to. She's dogging. Yeah, he's tight in the fenders, too, already. Here comes his rival. Get him, get him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice tire Ringer. Shot. Just gave Fouls him a ringer. Him in. Look at Josh's left front, you guys. Yeah, Pinned he, up in the fender and all. He's going to have trouble steering out of that one. Yeah. Man. I think that shot right on the firewall pushed some stuff over. Well, did he have two shots in him, guys? Yeah, he did. One yeah, yeah. one on the car, one on the tires. Yep. Great yep. two shots, Josh. Oh, he's, oh he's trying to get out of there. Problem is, steering's locked up. That last shot he took, I think, swayed a lot of stuff up. Yeah, oh, there he goes. He got steering he got, back. Yeah, he got it out of there. Oh, that pushed the rear, that quarter right into that back tire. Look at the back of that caddy. That is ugly. Hey, all my guys are coming through for me. Oh my god. It only cost me $29.95, three installments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Decker, get out of there. He's Good shot. Oh, oh, nice shot. Oh. <laughs> Piling them in there like cordwood. Oh, look at Bubble Lincoln. I love it. Oh, he fired. Decker fires back up. Can he get out of there, though? Yeah, he will. Yeah, he will. And he made a shot. So that's three guys. You know he wants to just that thing end this dog and look at that front tire. Yeah, she's bent right over. Oh! Geez. Typical junk GM just popping ball joints out. That Lincoln and got him. Another one. No. Good job, Dave. Hey, he's doing it what he wanted to do though, guys. He wanted to. Oh, oh yeah, nice. good shot. He wanted to junk that caddy. Yeah, he, he did. did. Well, what's he down to? One, two, three, four, five. He's. I think he's in like the fifth spot right now. He yes. Made the fact he made it halfway through is surprising. Sure, for his, for his build and his... Oh! Oh, 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 oh they were not planning were that. Not. No. Ooh. Well, they both went for that one, and he did the bait and switch. They, they went to go sandwich that uh, 18 card, and he got yeah. out of there. 
And oh, he got oh, they back, that Lincoln back. That 318 was looking good. It that was. <laughs> Triple seven and 31 12 <laughs> just put it to each other. Dry shaft <laughs> flopping around under there. I want to say a shout out to my homie, number one fan, my boy Ryan Shooty, the best one out there. Next to Big Daddy Iron Balls. Ryan Shooty watching. All right, Decker's stick still up. Did he get fourth? Uh, Devon's yeah, Tommy's out. done. He's, he's, he's out. Fourth. Yeah, no. He's fifth, bro, because this guy still has his flag up. Oh. So, triple seven hasn't pulled it. <coughs> if he would have, Deck would have had the fourth. Look, Look at, at that 18. Lincoln run in full Lion. bore. Those Lincolns are great cars. Those man. four stock four sixes. Amen. They love the heat. Yeah. Look at that. Both four six is still out there ripping. You move the time sensor on them, they'll run forever. Yes, sir. Yeah, we uh, yeah, we just take another one, throw it in there, lay it on top of the engine. Zip tire down. The best fifteen bucks you'll spend. Amen. Come on, meet in the middle. Right here, meet. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh that that seven thirty two bent the firewall. Oh, they both push back. Look how far them tires are in them wheel wells now. It would be great, guys, if you guys stay in here till your dad, your stepfather gets up here and you guys got to interview him after that you, one. Do you think it's a good time to ask for gas money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I know you didn't win, but I need some money to get home. If he's dad. offering you any food, don't take it. It's terrible. Oh, he's going to he's gonna run it up here. Swing and a miss. You know, I love this class. Strip, weld the bumper on, go. Amen. I'm with you, Code. If you want to get into V8s, this is a class to get into. It's cheapest. It's more most. I think most fun you have because oh, you have no down. time into the car. Yeah, at the end of the day, you really don't. It really doesn't matter where you came in. Like I said, we built Josh's car in two days, but there was three of us. Yeah, Myers in that 732. <laughs> He's got full control of it right now. You, you could take one of these oh, stock cars by yourself good and build shot. it in a week. 732 might have won it. That 18 of Bill Moretti, Lakeview, New York. There we go. That's there it. it Congratulations. Good job. 732, Myers. Daryl Myers out of Confluence, PA, is your winner. Great yeah, driving. buddy. Great job. That was awesome. Now we got to hear. He avoided. He head. avoided those big shots from Decker. Oh, Decker. I don't know what Decker's gonna do though, because he don't have his pit crew to haul his car around from mm. being the celebrity he is. Oh wow. no, he told me. When when I get off the track, just go load my car up. I know he's like that. He's gonna be like code code C O D E code code. <laughs> I'll go winch it on, strap it down. <clears throat> I love it. Haul it home. No, he does on the way home. He sits in Ben's passenger seat and sleeps all the way home. <laughs> I love it. Here comes Fatty bringing the winner in. He's he's tickled pink. That's your man Myers, Daryl Myers, the champ of the bone stock full size. You ready? Man, oh man, what a feature. What Here a comes feature. Decker. How was it? It was awesome, man. I can't thank Steven Sickles enough, man. Steven Sickles. You said you lost steering out there? I lost steering there whenever we went nose to nose there, like right towards the end, and I just got lucky, man. Uh, Steven's done a lot for me in my derby career, and I really can't thank him enough, honestly. It's, it's speak. Oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Right. I don't know if anybody out there knows it, but Socks and Crocs gets it done, baby. That's two this year. That's two this weekend. The you, yeah, that's two this weekend. Well, well, hey, great job, buddy. The question of the day is, are they locked in four-wheel drive or are you still in two-wheel driving? Two-wheel drive, baby. Two-wheel drive. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Love it. They gave Decker a Reaper. Decker? What? You make two hits the and you get a hits. Reaper? The two hits. You make two hits and you get a Reaper, and one of them was the tire, folks. Wow. I'm never going to hear the end of this. He's going to say, first time I've derby in five years, I brought home the entire ride home. He's going to be talking about it. <laughs> Trent, you sure you don't want to ride home with me tonight? I, I might. Ah, no, I sleep in. I mean, you have, you have to walk from my house to your house, but I'll get well, you at least to Binghamton. What happened to Fatty? Is he, Hunter, we lost him. Well, I, I sent him a couple videos on how to win, and so maybe, maybe that's that, what it was. He was trying to get a first win. Maybe. But uh, back to the hog barn. 
Thank you, guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. Great job. Sorry, folks. There, uh, our editor and sound our audio man cut us. Yeah, short. Yeah, kind of cut us short there. Come on, Hunter. Stay up on it, Hunter. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm blaming the intern. You're absolutely right. It's always great, the great call. job to all on that bone stock full size. Hey, you know what? Everybody sent it in that one. That was a good. He there was no bagging. If we let Trent notch his dad's trunk, it would want right. Absolutely, or skin <clears throat> dog. But what your dad did to Big Z here? Oh my God, dude! Oh. Look at the firewall is Man. twisted up in this car. TP the he dash, TP the hood, and all. That thing is ugly inside. I guarantee it. That's it's shifted the at all. That Cadillac's moved in thirty years. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, because the guy going to play golf ain't moved it that fast. I can't say Decker was kind of the club. He did his job. Once and a half? He did his job. Yeah, maybe twice. Yeah, no, they laid it down. He said three shots, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was more than that. Yeah. Um, coming up next, if I'm not mistaken, is a – I think it's Pro Stock, Stock Compact. Isn't yeah, it? what was it? I don't know if this is in order. Sorry, guys. Are they going to have the Concy maybe? Or are they having – no, they won't have the Concy. Nope. Think. Bone stock compact one, possibly sound right. We'll go yeah, from yeah. there and see. But we're just doing it up here, what we can. I mean, that 25D couldn't ask more for the back of that Vic. Yeah, it went up perfect. It did. Cleared his tires. He pulled those fenders in. <laughs> <laughs> they are loving this Crocs with socks. So if people at home don't know, the kid that won the uh, mercenary class, was in the mercenary class last night, was a 16-year-old kid. He won it in Crocs. Love it. In four-wheel drive. In four-wheel drive. The guy today won it in two-wheel drive. Yes. Um, the only one I know that rocks Crocs like that would be the man Nick King. Oh, Nick King. In his Crocs with socks. I won't wear them sons of guns. I, I don't care. Crocs, I absolutely oh hate them. God. I think you're half in the bag wearing those things. They're but so whatever. comfortable. They're I cheap. bet they are. Yeah, a bunch of holes in your thing and looking like Swiss cheese in the end. Yes. Bro, they keep your feet nice and cool. Oh, I bet. I wouldn't be wearing them today. I mean, it's like 30 degrees out. and No way. I'm waiting for a No snow. Crocs, Jack. It's like my son wearing these Hey Dudes. Hey, dude. Dude, no. I, I want to I wanna wear Area any, work boots, baby. Hey, where you live, I wouldn't wear anything but snake bite <laughs> boots, dude. <laughs> The stories you tell me, picking up cars and there's copperheads laying uh, underneath them. Just nasty. Look at that shot. You're, wow. Your stepdad put it oh on that passenger my. side. Dang, Youngwood. <laughs> <That's, laughs> he took a hell of a lick. That guy's head <laughs> was in the passenger seat with his door. Yep, Decker did get the Reaper, huh? He got no, the Reaper, he huh? Fatty, you're never going to hear the end of it. Look at that shot of Decker's car right there. Oh, look at him holding that trophy. They walk around like, yeah, just do this, I do that. This. Look at me. He's always pointing fingers. Oh, always. It just it throttles me how he does that to you guys. Hey, don't worry about it, dude. I, I never run a skid steer in my life, but I'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> oh, look Reason. at him out there holding the sign up like he's some big wow. deal. He Dude, should go give that to a fan because they hit harder in the You're derbying on the Ohio border. No one hits that hard ever out here. So. Listen to him try and talk up New York like he runs New York pace. <laughs> I'm from New York. That's the slowest one there. Isn't that where salsa's made? <laughs> oh, skinny. I see why you get fired every day. <laughs> Dude, she bent up front. She bent at the firewall. She bent. She's ugly. She bent everywhere GM bends. Yeah. That's going to be a lot smoother ride home with it on the trailer, though. Yeah. A car as ugly as my sister. I kid, Trenton. This is the last car you had in the yard, he says. No, it's the newest car you had in the yard. The only reason it's here. Sad part is he's going to fix this thing and let Trent run it. Yeah, he'll pull it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pull it down and pull it up. He'll say, Co, take this to work. Use the escalator and fix it. <laughs> Trent needs a car this year. No, Trent has a 
clean, clean, clean. Like he's eligible for day. Well, we have a derby that day. He won't be there. We have Lawville that day. Good job, Josh. So, first time Hunter. ever in Josh's life, he qualified for a full size Reaper class, which means if it's not the same day as the Derby, which I think it is, I will have to build on my car. They ready on volume? Josh. Decker. It's the Josh. What do I have to say about Josh Decker? How to feel? All right, folks. Names will get you plates. <laughs> this plate right here is uh, participation award. <laughs> Has nothing to do with hitting. Um, where I come from, if you get, if you make more than, I mean, if, if a mad dog gets. All right, back to the hog barn. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was awesome. <laughs> no, we got to get Josh in here. We're going to get Josh in here between these two. You guys got to just let him know how great he did. Let him know. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Joshua, come here, Josh. You, you got to get in here. Don't let come him take on. That, don't let him take that trophy. Hold on. Here. We'll be right back. Get in here. Your, your two best employees, your stepson and your son, are going to take care of you. So, Decker, thank you, my friend. Was that the first time you ran since like 2019? <laughs> <laughs> Felt like it, right? <laughs> I gotta say, Cole, I just, I, I just loved every second of that. I'm gonna I tell just, you, it's my class. That's my style. I don't care if the rest of America don't like it. That's where my heart is. Oh yeah, that's, that's where my school. damn heart is, man. And, and I sucked. Do. I drive like crap. Dude, and <laughs> I drove so shitty. The best part about it is we built that the old school way. Two Damn days. right. Two, <laughs> Two days, days. Rod shifter, stock rear. And I don't care a crap about that thing right now, right? Who cares what it looks like? Can we just leave it here? <laughs> the the, the skid steer guy's like, well, I don't want to puncture your motor. I'm like, I don't give a crap. That thing is China bound. China bound. Trent? Trent, come out there and said, Dad, you're not doing good. Oh, he's been over here the whole time <laughs> saying you drive slow. Don't rewatch this. Trent, hold this. Don't re Don't, you better not have been saying bad. Just hold that for me, young man. Wow. Because next time you go talk crap about your dad, bang. I knew it. I bang. knew I'd never hear the end of this. Booyah. I'm hearing it right you know here, he said? right now. Go to bed with that one tonight because I'll be. You know what he said is he wanted a mad dog before you. <laughs> I was with a mad dog before you were born, kid. Uh -huh. <laughs> you weren't uh -huh. even born before uh -huh. Cody was born. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta get a drink. I'm dying right now. I'm on cloud nine. I'm on cloud nine. I really am. I'm on really. No, on good driving. The front of that caddy. Good driving. I drove like shit. No, that front of that caddy held up for a while. You Cold see what I you, got down here? You see what you did to that guy? No. His dashboard was teepeed. Was you he hurt? Yeah, you put okay, him in the passenger seat. I didn't seat. want to hurt him. I want to hurt You him. put him in the passenger seat. He well, he come across, and I had to take that shot. Oh, I wasn't yeah. actually going at him. I was going to another car. He I was I... sitting right here when they were checking him out, looking at Skinny and I, and he just had that blank stare on his face. Uh, I'm like, he I'm has sorry. no idea where he's at right okay. now. Okay, I never want to hurt anybody. I hope he's okay. I'm going to go check. I'm actually, I'll go find him and check on him. I don't want to hear that. But, hey, I love you guys. I got I, I to gotta get a drink. I'm dying. No, that's fine. Code. I think I broke the cap. So it doesn't run. It doesn't run. It won't. Hey. I got to winch I, it on. I hit with the nose. The whole course for it's ripped up. Yeah, you're going to have to winch it on. But we could do it some, sometime soon. I was going to do it before we. it got dark out. He yeah. says we, but it's I'll just I'll get Cody. it done. I'll Supposedly get it done. you two were talking crap, and I got the trophies. See ya. Hey. Load that hey. girl. Two hits. I saw two good hits. Just, oh, so, hey, hey, that's all just so you don't forget. <laughs> You talk crap about me every day. That's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's so fair. when I get my chances, I'm taking my jabs. All right, well, let's throw all diff different people up here, right? You guys yeah. been on for a yeah, while? Yeah. yeah. Love you guys so Take much. Take this trophy, get it out Can of here. Can you actually? What? You should carry this around. You know what? No, I'm going to carry it. Exactly. Exactly. You can go carry grab somebody. It. You can carry Well, it. yeah, you, you go grab three people. Okay. Try, jump up two. You can go behind me. Cole. All right, America. Bone stock. Heat two, I think this is, right? Or we won't stop key one. Won't stop key one. Okay. Bill, now how am I stuck? I'm the last one on here. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I, I somebody else, please. <laughs> Jump in here, please. Bobby's coming. Cool. Ben, I'm sorry. I just I'm super dry mouthed and 
I'm dying right now. Please. All right, Bone Stock, did you Would announce you anything or nothing, no? Nothing, Ben. I'm sorry. Okay. I just have to jump off. Bone Stock Compact 1, we got out there, 199 boot. Corey Herzog out of Springwater, PA. Junkie Adam Badu, Badu. 710 Matthew Michael, Homestead, Maryland. 17 Nick Seiler at Georgetown, West Virginia. Uh, T Bone 88X, Tyler Eaton out of Appalachia, New York. Go 1X, Guy Raymond Jr. at Appalachia, New York. 69 Hunter Kassoff out of Farmington, PA. 898 Kevin Greenway out of Rising Sun, Maryland. 22 Spencer McDermott, Rising Sun, Maryland. 5 Colin White, Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. 6 Tony Gardner, Halley, PA. 728, J.D. Lorene, 82, Preston Nicholson, 4X, Devin Fourier, 46, Brandon McCormick. It's already one and uh, over. they had to split these up to two because they had so many of them. This guy's waving. He's got a red flag out already. <laughs> but uh, this quick brief... Uh, Start and stop is going to show you how, what the pace is going to be in this heat. I'll tell you what, watch the black and pink grow down in the corner. He told me he's here for the Reaper Awards. Yeah, uh, there's there's several guys that I've seen run in this heat, and there's there's several of them that could be Reapers out of this if they do what they normally do. Fatty, how did we get to come in the hog bar? Maybe they thought we got cold, Bob. Out in the elements, in the trenches. The elements. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta bring we gotta we gotta bring the herd in once in a while. <laughs> All right. You know, so you got you, otherwise you can't. You, you know. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta bring in. You gotta feed. Look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Hit. Twenty-five. I mean, that was he had a good one lined up. and He had to get out of it. Got a little squirrely. The old Herbie Mobile out there is doing pretty good, that bug. I'm not going to admit that I did run one of them ones. Dumb, that, dumb things are tough. I'll tell you what, Don Shipley and J.D. King built me one. And yep. I'll tell you what, J.D., he gave me, the clutch was burnt out of it before I got it. He says I don't know how to drive a standard, but well, that's a whole, another discussion. Oh, yeah, they, uh, they get punted around like a football. And we got something out on the track. There's definitely been a lot of red flags. There's a lot of them. That's what but I said when I met you. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a no, lot but, of red flags, but the, I, the I cons still, overweigh. Yeah. The oh. pros overweigh the cons, Bob. No, you had it right first. Oh. Okay. Our potential <laughs> mad dogger, our potential mad dogger, 25 Freakerton is. Uh, he's out. He's out. Looks like he took a, a bad shot in the, the, the tire there on the passenger side. Oh, uh, looked like the bug broke a tie rod. That is so cool looking. And I'll tell you what, once you get in it, it's kind of roomy, Bob. It looked roomy. It, it's kind of roomy as a bug. I had a sunroof in mind. For safety, I end up catching on fire. Oh! oh! Wow. Wow. Good you ain't got to worry about it. The Volkswagen bug's designed to flip over, roll over like a ball. I mean, really, that's the only way you could take it out. Yeah. Wow. Woo. It broke the chain in the window for his window bar and everything in that little bug. You, you run a chain? I don't run. Oh, that's right. <laughs> We had that conversation. We had that conversation. <laughs> we did. Will you ever run again, Bob? Or if um, if you put something together for me, I would run. If I put a bug together, will you run it? I would drive it. I don't think I can run next to it. Because I'm sure John Shipley would help me out. And they got that show uh, that Rutz Fab puts on down there in Butler County, Ohio. Would you be my passenger? Oh, if they let us ride together. Oh, that, I'd for sure do that. That, <laughs> that would definitely go viral. If we flipped right there, we'd still be in the same position. You would. I would. <laughs> we wouldn't even. We'd just be stuck <laughs> in it. <laughs> uh, That's the reason I don't wear a seatbelt when I used to derby, because if it went over, I wouldn't be able to get out. Man, I always wear a seatbelt. But usually by the end of the derby, it's by my ankles, because yeah. it's so big, you know. Whoa. PG-13. The, the, the seatbelt, yeah. Bob. Sorry. 
I didn't wear one for years. I always put it on, got on the track, took it off. Right. Yeah. And then in one year, I took one wicked shot in our uh, imp, imp heat. I basically hit about every bar there was in my cage mm. before I landed back in the seat <clears throat> and couldn't think straight for like three, four days. Yeah. Yeah, that was like, yeah, maybe I should because, you know, I'm not a very large person. So it's kind of like a, you know, super ball flying around inside the car. I forget the guy's name, that, that little mini car driver that ran Blizzard Bash. You ever oh, the one that it? come right out so, the windshield. So that's what you look like? Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so my head went off the roof, the door post, the roof, the side of the cage bar, everything else. Well, but, once you come out of the seat, did you get right back in and keep derby like oh, yeah. that boy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah, your yeah. style. Yeah. I like your style. I jumped right back in, fired it back up, and kept going. That's awesome. But, like I said, I don't remember from New York, Tough likes to hit hard. There's only one, one guy, one guy, that one guy, that one guy. So, Fatty, if somebody came up to you and said, "Hey, I got a box car for you, Derby," <laughs> what type of car would you consider? If somebody said, "Hey, I got a box car for you," four, five, or six imp. Oh, so you, do you run in New York too? No. So my, if somebody came up to me and said a box car, it would be a box Ford, like a Lincoln. Yeah. Or like in a, a Vic, whatever. No, dude. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's what it's called in your part of the country? I'm only like three hours from you. That's why you don't run no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guy wins the guy wins dent one year and now he's a tough guy. Uh, do you wow. know who I beat to win dent? I sure hope it wasn't like Ziz or somebody like that. It was Toby and Ziz. Oh my goodness. Nineteen years old. And Ziz was 45, 50, at least. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. At least. I think, honestly, on the roster that night, I think Toby and I were the youngest guys to run the right. main class. And I, I I took first and Toby took third that night. Was it the year before or the year after that that he won? Didn't he win? He won that and then he went somewhere right the next day and won another one. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, the, my favorite memory of, Dan, of Toby is when he got sent home. When he got in, in the wagon? <laughs> no. In the, where, the wagon. Where they made him cut on it for like 12 hours. And then, was and like, then sent him home? Yeah, it was like, oh. you know what? Like he cut the whole rocker out of it, out of a Crown Vic. I don't know why he was doing that. But, but yeah, yeah. after he did the net, they was like, you know what? Not this time. Yeah, and it was I, – I, I, now, now, don't hold me to this, but I want to say he won the year before. They sent him home, and then he come back and won again. Okay. So, technically, he didn't win it back-to-back. Right, He's right, just right, won right, it right, twice. Right, right, right. I, uh, we were coming up to watch it, and I'm, like, talking all this talk about him. I'm like, you guys got to come watch Tobe. You got to watch this guy. He's like a doctor. We get up there, and his car's tarped. I'm like, oh, <laughs> you don't want it to rain. You don't want it to rain, you know, and that was the what, year of the wagon. The year oh, of the wagon. He wasn't allowed to run it. Remember, he See got really creative with, if I'm not mistaken, the all thread in the back of the car. I'm not sure. He's so creative. He is yeah. when I creative. When he ran against me, he ran a Ford wagon, and it looked like an El Camino pulling on the track. And I think they cut the roof clear off of it. It was white. <laughs> the whole car was white, I believe. Now, uh, don't hold me that. It was a long time ago. but Right. You guys were 19. and Yeah. It was a couple of Yeah, 20, I'm 40. Years ago. 40 now. I'll be 41. See, you don't look over 32. It's the beard, dude. Yeah. It's got to be. It's the beard. Yeah. Yeah, whoever your makeup lady is for this track shot live stuff, I would really like to see if she can it's, give me a little pat here and Cody, there. It's Cody. Cody Wood. He, oh, Cody Wood. Do it before we leave the hotel. He's the powder guy. Yeah, yeah, more than you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, all I've heard is how hard he hits when he drives. You we, know, we're going to have to make a trip up because that's but, all I've heard okay, all weekend. Okay, me and Cody, we, this is the first time. Me and Cody's been buddies for a little while. First time I've ever actually met him was this weekend. Oh! Uh-oh. Junkie put the shot on. But he keeps telling me how hard he hits and how hard he runs. Last night he was like, look at this car. It's a, it's, it was a Honda Accord. Like the whole front of a Honda Accord runoff. I was like, yeah, good job, Cody. Right. You know? But now he's a good kid. Really good kid. Good kid. I, I told him, I said, dude, you move to Ohio, I'll get you an apartment and everything. I said, we'll win derbies. Yeah, but I don't think you can offer him what Josh does. Josh has got him wrapped around his finger. He does. But, yeah, yeah, I, I do like Cody. Cody's a good kid. Oh, oh here we go. Old here junkie. We go. Oh, old man. junkie. Man. Junkie, junkie's feeling it. He's hammered He's down. He's feeling it. Junkie is hammered down. 
Oh, he's stalled out. He's got something going on. Oh, oh, no. oh that's a tough break. Every time. I ran one of these cars one time and got smoked by a... Oh, he got it fired up. Oh, no me. A 15-year-old kid smoked 50, it. What was he, Ben? 15 or 16? Ben's excited about watching the Derby. Yeah. What's that? The kid that smoked me when I ran this in New York. Oh, Jake from State Farm. Jake from State Farm. How old was he? Uh, 15. Yeah. Smoked me. Jake, Jake, Jake Hackett. You didn't, didn't see it coming? Or? Uh, the car wasn't run, and I'm not about breaking my stick. And that, so well, he, just this kept, he just kept bringing it. Wow. This kid's phenomenal, though, Jake. He's, oh, he's really? just, he's, a, awesome. <laughs> he's, he's putting the old finger out the window oh, and everything really? when he was coming. Oh, yeah. yeah, and yeah. I won't break my stick, and it made his weekend. He just kept bringing the mail. He gave you the old number one. Oh, oh he, yeah. yeah. I had <laughs> yeah. that's some gangster stuff. I had to wash his about. shoes for the rest of the weekend. Yeah. I guarantee it. Oh here man, we go. junkie down again? No, he's, no. he's he idled her down a little bit. Oh, I like I like the bumper broken. Now the frame rails are just sticking out. He's yeah. able to do real good damage now. I don't think I've been to a show yet that he hasn't just half full track shot people like 80% of the heat. This track's holding up nice. Oh yeah, dude, the track all weekend has been great. I'd have thought Decker would have got a little more speed, but. Oh, man. The way they flop in them things is just insane. And the full-size cars are hooking up like crazy oh, on this yeah. track, so these guys, it's just like a, a missile coming at you. Once again, we're uh, missing our Jason Sauer, our Mike Ticks, and oh, yeah. uh, Micah. Yeah. There's several shows that they're going to be at. Yep. Now, now, where's Micah live at? Wisconsin, I think, right, Ben? Uh, I think so, yeah. Hunter nice. gave us a thumbs up, yeah. Wisconsin. Oh, oh. I love that Hunter's with us. Airbag. It's like, Airbagger. <laughs> you need, want to know where anything's at, Hunter's on his phone and finds it like that. Constantly, dude. Constantly. The funny, funny thing is, that guy's made it like 10 minutes in this heat, and it's just one off. He's been slamming. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sounded like junkie. We were in New York, and uh, Danny Ogden was in a minivan. Oh, my goodness. And the airbag went off. Like, was it between his legs or yeah. it like down? Yeah, it was the lower airbag went off. Oh, no. Yeah. That's kind of, was that before or after the seat broke right off? Yeah, seat broke, and then oh, he made yeah. a full-check <laughs> shot. <and laughs> it went off right he thought he was going to come shooting right off the back. I was like, whoa. That's it's funny. It's a good thing he only weighs 75 pounds. Yeah. And everybody thinks it's a great idea now that you know just take tailgates right off minivans, you know. So oh. it's like there's yeah, no, nothing to stop. <laughs> nothing. You just shoot out of there like a freaking missile. That's funny. Hey, look, I see a car out there with a sunroof. I could uh, possibly drive. I mean, I, I think a 92 to 06. Accord. Would Luxury. it be roomy? What is that, LX? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need an LX edition. Get you in a performance model five-speed. Bob, they'd probably just let you run a van. A, the a man van? A man van. And I'd have my man purse on? I'd hold it for you. I know you would, bud. Because that's what I do. 
Oh, this guy's coming down. He wants to get a little bit of room here. Old T-Bone. Old T-Bone. Old T-Bone. He's going to go for uh -oh. a... Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, 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 swing and a miss. That would have been a good one. Yeah, it would have. He didn't like the shot. He's coming. He's going to research another one. There we go. He liked oh, that one. Nose yeah. and nose. I think I would have took the other one. I took the other one. <laughs> oh, look at Junkie. Junkie. He just he sent him for a ride. There he comes. He sees him. Junkie's Swinging a, a mess. driver. Yeah, he is. He's wheeling her. Junkie's exhaust is so high, it looks like he's ready to go. Uh, he just like got done. He just got done watching Tokyo Drift. Fast and yeah. furious. He got that old import rolling. He just sent him. No more. Yeah, that dude can't get away from him. <laughs> oh. oh no. I'd say the green and white one really don't know nobody out there. No, limp, limp, <laughs> I think limp mode's actually in limp mode right now. Is that limp or imp? Limp. Yeah. Oh, I see yeah. the L now on the I scene. thought it was imp to start yeah. with, so I got looking at it. Limp I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'd be putting that on there, but no. if it was imp mode, here we go. He's going to pack them. These guys said, oh, we'll just bring your derby down here. Guy Raymond, Guy Raymond, he's a uh, he's New York guy. He uh, he drives the wind. Which one's that? The, the 01X right here. Junkie just put another hit on Oh, limp mode. Did he? You go down there yeah. and poke him? Oh, he's yeah. going to get him. Oh, yeah. man. He just keeps sticking to limp mode. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm, I'm good, Bob. Just yep. glad to be here. Yep. You bring him into the barn, you don't know what's going to happen. No. Yeah. <laughs> Put him out there, you don't know what's going to happen either. Yeah, yeah. Leave him out there free range for a while, and they kind of go a little, little, little wild, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, oh wow. Junkie! Junkie! Man! Uh oh, he's going to give him a little help there. Where's Junkie from? Uh, I think he's from New York, PA. He's from another planet, unknown. <laughs> yeah. Area 51. Place, place Area, Area 51. Junkie's out of Area 51. Look at the middle of his bumper. It's got to be touching the exhaust. Oh, I yeah. think the header's working as a kicker right yes. now. That's, see, everybody thought that was just a tall header. <laughs> right, it's, got, it's only schedule 120, yeah, you know. Yeah, he's 3H yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's limp mode doing? This he, is actually heat. Uh, limp, mode, limp mode's down limp, here. Yeah. He's like really He limp went mode. full limp mode. Yeah. I think what they did he's is. He's done. They, he's getting out. This was a compact, so they think they're doing one, two, three, or you got to fire it. I think maybe he's telling them to turn it up on each other maybe a little bit. I don't know. We got Skitter coming. Oh. Fatty. Yes, sir. Back where you're from since we're on the – Ohio. What things are called. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So where Josh and those guys come from, a shocker is a totally different thing than what an Indiana shocker is. Oh, junk? Well, to me, yeah, but – Right. So well, what's what, a shocker what, to you? It would be like a Y frame. Y framer? Yeah. Yeah. I figured. What do you, you know call fun? a shocker? Same thing. Same thing. What? You're lying. It's the same thing. Oh. oh all right. right there. Okay. What do right you there. call what do you call <laughs> <laughs> What what do you call it like a Chevy doghouse front end? What do you Clip. call you clip? Clip. Clip. See, clip. I call it, I call it a doghouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's wild. Terminology will get you every time. Man, I'll tell you what, uh, we was looking at some of them rules out in California. I, I, I don't understand half the stuff they're they're even talking about. I'm sure it's plain as day simple, but right. just the slang they use. Junkie trying to stuff two of them into the wall now, two yeah. for one. Junkie stuff runs good. Oh, yeah, look where the bumper is. Like you said, it's a kicker, <laughs> man, to that exhaust. Uh, <laughs> Uh-oh. Guy Raymond was shooting. No, no. Here he comes. Wow. Hey, 
you go. He can't even see out of the back. He's, he's just making, making shooting. He's making big stack Wes Whitaker uh, proud right now with that. Exhaust. Yeah, he is. Sure. Yeah, he is. I like it. I like it. I don't think I would have turned it the other way, though. Out? Yeah, like, so scared of people coming in. I'd have turned it sideways. Sideways? You put it forward. Put it forward. Yeah, you're probably You right. come barreling towards somebody, they're like, what is that? So I had a set of stacks I made once, and they face forward like that. Well, oh, junkie with guy. Oh, there you go. They was trying. Oh, they get him in a corner. What do you think he's doing? He just hit him. I think the other oh, dude was waiting man. on Junkie to go out. Man. That was a good shot. Area 51 produces some good drivers. Yeah. Yeah. That thing runs good. See, Bob, that's what you sounded like at Blizzard Bash. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking to... You're talking about when I was we were just watching in November or yeah. actually oh, running. Oh. <laughs> Those blue drinks that They're Megan amazing. was bringing out to us. Woo. Them things. I don't even know how much money we spent on them things. Uh oh, he's taking her to junkie. He's had enough. It was funny because when we were there, Tixie's wife called him and said, "Hey, we do me a favor." Use the other credit card that I can't see how much you're spending at the bar. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Old Tix, he, he's Old always ticks. there for a good time. Yep. These guys here. Are they hung? They're used to running against each other. You got uh, 199 of Corey Herzog. He's out of Springwater, PA. Then you got uh, Guy Raymond is out of Appalachian, New York. And then Junkie, I think. I'm pretty sure he's either a PA or a New York driver. Well, I'm going to say he's from Ohio. <laughs> I'm going to say he's from Ohio. But according the to the aggressive it, driving style he has, he's probably from Ohio. Junkie. He's steaming way too much and bent too much to be from Ohio. <laughs> you're yeah, right. Bent you're right. Our bumper would have never no, been like that. You're no. Right. You're right. Yeah. The back end would never look like <laughs> you're that. Right. You're right. Just love punishing hey, just people. It. I'd have left them. And according to Cody, you don't hit hard. So well, what? I mean, Cody runs harder. He runs a Cords and Chryslers. <laughs> Chryslers. Where are those? I see. We always hauled them to the junkyard to buy Fords. Man, junk, junkies getting tore up. No. I ran an Imperial once in a 74 Chrysler wagon. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They knocked the starter off the wagon. I was like 17 years old. I didn't really know the difference. I didn't know it was unibody, to be honest with you. That's how dumb I was. I ran you don't hit with the back of the Chrysler wagon very much. <laughs> I ran a 67 Newport. Oh, I thought I was big and bad. Oh, you had some. One, one hit to the back, and I think I was eating the bumper. <laughs> Yeah, it was just not. I mean, my dad and stuff used to run the Mopars all the time. It was just, they wasn't a whole, we, you know, by the time I started running, the Imperials were banned, and now they're just yeah. starting to come back. So, you know, just wasn't a bit. It's like Cadillacs. There's, you know, there's a few guys in Ohio that run it, but not very many. Yeah, I ran against some Cadillac hybrids back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Turn back the clock. Well, yeah. For us or before we got it? No, before it was uh, Don Long had it. Oh, when Don had it. Yeah. Ran running against Trey Nichols and Doodle and Toby, oh, his yeah. dad. Great guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, here we bring all these subframes. Joe, well, Rutherford, Johnny was, Rutherford. Um, who's the big guy that runs? He's a big dude. Nice guy. Runs, was it 911? He always runs in wa I wagons. Say, uh, Buck. Oh, no, that's Paul Petro. I think that's who you're talking about. Was it Petro? Yeah. Was it Petro? Yeah, that's Petro. He's a big, big dude. Yeah. yeah Scary looking. Yeah, Paul's a nice guy. Yeah, nice guy when yeah. you talk to him, but yeah, if, you, yeah. if you didn't know who he was, you'd be like, yeah, okay. Little Petro drives really hard, too. Brett. Brett does. He but does. we went out there with them subframes, and we're like, mm -hmm. yep, yeah, we're going to we're gonna put some damage on these wagons. Yeah. Didn't happen. No. 
basically come down through there and hit uh, hit Trey the one time in the corner, you know, rear pillar, thinking, yeah, I'm going to drive into that a little bit. Is that the year Toe brought his his, his up right? No. No. It was after that. That was a that was, nasty piece. Would you think it was different than any other subframe there? A hundred percent. hundred percent. Oh, yeah. How much time do you think was in the trunk? Well, knowing Toby, probably four hours because he was probably welding it on when he was coming to the derby. <laughs> I know he didn't even have the torsion bars turned up in <laughs> right. him when he pulled in. That's Tobe. Um, That's Tobe. Yeah, when he was using the back of that and in, in junk in the backs of sedans, yeah. I'm like, he told. Yeah, he's good. Oh, yeah. He's oh, good. yeah. You know, and they made us separate our, our single one-piece washers at our at our firewall. Well, Ben, that's cheap. And that, yeah. That, that's, yeah. I mean, you, especially and, when and you're and out I'm of running, town. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, yeah, especially when you're I'm running town. against a Cadillac yeah, stub man. wagon. Listen, rules are rules, Ben. <laughs> rules are rules. Okay? I know, I, mean, I know. I clearly said that in the rules. Said if you're from New York, you can't do well, that. Well, he didn't have anybody with him to decipher. You know, we uh, seen how they were sending messages to right, us. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That was way before autocorrect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. No, nah, we had a lot of fun. We had That's a lot good. of fun. Got, edu got educated. I actually can, can say that I put a pretty good front. I'd like, I'd like the headlight shot on Doodle, yeah. and I, I'm still talking and survive. So, well, that's you probably know. you probably had Doodle and Buck, his buddy Buck that used to yeah, run. He was guys, a bigger they, guy. They, they made my Imperial look like a look like a jackrabbit by the time I was yeah. done. You know, I, I've, I've dealt with Doodle a bunch. My favorite thing about Doodle, you can look at his car all you want. If he looks at you and go, I'm not cutting that, you might as well stop looking at it because he will not, not cut, cut that, that for yeah. nothing. But I hit. I I got the chance. I'm like, well, I got to do it. You know. Oh like, yeah. I, I got. Oh, yeah, this is like, you know, this is like, you know, unleashing a, you know, a pit bull. You know. So I went down through and just and I took my shot. He did. Like his little, adjusted his helmet a little bit, oh, yeah. and just shook his head. And I'm like, oh shit. Game yeah, on. Game on. on. That's doodle. Yeah. That's doodle. Nah, he's a great guy. Oh, all yeah, those yeah, guys yeah, are yeah, real yeah, good they're guys, all great guys. Man. It, well, you man. know, as hard as they run like that, man, you know, they'll get right out and shake oh, your hand. Oh, yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. Stuff. We great did guys. afterwards, you That's know. That's awesome. There was a lot of hype with that show when we oh, went out. Sure, and it was sure. like, there was a lot of crap talking that didn't actually happen that was portrayed to the happen. Oh, we crashed uh, back oh, in the day? Oh, my God. He was like a living legend yeah. on we crashed, wasn't he? And, uh, Who was? You. We yeah, and then it was like I think I, love a, I think it was a following year to year after when all the Minnesota guys came down, Lacy's and Bando. Is that when they had all the cool paint jobs on all of them and stuff? Yeah, yeah. And they, they only one of them ran out of the whole group. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I don't. Tobe ran that night, right? Or no? I, I'm pretty sure. I no. can't remember. No, no, no. I don't think. It, I think it was after that. I think it was after that. I don't know. It's been so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I know run. you guys are holding hands, reminiscing, but. Uh, I think Junkie's out. Junkie's done. He's no stuck. Uh, oh, man, so we got down to Guy Raymond. The I didn't mean to interrupt your little in, uh, love, man, lover's I was having quarrel. A moment I'm sorry. With ben. Corey, Corey Herzog in the 199. You couldn't let me have my 15 I, with Ben. You, you, you? you can go back. You can go back. I don't know. You ruined it, Bob. You, yeah. It's, it's, the, it's a moment thing. Yeah. Hey, I mean, if, you're gonna be, if you're going to be good at something, own it. And that's what I do. Thanks, Bob. Ruin stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, we might be down. Guys on the clock. Is that 199 or 199? Yep, 199 boot is actually what's on the list. Two Cor boot or boot? Two boot. 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 Corey boot. Herzog out of Springwater, PA. Looks like he's going to take the win of the. Oh no, guy oh, got her fired yeah, up. Yeah, he's coming out. Oh, oh that, that was, was brutal. Good. That was a good one. I think that just took 199 out, though. Oh, oh you comes. got her fired up. But, man, this last one's going to be devastating. Oh. You see how they jerk in that thing? Oh, my The God. whole body and everything. I'll tell you what. We, we drove minivans. I think I lasted maybe 40 seconds. I hurt longer than a, uh, running a blizzard bash for a week. Is that one of them good quality ones that ticks build all you guys? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, heard yeah, about them. I heard they yeah. were great. We yeah, were going was, out there with flat tires. I was the tires. rustiest one. Well, Ben, yeah. you're a driver. I know. That's they, what they was like. They, we're going to get I to figured the they set it, I set it up that way. Yeah. 
sabotage, man. Sabotage, you know, when they started picking numbers, they said, no, don't take that one, take the other one. Really? I kind of was like, yeah, I'm in trouble. How was Tix's van? Did he have a good van? No, Sour. Sour is the only one that lasted. Really? Yeah. Sour took on, like, five other guys. Here comes Guy Raymond. I think this is going to be the kill shot here. Oh, yep. Yeah. That little, that little backfire pop right yeah. there. Oh, he's moving. He's turning. He's moving, but he's belly. He's got a broken CV, don't he? Yeah, the oh, wheels are oh. turning. We, I'm the one is. Isn't he's got Uh oh. This could be it. Man, that was, that was wheel to wheel yeah. right there. He almost ramped over the front of him. He did. did. Ben, do you take five-hour energy? How in the heck do you do this all day long? What's that? Just talk and do so well, and like you're in here Cause all I don't, cause day. Because I don't ever talk any other time. That's so true. it's kind of, you know, it's a reserve. I build up a reserve for these shows, and then I just let it all go, and then I don't talk for a month. Mm, you are so. so impressive. Am I doing that? Uh, uh, Skinny is yeah, over there. Yeah, 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 I don't. Skinny's around there somewhere, but looks like Guy Raymond took the win on that. That was awesome. That was good driving in uh, the 199 boot. Uh, Corey Herzog got a Springwater PA with second and old junkie. He got At, third and did he Adam, get third? Adam, oh, I'm going to kill his last name. Buto. So just is it start with a B? Yeah. Let's go Adam B. Adam B. Adam B. Adam Boo. Adam Boo. Adam Boo. But no, junkie, I've, I know I can't nailed down exactly where he's from but i've watched him run several times and he's he's impressive i like the area 51. yeah that was that was a good place to come up mm -hmm. but i think we have if we go in order if we got a good order here next up might be the minivan suv mini trucks Yes, it's gonna be it's gonna be the Vans SUV mini trucks should be up next. And there are twenty five of them in there. They uh they go full bore too, don't they? Yeah, and there's a there's a it's a pretty diverse group. We got Maryland, Virginia, Illinois, PA, West Virginia, New York, Ohio. We only got one Ohio though. In the next one. Man, oh man, oh man. That was a good one out there. What do you think? Yeah, that was a good one. That was good. Now, do you run with the guys that come down to, or you never been with them guys before? Or? Which guys are you talking about? The guys that got second and third. Uh, I know them personally, but we're, we're just good guys. We run all up in upstate New York. Now, now, at the beginning, did you kind of make a little pack, like I'll leave you alone, you leave me alone, and we'll just kind of work it out in the end? Or was it, would you just happen to run into them at the end? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Well, hey, I'll tell you what. Congratulations. Thanks for coming. Great run, buddy. Thank you. Back to the hog barn. See, now when he says back to the hog barn, it means something. What's that? I said now when Fatty says back to the hog barn, it means something. Hey. You got some. You got he's, some he's making his way back, too. You got some thick guys in here now. But uh, I think while we're, uh, we're watching a uh, little bit of replay right now, but uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring the Indy CNC guys on. Nice. And because uh, they got some killer stuff on, and uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Who's he? Hold on a second. We're we're trying to figure out here. We got a bunch of people that are going to come on here and. Uh, I don't know who's fat he's out going after, but uh, there you go, just spinner, spinner in there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, well, who we got here? Who we got up here with us right now? Uh, it's Ronnie with NDC and C. NDC and C. It sounds like you guys, uh, you guys are made out pretty good so far this year. 
Yeah. yeah. And especially at this event. Right. Yeah. Uh, we love these events. We do really well. This is really one of our biggest part of the country where we sell at. Yeah, so, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. we love these shows. That heat was awesome. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Old Junkie was turning it up, but he got uh, he got the best of them. Yeah, he didn't have he, enough. thought he had it. He yeah, oh, yeah. It. Yep. What's, uh, what products do you have out there for everybody? Uh, we uh, started with the wheel modifier, but we have header protectors. We have ECM mounts, cup holders, uh, a lot of different mm -hmm. stuff. We're creating new every chance we get. We've had a heavy schedule for a while, so right. it's hard to build. But uh, we're going to Spring X next weekend. So mm -hmm. after that, we have a couple more things that are going to come out within the next probably three weeks. Now, um, if somebody wanted to buy something from you, where would they go? NDCNC.com. Also, you can join the NDCNC fan page on Facebook. Nice. And that's what we're up here now. We're going to do the giveaway that we... Oh, you're talking about yesterday. Josh was saying you guys were talked yesterday about a giveaway you guys yeah. are going to do. and uh, Yeah, we, we went through. We got a lot of likes. We appreciate all the support. A lot of shares, something like 300 shares. Nice, nice. Um, so we picked a winner, and it is Haley Blackman. Okay, so awesome. So if she wants to give us, um, send us a message, and we'll customize some header protectors for her. Awesome. Awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, we're, we're happy to give stuff away and, and get the attention, get our name out there. We mm -hmm. love being here with you guys. Oh, it's yeah. It's a blast every time. So. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate you guys coming on board, you know. Right. It uh, means a lot. And uh, like I said, we, like Josh probably said before, you know, and I'll reiterate it, I mean, you know, there's a lot of great – great uh innovators in the sport and people that come out with new products every time you know in uh vendors and and you guys are you know the the wheel uh the wheel modifiers you would call it that that is uh that's a big deal you know and me as a fabricator myself i'm like yeah yeah you know it, it that maryland there and uh it was in the fall when you guys were down there and i was we were checking it out and i was just telling josh i'm like jesus you know i wish i had one of these like right. five years ago you know yeah it's and, really uh, a time saver yeah it, it really is just to get your cuts accurate and yeah. save time in the shop i mean it's definitely helpful oh for yeah us, yeah for yeah. anyone i think but yeah we try to be different we try not to have the same thing that everybody has and mm -hmm. we've been doing this for 26 years that we've been right being. right so you know we kind of knew what where we wanted things right. to change, what right. products we wanted. So, right. yeah, man, we enjoy it. We enjoy meeting all the people, and everybody supports us. We love it. So. That's that's awesome. Can you that's tell awesome. us a little, like, so you said you got some new products coming out. Will it be <laughs> for the car or to build stuff for the car? Uh, mostly for the car. Nice. Um, we're thinking every day. I mean, we sit in the shop and just brainstorm what, <laughs> what else we can do. Right. Um, we haven't even got to touch our cars this year. They're not not – remotely built right. <laughs> we have a yard full of cars and nothing done on them so we you know we spent the time in the shop and we really are trying to be creative and bring mm -hmm. product products that people want we've been asked about a lot of products so we're looking into a lot of different things mm -hmm. and we appreciate the feedback we appreciate people bringing to our attention the products they want because that's what we want to do right for them. right absolutely absolutely now with the steel prices the way they are is that kind of hurt you guys or uh yeah but more so the uh supply chain issues that's yep. that's been a big thing you know we got that new three pedal brake set up out and i know there's a guy that's going to run that here tonight in the two main extreme mm -hmm. and uh you know we've had a lot of, we, it's been on back order and we've had a lot of interest in it and it's just one of them things where getting the master cylinders in bulk is hard right and it doesn't come in you know as quick as we'd like it to or as quick as we could sell them so right we, we've been working on that and changing some of our supply chain and where we get it but the the steel prices is definitely hurting everyone um that's a that's a real thing because everything we make is steel right? Yep. right oh yeah so you know it, it is but we, you know we're able to get past that for the most part and we deal with some great people where we get our steel so uh if if we can move forward with that the supply chain issues are something we're really working hard to get past mm -hmm. and get these orders out you know we try to be fast on shipping and fast with the uh the feedback from the orders from the things that people are sending us that they want built and we've got a few done um, we're working on some right now yep. so 
a lot of fun, a lot of fun to get to create and do the different oh, things. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. it really is. It's a lot of fun to come out and meet everyone and watch these shows. Yeah. So, yeah, it, we're, we're enjoying it. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and that's one thing that uh, supply chain, that, that's just not, that's not singled out. That's not just area specific. That's that's yeah. all over the world, you know. So yeah, it's definitely. everybody's feeling it. So, right. you know, and, and – and sometimes that happens in previous years. I mean, that was it was uh, it was isolated in different areas, you know, and, and uh, you know you got a lot of negativity and, and negativeness from that. But uh, people did. But now being such <clears throat> such broad and worldwide, you know, everybody's dealing with the same situation. So you get a lot more, a little bit more understanding with it, you know, right. per se, right. than somebody calling up screaming saying, "Yeah, hey, hey, you know, ain't got it yet." But you know, it's it's. Uh, because I'm in the same type, I'm in steel industry myself. I mean, we're f of humongous. Uh, we manufacture and install guide rail systems, highway safety stuff, yeah. a lot of DOT stuff. In uh, we'll, we have to have certified mill runs, and we we got the same thing. We're gonna have over a hundred truckloads of steel coming in in the next like three months. Right. So it's like you know, but we it, we were already supposed to have it three months ago. You know, <laughs> right. so it's yeah. it's. Uh, that we, I, I understand fully that aspect of it, and uh, but yeah, you guys are you guys are putting out great stuff, and uh, really appreciate well, really appreciate you know and, and like you appreciated us, we appreciate you for you know giving yeah, us the sure. chance and great uh, partnership. Yep, uh, you know we put that out yesterday, and and the the out the support of everyone that likes and shares and yep. comments just blows us away every time. Yeah. You guys really get us the views yeah. on that. Yep, but. Uh, yeah, we appreciate everybody that did it, and like I said, it's Haley Blackman that won, and if, if she wants to get a hold of us, that'd be great. We'll get her some custom header protectors made. Right. And I'm going to get out of here because we got a lot going on. All right, hey, that's all right. We that's all right, guys. Right. All right. But we appreciate yours. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. Didn't, uh... It's people like that yeah. that keep the sport going. Yeah, and like anybody is here. stuff away. You yeah, know? yeah. Those guys, they they get they're set out out out, out behind, in the fence, out right behind us, and and just seems like I mean, even all the vendors here, not just them, they've had a constant line all right. you know yesterday and today, and uh, but those guys are super cool guys, you know, and and like you said, they're they're creative and in what they do, they they think all day, right. you know, and it's it's what they come up with, and that's what it's about. Well, you know, like, everybody has their little different twist and idea on stuff. I love how he made that to be able to cut your own wheels. Oh, yeah. That's so impressive. Oh, yeah. The craftsmanship on everything's nice. Yeah, I mean, most people, you know, they come up with their own, own little gigs, you know, but not everybody has a, you know, not everybody has a tire changing machine, you know. Right. You can set a little jig up on and and it's, uh, oh, boy, here we go, Bobby. Well, I'm, cutting my, a... I'm cutting myself short because I got to announce oh, these that's guys. That's nice. Yeah. We got uh, minivan SUV mini truck heat, which these guys, people, you're in for a treat. Uh, we've had them in the fall. We had them on the roof. We had them over the barriers. We've we, it, it just these guys are crazy. Uh, two o two skeeter and a skeezer and economy. David Talbert, Wrigley, Ridgely, Maryland. Three twenty one. Jeff Atkins out of Madison, Virginia. The 2.2 Bill Miller out of Marion, Illinois. The 911 Steve Oh Steven Sickles is in this nice. Union Town, PA. The 18 Brian Byron 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 I think Adams Sears Cereal Springs, Illinois. Man, I killed that one. The 01 Duke Morgan Yost Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. The 403 Andrew Zam Casville, PA. The GCMW Jackson Salisbury out of Waynesburg, PA. The 11P Carter Parker out of New York. The 29B Brandon Cook, Waynesburg, PA. 29 Jordan Cook, Waynesburg, PA. 25 Patrick Uppel, Cannonsburg, PA. Disorderly Conduct number seven, Larry Knight, Williamsport, PA. The 88W Harold Walburn out of Spencer, New York. 101 Matt Walburn out of Allenwood, PA. The 86 Eliminator, Ron Roach, Wrigley, West Virginia. 46 John Lammer, Strongstown, PA. The 00 Paul Krynock III out of Lily, PA. 
449, Leroy Shader out of Reistertown, Maryland. 25, Brandon Pinkerton out of New Vienna, Ohio. 7J, James Walker out of Knox, PA. 21N, Nicholas Walker out of Knox, PA. F7, Tyler Feinfrock out of Shippensville, PA. LTFO, Kevin Sh Devin Schmidt, Palmerton, PA. And four loco, Blake Maloney out of Hanover, PA. So that's 25 of these guys out here. I never thought it was going to end. They were and they're going to let her, let her rip tater chip because it's gonna, they're going to be a lot of destruction in this. Let her rip tater, tater chip. chip. Yep. Here from, here from the home base in the hog barn. The hog barn. Coming to you from the hog barn. And we're only single story. We're not, we're not a bi level. <laughs> <laughs> There's okay, no okay, the ranch barn, okay, the ranch the barn. Ranch, barn. <laughs> ranch hog barn. <laughs> well, hog barn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, the boom. The, the boom. Boomer, 29. That'd be Jordan Cook. He's out of PA. Look at these guys, nosing out the old wagons. Wagons, yeah. Nosing out, the old, nosing out the old vans. You hear what I'm saying? Wagons in her vans. There comes another one. Yeah, there's 25. We got the crazy ones out here. You see the little explorers and stuff like that? Those guys are Fruit Loops out here. I'm telling you, they go, they go crazy. The Durangos, the explorers. Yeah, in the fall, Bobby, they, we had rollovers. We had them going up over the barriers. They were they were all over the place. Did you see sickles come out? Uh, not yet. It looks like they're still. Hunter seen them. Hunter seen them. Hunter seen them. He snuck in. He is the points champion, so right. he's got he got to stay a little low key, I think. He's in a dead man car. Dead man van. Woo! I hope that window changed like it just did. Yeah, I might actually have to put pants on. Skinny's right, you might have to set fire to the floor of the trailer. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Let her rip, tater chip. Yep. What is it? Give her onion? Give yeah. her the onion? Give her the onion. <laughs> her onion, let's go. Crazy already. Oh, they're going right after sickles out here. I think he's in the entrance, isn't he? No, he was just right down here. He's he's uh in a pre Oh man, what a shot. 25 put on four. Woo! Was that all glass that shot out or water? I'm not sure. It was a ton of it. Well, probably most, I, I didn't see what it was, but it's probably a bumper. There it is, we're getting a shot down there with a the drone. Bill's got the drone out. Wow, Sickles driver's door is like all the way in. Oh no, passenger door shot on that, on that mini oh, truck. Goodness. He's past the frame rail. I think they were just checking on him. Wow. That's right in front of us. Oh, right there. Pills out there, a drone thing. It looks like it was at the other end, but it's right in front of us. He's getting out, he said now. I don't blame you, dude. There's no shame in that.
Oh, look who gets to join us again. Must be nice to take 25 minute breaks. Yeah, hey, no, man, no, no, I don't no. know. He was trying to make moves here. Trying to make moves. Yeah, yeah. He was trying to, yeah. You know, keep the show rolling. Yeah, yeah. Out there looking for flowers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I was for I, for Easter. Yeah, I was. Uh, anyways, great heat. Yeah, yeah. This guy in this this mini truck here, he he just he got her pushed straight the passenger door, pushed straight about to the seat. Which one? This orange one right here. Oh, the old Duke boy. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah. he's old right. Duke he's boy. right. The, yeah. the cab's right past the frame rail now. So. Is the rear end then sideways? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Just didn't know if that was me. He's trying to get traction. Oh. I want to say that. Uh, oh, right there's Pinkerton. He's yep. back out there. You get a good look at the passenger side right here when he backs yeah, up. Let's take a peek at that. Oh yeah, he's he. Oh. He got her in there. Glove oh. box. Glove box you can open from outside the window. She's past yeah, the frame the, rail. Yeah, that's the frame. <laughs> yeah, she's right past right the frame there. rail. Yeah, that's the frame sticking up. He must have got shoved in there after the, the red flag is what wow. I'm thinking. Or is he a reaper? I'm not sure. Wow. Why would you take this is a one and done heat, I think. Pretty sure this is a one and done heat. Yeah, there's no way there. Maybe right. he had some gas. There's been a lot of variables today. Yeah. A lot of, you know, we had a lot of gas leaks, and but, man, the way they're hitting, I'm just, Surprise! Yeah, there they, hasn't been more. It's a fast track. That's I mean, bumpers going through firewalls. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, you're talking like, last night. The the action was so so rough. I mean, they're super pro mod built, pretty much mercenary compact. Guy got torn off. The cage got. They're saying the cage got broke. The gas tank. The was gas. In the back, the was in gas the tank came loose. Totally came loose. They said that the Devin got hit in the side so hard it knocked the computer out from underneath the dash and got behind the brake pedal. That's why he couldn't stop. Yeah, he, that, he, yeah, got that one guy there. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, they're, that's. Oh, it's insane. They were they, they were feeding it though. They told, I was telling Bobby that this this heat here when they ran in the fall there was guys on the roofs there was guys up out into the fences there's I mean they were crazy. That's insane. Yeah. How many cars do you use vans, trucks, whatever, that these, that these tires have put an effect on this weekend? Because these tires, like in them team events, this is like your fourth van, them tires. Yeah, you know, oh yeah. The guy up against them. Oh, we got the old Blazer. Oh, 449, oh, Schaefer yeah. and the Blazer. I like that patina. Is that like a patina or just brown, Bob? Yeah, it's brown. It looked like brown primer. I like that. That looks brown primer, but the back's a resemblance back pillars of the old clamshell. I think he should have had a roof rack on that. Should have had rack. a roof rack. He's not from Ohio, I'll guarantee no. that. But he's not still, that little he's still back, straight he's like not, Ohio. He had a four-door. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> they never he, made a two-door wagon. Yeah, he's still straight like Ohio, though. Well. Yeah, it's expected. Yeah, okay. Them are even 23s <laughs> on the back of that thing. They look good. He may be from Ohio. There ain't a dent in it. <laughs> hey, see, Shaver for We do have one Ohio guy. 25 Pinkerton's from Ohio. Yeah, yeah, I knew Pinkerton. Yeah, was. four, got four. The wheels on the back. Yeah, that's what I said. It's perfect. Four, four, nine. He's out of Maryland. Out of Maryland, you yep, said? Yeah, Maryland, yeah. Oh, here comes the shot. Aye. Oh, he took it. Yes, he did. <laughs> he, he's like, I'm out of here. That's the thing with this heat, them, them little SUVs, them little Explorers and Blazers and stuff, Durango's, they're freaking nasty. Yeah, they're hard. Like Pinkerton went to the ground on the back of his. Bob, did you ever have a certain color that you always like to paint your cars? Like, 
Like, you ever have a scheme or anything? A scheme? I used to purple and yellow forever. Really? S snap that New Yorker Rome bumper right off the front of that 449. What about you? Is it just oh. black? Yeah, it's, oh, I, I used to like run black and orange, and now my daughter's favorite color is purple, so now I run black and purple. It's a good color. Yeah, I like it. I kind of grew on it. Oh, look at this head. Ouch. Oh, my goodness. The Eliminator. Yeah, oh, yeah. Six. Oh, yeah. That's a fact. You got Mad Max out there in the 101, well, and then you got the, yeah, the Eliminator. But you can see where he's trying to go. He's throwing flames three foot out the back of it from the exhaust. You got the... Mad Max, the Intimidator, the Eliminator. Oh, yeah. Sound like, like 449. Yeah. Like, yeah, the old, like old train, he's had enough. Yeah. Looks like the bumper did, too. Yeah. <laughs> Finger in, he's still going. Yeah, he's having a little rough out there. Usually he, he, he hammers Old Sickles, down. Sickles at the other end. He's still going. So you, you ran a minivan then? Yes, a couple how, times. How was it? What's that? How was it? Um, I'm, what, 150 pounds? Back then, I was about, yeah, about 155 back then when I ran it. And about the second full track back-to-back -back shot I took, I snapped the seat right off. Uh, I'm telling you what, well, like Bobby said, yeah, I was, and before that, I'd been in Imperial heats. I ran Imperials, everything. I'd been in some rough heats, and I got out of that minivan heat, and it was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Not gonna do that no more. It's like that, like I said, it's like backing up dump trucks. Right. You just, oh, I'm you just, sure. It's they are hard. Oh yeah, and they'll hook on anything. Oh yeah, they yeah. Hook but every time I've run a minivan, I've taken myself out. I've broken my own CV joint every single time. Uh, yeah, that you know, because you get you get driving fo getting driving forward with it, and it's like okay, yeah, you get a flashback that you're in a you know. In a sedan or rear-wheel yeah. drive car, and then you try to go down and scrape somebody, and you just turn the wheel, and then you catch the wheel and the bumper, and then you're done. So, yeah, I'm an amateur when it comes to minivans and compacts. Don't run compacts at all in minivans, taking myself out both times. So. Uh-oh. I didn't know this was – is this even allowed? Skinny. Is me and Skinny on at the same time? Absolutely. I, I approve it. All right. Uh, yeah. I approve all right. it. I don't think this is the first time all weekend. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy, we're in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble now. Skinny and fatty. Yeah. Whew, I just walked a mile and a half. Whoa. Where's well, the golf cart? Went to the front fence. I can't have them nice golf carts. Went up by the oh. front fence. I got to find that place myself eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I seen that sandwich. Oh, sickles. They're going to get sickled down here in the corner. Yeah, I seen that sandwich Decker had. I was like, yeah, I'm, uh, that's coming soon. Yeah, provolone and cheese. Steak and cheese. Like, he just get it plain, does he? No, it's, yeah, well, it's plain. Yeah, it's just provolone and steak. Nice. Not me, fatty. I got to load them up. See, I'm not that guy. But we ain't putting ketchup on all that. Yeah, I know you don't like your veggies in any uh, of that. Uh -huh. Oh, good shot right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. The minivans are gonna prevail out of this. You think, huh? Yeah, it wasn't look. It was looking like maybe the SUVs might have had a little shake in the, be able to get a little shake and bake and be there at the end, but didn't happen, huh? No, my Mad Max down here. He, he just something happened to him. And Fans are just fun, man. Absolutely love them. Wonder how many of them's having tranny issues. Wonder if what the four six and stuff ain't the thing to run. I mean, that car, that one looks pretty oh, good. Oh, Sickles is down there hung up. He is hung up. Okay, these two here, the double zero, are mystery van that don't have any number on it. That is Sickles 100%. What's that? Damn it, it's trying to get off. Oh, yeah, he is. He's, he's buried. Yeah. And then our double zero of Paul Krynock, the third out of Lily PA. And then our mystery van, no number. And them guys, they ain't even gonna, they ain't gonna go help them. Nah, I wouldn't. Nope. I wouldn't head down that way. No, nope. they're gonna have their own little derby down here in this little corner. Yes, sir. 
Making them hit. Let's go. They want him hitting. Yeah, they're not Sickles ready. getting some movement. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No, he's time. He's got to be 60 seconds. That's it. The official's telling him over there. Yeah, shut it down. All right, looks like you're down to your two here, the double O and the mystery. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No. Yeah, final moments here. But this could go on for a few minutes here because these guys are just doing a little bump bump. Yeah. They don't want it. Once they find out, though, once they find out they're the last two, it might go a different way. Oh, he's got him in there, Ben. Oh, did he get he's him boxed? He's got him turned sideways. Oh, he's got him boxed. Oh, he might have oh. just unhung him. No, he's, he's high centered on the front bumper, too. Hold yeah. him there. And oh, he's, he's going to knock him loose. Oh, he's hot. He's hot. He ain't going to get out he of He got there. him off that bumper. But, yeah, he's good as folded over now. Yeah. He's got Sending him. Sending it. He's got him. Got to love the van, Hunter. Woo. Your old leaf sprung van there. What's that, caravan leaf sprung like that? Yep, single sprung. All right, that's it. All right. Congrats to the mystery number winning yeah, it. I don't know. We're going to find out. Fatty's going out there to do interviews. So I'm going to say unofficially, 002nd and Sickles third. Yeah. And yeah. your exploder in the fourth. Yeah. 88W, yeah. or is that what W88. That was? There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. W88, buddy. Yes, sir. Woo-wee. They're going to try to get his helmet off. That's the best thing about them vans. You can just crawl right out the back. You don't have to climb out no window. All right, we're going to. Hunter, are you ready to go to Fatty? I got to check. Now that's how you end the derby. Passenger side out, down to one and two. What was you thinking mistaken. when you got him up in there? Bill Miller, ain't Well, it? I knew, I mean, no, he had that four-cylinder Toyota van in there. And, uh. I mean, I just had the six-cylinder caravan. I knew I was a little bill coming out here. I uh, got loaded in my pro stock car, so I said, man, I got to do some points getting in this class. <laughs> oh, yeah, way to redeem yourself. Now, do you run the minivans a lot, do you? Well, we do a lot of gut and goes back home. I actually got a track built behind my shop. We do a lot of, like, backyard derbying, so. Oh, well, good deal. Where are you from, boss? Uh, Marion, Illinois. Illinois taking the money home tonight. Wow. Great job I've tonight, buddy. I've seen that. Thanks. Thank Illinois you. plate right, on the front of it. we're going to go back to Ben and Skinny yeah. in the hog barn. I'll yeah. Right there, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> That's Bill Miller there, yeah. folks, if you don't know. Old That's Bill who that Miller. was? Yeah. I thought once you come out of there, I seen who it was, and the mystery man is Bill Miller winning it. The Vans. Yeah, I heard he got loaded yesterday. Yeah, because he's not even on the, he's not even no, on the he, roster. No, he went incognito is what he yes, went. Yes, he did. But what I did see is that front Illinois plate. Okay. I'm like, wow, there's an Illinois okay. car or yeah. a bumper. Who would want that rusty stuff? He, he, yeah, he's got a clean one. Look at this. None better right there, my friends. Yeah. Driving it off the track. He Go. went in, He went in UC on that one. He was UC on that one. Hell of a, hell of a builder and hell of a driver right yeah. there. Bill Miller? You've heard of Bill Miller, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah we're – absolutely. We're rolling out of this and rolling right into the Dead Man Compacts. Good deal. Boy, how many have we went through? Six? At least? A few. At least six We went through some pages. So we're looking at at least we're, another seven more. No, 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 no. We After this, we got, we got Dead Man Compacts. Yeah, I think you're right, Skin. Dead Man Compacts, Two Man Extreme, Bone Stock Compact, Number Two Heat, uh, Half Ton Trucks, uh, Joker three man feature, pro stock feature, and then the mercenary V eight. So yeah, seven. Okay. Moving right along. Moving. Moving Rolling. Right How it yeah. Rolling. This sucker could be done at nine o'clock. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm gonna say it because I gotta catch a three thirty airport ride. Yeah. Well I'll be that'll put me home about one thirty, so Yeah, you're jetting home after this, yeah, and yeah. it yeah, perfect. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm only about three and a half hours, yeah. so it won't be bad. Stop, fill up and just keep going it's, oh that's not bad at nah, all, it's all yeah it's all highway too, yeah so, so it's pretty good it's not too bad coming over 
Yeah, the morning will roll out in the morning. We gotta get we gotta get code after it's over. We gotta get this all tidied up and packed away, and the wall tore down so code can t to haul this home. And then <clears throat> I'm making a roundabout trip and headed up towards Erie to pick up the ambulance or hearse or whatever he bought. And it's hard going around that way. Mm -hmm. That's like a 7,500 pound car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your little half ton truck's gonna love that. Bit. Yeah, my old little Chevy. She's little Chevy's gonna she's gonna be like the little engine that could. The little Chevy that could. Yeah. She'll pull her. She'll pull her. I'll yank her down the road, but the cops might not like it when I go by. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh Lord. How, uh, how, how long a flight you got, Skin? I'll be home by ten thirty in the morning tomorrow. Oh, nice. So it's not bad. That's we jumped through Chicago. Problem is we come out of KCI, we don't have a direct flight this way, so we always have to jump a jump a port. And I'd rather assume go through Chicago. Coming here, we went all the way to Newark. And then flew uh, back. I hate passing up. It's like time's going to Utah. Going to California and then fly. Or Why go to Vegas. Up? Yeah, right. Go to Vegas. You're flying to Vegas to come back to Utah. It's Amen. Like, dude, just give me a parachute. Right. I'm going to jump here. Well, the time you get that many hours in on a flight, I want a parachute and get the Amen. hell out of the plane. Well, the first time I flew, I went to Kansas. This yeah, year. I remember I you telling you. You so nervous. Yeah, my buddy Joe went out with me, Linky, and uh, – I love I'm, you, Joe. Yeah, and we're sitting there. I'm, I'm scared to death on this plane. I look over. He's dead asleep. <laughs> next. Like, well, are you kidding me? You dude? think he gave two? And then he no. put me next to the window. <laughs> I even better. <laughs> yeah. But you always want the window wide, Fatty, because I hate getting beat up down the aisle. And when it, you do want to take a news, a snooze, you just hit that window. You just oh, hit the well, window. The you can't lay on your neighbor. Because the window is nice and cool, too. Well, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. Joey booked the flight, and the, the thing, like, I was sitting right next to the wing – <laughs> and then, like, he was like, you okay? I was like, dude, there's something hitting my leg. So that means wind is pushing it. Oh, yeah. So he's like, you'll be fine. You'll right be fine. on the river. It's right off the wing, baby. Count <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, open the window. I was like, I'm not opening the window. <laughs> the the <laughs> best is when you see people struggling with their seatbelt. Like, and you look over and we're straight faced. Like, is that really going to save you? Yeah. Right. <laughs> is that really going to help you? <laughs> These people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want beer. Oh, uh, the gal we had from Newark back to uh, Pittsburgh, I never seen nobody ch up chuck on the plane. This chick was up chucking in a bag next to me, oh, no. and oh. it was it's bad. I kind of looked over. Like, oh my lord! <laughs> she kept hitting the call yeah, button, right. bringing her wet wipes, bringing her another bag. I'm like, no. I feel for you, hun, but I ain't gonna help you. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, I yeah. gotta be. I gotta be honest too, because back when we first started doing this, I first started going out to Ohio when we went to Florida or uh, Utah. And went to Florida. I didn't want. I did not like to fly. Okay. Period. Really? I'd get. I'd be sweating bullets. I'd be white oh, knuckled yeah. and everything else. And just it all it took it took me three four flights out to Utah that long long stretch yeah. out there, and then it, it, it wasn't bad at all. And I'm and I'm the sarcastic one. We all go to the back of the bus, you know, the bad kids are in the back of the yeah. bus. Oh, yeah. We go back there and, and we have a good time, and and they're like, oh, you know, Stuart's like, you got to buckle up for takeoff. I'm like, what? Uh, <laughs> if, if if we go down I, and this plane plane rips apart. I definitely don't want to be with the plane. I said, I can right. fly. I can try to fly like a bird. I said, I'd rather try to do that because that seatbelt ain't going to help me when we hit the ground. You're exactly yeah. right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nice. What is Damn that? Damn it. What is that, man? Sprinkles. And it isn't the sprinkle starship ice cream truck. That's the other R it's, word I hate. I don't think it's supposed to be here very long. We yeah, I was going to pull up the radar and see what the radar looked like. Yeah. But unfortunately, folks, it is upon us. And now the. Open grandstand is making way to the, the closed grandstand. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're all going to shag over. And this is where, thank you very much to Josh's partners, yes. Josh Buell and Jeremy Gully and Brian Leonard's in there. For I thought letting you were us, more a partner us, than them. What's that? Than Josh. In Josh yeah, who? Exactly. <laughs> no, I agree no. with Ben. No, for Gotta letting us for letting yes, us sir. use the, the the their apparel trailer pretty much is what they purchased it for. Well, we're getting spoiled with yes. this now. Yes, so we are. Anywhere within these coasts, <laughs> I hate to say it, we're gonna have to put in an order and have to rent this thing every time if that's what it takes. It's, yeah, because I'm I'm done staying outside with that wind blowing up yet. And, uh -uh. Days yeah. like today, this trailer's yeah. money. The only oh, thing nice. the only thing we're gonna have to do is. Uh, you're gonna have to come up. We we'll have to come up with one of them super quiet generators to put outside to Amen. power power the little sail mander. Amen. Um, 
Tixie actually bought a 40 foot gooseneck. Yeah, you've seen that, that, right? Monster. You've seen that monster, yeah. and it's at apparel too. Opens yeah. up on the side. I'm trying to get it from him. Are you? Yeah, that way he ain't gonna ever use it. I can use it way more behind the toter. Yeah, I'll be right back again. All right, no problem. All right, Fatty, now we can get this underway here. Oh, uh, yeah. unsupervised. Vised is right. I like that. Here, Skin, I'll scoot over just in case somebody wants to come yeah, in. Yeah, no. Oh, you don't want to sit next to me? No, I want to no, 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 keep sliding no, on no, over to you. Okay, I'll come okay, back. Okay, yeah, see? Yeah. Look at this. See, all the Bearded yeah. Brothers are live on track shot. Shut it down. Shut it down. Oh, oh shut it down. we're shit. just getting ready to let it eat. We was just so getting Decker's ready to jumping in here. Shut it down. We were going to shut down the internet. If you to just give us, about I think we got the minutes. silver fox right here. Listen, look, look, look at that beard. Look at that I got some gray in mine, but Fatty, you got the silver and gray going they, together. I was told after my heart attack that it will go all white. Really? That's what they say. I don't no know kidding, how true bro. it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say. I don't know. Well, and it's all old timers telling me that. You know, I mean, it's no. I don't know if there's any scientific fact to it at all. <laughs> yeah, tell yeah. us the science. <laughs> well, the no sandbagger showed yeah, up. It sure wasn't no science in that. Tell science. You did. <laughs> like seriously, like. I know, like I had a conversation with TJ, and he's totally against giving kids participation awards, and they should earn it, and this and that, and then he gives Decker the Reaper <laughs> yeah. Award. Yeah, it's like Are you for me? hitting a tire. Yeah, he hit three times. Twice was the tire. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like boots at the farm, Decker. I just I don't understand it. I mean, a mad dog is somebody that goes out and just tears stuff up. He made three. A hits. Harold in the hammer last night. That's deserving of that award. That dude was hammered. Yes. Decker, not so much. Trent, go get my award. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Decker. Trent, Trent, go get his participation trophy. You never had one of them in your entire life. What a I got a pile of them. Hey, You've never Decker, even had one. Decker, and let me let me Decker. warn you something. The day we get on a track together, I will be smoking you from <laughs> long range as you're sitting there boring as hell as always. Decker. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Oh, well, my no. super hard car. I got no. the super hard car. I've been running for 30 more years. And listen. I got 700 Decker. plates on it. I'm He's so proud of it. He's more people than you did on Big Z. Decker. Never. Listen, listen. <laughs> Never. You're, no, he hasn't. You, you are right. I, I do not have participation trophies. I yeah. have first place trophies. No one cares. That's why you're a nobody. Because <laughs> no one cares that you win. God. Not a person. I love it. America, tell this guy's a nobody. You know Text him right now. Look, Fatty, listen. look it up. Jeff, his name is Jeff. Jeff now, Fatty Clark, write now, it. Now Decker's boy, right. I can't wait. Decker's right. I can't wait. Watch to your phone blow up. Shot live, clear down the side of my car. Amen. I can't wait. I'm gonna blow it all up. And just think about. It. I only got to paint it on once, and then I'm gonna run it all year. You are not allowed to wear it. <laughs> have sour. You yeah. cannot have sour, wear nice our colors. No, no, yeah, no. Nope, I'm gonna have nope. sour come down with that track shot blue. With that track shot blue. Yes, sir. Absolutely not. I actually have a baby blue Lincoln. Even better. Yeah, so. You good. will not represent us. <laughs> He's mean? been doing a great job, according to the Facebook and Snapchat I world. Mean, well, then they don't know what they're talking about, because I looked at my phone, and people are not happy with you. I, I'm not going to say that ESPN, Fox Network, all them has called me, but I told them I'm not going backwards. Amen. I'm going to stick with Trackshot Live <laughs> and carry this out. your <laughs> Well, Sports Illustrated him up last night. I wanted yeah, to yeah, print on the magazine. You ever heard of that little magazine? I was in that. Sports Illustrated. It's worldwide. Well, you dream about it. I'm really doing it. No, but okay? what, what, what Remember happened? Remember this. Lexi Next week, I'll over. show you. Lexi there came over and asked him. Go. Yep. He's going to be in uh, the Derby magazine. On the front. I was. I front was, page. You know what's so funny? I was actually in the original, on the original cover. So I actually did that 20 years ago. So it's cool that you're going to get to it now. But I already Finally. did that. It's old news. Well, No. No, no, it's not old news. Because no, it is. Trust me, Windy you are. Point New York news ain't nothing, Decker. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's Ohio. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get somebody else on here. Somebody <laughs> swing in here. I love you, Decker. But, no, you did a great job. We are talking. The cars tore up. She you is did. munched up. Core sports ripped right out. Bumpers rolling down. Yeah, you did a great job of building that. Well, how much? Well, you have three months. Kids, of that? kids, listen. Your whole life, days. your whole life, you'll have bullies just <laughs> bullying you, right? Trying to break you down. Don't even listen to them because they're jealous. They're jealous. You hear it You're oozing exactly out of right. these two. Yeah, you've never hit anybody ever. Jealous. You've I'm never had a crowd on your feet. Okay, I've watched your videos. People <laughs> boo your ass, and I'm sick listening to it. <laughs> they're on their feet for me. They're on your. They're booing you. <laughs> Shut uh, up, dude. They were leaving. 
They yeah, they were leaving. They wasn't yeah. on their feet. They were like, I'm They were leaving. You Tecker, are, they treat you your heats like, like the old days of the compacts. You know, Nobody wanted to watch one them. time during the whole heat, I was jealous, Decker. When you took off backwards <sighs> and you made that hit with the back, I was so jealous that I don't have 715s wrapped around my quarter panel <laughs> when I derby. I love it. That's on the back. <laughs> Hey, but you did an amazing cut. job. You I know mean, what's you so funny? You know, no, 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 no. You Shut your it. mouth for a second. <laughs> Shut your damn mouth. These fucking guys, you know. I'm, and then they're going to ask for a check at the end of the night. <laughs> Write us a check. Yeah. Yeah. Void. I mean. Void this go, one. Go pay somebody to build your cars. You write me a check tonight. You write me a check tonight. Uh, okay. You jerk. Right. <laughs> How do we redeem ourselves now? I need, new, I need new commentary. Trust me. Message me. I'm looking for it. These two are garbage. Yeah, he's looking for some new set of 715s, too, because he chewed them last Oh, yeah. Up. <laughs> them things are, shoop. Yeah, they gone. You know, at the end of the day, I know that 90% of the world's with me and only 10% with you. It's oh. So I'm not really that worried about it, right? I could be, I could, I could just be, <sighs> I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm actually just going to leave that Smart alone. Smart man. <laughs> only right. fools rush in. You Okay. <laughs> You gotta love it, Decker. I love you. If you if, if we were are. not on air right now, I would have slugged you both, and I'd be <laughs> profanity nonstop. But you're lucky I'm being quiet right now. You don't want to. You're here because of me. Decker. Our fans in Shut Germany your don't want to see you beat Decker, up. Decker, Decker, you did a, a great job. You had your 15. Where are you going, Decker? Where are you? <laughs> All right. Well, if anybody's got a set of 715s for the back of a. Uh, metric Cadillac. Hit up Josh Decker. He loves it. He, he wants it to sit at <laughs> least Maddie, look what we did. <laughs> See, we got rid of it. Hey, All right. what's up, America? Uh, yeah, hey, what's up, America? Yeah, oh, this is uh, perfect. All right, we got to change it up here. All right. Is, is oh, yeah. We got all right. Am, am I, am I out? A little bit of everybody coming am, in. Am I out? Oh. Am I, all right. We're fired. Come here. You did good. Dad. Get out of here, you right. SOB. Go, go, go do some effing work. Shut up. All right, America, I got Teej and Kayla coming, right? I love having them up here. Pick either one. I don't care. Kayla in the middle for sure. Yeah, you in the middle for sure. Hunter, come back to us if you don't mind. I'm not calling you Decker anymore. How, no. are, you, how are you doing, Mr. Reaper? Great. I had a great time. Ooh. I'm getting a lot of trash talk tonight, but I could care less because none of them hit anything ever. And I enjoyed myself. I, you know, yeah, I only made five shit, uh, shots, but I enjoyed every five of them. <laughs> I thought um, in that particular heat, I, I kind of felt like, I mean, you were out there. You. <laughs> You know how there was just no momentum to be had. I've never jumped out of my car twice in the same heat. <laughs> went and talked around. I actually did interviews and then went back on. I've never done that. It was fun. <laughs> but you're right. It breaks your rhythm. It was a this weird rhythm. This is brought to you by Trash Out Live. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time. Yeah, it was just crazy. Um, we had an injury, so we had to stop. Um, you, know, I, you have to have an ambulance on site. And I, I got this one guy in the passenger door, and you guys stopped. I hope he's okay. I didn't get to say hi to him make sure he's okay so i gotta find him today because i do not want to hurt anybody you oh, know? of course yeah i mean we i think we all know the the risks that we take here and yeah but congratulations thank you thanks for letting me run dude you know you messaged <laughs> when you put that bone side remember i messaged you and it's <laughs> like it just something felt right for me like i gotta do this you know and i was very stressed with all the stuff we were doing but i needed to get it done you understand that oh, feeling absolutely. you understand that feeling i don't not do me. anything last no. minute doing i'm not stressed today at all <laughs> I don't, I don't do anything last minute, do I? No. no. <laughs> You're not stressed at all? No. <laughs> you are a killer. I'm just hanging you out. You are a killer. We're you chilling. are a killer. Yeah, you guys are. Well, hey, the show went great, right? Last night, in, in for everyone in America, right, we all love Maryland. Okay, I know everyone felt that when you had to move it. It's like, we love Maryland. This has been killer. Yeah. This it's, track is fantastic. It's not home, and that makes it tough for us, especially. Mm -hmm. But... I don't know. Dunbar's been good to us. You're grabbing a new group of people, right? I've talked to many people that had never been to the Maryland, but they came here, like from Ohio. I had a bunch of people. It was just like, okay, this is cool. They're grabbing a new group that will go farther next time, right? They'll go back to Maryland or wherever you guys go. Right. Um, which I don't know if you're allowed to say where you're going, but I've had, I must have had 30, 40 miles. I'm sure you get them all day long. <laughs> okay, so I won't, we won't go down that road. Uh, everyone's wondering where the fall will be because, I mean, but so, honestly, whether no matter where it is, 
Dead Man's killing it as far as action on the track. Well, you know, it's easy to be comfortable in what you know. And coming up here, there's so many different variables that are unknown that just make you kind of feel a little antsy, a little uncomfortable. Like, what if we mess this up or do this? Sure. And we've, we've, I, I think we've delivered, you know, to where it, it kind of looks like we've been here before. But, you know, I don't know what we would really do much different if we would, you know what I mean? I mean, it's. No, you would plan, know. maybe plan to try to get some of these weird pop-up issues, which it's every derby promoters deal with, but. Okay, you try to get some of those smoothed out ahead of time, but <laughs> the biggest thing was the track because, I mean, you've seen it, you felt it. Um, your son's driven on it. Um, that track at Maryland is oh. just, it's so tight. Oh, and that track is TJ's baby. Oh yeah, I love that track though. Oh, so that that's really tough, and that'll. I mean, I grew up running on that track, and it was never like that. Right. But, you know, two right. feet of mud, but right. um, when we made that track like that, it just it felt so good to to give that to the drivers. So when we came out here, we knew that what Frankie and them had done last year was get this track to a really good spot. It just needed a little bit of love to turn it back to what he had done, and sure enough, here we are. Yeah. So it's not home, but we're. You know, maybe it becomes home. Who knows? Maybe. We don't know. But you're saying home, right? But isn't Dead Man an area, right? That's, that's, yeah. That's for them to figure out. No, you are. You are. I don't know. I think it's a positive thing. You know? I, I, I And I and as a promoter that's had to move places in my life, do I know how stressful that is? And, like, sometimes it doesn't work out. This place is definitely working out. <laughs> this place is definitely working out. And it's, I love the pits. I love – it's just a good setup for your – all your vendors are happy because yeah. you got to get food and vendors together. Everyone has to walk through them. I talk to them all out there. Like, everyone's kicking butt. They love it. They're, they're You know what I'm saying? Those – you guys have so many positives. I hate – it's always this way because she's such a beast with everything. Like you said, most of the changes more so affected her – than they did me because we've never had two tech barns before. Ugh. You know, we <laughs> right. right. So we we had to do that kind of stuff. And she had a lot of extra planning and a lot of unknown and, and she's so good at just figuring out all the little details that I would never even think of. And that and that's why it goes off without a hitch because of all the hard work she does behind the scenes. Well let me I'm gonna call you out, which I love calling you out with, with your wife here. Um we got here. We got here on Thursday night, and we got here early. And you know, it's like you were right at the gate, doing work. Uh, where's TJ? Mm, you know, you're like, mm. okay. So we go do stuff. Six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Where's TJ? Mm. She worked the whole time, young man. She worked the whole time. I watched her. She was running hard. Where were you? Burger King. You were oh, putting real. air in your tires. <laughs> real. She worked hard. Public, she worked what hard. What really <laughs> happened was we went to go pick up the lift. Um, from Cumberland, and uh, we on the way back we blew a turbo line on a, on a 3500 Ford, or, yeah, and we got stranded on the side of the road with Ugh. a really big oversized load, and we were we had to have somebody come get us, and it was the thing. But one of the things I want to mention was where we went to pick up the load, like the the, the lift was at the racetrack. Oh, really? yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I went to Cumberland's <laughs> racetrack. To pick up the lift. To go to Derby Day. And I, I just looked up, and I seen the cliff. It was really quiet. And I'm like, this place right now could be absolutely Packed. rocking with people. How, how, can you, how can you choose? You know what I mean? I just don't get it. But, Tej, you know, I've dealt with fair boards before, and they don't ever make sense. They don't make good decisions. And I'm sorry, fair boards. If you're on a fair board, your fair board, you know it. Your fair board makes a lot of bad decisions. It doesn't make sense. And you can't make rhyme or reason. For, for fans saying, why not, Marilyn? We loved it there. Yeah, so did you. Right. So did you. But just something happened. And, you know, that's life. So many fair boards want to talk about the Derby like they don't make a ton of money. Tons. 5,000 people in the stands, at, even at $10 it's a piece. It's always bread and butter, butter, right? Yeah, Always. Real. Real quick, guys, can I just jump through Absolutely. the dead? Okay, yeah, so Dead Man right. Compacts. Then we can babble. Dead Man Compacts up next. Ooh, our boy Johnny Rotten out of New Jersey in the 1004. Skyler Mogul in the 345 out of PA. 1202, James Butler out of PA. H15, Jonathan Howman. He's going to be one to watch in the, out of PA. Wide open, Samuel Bratzman out of Banger. 07X, Connor Austin, Trumansburg, New York. That'll be one to watch, too. Darren Norris, AK47. PA guy. 01X, Jason Koch, 
Muncie, PA, 99X, Daniel Shrimp out of Montgomery. 33R, my favorite, 33R. I love that number, Ryan DeLong uh, out of Pennsylvania. Twisted is Jake Schaller. Oh, he's always fun to watch. Yep. Unknown, 10T, Devin Todd. Watch Devin Todd, he's from my way. This kid's mad dog every single time. Four local, Blake Mol Moliny, Z69, Zach Eisler. 426, Derek Malo. Five, John McCravey. Ian Bevins in the Spider-Man. Limitless right Fab, Kyle Baker's in the Limitless Fab. 91 is Brad Hathaway. 36, 86 is Lucas Victor. Instigator, Zach Schaller. Oh, Austin with a good shot here. I see a Pinto out there. Oh, oh, this is brutal. Red flag. Good luck stopping these guys. Oh. Yep. What action here. Right, right so, on green. So did you... So the Smith Metal Works open house, yep. um, Jonathan Hyman ran that exact car yeah. and absolutely lit me up. Yeah, a lot of people did. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> lit me up. Yeah. I can't believe he put that car back together. He said he's here for one reason. Um, everybody knows him as a money driver. I'm telling you, he can do it both. He's here for a reaper. This should be a great, great, great heat. Yeah, there's some interesting cars in this. There one. is. I like this. What is this thing here, AMC? Yeah, yeah pay, it's an Eagle. Yeah, it's the AMC Eagle, this green thing. Uh, red one is Colby Blaze. That's the last number up there. So we got 22 in this one, everybody. Going to run it down to number one. Dead Man Compacts, it's called. If you like this class, Dead Man Compacts. That's what you want to run. You know, in, in certain ways, I like the I like the squareness of this. I like square tracks compared to rectangle. Master Dead man's driver. definitely longer, though. Dead man's definitely longer. As a driver, I do not like long, skinny tracks. Yeah, you can get punished quick. I like the square because you can get rocked from every direction. That's true. You got to keep your neck on a swivel. Oh, oh helmet off and everything. That guy's been getting rocked, 1202, taking some big hits. James Butler. So, we're going to have to talk about those air horns you were talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll show you. I'll send you a Buell, send him a picture of the one that you're made. Buell's watching right now. He, he made up, some Buell? cool. They're a kit on a DeWalt drill. He went and bought a bunch on uh, Marketplace. That's you awesome. know, he went and bought a bunch of thirty dollars ones. About it. Yeah. Same you know. rechargeable batteries, Dewalt. So you have all the same ones, and then everyone just they will last the whole night. Yeah. We buy the cheap air horns too, but they run out so quickly. Uh, but we do both. Great shot. Look at this wagon. Oh. How do you pick a reaper in no. a heat like this? It's going to be tough. Big hit by Hyman. Whoa, good shot there. I am watching some necks getting snapped out there. Whiplash City. <laughs> wow. You wouldn't run a husband-wife tandem with me? Nope. No. <laughs> Not on this track. <laughs> Holy cow. We have a lot of a lot of uh, dead man champions out here. I mean, a lot of these guys have won for us. Um, looking for a repeater in a dead man compacts. Um, it's so hard to win back to back in something like this. Yeah. What a hit! Long ways. Jumped them. This oh, old Pinto man. is ugly, ugly, ugly. Rails. Oh, he's gonna get rocked. Oh. 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 Camera got it. Good job, Hunter, catching that one. Woo! Johnny Rotten coming in hot. That's our boy Johnny Rotten from up north. He's a hitter. Jersey boy. So, we talked about less is more, okay? Yeah. Yep. And what I'm learning is you cannot dictate luck, okay? 
We've had two mercenaries. Now the first night mercenary, it wasn't a flop by any means. I thought Devin did a fantastic job, but it was almost a flop because he came out in a, in a, a, a quick pin that came loose, and it took him a little while to figure out because it, you know it's not sure, his sure, he sure, didn't it. sure. And I had him at 52 seconds on the clock. Mm. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like he made one hit. <laughs> and, and all of a sudden he fired up. I'm like, oh, thank you, God. And it, <laughs> then, so, see, he goes out and has a great thing. Yep. Unfortunately, he, his, for those of you that don't know, the door shot, it, everybody knows about the door shot on Anki. He got out and apologized to him. It was a terrible shot. Um, he, when he had hit before, the computer had fallen down and was underneath the brake pedal. Mm. So he was in it and tried to hit Just the brakes the last time and computer. it didn't move. Plus, he had the um, the flat tire on the front. So you know when you go to turn at speed with a flat tire, it kind of just wants to keep Drifting. washing. Yeah. And that's what happened. And you, and you miss by eight inches. You know, it's the eight inches this way, yeah. he doesn't, he, he hits fine. the pillar and thing, and it's such a, you know. You know, Devin runs forever. No, oh you know, everyone gosh. knows that's not intentional. It's, right. But, but, in but the stuff, moment. that's why we derby though, right, Tej? I mean, that was, that. I think that was fun with the mercenary. Like, they come they were rocking him, dude. I've had a couple of people they complain were about him. it, and I'm like, there's 30 of you. Stop. There's, then the seat's not for you. Don't, why did you sign you. up for this? Right. Hey, listen, this is not for everybody. <laughs> yeah, don't sign it's up. Not, yeah. You know? Listen, Sam There's some people that run this me. class for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree. I understand. <laughs> Many meltdowns. Not I'm still going to put you in a car. I'm still going to force <laughs> oh, you. My. I'm going to force whiplash. I don't know, the way everybody's coming at me recently, I might want to retire. <laughs> Trust me. I know the feeling. Oh, my Lord. It doesn't get better. Let me tell you that. It doesn't get better with time. So, Kayla, I mean, you have you have the world here. Go ahead. Tell us all the things that TJ screwed up on this weekend. Oh. Yeah, exactly. She's like, man, oh, we don't have enough time. <laughs> no, no, no. No, all in all, it's been great. It has. I think it's been good. We have great people. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Like, just, and we learn more with every show, and that just makes everything easier and better. People are more comfortable. They're more confident. They understand, you know, what their role is yep. and what they need to accomplish. Yep. Um, yep. All that's been great, for sure. You do have a great crew which we is do. super important and that they all stay positive even during tough times you know like you, have, yeah. you really do have a good crew this tough stuff gets stressful oh absolutely i think uh one of the things that she's done a lot better this time and she sets the lead for that is that she's handled the stress much differently you know oh, yeah. hasn't let it fester and thing and understand that you can't control everything and well from my heart i remember the first Derby I ever did with me and my <laughs> wife, okay? And I remember how stressed I was that morning. I remember how stressed she was. We almost were at each other. We never argue. We're like we're like you two. We just get along so fantastic. And we were at each other's throats. And I remember at the end of the night, she's like, I don't want to do that again. And but as we've gotten in, like we ha we're like you now. We we get a we just hit each other with our points and babe, I'm moving on. And then at the end of the night we regroup and you know, we're yeah. still smiling, and we still love each other. And we don't get mad at each other, you know. Well, and Thursday's tough because Especially Thursday here, because so many unknowns, like we were saying, yep. like we're trying to get settled in. Yep. We couldn't make like directional signs for tech, for drivers, for the road, anything until we got here, because we weren't sure. sure. We didn't know. Sure. Um, so Thursday was a little much, but at the end of the night, we have to like look at each other and say, okay, like we're not each other's enemies. We have to fix problems together and move through it. And, and it, it was the first time we slept yes. on a Wednesday night. Yes. It was only it was only like two hours and fifteen minutes, but oh my, did it feel yeah, it like felt good. ever? That's it was awesome. So nice. So these long red flags like this are, I mean, in my opinion, this is where you're looking to see, you know, who's got what. You know, how many tires are leaned over. Well, if you're hot, your time's up. Just start jumping stuff. Yeah. You yeah. don't even don't even keep trying to hang out, right? No, but I was going to say, as promoters, our jobs are to get over problems. It's, if it was easy, if, if you didn't have to do those things, everybody would be the promoter. Nobody wants to deal with that, right? That really, truly, and sometimes, you know, at the end of the night, you look back at yourself at the weekend and you say, look at all these issues we had just out of the blue. Like, let's say the ambulance having to leave. That is so random that, that would, then you're forced to wait. You can't plan that, right? Right. But then you get done and it's like, okay, now we're stronger, better, and we got through... 60 problems and we had a fantastic derby you know and, and just because you have problems doesn't mean your derby wasn't good right you've learned that no doubt um i do want to give a huge shout out to the reaper crew um i feel like inspection was 
so much less stress this year. Yes. Um, and I feel like they've really kind of, I don't know, I kind of miss them needing me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't. It's like, great. No, I can right. call, yes. I can call DJ now and he answers his phone. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I, I went over and walked <laughs> underneath of a car and started looking at a car earlier. And get out, <laughs> get out. Goes, hey, ain't your job to inspect cars. Get out of my barn. Like, I'll just goofing with me. I like Jacob. I like Jacob. He's straight up, dude. Yep. I like well, him. Him, him and Dominic have I love them. have given me so much like just confidence. They're always like pushing me to understand like keep pushing man, keep pushing. I I use their shoulders a lot. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I bounce I bounce things off of them. I couldn't do it without them. Yes. No way. I agree. I really would like Dominic to come up. He, he, he wants to come on track side. Yeah, to I told him to yeah. come anytime. Yeah. Just walk up here, man. I can, I'll take him anytime. If he's out there when you leave, bring him up. Send him up. Yeah, absolutely. He's a great dude. He really is. He changed my derby career with one engine build, man. Yep. Well, and he has your best interest. You know, it's, it's tough to find people that truly have your best interest at heart, not just like, okay, I'll do it, but I don't want to. No. I mean, those guys really love you guys. And it's cool that like their families are here too now. Yep. Watching. Like they they've started to bring their family into Dead Man. Yep. Oh my! <laughs> Got that door there. All of them in. So I guess right now is where you, if, if, if everybody's kind of turned it up, right now is a great opportunity for you to, to uh, maybe show off a little bit of that hard hit, and then maybe now is the time that we can see a reaper. Yes. I just don't. We had a heat down in Cumberland, um, and I was on track shot watching it, and how we react to hits and everything like that, even with that, I couldn't pick one. Sure, sure. And people sure. were coming up to me like, I did this, and I did this. I'm like, so did everybody else. Drivers, you got to remember sometimes that, yeah, you did do a stroke of business, but another guy did a little bit more stroke of business. You know, <laughs> I get that allowance. It's like, I think I should have been mad. Dog. I understand how you feel, but uh, unfortunately, he wasn't picked that way. I mean, it's a great problem to have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure, we'll take that any day. So that's a great point. Um, it is a great problem to have, and one of the problems we never, ever have is our driver following is the show. And, and I know you know this from, from the New York side of things. Your driver following is a guarantee every time. Right. You know what you're going to get. You're going to get hard-hitting action. And every time we open up a class, this is what we get. We get the hard-hitting action from, from our drivers. They, they, make, they're, they make us look so good. I understand. It, I mean, if this was a bag <laughs> fest, nobody would care about us. You wouldn't be what you are. No, no, no way. If, if we know that, and that's why we pay good, that's why we give them as much as we possibly can, and, and that's why in our driver's meeting, the first thing we say is, God bless you all for even building a car for our show. Sure. Sure. We've touched on it before and saying, like, it's all about the experience, but that goes to our driver, too, that extension of, like, we're all part of it. It's not, you know, just us or just the crew or just the drivers or just the fans. It's Dead Man's family, and when you're here, you're here for the whole thing. And I think a lot of people take pride in the heavy hitting. I personally do. I came here to heavy hit today, right? I, w I didn't want to go try to win. I wanted to try to heavy hit. And how I take pride times, in that. How many times are you going to bring that up on the All night. Okay. Oh, no, no, Kayla, you don't I even know. Wondering. It's just starting. Probably the next time you see me, next couple months, I'll still be talking about okay. it. Okay. Anytime Ben Kayla. ever does anything in a car... <laughs> I need you to go, yeah, but do you have one of these? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, we'll I'm going to sleep with that thing tonight. We'll trust get me. Get a little keychain made or something. <laughs> Trent's like, Dad, are you going to walk around all day with that? Yes. Friends of a Reaper. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> but really, people take pride, and that's the drivers you want. You want the hitters to keep saying, hey, I want to go to a place. That I loved listening to people tell me they were nervous of running this weekend because this track was so fast looking. I love hearing that. You're scared? That I love puts, this. That puts you in your zone. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> But you're getting people, you're in people's heads, the emotion. I mean, you're bringing the atmosphere. And you, I've talked to you guys about this before. Your guys' atmosphere is so fantastic, and other shows don't have atmosphere. And your guys is like top of the world. You're, in my opinion right now, you're on top. Dr. Seven. 
I'm just happy to be in a conversation. Absolutely. I, I'm the same way. You know, every time spinning wheels get something, I like feel so proud. You know, but um, so I know how you guys feel about that. It's and we're bringing stuff to. You know, ten years ago, our, no one cared about our area, but us. And look at it. Demolition Derby in the East Coast is like. I'm listening to people in Utah say they want to come out here. Yeah. Yes. You I would know? feel like such a sellout if I left the East Coast. I feel like I've, I've had so many, so many people from PA West come up to me this weekend and go, what in the world is going on out here? You guys are crazy. Yes. Thank like, you. Thank you. Dude, listen, even, even just the, and you guys have traveled all across the country. Mm -hmm. Do you know, once you start getting past 70, um, going out towards Columbus, it's so flat out there. Yep. I would love to haul cars out there nonstop. It's like half the gas. I cannot tell you how many people came up to me and like, dude, you can't have this here again. Those, those <laughs> hills are horrifying. And I'm like, this is what we do every, every derby. derby we yeah. go to. Yeah, I don't mind it. Like right. the beautiful mountains and everything like that. And yeah, it's absolutely crazy. But, you know, there are derbies that are for the um, the classical drivers. The, the <laughs> But there's derbies that are out there for people that just love smoking stuff, and this is it, man. And, and, but not. You have classes for the drivers, exactly. too. Exactly. That's important. And yeah. I've talked to CJ about that, too. I'm like, you know, I, I never want to get away from, like, that kid or that, you know, young driver or inexperienced driver that just wants to come and learn and have yep. a blast. And, and I'll say another thing, um, or just talking about our crew again, I was in tech earlier and we had an inexperienced driver come through and a couple of our tech guys were like, um, listen, if, if you go, I know, you, you're good, you're good, you pass, you have your flag, you know, next time, if you do this a little bit better, you know, you tighten the screw or make sure you don't leave this loose, this little thing just educating. Correct, correct. And I said, that's what it's all about. Like, you want to get your inexperienced drivers or your younger drivers that aren't doing it and make them learn and make the sport grow and be a success. All they need is one night to win and they're hooked forever. Or one heavy hitter night or whatever. Or one good show and they're building the next car. You're absolutely right about that. That's a good point because um, I know that, you know, DJ and, and, and his line and Jacob and his line, they really pride themselves on helping and yeah. like saying saying that and, and touching on areas that they feel like you know they have a lot of experience mm -hmm. and experience is everything and you know they, they they just are really great at helping me they what they do is every show they'll hop on a golf cart together and ride around and talk to drivers yeah. and, and tell them how they can fix stuff and awesome. they'll give them ideas yep. and things like that yep. they'll bounce it off of each other and stuff okay so now now it's home now we got the rain I was going to say, now well, we got the rain, it has baby. to be. You need it. I mean, that's dead man. Yep. <laughs> that's dead man. So now we're going to have to see how this track's going to hold up. Shout out to Brett Brellier and, and, his, and his crew there for getting this track back in order so quick after every heat, pulling the cars off at a, at a fast pace. Brett came to me and said, I'd love to do this for you. Um, it's so important to have it done, and he's, he's killing it. Yeah, getting cars off the track fast is probably in the top five important things of a derby, I think. Oh, Absolutely. you guys do that <laughs> at a next level. <laughs> it, we take a lot of pride in it. We take a lot of pride yeah. in that because it's an important part. It's important. In our shows, like, you would literally burn the crowd out waiting 24 heats to watch them all get pulled off. Do you remember the days of county fairs when they'd have, like, one tractor? Oh, my. Our county fair would do, like, two tractors. Like, oh, my God, please. Or, or one... <laughs> or one F-150 with ball Please, I know. Ah, I just oh hone in on it. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Yep, that's our area, too. No doubt. I think, well, let me let me say this before this wraps up on this heat. The next heat, I'm actually kind of glad there's a little bit of water going down because bring on the oh, two-man two extreme. Man extreme. Ooh, I love that. And I love that. it is loaded with cars. It is going to be absolutely scary. A lot of old iron in there, too. 18. Yeah, 18 on the docket. Oh, there's some good old iron. One of them was like a 58 Lincoln Premier or something, right? What is that? Uh, Continental? I didn't get to see that one come Ooh, through. It's cool looking. I know there's a couple caddies. There's a 73 caddy in there. I've seen some metric wagons. Flat back wagons. Cool. You got a good mix of cars this weekend. I think that's the important part of Derby, and too, is, like, you don't want just cookie-cutter, like, four brands of cars. Like, you need everything. And your your half-truck division today, I, I'm calling it now. It's going to be the best of the night. Half-trucks. 
Half on trucks. Them, right? You're not telling anybody in the country anything they don't know. Oh my already. god, I my love god. that. Yeah. Did you see the driver's <laughs> list? It's gonna be insane. It is going to be. I'm calling rollovers because there's just wild stuff in that. Wild stuff. There, there's a group coming, and they're all going after the Reaper. Yep. I, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's I was I was helping some uh, New York kids in the mercenary class, and I'm like, you got to message every guy that's in that class, and like, you got to talk together. Like when that mercenary, this is my I'm, my opinion, when that mercenary, all 20 of you, don't stop derbying against each other. I would love to watch them just eat your. He says that. I love to watch so him eat I your that ticket. And Josh Decker. <laughs> <I know. laughs> that is would, the mercenary. Dude, that would be my. <laughs> all of a sudden, he goes, "Hey guys, I'm just messing around. I don't think that was a good idea at all." <laughs> that would so be me. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> and it would be my luck. That would oh. so be my luck. You won it, but now everyone's going Listen, after you. <laughs> let me tell you right now, this guy back here, if he wins the Mercenary, no matter what, at some point in time, I'm going to stop it and paint a big bagger B <laughs> on it. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Down to three, it looks like. Three, maybe four. Yeah, and let's, let's not forget that Schaller coming down to make this make contact here is fresh out of youth yep. um, 17 years old um, is, the, is our defending compact rumble champion from buried alive three awesome Two. he's really settled in over the last year as, as a driver man we're so screwed you got Stacy you got freebie you got a body you got Schaller and I'm not even touching on it you got Chase Flemo you got your guys up up in New York that are really starting to understand. Honestly, the youth division, we are slowly seeing it work for our sport, right? The youth division works. We're watching. Them kids have better. <laughs> no offense, dude, but at the SMW, them, it, at the end it was four kids and one adult. They have better patience. They outpatient you guys, yep. you know. I enjoyed watching that. I really wanted a kid to win that, you know. But J.D. did. I didn't. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> Oh, no J.D. King for Smash It takes it home. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm so glad we don't have to hear these kids talking. Crap. Right, right. 3686. Lucas Victor out of Acme, Pennsylvania here. He's in that orange and black. 71. Shallers on the clock. We got black smoke. Now, the nice thing, I'm pretty sure this is not lasting all night, the rain. It was just coming and going, right? A couple hours maybe, and we'll I get right so, back yeah. out. Yeah. Well, we'll see you, rain. Get out of here. <laughs> Kayla, remind me to come back to the rain topic here in a, here in a minute. <laughs> oh, was After it bad? this, but no, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shake my head now. I don't even know what's coming. <laughs> There's the red. So, we have what's called PTSD about rain. <laughs> this young lady. <laughs> is looking at the radar like 25 days out going, doesn't look good, Dave. <laughs> doesn't look good. <laughs> like, I, know, I secretly I think she has like 10 farmer's almanacs like under the bed or something like that. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what weather app oh, do you have that. that's I predicting? That. Like, and she's like, then like three weeks, it doesn't look good. Like, it's supposed to rain all weekend. It's supposed to rain. I'm like, Kayla, when it's Tuesday... Let's have this conversation and prepare for it. Today, we still can't trust the weatherman's prediction. Right yeah, now, we always. couldn't. So, yeah, I, know. <laughs> I used to do is. that. I used to watch the weather, and then I start like I start flipping my cell phone. Like it's supposed to rain on Friday. I don't even look anymore. If it rains, it rains. I'm grateful for what we got. I mean, it was gorgeous yesterday, and we had a good morning this morning. And like you said, this is gonna blow through. Yeah. Oh my! And our track guys are phenomenal. They we'll really have it are. cleaned up, and we've had a great crowd, man. Like, I look up and I see this crowd, and I'm, I just feel blessed that all these people decided to come out and watch our show. But the, they've—I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they've been really engaged. Yes, they have. And it's really hard when you don't have an engaged crowd. Like, <laughs> I mean, me and Mark Elliott have been going at it all no. day long. He's been ripping me. Yeah. I challenged him <laughs> to a one-on-one -on -one duel. Yep. At Buried Alive. In cars or like... like yeah, I was going to ask. Oh, he don't want that. <laughs> he don't want that. Come on. Come on. Careful. I mean, I never, I never hit an old man with a walker. 
Never would do that. TJ. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love when sorry, Mark. we'd be out at dinner with like her parents or something like that in the past, and I'd say something, and this is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop, babe. Please, you're embarrassing me. No, How's Patty it. been doing with these interviews? So great. We've had a lot of fun. We, it's, Bill actually thinks it's the best one we've ever done. Yeah. He, yeah, he when we were out there, he's like, "You ain't gonna top this one." He's like, "This one's been the best." I'm like, "Okay, I love that. I love hey, hearing that." Hey, if you're gonna that. do it, do it at our show. Damn right, damn right. <laughs> We've been having a good time. Well, you know, and what track shots about clicks with you with what you guys are about, right? We're about the same things, and that's I, we've been a good partner. You know, I was telling some of the vendors today, like, I got your back. I just want you guys to know this because you believed in us when we believed in you, right? We had, we we're just like, yeah, and. We've been a great team. I, I'm thankful to be here. And, I, and I've said this before. Kayla and I both agree firmly. As long as you want Buried Alive and as long as you want No Mercy, no matter where we go, it's yours. We'll follow uh, you. We are so thankful for the initial platform that you guys gave us. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. TJ had to sell me on you. Understood. And I again, no, I'm just kidding. No, I understand. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm totally kidding. I, I got to sell every promoter on us, right? Yeah, yeah well, I, I really mean, do. It doesn't help that I was a derby rookie. Yep. I mean, like, I just didn't, I'm like, so wait, I don't understand. Like, we're going to have them come and do what? Like, why does it matter? Why mm-hmm. does that matter? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He's like, no, it matters. He's like, the people have to see it. The people have to, right. we have to get ourselves out there, and Track Chat's going to do that. We're going to partner with them. We're going to push forward with them. And they did. And I do you feel that it's been – do you feel like that we – that did we get you out there enough? Do you feel oh, that? Oh, what I honestly firmly believe, and I, and I wouldn't lie to you, I'd, I'd tell you straight on. I know you would. That's why I, I asked I, it. I would. <laughs> um, and, 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 again, even after the first time, she was like, okay, well – because there's always that – you offer an alternative – to not come to my show, right? right? You do. Absolutely. You you one hundred percent sure. Do. Sure, it's always a worry of every promoter. When when it's six hours away, I go. Oh, maybe I'll just watch it. Understood. But the action that you were able to show and and how we got to talk about the show and how you talked us up and said you guys got to come see this because you you're never like listen. The only way you need to ever watch the show is to watch track right. No, like, no, no, you no. You have to be here. To I see want you to this. come here. Yeah. I've talked to I, I talked to so many people. From Buried Alive 1 to to Buried Alive 2, mainly, that said, I watched it on Trackshot, I got to come run. Yes. I watched it on Trackshot, I got to come. That's what I I want. I I got to see it in person. Like, so many fans, uh, I mean, I I know you guys know how many followers you truly have, but, like, the fans are, like, uh, it's... I almost get annoyed how much I hear, is Trackshot going to be there? Is Trackshot going to be there? <laughs> Sorry. Trackshot? I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm just going to refer all these questions. Okay, well, I get annoyed. Are you going to Dead Man? you going to Dead Man? <laughs> yes, we're going to Dead Man. Of course. You know, so it's. <laughs> it's funny. We both get that. Exactly. Of course we're going to Dead Man. <laughs> well, I know you were getting ready to take a little break. Let's all go. No, 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 no. Break. I was actually just, I was ready to, I was about to punch skinny and fatty you don't even know i was, I was just about to punch him <laughs> and i actually cooled off to walk out the door and you're like come on go back in it's like all right yeah i had to take a breath it's like yeah let's go back in now you guys calm me down because i'd be fist fighting them out there if it was. I, I just thought you were you were you were going to check on your reaper award um well <laughs> i made sure it's in a hidden spot my kid made me put it down because like i was carrying it around and he's like he hey, asked you can't me tra- earlier if i could get him security for it but i was like gosh <laughs> Uh, I was driving around with it on my golf cart while I'm driving around. Trent's like, Dad, seriously? And it's like, well, I just want to make sure everyone's seen it. <laughs> I'm that proud of it. I'm that proud. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to build one the next time, the next class. You, I'm, I'm coming right back, right? Your I hooks. love that heart. See, there it was. No, I love that. Run once, you're hooked. Uh, no, I, and I've told you that. I've wanted to run here, but I'm always so busy. But I've, this is my style. You're my style. You know, this is the shows I would run if I, you know, I, this, if I was just a random Joe, these are the ones I would come to. All right, one more time. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pitch it, and I know Ben's listening. <laughs> in October, no matter where we're gonna be, mm-hmm. it's gonna be a ten thousand dollar purse. Imperials versus the world. Josh, it's I got an imperial too. It's, it's you. Come on, come on. What's the date? It's definitely Halloween weekend. I can tell you that. It'll be on Halloween Damn you. weekend. You know what? You're going to get me. Okay. You know it what? It might be in Alaska, <clears> but we're having it on Halloween weekend. And I've been missing Imperials, dude. Imperials. That's my next. Yeah. Come well, on. your last Imperial show. Oh. <laughs> Probably one of the hardest hits I've seen in a long time. 
H T F O. <laughs> it, it, it was. I gl- <laughs> I love Imperial classes. I'm glad it wasn't in that one. One that one's the, brutal. Well, brutal. you know, a lot of people talk um, about Steve's money driving, and I've even told him, "Man, I'm telling you right now, you come on my track and you fix them gloves and adjust them eye goggles <laughs> more than twice, I'm tossing you out." Mm-hmm. And he goes, "Oh, come on." He goes, "He goes, I'll drive hard at your show. I'll drive hard at your show." We were standing at the top of the grandstands at Cumberland when he got free and went out down there and hit Burroughs. And as he was going, the whole crowd stood up in yep. anticipation of the of the contact. TJ's like, I'm like, oh my gosh, look what he's about to do. And it almost is like, and it's coming, it's coming, and he's still gaining speed. It was the hardest hit I've ever seen in person. You could feel it through you, like, yeah, and the in the crowd. I love when you can feel the crowd, right? I mean, it's nothing like a crowd cheering. And damn, and Burl's and them, they're close. Right. He, that's like me smoking my kid, yep. you know? I couldn't believe it, you know? And then and then Burl's gets out out of it. <laughs> <Not really laughs> Burl's got out, and you know, just they're a good group of guys, dude. But that's probably one of the hardest shots I've seen in a while. And those aren't hard cars. Those aren't soft things, man. That wasn't. You don't. <laughs> You're blowing the backs of boxcars and imperials apart in the heat. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. That don't happen. Yeah, yeah no thanks. Well, buddy, I, Come I back up really, later. really, really, don't really. Don't let him. Don't say you have to go get something. Done. No. <laughs> I'm going to let some this done, though. Um. I just want to remind you of the heat that's coming. Because no. everybody got to see you on track shot. No. Almost have a heart attack at... <laughs> at Cumberland no, during the I will the not be street. track side for this one. This yeah. is going to be. This is the scariest heat for your insurance. Uh, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Don't yes. Say no, he's right. He's right. It's, he's right. it's like it's, 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 the whole time you're cringing, 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 cringing. I'm the same way. I'm the same way when this heat comes out. But it's also the most fun to watch. So I really like to be out there, and I really like to try to help keep the driver safe in this heat. So, guys, I just want to mention just one more time. Give, come give us a chance. Come figure out what we're doing. We're running seven shows this year. Uh, we're, we're running Day of the Dead, July 23rd at New Alexandria Lions Club in Pennsylvania. We're coming out Midwest, going to Portland, Indiana this year, running Resurrection. We will have Buried Alive. It's going to be on the East Coast somewhere. And um, we're, I think we're going to get close here in the, next, in the next month. It's our main priority as soon as we get done this show mm-hmm. um, is to find our, our, our new home. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and we just encourage you, give me a call, talk to me, talk to me, and, and hear my passion. Call DJ, call Jacob, hear his passion. Come try out Dead Man one time. Oh, and yeah. And I bet you you'll be hooked. Oh, I yeah. I promise. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I got to yell at you because, like, half of my drivers are here. And it's like, guys, you know, I got a show, too. But you'll have to. <laughs> no, I love it, dude. I mean, I have a lot of drivers up my way that's – but, again, they want to go sh- highlight – their junking skills, I, yeah, right? I, well, um, <laughs> they help, help go me jump. out a little bit. Um, T-Bone 88 from New York. Uh, well, anyway, I'm sorry I don't know his name. We gave out two Reapers in that Bone Stock Compact heat, the, the pink car that rolled the guy. Um, I went out and, and said, because I, if there's a red flag, I'll go out and let the guy know, hey, listen, right now you're in the Reaper 1 spot. Like, don't let nobody take it from you. Keep him. it up. We'll go to the guy that's in the Reaper 2 spot and say, that guy right there, he's currently the Reaper. You want it? Go get him. You know what I mean? And Keep him motivated. Yeah, keep him yeah. motivated. And he, when I went over and said, you're in the Reaper 1 spot right now, he goes, just trying to show you what New York's all about. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I love this guy. <laughs> so. I love oh. our drivers. I love our drivers. Hey, thank you guys so much. Right, Absolutely. Thank you. Yes. Come thank back you. up though. If you get if you right, if right. you guys get cold, tired, whatever, just come back on. Just come back on. <laughs> if it starts raining again. You might see. Me. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Thanks, Have a good thank guys. you guys. Send somebody. Anybody that's sitting out there. Yeah, and and <laughs> you know I go to. <laughs> you guys know we go to derbies all over the country. I really love this one. All right, so a couple cars off the track, and we're going to go right to the next one. Next up, Two Man Extreme. Uh, I think there was 18 in it, so this is this be a good one. Two Man Extreme, then we're going to go Bone Stock Compacts again. Half Ton Trucks, then Feature, Feature for Feature. Mercenary Compacts, and uh, 10K, 10K.
Hi, Josh. Hi, Fatty. Everything good? Yeah, we actually had a good interview. You did? How'd it go? Stuff was accomplished. I can't believe TJ's wife took the time. She has been running, running, running. I, I stopped her earlier and was like, hey, you can't keep this pace. She was like, do you need something? I was like, no. <laughs> she was like, and just took off. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny about her is I'll pick on him all day long. She's the brains of the operation. I don't oh, care what he guarantee. says. You know, She does all the work, and she's the brains. Guarantee uh, TJ's the um, hype man. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That was a very long extended interview because if you would have noticed outside, it was pouring rain. Yeah. And it's oh, we did. the driest place in the world. So yes. right now. If we you did. Had, if, you, if there was a we heater in here, they'd still be in here. Yeah, guarantee it. Yeah. Yes, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I took the time and went and grabbed something to eat. It yep. Was, it was good. Yeah. Ben, have you ate? Yeah. Yeah, I've had some Chex Mix. I've had some. Good, good. Some banana. Drink. I've had some sort of a banana drink or something that they just fed me out there. Well, at least you had something, Ben. That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah. <laughs> potassium. That's yeah, that's potassium. Awesome. Potassium. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you ain't but a buck fifty with change in your pocket, so you should be fine. For uh, no, bit. actually, I'm. Uh, the doctor says I'm overweight. Is it the height thing? I, I guess. I guess. Overweight. I'm a, yeah, I'm 168 pounds. What are you supposed to be? Uh, for my height. I'm supposed to be 155, 150. <laughs> I was born that big. I don't yeah, agree with I'm your like, doctor. And I'm like, I'm like, no. I don't I know says, if your doctor's right. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so either. But they also say I have high blood pressure. It's only two points over normal. You can, uh, you can scoot closer if you want. Nah, I'm, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. I got a jacket over there. You I'm need stink it. Stink is the problem. Oh. So two man extreme next. TJ says Kayla won't watch him because the last I don't remember the one where it was like it was it was insane. Uh, she gets all nervous. But yeah, the one in the fall. Yeah, it was the one nuts. In the fall. It was it was, it was nuts. Totally crazy. I anticipate the same here, right? They had people, I mean, it's just flat footing it. Yeah. The fence is a little bit further away up here, so they ain't got to worry about putting cars through fences like they did down there. You guys did that at Blizzard Bash. Yes. Loved it. Twice. Yeah, really. God, Ben and I had fun. We were we were like a felt like a ping pong ball yep. out there but you ben, know ben worked the gas yes. yep of course <laughs> after your performance <laughs> i see why trent get the get the trophy <laughs> you don't have like a belt buckle <laughs> you keep talking shot. shit it's gonna be in your face all night it's gonna be in your face all night <laughs> uh, no you did really good i seen everybody telling you how great you was on facebook i haven't even gone there yet oh, i checked it just as, yeah. thank you you could break it you could slow it the yeah, the, the, the positivity down yeah your okay. followers Thank you. <laughs> All 12 of them. Occult. All 12 of them. 12 of them? Hey. <laughs> you're about to, you're going to learn today. He doesn't ever You're going to learn today. Am I going to get hate mail? You're going to learn today. Get the hate mail from <laughs> Send it to him, people. <laughs> Send it to him. He doesn't ever have to worry about that with me because I'm not on Facebook. Yeah, well. I know. It drives me nuts. I always tag Ben. It's like, why can't I get Ben? Why, ben, yeah. can you just get Facebook? Josh's like, why haven't I, I tagged you and all this stuff? Didn't you get it? And I just look at him. He goes, oh, shit. You're not on Facebook. <laughs> well, Ben's had it, then not had it, then, had, then I got him to get it back, and then he got rid of it again. It takes up a lot of time. I'm on Messenger. That's the closest that it gets. I'm, I'm, that's okay. If you do Messenger, I'm cool. Yeah, then we can all. It gets. I can message you. Of course, on that. I tried doing a TikTok page, and everybody thought it was a fraud. Yeah. Imposter. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna <laughs> imposter. <laughs> Mike, 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 I think it was Mike who got in there. Yeah, look at this. It's an imposter. <coughs> imposter. He doesn't even have any followers yet. I think it's it's somebody. Uh, we got to get this shut down. Josh's like, yeah, I'll go get it. I'll, I'll get it shut down. I'm like, hey. Dickheads, I told you, it's my TikTok. That's his real page. TikTok. <laughs> I love you, Ben. He's got zero Tra followers. Track shot 35. <laughs> okay. Like, next time, maybe a picture, a little thumbs up picture yeah, no. or something. In there. Too funny. Picture. That's the picture. Track said, shot 35. Said, that's the picture. Actually, it's the, it's, uh, the decal I was going to get made, the graphic I was going to get made. So they had track shot 35, hashtag free 99. TrackShotLive.com, I mean, and everybody's like, look, look, somebody else is doing it. I knew we should have did it. And I'm like, I'm sitting back. I'm like, when am I When am I going to send him a message saying that's mine? <laughs> that's mine. No, I actually <laughs> did it. But, okay, two-man extreme. Here we go. Oh, uh, this is, they got some good cars for this, and it's going to be pretty wild. We got RU18, Rance, Tucker, and out of Pratt, Kansas, and Nate Owens out of Pratt, Kansas. The 201 on 007, Dylan Swingle out of Springwater, and Kenny Swingle. This is a father and son, Dylan and Kenny. 79-816, uh, Mark Sturdivant out of Austin, PA, and Sean Glover out of Austin, PA. 
225 JR, Jack Dravenovic out of Leeds for PA and Josh Dravenovic out of Leeds for PA. 25G and 411, Mark Klein, Central City PA and Donald <coughs> Cabana out of Central City PA. The FJ8, FJB 080 and 11X, Corey Shelligren out of New Alex and Adam McDonald out of New Alex PA. 83 and 44, Shane Johnson, Orstown PA. Austin Jumper out of Orstown PA. He's a driver. Uh, yeah. 45 and 311, Donnie Ima out of Orstown PA. And Claxton jumps, Jumper out of, all, out of Orstown PA. 18 and 43, Nathan Holtry out of Orstown PA. Spencer Jumper out of Orstown PA. Little jumper, little little family thing going on there, I think. Uh, 35 41, Kevin Teets out of Scottsdale and Cole Teets out of Scottsdale. Double 0764X, Anissa Markey out of Bobby. PA, Nevin McMullen out of Orzabina, PA. 70X and 7X, George McMullen out of Orzabina, PA, and Claire McMullen out of Orzabina, PA. 217.35, David Day, Clover PA, Lee Mater, Fitzpatrick, out of Clover PA. 728.34X, Dennis Hagen, Cloysville PA, JD Lorraine, Cloysville PA. 221, Alex Holderbaum, Shippensburg PA. Wyatt Schuster, out of Shippensburg PA. 744.15, Kyle Randall, Pasadena, Maryland, Matthew Randall, Pasadena, Maryland. 225, 35, The Hammer, Jesse McGuire, Lathrop, PA, and Sean Harmon, Derry, PA. And then to round them out is 116, 1129, Zachary Ochman out of Colesville, New York, and James Ruther out of Colesville, PA. So we got, let's see, one, two, three. Eighteen two-man extreme cars. This is gonna get wild. This Those caddies wild. are clean too. Jumpers getting there, caddies. There's I don't know if it's them, but there's two caddies in here. They're oh. clean. Is uh, it the white no, and black ones? Yeah. Hunter yeah. and I drove by them earlier, and we're like, yeah. Yeah, the jumpers. Yeah. They are the jumper. Jumps. I didn't even look at roof yep. signs. Yep. Man, it sounded like there was a family reunion going on out Dude, there, there's Ben. A couple, there's a couple of them out <laughs> yeah, there. Oh, good. A couple yeah. of them. So I swear the boys don't have a job. All they do is build derby cars. Really? That's and all awesome. they build is Cadillacs and 03 newers. That's a lifestyle to live right there. Oh, well, the whole caddy thing, we'd have to work on that. But Well, the one ju the jumper there, I can't remember his first name. Do they run radiators? Yes. Hey, they yeah. they, 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 do. they yeah. do? Okay. Yeah. So I've seen quite a few of them pulling on it, didn't no, yeah, yeah. yeah there, I mean, there's why waste the hundred and fifty dollars? <laughs> right. <actually. laughs> I mean, honestly. Code, we should do one of these. I talked to Decker about doing one. Now, you Yo, can, I, you we can do it. You can run the steering wheel. I'll take you for fine. a ride. That's fine. We'll use your stuff. <laughs> no, we're gonna use your stuff. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna clean out that motor for uh, you. Uh, but that old Otis motor, you ain't ready for that yet. Oh, I'm ready. Ben's for heard it. them Otis motors. <laughs> yeah, you don't want them. Them things are they're nasty. They're badass. I'm telling you. Like you'd probably get out and you'd be like, here, just take me to the truck because you <laughs> you'd, you'd have to change them pants. Oh. Uh, well, not everybody gets one of them motors either. Well, what I hear. Yeah, yeah, they're it's kind of a special. And I'll tell you what, it's getting so hard to get parts right now. Like yeah. like Joe and Paul, they're they're so afraid to commit to anything right now because. You just can't get Everything's the parts. Backwards. I mean, yeah, yeah you'll, you'll be waiting, and that's not their forte. You no. know, they like to get get it there and get it done. Yeah. Right. And, and, and I'm sure that's with every every oh, engine yeah. builder yeah, at this yeah, point, yeah, yeah. you know. Yep. I was laughing. I was hearing you talk about when uh, Josh and Ben ran two-man extreme. Yeah. I didn't hear Fatty say what he said to me. We were worried about their safety because of their cage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ben welds that cage in. Here we go. Coach, this is going to be us. We'll be in a Mopar. That's fine. <laughs> there comes a shot. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, oh up, up on the back. Did that guy lose? Did this? Did that car have a bumper, or did he just choose not to run one? I don't think it had one. A bumper on the track. Maybe that's it. No, I'd build a two-man extreme car for us. Let's do it. You guys run one of up there in New York? Oh, yeah. Well, let's get it. Yeah, mini meltdown and sand. Yep, it, right? yep. There we go. We can run two. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be that, busy. It had, it had to be next year. <laughs> you're going to be busy this year, man. This year. Uh, I mean, and if you can't make it, just build the car and me and Joe will come up and run it. We might even send you an engine. Just to put in our car, you, you, you're not ready for that. I'd have to test run it first. I'd have to test run it first. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. You should have brought the wagon here. We could have switched the pedals over quick. We could have. Oh, man. It would have been easy with them Smith Metal Works pedals I've been telling you about. I you know. know. If I had Clark money, I could afford it. Oh. Oh. Yo, this, this track's holding up pretty well with the rain. Yeah, dude, it, it's so tacky. Even when they watered it yesterday, you could go out there. And it wasn't even an inch, inch and a half, and it was dirt, dirt. So it, it, it'll be all right. I know jump, jumpers ain't on the regulars, I don't think. The one's not. No, no, absolutely not. You ever run turnout headers like that guy? Yep. Do you? you organ, I had organ pipes, staggered organ pipes for my small block. No kidding. Yeah, I ran them out to, uh, I ran them actually out to that turn back to the clock show. That's awesome. Of course, I run such a, I run, I ran 488s with, with 23s. So right, I mean, you're, right. They, the only time they sound good is when they're turning like four or 5,000 right. RPMs at least. Oh, when you guys took the shockers out there? Is no. that when you were talking? Oh, before, before that? Took all the imps. Oh, yeah. And then I took uh, the, actually the first time I ran them was down to Big Sandy Arena, Huntington, yep. West Virginia. Did you run down there a bunch? Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. See, I twice. never, I, I went down there and watched a few times, and they, they actually got one coming back, I think, this year really? at, down there at Big Sandy. Yep, first indoor uh, arena show that we ran. Great it was Power wild. They say it used to get oh, wild fun, down there. Fun. I had a guy, old boy had a, a had a Chevy Squareback wagon. He was proud as Peacock. Budweiser wagon, he was all painted up and everything else. He's telling us, yeah, he goes, I've run this, run this six seasons, they ain't been able to junk it yet. Here I'm down there with a 72 hammerhead down there. Right. And I asked him, I said, can I back in or pull in? Oh, the back of that wagon has disappeared. So goes, yeah, it's gone. Well, you got to protect the front of your cars there. He goes, you guys, where are you going to sell New York? What's wrong with you guys? You got to back, you got to pull your cars in, use the back end. I'm like, no, because I, can I nose out? Do whatever you want to do. Nice. That guy, that square back was all the way to the other end of the track with the ass end facing me when they said go. He's old pan deep oh, anyway. I, 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 I dumped him. I dumped him. I was drooling. I couldn't wait. Uh-oh, watch the caddy. Oh, oh, watch oh, the oh, caddy. Here comes jumper. Uh-oh, they can force like, let's go. We're out of oh, here. Oh, he's seen him. Yeah, he's seen that's him. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. I thought, I thought the jumpers were going to eat the back oh, of that. Oh, yeah, that guy was like, oh, he's coming. Yeah. The back of that Vic was about to disappear. Yeah, nah, it took it. That's, <laughs> a, that's a 9802 Lincoln, Cody. Come oh. on. It, like, it'll probably blew the nose off the caddy. Oh, man, he's seen that. <laughs> He was chomping in the bit. Oh, yeah, he oh, yeah. was coming, too. He was coming. He, See, that's he the advantage. He second-guessed himself because he started he started steering over because he figured the guy was going to take off. Yeah. And then he hesitated for a minute. Oh. If that was two heats ago, he would have caught him. Oh, yeah. Well, if it was a notice. I tell you what, had that problem, I tell you right now, them boys run some good <laughs> engines. <laughs> no, they got some nice cars right oh. there, some real nice cars. They're right there. The, 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 that's the advantage with the, the two-man team. The passenger actually seen it and was like, hey, <laughs> let's go. It's time to get out of here. You better put the gun down. Yeah. yeah. Actually, the passenger's probably running the gas. So yeah, he was like, turn this way. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, the, the, the guy's steering in the driver's seat. Here's the RPM just going through the roof. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's going, I better start turning the wheel. The one time I ran two-man extreme with my buddy, I never laughed so much in the derby. Oh, I you bet. You laughed the whole well, time. That's, 
And I'm telling you right now, I almost wish you put false pedals on the driver's side or leave the old ones in because you sit, hit the floor so many times. Oh, to, and I'm sure. And it's because <laughs> that guy in the passenger side, they, everybody welds a steering wheel. Oh, yeah. They, not, it's comfortable. They're steering. Yeah. They're, they're steering on the passenger <laughs> yeah. side while they're going. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's so funny are. officiating that or being on, on, the, on the wall gets – Everybody, That's no matter laughing. who it is, yeah. that it, it's like, yeah, it's to hold on to. It's easier. But every single one of them, when yeah. they're going down the track, they're, oh, yeah. they're trying I, to steer the wheel. I've seen it quite a bit where the passenger wheel actually turns. Oh, yeah, well, you'd yeah. have to. I couldn't imagine. I'd be like, oh, I'm going to rip this then, thing clear <laughs> off. And then you got the guys over on the driver's side. You see them constantly going to reach I'll down. Oh, reach for the shift. Yeah. Trying to reach yeah. down the shift. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's, 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 my it's buddy, fun. My buddy I did it with, it was his first time with his LS, his car. You know, my, some of my parts, whatever. I couldn't spin my head fast enough. He just hit right to the floor the <laughs> whole time. Going. He grenaded a nine inch. Grenaded it. Broke the casing. Hogs had everything. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a good time. It was so much fun. Yeah, Joey and I just talked about it a couple times. The, and you, well, after like the first couple of hits, as if I was on the steering wheel, you realize you don't have to focus on anything but that steering wheel. And then you're like, man, I drive amazing right now. Yeah, <laughs> I am the best <laughs> out here. Oh, good tire shot. That was a good shot. Oh, everybody's still looking pretty good. Yeah. Man, what kind of car is that? What's that? That's 64X? Yeah. I'm wondering the same thing. Is that like an old Buick? It's definitely 60s, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not 100% really. Yeah, I'm not either. Just the way that the yeah. look like an old Buick or something, I don't know. Might be an old X frame or something. Yeah, Cody must have helped him with that front bumper. Yeah, oh, mine don't fall off, Decker's here. <laughs> Plus the wind or something. What's that? That's the old wind or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I have, couldn't tell you. Back it, of that square back wagon is looking good over there. Going right up. The board wagon? Yeah. That car's got some power. That's awesome. I would have to say that's the guy on the steering wheel's motor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. He's all in the mail. He's about to slice that back tire, though, on that fender. Oh, yeah. There ain't going to be it. It won't be long now. Oh, it's already flat. Yes, sir. That's probably going to help him, Coach. Yeah, I was just going to say that on this slick mud, it might get you some more traction. Yeah. They're having, they're, the other jumper cars having some engine trouble or something, fuel issues. Look, the, the 728, his steering wheel moves. Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah, see that now. Yeah, yeah. And I see a lot of guys doing it now in this class. They're mounting the shifters to their right hand. I don't know if I'd like that because if you take a door shot, your hand oh, on that shifter, yeah. you're pinching it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, how many guys shift with their left hand, but I'm more about safety. Oh, years, yeah. Years ago, I seen a guy mounted it to his roof. Really? Yep. Uh, a lot of old school guys used to mount them real low so you couldn't see which way they were yeah. shifted, you yeah. know. When I was a kid, that was a big thing. And then when I started that's, mounting them on the bar. That was all little, the little, remember the little short nubby yeah. ones, the finger hole shifters? Oh, and, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I always ask, why do you run it so low? You know, you're always bending down to get it. Like, well, nobody knows which way I'm going. Well, they can watch your tires. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell do I'm you all mean? about comfort. I'm yeah. all about comfort. Sitting yeah, back, it's right there. right there. Usually a two-man job to mount the shifter. 
Yeah, that feels comfortable. Uh, Pack it yeah, in. Yeah, that's right. Weld it in. Daddy, I'm surprised Daddy Decker let you and I on at the same time. He told me he wasn't going to allow it. Me and you? Yeah. Well, he told me that was skin, too, and we was in here about <laughs> three minutes and got kicked off. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it's fine. He kicked you off because you were picking on him. Well, I, I, I heard that he could dish it out. He's not real good at taking it. No, that's why everyone at home, like Chad Reifenberg, messaged me, and he's like, <laughs> I love it. I'm rolling on my floor. <laughs> Just keep picking on Decker. Well, I mean, it, it's not really – is it really picking on him if it's the truth? Yeah, true. You I mean, it's, it's factual versus I mean, I didn't opinion. lie. I mean. You're stating facts. His performance was there. You know, <laughs> it was so-so. <laughs> I mean, oh. But, you know, not all of them are, uh, you know, performers. Hope it's raining sticking around too long. No, because uh, I checked the radar. So it's going to come and go kind of all afternoon. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to have the dozer to like pull the trailer. Oh, yeah, the I was thinking about that when I walked because that's slick, slick, dude. That's real slick out oh, there. Yeah. It, it's not like packy, but I mean, it's slick, slick. Yeah, and I don't have monster motors on my truck. No. 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 And Mean Green, there at 41, he's like, he's sounding, looking. Yeah, he's, he's looking yeah, good. I mean, I tell you what, 007 over there is looking really oh strong, yeah, there's too. a couple of them there. Then you got the, uh, the 225 Junior. He sounds really good over there. And you got the one of the – you got one left out of the jumper camp down there going. Yeah, the white caddy's yep. still going. What happened to the black one? Both black ones. I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, yeah, I see now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the other one's right here. Yep. Yeah. He's he either had fuel or some sort of engine issue because he, he stalled out and then it wouldn't start, wouldn't start, wouldn't start, and then it finally fired. Fuel pump, maybe. That jumper family's got some money in cars sitting on the track right now. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Three Cadillacs. Yeah. And they're clean. Oh, yeah, everything they buy is clean. Is that what they primarily run, caddies? Oh, yeah. yeah. They hear in a couple of Vicks earlier this year. And he, go, and he messaged me, he goes, yeah, there ain't no caddy. He's, <laughs> the one that, he's the one that had the stupid cherry imperial down yeah. to, uh, down to uh, Morris. Yep. Got out there. Drove out on the track. Tie rod. No kid. That's the worst. Car is spotless. That's the worst. I'll put it back together and go run the relic glass somewhere. Is it like in the 50s, Cat? The 50s, uh, Imperial? No, good. Yeah, it was like a 58, 59. Yeah, still had, still kept the cherry stainless steel top on it. Really? All the trim, all the stain, all the stainless on the car was still intact. No, good. He said he had. People crying when they see that. Oh, that's that. pretty cool. That uh, I think the guy you was referring to earlier at the turn back the clock, the 911. That's Tom Dillman, I think you're talking about. Real big. Yeah, big, real big uh, from Dillman's tone. Night was super nice guy. Yeah, great Tom guy, great guy. He yeah. uh, he runs our rally class now, yeah. and uh, he runs like the 61 and 62 Imperials, and yeah. he actually checks the VIN and whatever the factory collar of it is. Tommy it paints, paints the collar oh, that. Nice. Collar. Yeah, it's nice. sweet. They look sweet when they come in, man. He does a really good job with it. Yeah, but I kept remembering the number you told me, 911. I yeah. was like, man, big guy, kind of ugly. I was like, that's Tommy. Yeah. That's got to be Tommy. Super, super nice super guy. Super great Intimidating guy. Intimidating looking as shit. Yeah. It's all yeah. crazy, you know. But. Yes, sir. Great guy. I almost thought you described yourself there for a second. I'm good looking and stuff. Oh, geez. We still got quite a few cars in here. There, yeah. I still would really like to know what that car is right there. Ask him out when we go out for an interview. Uh, what, what? Why don't you go do the interview? You're better at it than me. Nobody wants to go out there now when it's raining. I'll be out there, Ben. You guarantee it. I can it. put my boots on. You, I can put my boots on and wait. You guarantee the show must go on. Yep. So, Fatty will be there. Okay. Code, I'm going to need Bible's to. Bible's got his pants on now. He's ready to roll. Code, can you carry me out there? No. 
What? I, I got a bad back. I've been carrying you all weekend. You can't oh. do it one time for me. All right, let's see who we got. Oh, man, that sounded good. That sounded Whoa. good. Oh, no, the hammer car looks like the bumper's broke in the middle. That's Jesse wow, he McCryer, that. John Harmon out of Jerry PA. Oh, it is still. Yeah. Buddy, I'll tell you what, he's getting it. Set him right up on that. Yeah, oh, he, he buried that trunk, too, in the full, into the ground. Oh, yeah, he's hung up. There's no oh, getting yeah. off that. Yeah, his back oh, tire. Uh-oh, oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. oh. Okay. That's the 44 jump car. So that's, that's Spencer, isn't it? That's Girl. Sean John, Shane Johnson and Austin Jumper. Austin Jumper. Yep. I get them mixed up. Don't get up there too far. Don't get up there too far. Uh-oh. Hammer car trying got to get it refired. Yeah, he's, he's on the crank, that's for sure. He's, black on the crank. he's got black smoke. Hold her to the floor. Get him spun sideways. Get him spun sideways. Ah, you don't want to keep climbing like that. Man, she's hot. See? Ah, uh, you got it. See, now you can get under it. Yeah. Looks like his pinion brake's holding, up, hanging up on the caddy. Yep, I see them sparks flying. He's rusting his foot. Is that what he was doing? Yeah, that, that's why I don't foot. run a pinion brake. Always on that brake pedal, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, well, that's what I, that actually actually happened to me out to turn back the clock. I took the took the pinion bearing right out. You run you you run two footed when you drive. Yep. I do too. Yep. Yep. Fatty told me a story before. He could afford good stuff. He went to a derby, so his motor would sound good, and he would hold his foot on the floor. So it sounded he, like you he, had a gear. So he had something like had gears. Hooked, and so it wraps it up a little bit. He did it one time. His buddy came over and said, you can't do that when the grass is wet. Your front tires were locked up all the way over <laughs> the back. <laughs> yeah, He's screaming. Had a sock gear and a little Ford. So I'd hold the brakes up. It made it sound like I had a lot of gear. Well, I went part. He said, dude, listen, that's a great idea and everything. But when the grass is wet, your front tire is locked up. You look like an idiot driving. <laughs> yeah. Man, that was a long time. Uh, Cody, I'm going to stop telling uh, you stories. He's eating the front of that. No. Oh, yeah. He said, I'm tired of hitting the back of it. I don't know why you got to bring up old stuff all the time, <laughs> Cody. You know. We had a moment. We had a moment. Uh, yeah. We've had a moment all weekend. Yeah, we have. He's breaking up. Jumper's not sounding good. That motor's breaking up on him. Well, when he's he, right, ain't even hot yet. No. Yeah, when he come down, it sounded like it sputtered a little bit, and I was, and, but it cleared out when he was hitting that guy in the back. So I, I thought maybe. Oh, uh, this raining and he's running methanol. Yeah, it's probably no good on it. And then the weather's changed so much. I mean, it's cold now. Yeah. I don't know anything about engines and how meth runs. <laughs> oh, but, it's it's. You know, I don't it's know. It's touchy one. Really, is it? I get, know I know enough to know if, if you go from a 70 degree day and and basically then go to a day where it's overcast, raining and cool. Really? Yeah, it's gonna be different. They normally won't even light bulb like 45 degrees. Huh? A lot of ether. That's why I always use can of ether. I fired yours up one day. It was like 40 degrees out, and I fired up and sat there and ran until. Or gas. Well, I ran and then I think all that all that methanol in the tank was so cold when it hit the carb, shut it right off. Didn't refire. They refired on ether. Yeah. Right. Guy yeah, used the ether with the upper engine lube in it. Yeah. What are we down? We down to four or five. Yeah, I think we're down to one, two, three, four. And this, this, this the, the, the four we're down to, it could, we could. They could get rowdy. We could pack a lunch. Yeah. It could be here a while. I really like the 225 Junior. But then we're, Fatty's used to that, though. Like, What's that? If this lasts another hour, you're like, okay, this is just a normal heat. Well, it's because we build good quality cars, Cody. No, you guys I drive I mean, when you, when you build one in a week, you should expect it to only run 20 yeah. minutes. 
That's all it needs to run good New York. Quality, good quality cars with at least 15 gallon fuel cells. I only run 11 <laughs> gallon, thank you. I just try not to give it too much gas. <laughs> That's why he doesn't know where to throttle is. He's like, he never takes steps oh on it. There goes 20 God, bucks. Oh my God, here we go, here we go. I know, I, I gotta change the plugs in my Otis motor every time I run it, because they fall out. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when it went from five gallon limit to okay these are the dimensions your tank could be to guys putting gas in oil jugs and stashing them in their cars oh god i've had so many and then they were like ah, yeah you can run 10 gallons and then it was like whatever and then they got set, had a pit stop halfway between uh, all the mayhems yeah yeah they had them under they hit them all under the seats yep, and stuff yeah yep, i remember got that. a red flag next thing you go what are, you, what are they dumping the oil in yeah it's not oil's gas yeah, it's gas. Tanks. yeah it's awesome <laughs> I had an old man one time at Derby come up to me. He was like, you ever put starting fluid in your gas? I was like, no. He was like, don't. Don't do that. <laughs> he said, yeah, don't do that. He said, it will mess everything up. Uh, I said, I'll take your word for it, buddy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'll take your word oh for it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, stuff was running a little too hot inside of that. Yeah, you always knew, you know, you got down to that and maybe you're sitting there watching it and it's like, yeah, you're about an hour and a half in. It's like, next thing you know, the cars are just doing phenomenal, front's still good, not even really, you know, there's a little bit of steam coming out of them. Next thing you know, like, okay, they didn't just come out of that hole. They're not stuck. No, no, not at all. out of gas. Yep. That's the nice thing about running pump gas. I get like three derbies on the tank. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, I think they might, he's going to go out and have a little talk with him. Yeah, it's time to juice it up a little bit. Jake Jake told him in the driver's meeting, he said, I'm not telling you you got to kill each other, but you will stay moving. He said, "This is you're going to keep moving. So so I bet this is their little pep talk and get things moving along a little bit here. That Ford wagon bet nice for those guys. Yeah, it's been a good heat, really. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's been a really yeah. good heat. It's definitely, definitely not – totally bonkers like that one was in the fall. Right, right. You know, but hey. It started out bonkers. Yes. Yeah. We come out of the hole and they come out like like a like a rocket. Chicken out of the hen house. Whenever I see guys climbing out of the front windshield, I get so nervous they're gonna grab a hold of that stack. Oh well, that was a girl, Cody. I was talking oh it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Yeah, I was just why yeah, I just seen people yeah. get out of the front window. Yeah. I was saying when people come out of the front window, Wait. I get so nervous they're gonna grab a whole ass stack and burn their hand. Dude, I've, we had there's one into bash and it's right on video. He reaches out and grabs that header. Dude, he just looks at it. I mean, he he walked it off. He did a great job Ooh. with it, but man, he yeah yeah, he yeah you're exactly right. That's it is, and you and you know and you, it's just a reaction. We've all yeah, done it. Yeah, you know, it's just a reaction. Oh, the other jumper car isn't moving, so we're down to three. The white caddy? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's not moving. He's oh, down yeah. the other end. That's crazy. Now, now, where is there, I'm sure there's some place around here they can run them cars again? Oh, yeah. They're around here. Now, they from down here or up by you guys? They're like central Pennsylvania. So but, they come run where you guys run? Yeah, they won a, uh, Spencer won our 4K show last year. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah they brought caddies there. Oh, really? Yeah. And tore up all three of those. Oh, really? ate them. Hmm. He said to me afterwards, he's like, he's like, you and I get along. He goes, I feel bad for hitting you, but the back of that Mopar just looks so soft. I'm like, dude, I couldn't see out the back window anyway, so it didn't uh, matter. Yeah. I was honestly in there cringing because I knew something was coming at some point. And then I heard his motor behind me, and I couldn't see it. That's a helpless feeling. And I'm like, please just hit high because I got Decker's Mosier's back there exposed. Right, yeah, don't, don't hit him. <laughs> I don't want to buy him a $1,500 rear end. Cody Riley's got one he'd sell you. What's that? Rear end. Oh, yeah. 14 bolt. Yeah. He's got all, he, he, he wanted a giraffe 
one in the raffle. That's what I, you had on the forks earlier today. I'm like, oh, Cody, what do you need another rerun for? Oh, it only cost me 100 bucks. I won in a raffle. I should walk oh, over, okay. but I give you 300 bucks at, for it. <laughs> at, That's awesome. At 23s, feed locks, really? full centers, axle savers, a full, nice built 14 bolt. Man, you can't got beat that. Got, he's got 100 bucks. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. It's like like I need it, like I need you know, like I need another another one. I'm like, well, shit for that. You can't, right you can't not take it. Man, I never get lucky on them. No. Nope. You code, you ever win anything in them raffles? Yeah, like, yeah, you would. My, Anyways, mil my, mil ben, my nice Milwaukee fuel impact, 40 bucks into it. My Holly Red Pump, 40 bucks. Whatever, code. My oh, so you win them all the time. My my Milwaukee dry bars, won them, 20 bucks. Yeah, it's probably rigged. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, nice. Oh, they're turning it up now. Yeah. Oh. Well, Jake went out there and gave him a warning. That 225 Junior, I think, sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got, you got two super, super good. Yeah. That 34X and the 225 is. I don't know if the. Well, that's one thing I like about coming to the Derby, especially out this way. There's a lot of guys I don't know because we don't have these classes up by us. So right. they come down here and learn about all new guys. Right. Like oh, you, yeah. you see them on Facebook and stuff and then actually get them to watch them run. Oh, I think he wanted some of that front end, Ben. Hey, no. <laughs> That's the thing when you, when you pick a a co-driver per se in this heat, you definitely want one that has similar patience. Because oh yeah. If for I was sure. in the passenger seat of one of them cars right now, running the gas, yeah, the guy would have been slapping the shit out of me already. Because oh, yeah. that foot would be right to the floor. Oh saying, no, oh, yeah. let's no. get this shit done. No, we're, we're not, no, see, we ain't even up the temp yet. No. We're not even ready to party yet. We're gonna get up the temp <laughs> real quick. <laughs> No, no, that's why that I do, when it comes down to three cars, I do like to turn it up a little oh, bit. Yeah. So my buddy Joe's always like, hey, just pretend we're down to three when you pull on the track. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 225 JR, oh, uh, Drenovich, Jack, and uh, Josh, they're uh, They're out of. They're connected. If I if I remember correctly, they're uh, if they're Duranoviches that are connected with Siopas. I wonder if that's who that is. Um, then Looks like old Dominic's, Dominic's telling them to go. You got all Swingles out there. The two o the double o seven. Oh, and I did the see on Facebook he was coming. Yeah, dude, that's, that's it's a nice looking car. I saw that's, last night on Facebook. That's Dylan and Kenny Swingle. That's father son team in that car. Uh, Kenny Swingle, he promoted up our way for a while. Yep. He was in the original group. That, that group, they went out dent years ago with Aaron, oh, really? Bunch, Aaron Bunch, Snyders, Dougie and Danny oh, Snyder, yeah, that yeah. group. Yeah. Um, uh, Mike Rice yep. and, and that whole group, they, they made, uh, they were one of the, they were the first ones to really go out. You know, Steve Manichaki, um, uh, I'll think of the, uh, the other guy's name, but he has a, he has a hard hitting award uh, at every one of his shows. Um, boy, it's gonna uh, Rundell, Frankie Rundell. Frankie speaking Rundell. of speaking of Snyder's quick, Sh uh, Shoemaker messaged me. He goes, "Tell TJ allow '70s cars in that bone stock class." Yeah. The yeah, boys yeah. want to bring some of their Mopars down here. Yeah. And then what's uh, what's the other one there? That 34X. I want to get these guys the top three here. Okay, 72834X, that's Dennis Hagen and J.D. Lorraine out of Uh-oh, we got the red PA. flag. What's going on here? TJ's getting mad. Something's happening right here. Watch yeah. this. He's telling him to start hitting. Uh, he I can't see the flags in my way, or the roof signs are in no, my way. No, no, can't see it, but. He's talking to him. I know that. I can see him a little bit. So yeah, definitely veteran. Veteran, you got you got some veteran guys out there. 
Good. Um, and Kenny's, he's Kenny's built old iron, new iron. He's he's which one's that? Threes. They're the the ones with the black and red. Oh, the black one. and red the uh, and white roof sign. Not this one, but the, the oh, other okay. ones there. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're the 201007. Them boys down there. Yep. 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 Got it. Yep. Got it. And I. Come on, guys. About guaranteed Dylan is the is steering wheel and Kenny's the in the passenger seat. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. That looks like Kenny in the driver's seat. Playing a little cat and mouse here. Oh, it is. Kenny, the dad's steering, and he's got Dylan. He's got the son doing the, doing the um, gas and shifter. Oh, Uncle Bill's throwing stuff at us now. I see that. Yeah, he is. I see that. Look, Cody, you don't even care if you get to watch it there. I know. Oh, a little bit of a sandwich there. Yeah, that's going, that's going way, way back. Talking yeah. about all those guys, man. That's, that's. Yeah, and I mean, it, uh, uh, little Danny's the only really, uh, you know, out of that whole genre. Little Danny is, is I think it's his sister too, runs. Um, I heard a rumor he's moving down south. Might be, might be. I heard from a couple people that bought stuff from him that after mini meltdown, he's moving down south. He's taking two setups and selling everything else. Might. Which obviously Trencher and all those guys will get first dibs and everything. But well, hopefully it wasn't a secret. I've heard it from like <laughs> ten different people. Worldwide, no. Yeah. <laughs> Worldwide, no code. <laughs> Definitely, if it was supposed to be a secret, you're Man. not going to get dibs on anything. No, no. I'll probably get a message from Danny now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thanks. <laughs> It'll be. Wait a minute. Who told you? <laughs> yeah. Way to, go. Way to go, Code. That's ah, all right. <laughs> Danny, <laughs> them boys like to pick on me, too. So. Had one job to do. All right, one job. Don't tell nobody. Cody's probably like, well, you don't know who he is. <laughs> you know, talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> anybody, tell you what, anybody that, that back then, you know, you get, talk, you get meet different people around the, the country like I have over the years, get talking, they ask where you're from and, shit, and stuff like that. And, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. He goes, you know, we, there's a couple a couple guys, you know, that used to run, run you know, oh, Mopars, 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 which they were 100% Mopars. Right. You know? Oh, yeah, still are. And Big Danny, Big Danny had to bet six something. And little Dougie, his brother, was. was looks like your buddy's got the, the, no, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Ben, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, like they got him stuck. They got him Good against deal. the wall down here. Woo! And he was just honing on him. Nice. But uh, then then he had his brother, little Danny, or little du or Dougie, Big Danny, little Dougie. And Dougie was probably five, 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 four, you know, little dude, but boy, you get him in a car. Woo. But yeah, Mopars. Those Mopar. boys, can wheel, those Mopar. boys can wheel some Mopars. Mopar or no car? They asked me if I was coming to Bethel, and I'm like, why, you guys? They go, yeah. I said, no, because even if it comes down to us, I'm going to be the short man out. <laughs> oh, there you go. Good wheel shot. Oh, good a, wheel shot that he got was a good on. One, yeah. I mean, the 225 needs to get out of there. Swingles are about hard up front, too. Yeah. It's hard, though, because, you know, these two mans, it's oh, hard. Oh, yeah. It's hard because, you, you you know, you, you, you got in your brain to stay away from the driver's side, but then, they, you know, it's really kind of courtesy oh, to stay yeah. away from the passenger side. Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel like a two-man, it should almost be mandatory you got to skin your door. Uh, yeah, only thing I know, me and Cody, I'm using Cody's door. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, there's a cage there, bub. You're fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. You see, you see those steer pedals at uh, Indy CNC we're selling? I'll yeah. have one of those on my side so I can steer there without you. Yeah, that'd be all right. Or just run the one front brake and pull it around. Man, the first person I ever oh, seen do that. Oh, uh -oh. out. They're steaming pretty good. Yeah, she's a little warm. The front of it's pretty high, too. Yeah, so. That might have gained the old distributor and air cleaner and yeah, drink. It's pretty high. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't, couldn't see how yeah. the firewall and stuff yeah. was cut out and stuff. Yeah. 
it, it, these motors ain't built for water injection. No, nah, <laughs> nah. But I'll tell you what, hats off to the 225 for getting out of that corner, man. That, the oh, yeah, 201, I mean, they had him beat yep. in there. Yep. They so had him beat in there good. Kenny and, D Kelly and Dylan, they're, they're, I'd say they're officially third place in this. Yeah. Great, great run with them, guys. Yeah, they did a good job. Don't split it apart. I feel like TJ's well, he's gonna... trying to. He's trying to get. There you go. That's what he wanted to do. Right. right. Oh, oh no, he, he got he out. He almost he had out. him. He almost had him right oh, there. Oh, now he does. Now he's got him in his belt. That's oh, the thing with them forwards, though, man. They can get out of some tight spots. Oh, yeah. And it's just. Uh oh. Oh. He gets a 45 in that corner. Coming back up. This track is getting sloppy against the walls. Yeah. Oh, is he uh, steering on the yeah, passenger yeah, side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at yeah, him, look at him. That's awesome. Ah. That is awesome. He's digging himself a hole. Yeah, he's going to get that tire and not be able to back out of it. Yeah, I love it, too, because uh, you're in there. If you go forward, like you're leaning into it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, he's yeah, trying to get that extra oh, He's got to have that oh. Wow, those model motors sound good. Both, all four guys look so calm and patient in there. They're flexing. They're both 03 and ups. That's what I was trying to see because I could see it flexing. Oh, oh he cleared him. Oh. Or no, that's a 98 to 02 right there. They both flexed right there. Yeah, I see. They got some fun. He's got a funky inner fender. Yeah. On that wall. Yeah, all four guys right in front of us, they're all just sitting back, <laughs> driving with one hand. Oh, yeah. The uh, guy in the back is he's turning so hard. He, oh, he's spinning that steering wheel around. Man, they're trying. I'll tell you what, they're doing good working yeah, together, as yes, a, you yeah. know, in the, the, the two cars. They're doing good. That'd be so tough. Like, Cody, we've done been out by now. Oh, yeah. Especially if we had your motor, I'd just stand on it the whole time. Uh, if we had my motor, we'd still be out there. That's no, what I was <laughs> referring to. That, that bumper would be, be up over the, Our bumpers would be up over the stacks. Oh, it's still run. I start pounding with the pulleys. It's still run. I got two. I got my old Ziz engine, too. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's a good old girl, Daddy was too. picking on me last night because I don't run a trans cooler. He's like, I'm going to give you one. I told him. I said, Dude, I'll give you one if you run a I look at it. I go, Fatty, I don't even run a uh, tranny filter. He said, <laughs> I just looped the lines. I'm like, are you kidding me, Cody? What are you doing? Yeah. Like you need to come to Ohio for a year. I'll fix you up, dude. I'll send you back to New York. You'll change derbies up there. Especially running a Mopar trainees. You have to run a training cooler. You hear what, Ben? The living legend. <laughs> this dude should be in the Smithsonian. <laughs> yeah. And he just, yeah. Said, he just said you should run a training cooler, Code. Come on. That's, I mean, cool. that's coming out of that's coming out of. Angle hurts, Yeah, yeah dude, I'm dumber in hell when it comes to motors and trainings and everything, but I know you're supposed to run a cooler. I mean, come on. First thing I did when I when I, we knew we were gonna go to Ohio and run that show, I already had you know training coolers and everything else, but went right to the next level and put an oil engine oil cooler on it. Yeah, I I used to run one of them. And it, it, all the difference in the world on my, on my small block. My really? Oh, see, yeah. Yeah, see, yeah. I, we don't run the engine coolers. I don't, I don't know where, on our Otis motors, we don't. And 
I, mean, I, I guess if I was running a big show, a big like like something. Like, like everyone I've talked to, they've told me if you're running methanol, you really got to run an oil cooler to crack the box. Yeah, see, this is where Joe would step in and go, yeah, this is what you do. This, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just like, I started in rock ethanol. That's just what I've heard just because of how cool the top end is. Right. And that bottom end. With the yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Exactly. No clue. You just drive. I just I'm telling you, I, Joey started. I said that thing's missing like hell. He goes, "That's the cam, you moron." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." <laughs> <laughs> Is this part yeah. plug wire unplugged? Yeah. No, I was like, "This oh. thing ain't running right." He goes, "You're an idiot." Yeah. This motor's just bored, freaking sixty over. Don't worry right. about it. Yeah. That's, how you're, that's how you're an engine builder. <laughs> yeah, I, I admit it. You know, I'm like Tobe. I just buy them. Yeah. Got him sideways down there. These guys have been going at it. Well, that's two super, super good cars. Oh, here. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're hung up. Are they hung up? Yeah, he's hung in his wheel well, I think. Oh, no, he's he can back up. Yeah, he's he's going to get out. Up. He's got yeah, enough he's, space. He's coming him. out. Yeah, he's out of there now. Oh, he gets that rear bumper locked in. Spinning around. Ain't not one of these, either one of them want to go to the other end and whip a Louie. No, no. No. Yeah, it looks like TJ's getting, uh, getting a little fired up over here, so. Yeah, uh, TJ's going to be throwing the red flag here in a minute, I think. Well. Hey, Which I, but I get it. The guys want to drive. They're they're down to the final two. Yeah, it's tough to drive the guy's car when it's down to two. It really is. You might be hung up there. Oh. Down to two like this, you're one wrong move away. Yep. Oh no, you're right. You've worked. Cody would have done it. You've worked this hard. You've worked this hard and long through the heat. This yeah. is where definitely, I don't care who you are, you're going to get a little cautious. Yeah, right there, Cody. You've been like, get out of the corner. I've been like, well, you ripped the front end off 20 minutes ago, <laughs> so we can't steer it. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm glad you live so far away. Me too. What are you going to do without me tomorrow? Man, I'll tell you what. I'm probably going to talk to you all the way home, to be honest with you. I mean, I'll be driving. You'll be driving. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect. I should have brought you something for Easter. <laughs> you still go buy me something. I need a brake pedal. Uh, Decker, I, well, I, you know, I got to do did. this. You did. You brought him flowers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, flowers. Yeah. Man, Code, I might have to go put my long johns oh on. Oh, my God. Bob, I mean, come on. Man. There's a draft around this door. My right arm's, like, frozen. Oh, here we go. On the door? No, there's a draft. That's the warm spot over there. That's the warm spot, bro. <laughs> we gave it to you because you the baby. You yeah, the baby. baby. <laughs> oh. yeah, that was, we figured we had to put you there. You want in the middle of me and Ben? You know, soccer mom. You know, <laughs> something happens. <laughs> you know, you poor thing. Oh man. <laughs> Tixie and Skinny were enough. Now Fatty. Oh, oh man. it's the three amigos, bud. Oh yeah. <laughs> the yeah. three amigos. Hey Cody, I'm glad you're here because you took my spot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh. I'm going to get a comfortable chair. Yeah, that seat, you're going to be a little warmer. Well, I've been sitting on that, that every that time. That velour, I... the velour carpeting on there. <laughs> it might be over. It is over. Okay, they gave it to the... The uh, black car. Not Junior, the other one. No, it's the 34X, right? Yeah. So Dennis Hagen and JD Lorraine, you get to take first, and then uh, Jack and Josh Jurenovic out of Lathrop, PA, got second, and Dylan, Kenny and Dylan Swingle got third. Five more heats to go, says Mar my man Mark Elliott. We got the dead man, the bone stock compacts, Whoa. their second heat. Then we got the half ton trucks coming up. Then the Joker three man feature, the pro stock feature, and then the mercenary. Oh, that V8. truck heat earlier wasn't the half tons? Nope. I missed, I was loading Josh's car up. 
What was that? Minivans? Compact? Trucks? Uh, yeah, mini SUVs. Oh, I thought I missed that half ton truck. I'm like, man, I really wanted to watch no, that. No, one. no, 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 no. They, no, they went out yet. There's, there's some trucks out there yep. for being half tons. Which is cool. TJ just do half tons because the truck class is getting super oh, duty. Oh, you start getting. It just, it's the truck class is getting. Yeah, Cody, you know down here. Down here in PA, I mean, they got some stupid built trucks yeah, that, that, yeah. that have seen, you know, more Christmases than some people it's in like the It's like Mike Lapp's Buick. You know, <laughs> you, they're, on, they're almost teenagers, you know, they're trucks. They're old enough to drive themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Man, that was a long ride right there. How was it out there? Oh, it was rough, but it was fun. It was rough. So, on the way down, you guys said you guys did this down in Daytona. How'd you guys do down there? Uh, we won. You won that one too. So this is back-to-back -back victories in the two-man extreme, huh? Yes. So, so how difficult is it actually out there with you? Uh, it takes some uh, getting used to do. You know, we got a lot of good drivers here, and some younger kids learn how to drive, which is, that's awesome. The boy got third place. That's him and his dad. That's awesome. You know. Oh yeah. That's Absolutely. pretty cool. Like so, 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 whose engine is it? Fine. You're in, so you work the gas then? Yeah, I work the gas. He likes the gas pedal more than I do. So. Oh, okay. So, so how tricky is it trying to? How tricky is it trying to figure out how much gas he's going to give, how much brake, how much how to turn? How how tricky is that? The tricky part's the steering because I think one thing, he thinks another, and we just try to put two That's two so together. True. And yeah, it is true. Well, hey, congratulations on the back-to-back -back victories. Thanks. Have a great night, guys. That's like what I mean. McLean ran two man extreme. I was the whole time pointing yep. this yep. way, that way. But yeah, that's great. They had back to back victories. In uh, <clears throat> I thought the name looked familiar. Yeah. So when I watched, I watched the Daytona show. Is Fatty gonna okay. Fatty's got another one. That heat there is just wild. Wow. Have you guys ever done anything like this before? No. Never. Nope. Okay, what kind of car is this? 61 Caddy. 61 Caddy. Nice. I'd have never thought of that. Now, when, when it, how tricky is it trying to figure out who ran the gas here? I did. You did. So is it your engine? Yeah. It's your engine. Okay. So while he's giving it gas in the brake, how, how hard is it to judge how to oversteer or understeer or anything like that? Yeah, it's real hard. <laughs> real hard. Well, i tell you what, you guys did an amazing job out there. This is one of the most unique cars out there that we've seen this weekend. Um, anybody you guys want to thank or anything? No. Good job. <laughs> right, well, how about old dad right here? Dad. Maybe dad? Yeah, dad, how do you feel about it? That makes me mad that he wouldn't thank me. Oh, uh, you got to thank the old man. But no, you guys did a great job. The car's a beautiful car. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Back to the hog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, the old man. 61 Caddy, huh? Yeah, I would. You don't see those every day. Yeah, I want to say, I'm not 100% sure, but I want to say he ran in the fall. Oh, yeah, Bellion. I want to say he ran in the fall down in Maryland. Okay. Um, 61s, I, I'll go out on a limb. I don't know for sure, but I wonder if they're X-frame. Yeah, possibly. You know. But yeah, was, I know Decker's always told me stay away from 60s GMs because most of them are C Channel. That was pretty harsh. That was yeah. harsh. What do you want to think? think? No. no. His dad, dad, like, dad standing right there. Dad probably hauled him down, <laughs> paid for some fuel, <laughs> and helped him out. Yeah, uh, but hey, the kid, you know what? That you're in there, you're in the moment. I do recognize that kid, though. He's yeah. definitely run before. Yeah. But uh, great heat. So next we got Bone Stock Compact. Heat number two because he had so many of them. So in this one, there's going to be 18 of them rolling out there. And uh, that won't be such a long heat. I want to say that, Ben. It's, it's going to be fast. We've seen some long bone stuff. Yeah, but no, no, Nothing no. Nothing no, like no, that, no. but. I, mean, I, don't th I, I think it's just, I think we're going to rock and roll. I've learned over all the years, the later the day and the later the night goes on, the heats go faster because they've been sitting there waiting the whole time. Oh yeah. And either somebody else has set the bar that they want to beat. Yep. Or they're just they're just sick of waiting and they just want to just wreck stuff. We've all been there. You're, oh, you wait. And that's when I first switched to V8, that's the one thing I hated. Yep. It was like I went from running at the beginning of the show to I got to sit it, around. 
you know what we ought to do right now and we haven't done is we ought to run some uh run a commercial or run uh, our ab cat tech clip if bill could get our ab cat tech clip up or if hunter knows hunter, how to do. hunter if you can run uh Cause he, you know, they're 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 our big dogs. They're our, they're our main sponsor, along with all the other sponsors. We wouldn't be here without them. That have been running, they they've been running on the on the, the screen yeah. right along. If it wasn't for the sponsors, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. Yeah, but we're doing replays now. We got Alex out there doing our carnage cam. Well, yeah, crash wreckage carnage, our, our on track footage, and uh, and if you guys don't follow Alex on YouTube, go on YouTube. Tip in all for him racing. Give him a follow. Well, if you're if you are on YouTube and you're in motorsports and or watching derbies, yes, um, you, you got to be have a Ray Charles syndrome if you don't know who Alex is because <laughs> he's the number one on YouTube, YouTube for demolition derbies. And for all videos. his videos are awesome. And he travels everywhere. It, it, I. I Maybe five percent of the derbies he misses, probably in a season, because he's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, every time he turns around, it's like, "Hey, Alex, where are you going? Oh, there's a derby next weekend. I'm gonna go cover." There's shows I go to, and I'm like, I turn around, and Alex is standing yeah. there. I'm like, "Where'd yeah. you come from?" He's like, "Oh, I just got here." And great, great, great guy. Uh, him and his wife. His wife's come come along with him on a few She's trips. She's here with and, him today. Yep, and uh, he just loves the sport. He loves the derby, and he loves. Uh, He's so dedicated. We sit in his trailer, people. and he's standing over there on that podium. Yeah, oh yeah. In a rain jacket. Yeah, he's hard. He, he's dedicated. Um, but we really, really uh, we're happy and privileged to have him on board with us, and it, the feelings mutual from him too. Mm -hmm. um, so we were able to uh, pole vault per se, slingshot him into a into a, a different. You're both benefiting from yes. each other. Yeah, we, we slingshotted him into orbit, and he slingshotted us into orbit. So we're, 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 we're reaping the benefits here, teaming up. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're – Bill's getting us, uh, getting us our uh, commercial worked up here. Okay, and, uh, whenever you're ready, Bill, let her rip tater chip. <laughs> Hello, Track Shot Live World. We are here. We are totally stoked to talk about the great new apparel that we got going on. Hats, shirts, first ever tour shirt. We are totally stoked. It's almost like a KISS concert or something like that. Pretty cool. I love it. You know, hey, America, remember, www.trackshotshop. That's where you're gonna get all the apparel from us. And we just got our page reset. We got all new stuff coming out this year. Free 99s. If you didn't get your free 99 skinny yelling last year, you still can get it. We just put it back up today. 
check out these cool simple shirts the sour did these little tags we got our stadium shirts our on-air shirts and like tixie said we have this new shirt out that has a list of every single show now i know what you're saying if you bought a shirt last year you're saying decker it took you a while to get that shirt to me, right? I want to take responsibility for that, America. That was my fault. I did not order enough off the bat, and then I had to reorder and reorder. I'm sorry. This year, I ordered a ton off the bat. So if you order today, they're going to put this bag, this shirt in a bag and ship it to you today. It was my fault, America. I don't usually say this. It usually is yours. But today, I'm going to take this one. This one was my fault. You know, the crazy thing is Gumby's not here to blame or anything like that. This just almost seems to be wrong. Josh Decker is finally stepping up for responsibility. Gumby, there it is. It was my fault. So remember, everybody, track, shot, shop. Go in there right now for us. Just so you know, all of you that bought apparel from us last year, you are the reason that we're still here this year. That a little bit that you spent on those shirts helped us get here this year. And I need it again. We need it again. Help us buy a shirt. We got super cool ones. Track, shop, shop. Dot com. We love you. 2022 is going to be killer. See everybody later. Peace. Hi, I'm Celeste Campbell. I am an illustrator and a graphic designer. And as you can tell, I love dragons. I paint a lot of them. I am also a huge fan of Track Shot Live. And while I love Tix, Josh, and Skinny, we all know that they're better halves is where it's at. That's why I decided to design a t-shirt for the women of Demolition Derby and Track Shot Live. So I drew this super awesome Demolition Derby lady and to tie it into Track Shot Live, I drew a camera and a drone. I put it all together on this design over here on my computer. So let's celebrate the women of Demolition Derby. Welcome Track Shot Live fans to so day two, no mercy here. I want to introduce you to my new stunt double, Fatty. And you all be ready for day two, no mercy. All right, man, them are some cool commercials. Oh yeah. That skinny stunt double, that was yeah, the, <laughs> Fatty. The doubles. But, uh, seen it a little bit from AB Katak, a little bit from the shirts, you know, and, and uh, tell you what, they're, they're getting the track cleared off. The rain looks like it's subsided. Might be a little little sprinkles here and there, but uh, definitely drop the temperature. Dude, this track is tracks holding up good. Yes. I mean, Brett's out there in the, in the dozer pushing cars off and uh, everybody's been jumping in equipment and chipping in and, and getting the tracks cleared off as fast as they can to keep the pace going and uh we got up next we got bone stock compact number two which this one is well it's diverse too i mean we got we got virginia pennsylvania maryland ohio maine represented in this one virginia we're gonna have uh i'll wait i'll, I'll wait I'll, I'll name them off when uh when they're coming out. Yeah. yeah. Bobo, up, what you been doing? My right arm's cold. Your arm's cold? My right arm's cold. Oh. Can I borrow your blanket and your shorts? Man. <laughs> what, so, hap what happened to your shorts? I got, I, um, you right go to the bathroom cold. and it splashed on them. <laughs> Did and you? It was, it was that color and so you could see them, okay. so. So you're starting to get frostbite. Yeah, it was, okay. yeah. Okay. Or it's because I'm getting old. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear that. Uh, what do you think so far, Bobby? I, that two-man extreme is just so cool. It's so cool to watch. I can't believe you and Decker did it, too. A couple times. A couple times. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, the first time, oh, man, they're going to kill me. I suck with names. The, um, the his husband and wife, uh, Ray Ray. They call her Ray Ray. Um they're from out in, I want to say it's Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas. I think they're from Kansas. The, one, the first car that Josh and I ran, they built it for us. We went out, ran it, and that's actually really where the two-man extreme started. They, 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 I wish Jacob, is it Jacob, 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 Jared, I don't know. Remind me if we get a hold of Josh or anybody <coughs> It's listening and knows exactly who I'm talking about. 
message, don't message me. I, I don't know on Facebook. Message one of us. <laughs> yeah, message uh, Cody or Fatty or Bobby. And, um, but it's, um, I feel they're the, they're the innovators of that. And we, they brought it out there and we did it. And uh, then people have just, uh, you know, built on that. No, and, it, and it's been a, it's become a very uh, popular class. I oh, can yeah. see where Decker has people build cars for him, but I would have never thought you would have had somebody build you a car, Ben. Um, it, it was, it, it, it's, I didn't really. I mean, it, it was, it was something they, oh, you, they said we're gonna we, coat co Come on out, come on out, guys. You know, we're doing this. We're gonna, we, we, we talked to Sam. We're gonna do two man extreme, and uh, we want you guys to to run it. And it's like, well, yeah, cool. You know, nice. sure. Thanks. Was, you know, really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun, and uh, then we liked it so much. It's like, okay, when we go back this time, let's build our own stuff, and um, and you know that the second time was was fun. It was a learning experience, but by then it became very popular, and you know everybody was putting their good stuff in a, in, in the cars, you know, and yeah, and it, it changed so, fast in a year. It, it changed fast, so. I'd still, I mean, I'd love to do it again. I mean, that was a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, but, yeah, you're right. Every time we watch them, it's, it's just crazy because you, you, not everybody's the perfect match in the car. And mm -hmm. just like Lorene and them were saying when, when Fatty was uh, interviewing them, they won the one down in Daytona. That's cool. So they came up and won this one. And, you know, it's always funny because he's like, yeah, whose motor is it? You know, and it's usually the guy running the gas pedal. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's what it seems like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, and uh, because that was no, that was no, you know, you know, thirty-five hundred dollar crate motor. That that one had some groceries in it. Oh yeah, you know, and I'm not talking going to like Walmart. You know, that's that's yeah, they got some, <laughs> they got some goodies in them. And, Did you uh, say cooties? Cooties. 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 Um. But they're getting there cleared off pretty fast, I would say. So I don't know if they're gonna possibly, if we're gonna run right back in, run right heat right away, or if they're gonna maybe might take another ten minutes and, and do a little scrape scrape. So, or if, or so if, Cody, I heard you um, that this guy's gonna move south. He uh, is gonna keep two setups. Sell the rest of the stuff. You don't know nothing about it, Bobby. He's a he's a Mopar guy. So. Oh, I was, oh, I was just wondering because now you know maybe I could buy some stuff. You want to know what to do with Mopar stuff? Oh, okay. That's why I can say because no one's gonna buy anything because it's all Mopar. I mean, oh like, no, I already got. There's a two barrel intake with my name on it. <laughs> Three sixty two barrel intake. I seen him at the swap meet. When I was walking up here, Fatty stopped me and said that he wants to do a one-on-one -on -one with you grudge match. Yeah, so he said it to me the other night. Yeah, he said that uh, he wants to see if he's as good as you and cannot last you. <laughs> oh, I told him he's not allowed to bring his car. Now I'm allowed to bring the wagon, bone stock. <laughs> I said I don't I don't have enough time to build a car to compete with that. Oh. Is your little one watching back home again? Probably. That's awesome. Yeah, my fiance sent me a video last night. He was jumping up and down the bed, waving at the TV. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely what it's all about, right? The kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's ready for me to be home, though. Brett's doing a little back blading out there with the dozer. And that's the thing. I mean, anything with tracks or especially dozers heavy enough, I mean, when he runs it over, he's packing it down. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> right where he's at um, – Frankie Guy was telling me it's where they used to drain track out, so it comes in a dip. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. He said back 20, 30 years ago, he watched a guy lose a derby, went across that, and just sunk. Yeah. The Black Diamond. Equipment <laughs> rental. Yep. yep. What a name. We got two more to Mean Green. The Mean Green, it was looking pretty stout. Yeah, well, I don't know what happened Quite to him. Quite a ways. I don't know. I I, I, want, I almost wonder because we're, how he's sitting, I wonder if he got hung up. Possibly. Yeah, because Brett looks like he's going to try to push it sideways. He's just grabbing that B pillar and going. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's the difference oh, too. Yeah, I mean, you got home. he's a good operator, but on top of that, he's Brett's driven for years, so he's he's not like some of these operators where they come out, they go to stick the forks down. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, I got four hundred dollar yeah, drive shaft yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah. There's no no picking them up. They'll shove them out. They got wheels on them. He's got here comes the mercenary car. They're gonna come out there and whip whip a couple Louis. DJ in there, huh? You sit so low in that car. What's that? You sit so low in that yeah, car. Yeah, it's it's. I wouldn't be able to drive it. I'd have to have a couple bolt cushions, uh, couch cushion. Uh, Let's see how hard. Ego mess. I was gonna say you gonna mess around with that dozer and Brett's gonna fold it right over. Let's say let's see how strong it is. Go ahead, headlight headlight with that dozer. I would totally love to see uh, TJ and Mark Elliott go a grudge match. They call he called them out, so he wanted to do it at Buried Alive Three. So it, it's it's uh, that would be interesting. I watched Mark Elliott in Arkansas get put up on like two tiers of cars. It was a team event. <laughs> he pulled it down. And uh, <laughs> he wears that open face helmet. He just smiled at them and put it in drive and came down and just took them to school <laughs> but i mean he ended up getting stuck because it was real soft back yeah, then yeah, you know yeah, yeah. but he took him to school like he was sitting up on top of all these cars and just smiled <laughs> so i hope tj's got two seat belts <laughs> <laughs> yep oh man is mark elliott not the best at what he does the oh passion he puts into it Dude, he's he, that's it's it's a different mold, man. It's that old school mold that he comes from, and it's just he just loves the sport. You can see just hear in his voice how much he loves the sport. I don't even like you know that's that's kind of like calling out Toby on or, or B Dubs on building oh, wag, yeah. uh, building wagons. You know, it's just like <laughs> I, yeah. I was at the I was at our RCR one year, and this inspector's like, hey, you know, you can weld a little bit of that there and there, and B Dub looks at him and was like, okay. <laughs> He's like, no, you probably want to do that. And B Dub's like, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> and I had to go up there and uh, Toast had to go up there and be like, um, he's ran a couple of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The kid, yeah. Can, the kid can be in a wheelbarrow with two flat tires and go out exactly. there and win, win mayhem. Exactly. Well, that year we went out to Hot Springs, Arkansas. I was like, dude, you can put him in a wheelbarrow. Oh. It, it, it's, it, it put him out there on a lawnmower. You know, it's just like, it's, it's insane. You got, you definitely. And, you know, in B Dub, he's just an example because there's many, many drivers yeah. like that out there. Right. Um, but just personally knowing and, and, and can personally say, just from my own experience, it's it's just like the, the, the guy, the kid just amazes me, you know. I just love how laid back he is. Like, they're like, you can, you can weld more right here. And he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd have been, like, flipping out, like, in Vegas when that Kid told me, you know, oh, I know. I, you haven't built any of these. <laughs> oh my God, dude, I was dying when he told me. I've been to uh, Blizzard Bash. Oh uh, yeah, the national side, Bobby. <laughs> I mean, yeah, everybody's got to keep hearing it when we go on air. But it was like, it's funny it though. It was devastating. Like, have just you trying ever to, built a Vic. Yeah, I'm trying to help this kid. Have you ever built a Vic? <laughs> I might not have built the best Vicks, but I mean, they were Tixie, okay. Tixie was standing right there. Yeah. Too. <laughs> it was like a ge well, it was like a general. You know, he looked at you, yeah. but it was like generally he was talking in the yeah. group, and I just I I could keep straight face. I had to walk away. <laughs> oh my gosh, I miss going out there with the group, man. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was that was a lot fun. of fun. That was a lot of fun. It was a great great idea, great concept. Um, I it, wish I went the first year. In uh, it's amazing, you know, and it's it, it just it, it, yeah. It's definitely a lesson. Lesson learned. Yeah, a, uh, simple is good. Yeah. Go out the there and kiss, just do the kiss whatever. Theory. Do. The kiss theory. Yep. 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 Let it be the vacation is the highlight and the yeah. derby is the, you know, the back spot of everything. And um, lesson learned. 
Brett and Porman are doing a good job getting this track back under oh, control. Oh yeah, yeah, they're out there. They're they're playing in the mud. We definitely got a great look at the track in the mountains. Dude, this thing, this this right or here, collar or whatever you guys call them. This is what I envisioned when I heard that we weren't going to be in the booth. We had to bring the trailer, and instantly in my head, and <clears throat> this is where it's going. There ain't no other place right. where it's going because you know I, I've been down here several times, and it always ended up right here. How many times did it take you to get the angle right? Like. Took me a was few it? times. I was getting, I, I, I was getting frustrated, Bobby. I was. I got frustrated. I got, I let it bother me. I told, I, like, I, I let told, it bother me. Told everybody last night, you it, got your step stool out. That's when we know who yep. we knew you blew a head <laughs> gasket. I did. I did. In uh, all, it took was just that in 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 white. One of the whites who was running a skidster. He, he, I think he sensed it because he's like, Ben, I can move that tire for you. That's ah, all right. No, I'll move that tire for you. I was like, all right. As soon as he did. I've never seen Ben's truck, truck dirty. You got to see it. Oh, I'm stressing now. It's, oh. I might, you don't understand. It's dirty, dirty. Who we got? We got Jacob and DJ. All right, Ben. You I'll can get up. Oh, take them. Like, you want, Cody, you want to do it? No, I'm I'll good. do it. All right, get in here. 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 I'll get, the, I'll get these guys easy. I'll go down to the cool, corner corner. I'll take the uncomfy stool. Get in here. 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 All right, guys, what do you think so far? Awesome show. Awesome I show. I think so. Awesome. I think yeah. so. We got the more of our crowd than I thought we were going to get. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The track uh, ended up being good. I think it's very good. What do you think, Jake? For the yeah, it's our first time here. We didn't really know what to expect out of this track. But I tell you again, I say we see it in Cumberland. We see it here. Our track crews, I mean, they keep this track maintained. You know, they just <laughs> they don't they don't back down Maddie. no matter what the weather's like. You know, they just keep up. They make sure we got a good track. Our guy, we got a guy who works for us. His name's Bill. Yep. Oh, Bill yeah. Blowacki. He was yep. here, I think, till 2 o'clock in the morning on that dozer working on this track last night because yep. he said it was too bumpy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I, I, when, I, when I got here this morning, I looked. I'm like, yeah, somebody had to put some time in on the dozer. Yeah, you got a couple substitutes in there, familiar faces for me. You got Porman and, uh, and Brett's on the dozer. <laughs> and... Uh, those two are like a couple little six, you know, like little ten-year-olds. If keys are in equipment, they're going to be in it, you know. This this track has been tough for years. It, it's oh, it's close to me. Like they have a mud bog that comes through here, and no yep. matter how much you take away or put on top of it, yep. it just it goes away. Yeah. But man, Bill took a foot off of it what a day or two ago. Yeah, a foot? when we got here, yeah. yeah, the day we got here, they, oh. it, yeah, he had her he had her peeled down, and it it was, it's, and I'm used to the clay and stuff because that's mostly up our way is, is clay with the dirt tracks and right. shit so it's like once they started working that and i'm like oh this is gonna be badass yeah, that, <laughs> you know right. and then maintaining it unreal yeah, yeah i mean yeah yeah and then you know it's hard this is one of the biggest things for us all of our shows have been in cumberland except for the upper coast shows that we do okay well in cumberland TJ owns 600 tons of clay right. that we put down for that track. Right. So we know that it's it's ready to rock. Yeah. Like when we show up and want to do the derby there, it's yeah. our dirt. We know it's good right. dirt. Oh, the yeah. water's going to shed. So, 100%. so here we are. We're having to move to a new venue, and we're like, you know, TJ, TJ, DJ, and I, like, if if we still, if you had, if you couldn't get unlimited minutes on a cell phone, we would have to have like <laughs> yeah, yeah. direct connect or oh, something yeah. like Nextel yeah. style phones because the three of us talk. <laughs> Yeah, more. I mean, I, well, you're out of your comfort zone. Yeah. You're out of your comfort zone. You know, yeah. you, you you've had stellar luck and stellar, and, and it, those guys down there at Cumberland. I mean, those guys are like, they're they're like dirt dogs. I mean, them oh, guys man. love messing with that dirt, you know, yes. and the clay and, and the track and the diehardness and and um, but yeah, I mean, this is this is every promoter's nightmare. Is, yeah. is is the the number one hurdle is your your venue and your track and if you can get to track dead nuts 
perfect it, the best you can, especially an outside show because of the elements. And we've been fortunate. Yep. And you guys, it, it, you guys, we got you know, the we got the right guys. Not, not got. on wood so far. It, you know, the, the weather's holding off, and the track I feel is is perfect. Well, but between it, Bill and Jesse, we're we're probably spoiled. Yeah, I'd have to say we're spoiled. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, so. I want the one of the biggest things for us was, you know, we get in a comfort zone in Cumberland. That's like home, you know. We just, oh, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm five hours away, but it's still our home track. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that this show just shows us that dead man will travel. Yep. Like we're an hour and a half Which, north. Yep. And yeah, we lost a few guys, but I'm going to tell you that a little known fact is when the date when when it was announced that we had to move. Right. We were under 300 total entries for this show. Okay. And the day this show started, we were 350 or 360 entries for this show. TJ was on the phone calling drivers like, hey, I know that you like this style of build. We got this show. I mean, people don't realize. They see TJ's live videos, and they just see the fun, like, laughing, joking oh, side. Oh, no, there's a shit ton of work. Oh, and and TJ, on. like. <laughs> there's, 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 yeah. yeah there's, there's Yeah, I've, I've been. Through all my years, I've been in every single aspect of a derby there is. I've been involved in it one way or another. And, and that's the most, um, yeah, it's the most undervalued part of it, per se, because, like you said, they see your promoter as, you know, and they, they see the highlights. They see the, 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 you know, the golden points of it, but they don't see the behind the scenes, the, the endless phone calls, the, the calls at 10, 11, Oh. Midnight, you know, and, and nonstop, and the, and the questions and the in the frustration because you're answering the same questions a million times, you know, and and it's yeah, hundred percent agree Full with you. Time um, so for for DJ and I, and I know TJ and Kayla as well, it's super exciting to look here and see this crowd. Yeah. Okay, yep. we had to move us our first time here. Yeah. But we're going like. You know, I don't know how far Portland, Indiana is. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys have got you guys. I think six and a half, seven. Labor Day weekend, Dead Man's invading Portland, Indiana, and we know now, one, if people think we can do a good show when it's 40 degrees outside and yeah. rainy, yeah. wait till we get one on a nice summer weekend. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, yep. uh, just where we don't have to worry about the weather or any of those factors that, that are going to come in. I mean, obviously, you might get rain on Labor Day weekend, whatever, but yep. it's going to be warm. People aren't going to be, you know, you're not going to be dressed like we are right, right now. Right, 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 right. You know, right. to do this. And I, I, I truly believe that if you're a fan of Derby, you will see the biggest crowd that you've ever seen at a Dead Man Derby on Labor Day weekend because yeah. of the weather. We're, yeah. We've always been locked into an early spring, late fall late type fall. show yeah. and, uh -huh. and because we're at a racetrack in Cumberland, right. so yeah. you have to go when they're not racing. Right. Well, now... Now we know we can, we, we can we can do it somewhere else. Right, we, exactly. We learned it this weekend. We're still yep. learning. I mean, the derby's not over, you know. But it's just it's it's like I say. It just it so warms my heart to see all these people and know that it's you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the way I look at it too is like I said, I touched on I touched on the track, the facility track. The other, the second most, and it's most important, which some people say should be the first important. But they all go in, in right in line with each other is consistency throughout the day. Consistency, it's a two-day show. You guys have been consistent, and that's all I've heard. Yeah. You know, I've been walking around. I mean, the people that I know and talk to, it's, it's just the consistency that has per, is basically steadily progressed and gotten better in the level that it's at now, you know, compared to the first show that you guys put on. Yeah. And, and, and kudos. I mean, that's – that's and because I – I know 100% what that end is, 100%. And it's like, when you hear, you start hearing drivers saying, guys, thanks a lot, man. It yeah. was super consistent. Yep. We appreciate it. You know, that's like, okay. And, and you know, this this is okay. Now, you know, and it's real reassuring. And, and people are like, yeah, hey, the tech guys, they're, they're assholes, you know. And they, but, <laughs> but no, ultimately, though, it, it's, it's you, you guys control really so much of the what the outcome of the derby and, and actually the success of the show per se more than more than anybody really that has to do with the show you know you can have the best promotion in the world right. and everything else but if the tech is just not consistent and not good that you know it, it's it's you guys 
you, right. you guys got the steering wheel. You know, we, you're we like in a, you're like in a two man extreme car right, right now. You know? You're all got the steering wheel. The best part is so, we split tech up. Yeah, I mean, Jacob's one in one bar and I'm in the other, and we yep. still we still killed it. Yes, I mean, we yep. did it. We do the best we can if we need and to talk. Yeah. And that's a lot of cars. Yeah, that's you, a you lot guys, of You guys, you guys went through a lot, a lot of cars. Of cars. A lot of cars. And this show in particular, you know. So our, we have a good build for our fall show, our yeah. super stock rules. Yeah. But this pro stock class is like, there's so much. So the more, we all know everybody's been in the inspection line. The more you allow a guy to do, the more you have to look for. Exactly. Right. The more they're going to do, obviously. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, one of the things you're talking about, the officiating and the consistency is we had guys this weekend. Mm -hmm. I've never had this before, even at Dead Man shows. We had a few guys that, that we told them, hey, your car's not going to pass, you, you're going to have to go home. Those guys came back, two of those guys came back and said, man, what you just did was make sure that we'll come back and run for you. Exactly. Because yep. the one guy said, I've been running this car for several other promoters for a while, yep. and it's always been okay. And I have to build it like this to get it to be able to run for these other people. And the fact that you found this on this car, I'll come back and run for you. Yep. And, and it's like, Thanks, man. Like, usually yeah. you expect a guy to be mad, oh, you know, yeah. out yeah. talking, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. And this guy's like, no, nah, man, it's cool. I, I appreciate the fact that you did a good job. And, yep. You know, I, uh, yeah. I, I had I had in, for the for the two-man extreme earlier, I had three caddies all in a row all together, and I caught. It was pinned. Yep. And I said, you willing to remove that? And he said, I'll, I'll remove it. And the other two are like, I got the same. Yeah, I know, I know exactly who you're yeah. talking about. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I can't believe yeah. you, you caught that. Yep. Yeah, no, they loved it. Yeah, these, kind of, these stock compact guys down here. I'm like, so, hey, a little <laughs> shout out. The, the Brown 72X, the Chevy Cobalt. That is Teddy Bowers that runs the lift for us a lot for Frankie Guy. And that dude, if you've ever met Teddy, is one of the best guys you'll ever meet at Derby's. He, he lives for Derby. And I, I hope to see him. I see he's stalled out now, but I hope to see him have a good showing, get to have some fun because he doesn't yeah. run. He took a good wheel shot right there, so I don't know if he's broke or he actually stalled. Yeah. Figures as soon as you talk about a guy. You know, oh, that always happens. But. He's compact. Ah, uh, this weekend. And I'll say that, you know, my whole life I've always hated compact derby. I really have. <laughs> and and, and I, the, I, I know that they have their part. Lots of people come to watch them. But until I started doing the dead man derbies, working for DJ, then I'm like, oh, wow, they actually hit me. Like, okay, this is fun to watch, you know yeah, what I mean? Right. Yep. And as much as we hate to admit it, there's going to come a day when this is all that's left. Exactly. Uh, don't say exactly. It. Don't say I mean, uh, it's going to be a while, but yeah. there so, probably will be. So, Mr. Faber here is going to have to learn how to build some, like, I-4 Ford engines or something. Uh, or uh, Ecotech Chevy four-cylinders yeah, or right. something, you know? Right. Yeah. I worked on them at the dealership. Oh, before, airbag. But... Oh, yeah. Well, that's for safety, Ben. I know it. I know <laughs> it. <laughs> He's good now. <laughs> We were talking earlier, we had a guy come in, well, Danny Ogden come in from Utah and ran a minivan down at, uh, was it Mini Mountain? I can't remember if it was Mini Meltdown. I think it was Mini Meltdown. In, uh, in a caravan and forgot all about the airbag at your, at your feet, at your legs. Oh, wow. That went off. Of course, Danny Ogden, he's tall, real skinny. But about the time that went off, the next hit he took and broke the seat off. Oh, my God. And then the caravans <laughs> down there, they took the tailgate off. So it's like we're waiting for him to shoot out of the back like a missile. <laughs> it's like he come out, he was all pumped, he loved it. And then, uh, wow, man. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's something. These, these things are just amazing. And what you find as you go across the country is like, it's generally the more you let someone do to a car, the less they want to use it. Right. Like, yeah. you know, you figure, like, back in the, when kicker cars were big, the thing that killed them is nobody wanted to use them. Right. You know, they want these really then, hard cars. But you give a guy a, a $150 stock compact, and he'll kill his mom to win $300. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. Yeah, and I mean, it, 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 like when I'm heavy built cars, you talk to them, they're like, man, you, you want us to go out there and hit hard with it, man. That hurts too much. Uh, well, well, then don't build such a hard car. Right. Like the year, well, the, the year back, we talked about it earlier, Blizzard Bash. 
when Sam gave him that kicker from the DP to the dash bar that one year. Yeah, we did. Those yeah. guys thought that was the greatest thing since sliced bread. So you talk to them after they ran, they're like, ooh, dude, because they're coming out more punch drunk than what they did before, you know, before they had that. And, uh, yeah, there's such thing as, is, is too hard, you know. Too hard. Oh, yeah. well, you just, you, when you get out of a car and your eyeballs hurt because everything else wasn't moving and you, your impact was so bad, it's just all jiggly stuff moving, you know. It's just, it's it's a different breed. Well, you knew it was getting serious when guys started wearing a mouthpiece because the cars were so hard that their teeth were breaking. It's yeah. like, man, you know, and that that's something that DJ and I, you know, we're, we write the rules, you know, for, for Dead yes. Man, and Ryan Rue does the mini cars, but for the big car classes, that's on DJ and I. Yep. And the thing that we, that we, you know, like our pro stock class, that's a heavy build, right? Well, what all derbies used to be similar to that that were that allowed protectors, and they just kept the program. Well, let's give them a little more, a little more, right. a little more. Right. Well, I just told the guys in our feature drivers meeting, and you know, that class is as far as it's going to go. Yes. Now, we're not perfect. We did realize after this weekend there are a few things that need to be better identified in all of our rules and in every class. Well, that's yeah. the thing that that I love is we're striving for that, so we will go. Like, I'm not kidding you when I say tomorrow is Easter, so none of us will do anything tomorrow, but Monday, yes. we'll be calling each other and saying, hey, these are the things why they're fresh in our head that we have to clear up because we have decided, uh, TJ told me earlier, he told the Pro Stock drivers, he's like, you know what? Let's do a Pro Stock class at Portland. You know, why not? We've got however many classes we're running in three days. Why not throw one more class in there? You yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we've had a lot of guys asking for that class out there, and uh, we had this six-foot under class that we've come out with the rules with, and I think a lot of people see that name and they think, oh, it's a five-foot class. But it's only called six-foot under because we're dead man dirt. Right. So we're kind of looking at that like there's not a ton of entries coming in for that, but we've got a ton of people who want to run a pro stock car. So, you know, do we keep it? Most likely, and then add pro stock. You never know about TJ. Heck, he might add 13 more classes by then. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys probably have you know jumbo-sized bottles of Tums in your trucks, you know, because it's like, yeah, what? You, oh, TJ's calling. What he's gonna do now? You know, we got it oh. just set now. What's he gonna do? But yeah, I mean, but you gotta keep the. I get it with him. I get it because you gotta keep it fresh. You gotta yes. keep it, keep the interest yes. in it. But like in you guys' position, it's like, oh, come on, well, <laughs> you know. And you I'll know. tell you, our biggest show was Buried Alive last year. Yep. And after that show, that was the first show where it was our biggest show that we had. So there was a whole, you know, there was thousands of people with positive feedback about that show, right? Yep. And there was like, I'm just gonna say, 50 or less with negative right. that were blowing TJ and Kayla's phones up with this negativity. And DJ and I, we're like, hey, TJ, because if you notice after Buried Alive, there were no live videos. Like, right. we haven't done, TJ hasn't done very many live videos leading up to this show. Right. And a few weeks ago, it was like, DJ and I both talked to him, like we talked to each other and we talked to him, we're like, hey dude, look, it's time to light the fire, brother. Yeah. Like, you gotta get that fire back, dude. Like. You can't. We got to move on. Yeah, you, you can't know? let that small percentage and, bring you down. But that's the first time that that's really happened. And I tell you what, dude, it's been more than a few weeks ago. But to see him come back and add almost a hundred entries to this show after yes. we talked to him about that, and, and it's just it, it, it should prove to him in his own mind that no matter no matter who you are or what you do, <laughs> there's always you can do something 100 percent perfect. There's always the personalities out there, the narcissist that basically has to find a fault in something. So if, you're, if your percentage and your ratio is 50 to 5,000, then you know what? That's the 50 people that they could win the lottery tomorrow and they're going to complain the next day it wasn't yeah, enough. Right. So, so that's – because we work with similar personalities, okay? Josh is the same way. We'll sit there, we'll have a great, great, great live stream and everything will go great. And there'll be a few people that are like, bang, 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 bang. Dude, it's, it's everywhere. Dude just, just shut it off. Don't worry about it. Right. You know, because the, the 50,000 people that were watching that night, you know, versus 10, 
that thought it stunk that you don't it, it, it's whatever dude it's wash you know most of them want you to respond to the negativity we right don't. right we, we just don't we have it's a big group thing. message yeah. on facebook messenger yep. Right. Yep. and after like i guarantee you tomorrow morning someone will have something negative to say about this show and the first thing that we're all going to wake up to is tj sending a message to the group that says no one respond to any of the negativity right and you know, it's like, I want to, I just, why we have this opportunity, DJ, and I, TJ's always up here, and I know he doesn't like, you know, he doesn't really tell a lot about himself, but I want to tell you, there's not a lot of promoters out there that will go back and watch a video after a derby. So, at Buried Alive, I came up on the side of the track with my stopwatch on. There was, during one heat, I won't mention names or anything, I put a guy on the clock. Yep. I didn't realize that he should have already been on the clock when I walked up there. I should have never done what I did. I put him on the clock. I actually ended up making the wrong call and giving the win to the wrong guy. TJ called the guy that got second and said, buddy, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have another first place trophy made because I watched the video and you should have won. And I'm going to send you the prize money difference yep. from second to first. And I'm not going to ask the other guy for it back because that was the oh. call made yeah, on the oh, track. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like we wronged you. Here is a first, another identical first place trophy, and here's the money difference to be in first yep. place. And I, I've, I've done a lot of that. I mean, Ben, you've known me for a long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know any other promoter that's going to do that. Most promoters go, I don't want to watch the video because I don't want to see what happened. TJ goes, I want to know where we can be better yeah, for goes. the next show. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, I get phone call. I, I got that phone call. Hey, yeah. hey, let's talk about this. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I, he does. And TJ, he love him or hate him he's a salesman and he sells oh this yeah show. does he not yes i mean he sells this show but he's he's a, but he's but he's man enough and a good enough promote promoter to if there is a mistake made yep. and it's 100 percent, then he's gonna make right with it and yes, like you yeah. said like you said there's not many of them that'll do that no. and he's sincere here's what people don't realize yeah like, yeah everybody sees this show and they're like oh tj's making money today he does not look of course, every promoter wants to make a little bit of money. That's yeah. why they're doing it. But right. TJ genuinely, genuinely cares about the guys that are running our show, man. It's like, not to drive. Yeah, the it, money's not to without drive. Without the drivers, we have nothing. Right. Right. Well, I mean, 100%. You don't, you don't have a show. Yeah. You don't have a show. Yep. yep. And uh, you know, I think that's why we've been so, yeah. so successful. I mean, yeah. the and communication it, between, you know, the three of us and everything and I don't know. Look, we're like brothers, dude. I'll tell you, Buried Alive last year, DJ and I had like a knockdown, drag out, screaming, yelling at each oh, other, yeah. fight. <laughs> and then jumped in the same truck and rode back to the hotel. Oh, yes, yeah. we did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's, it, it's, it's behind us. It, yeah. it, we but can it's, laugh about it now. We, just, we both get worked up. We're both yeah. passionate. He, he's really passionate. And yeah. I'm a little bit of a hothead passionate. And we learned <laughs> to say, hey, to all it's that. like, hey, uh, DJ, you're out of hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jacob, yeah. Uh, stop yelling at me. Yeah. We're good. And, yep. and, and, and it'll always work as yeah, far as, that's, you know, on my part, you know, and, and I'm sure yeah, his. Yeah. And, that's what makes a, a, yeah. a great working yeah. relationship. If we're, if, we're, if we're not disagreeing on something, I think there might be a problem. There might yeah. be. A, yeah. There might be. Yes. I yeah. mean, that, yeah. And yeah. that's, uh, you have to have that. Yeah. You have to exactly. have that. Yep. And yeah. I, I want to take an opportunity real quick. I know TJ does it all the time, but, man, our guys that are back there working with us, oh. a lot of people don't realize, like, the pro stock guys today, uh, Travis Nichols, Treg Drexler, uh, Shane Mask, Moss, Moss, yeah, Justin Raniger. On on the on the day of the features, my whole day is consumed with traveling around on a golf cart and yep. okaying or not okaying stuff. Correct. And those three guys Hold do what we on. normally do with four guys for a whole day. In the same way, in his barn, when they've got a class with features, his guys, Justin Raniger, Bill Glowacki. Yep. Um, who all did you have working uh, with that? Clint Minnick, uh, Ryan Oldham, yep. the pig farmer. Uh, the, the, my guys, they're, they're all great. And we, we can both walk away at any time, and we know that it's going to get handled just like we yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no That's, doubt. No you know, doubt like, at all. You know, we call each other on classes that the other one doesn't even officiate. Correct. Like, right. hey, man. Right, I do. Yeah. There's no shame. I, I'll i never claim to know everything, and I am not afraid. It, it, it's a better decision between the three of us than oh. it is. Like, hey, hey, uh, what's his name? He, you know, the, these seams were welded. You do have the same thing. You know, the consistency between me and Jacob and TJ. That's, that's, as that's. As long as it stays like that, I. Yeah, you well, guys, I you guys are, you guys are just keep soaring. Right. Yeah, I'm a firm believer. Two heads are better than one. Yeah. You know, so, and that's, we had great success. Was Bobby, myself, Tixie, 
you know, when we grouped together in, in, in skinny, in, uh, we had some great success. I mean, but we were, uh, we had one part of the puzzle. The other part of the puzzle that, that, that needs to be just wasn't there. So that, that didn't work. But that's where it's very important to have. You got to have both, both pieces of the puzzle to, to, to come together to work. And when you got that, you know, sky's the limit. Right. And you guys are going to prove that by going to Indiana. You know, in not just one, but two shows, right? You said? We got one show right now, but I would. Look, unless it, I'm, I'm just going to say this. Unless it's a complete and total flop, we will be back, back. there next year. Yeah, yeah. We will be there next year. I mean, I don't, yeah. we don't have any room right now this year to go ahead and, you know, it's, it's that one's on Labor Day. Okay. And then we have Buried Alive as a month, like a month. not quite two months later. Yeah, yeah. So it's like Labor Day weekend. I mean, and look, I'll be the first to say DJ knows this. TJ will tell you. He has no aspirations to be the biggest promoter in the country. We just want to be known as, as like the one of the best promoters. One of the, the best, country. yeah. To treat our guys right. You will not hear any of our officials cuss at a driver. You won't hear us yell. No matter even if a driver yells at us, we just we stay calm. We stay level headed with them, and we make we make decisions that that we believe will benefit Dead Man, right? As yep. a company, yep. And are, are we always right? No, we're not always right. No one is. You know, I mean, you you promoted. You know, you know how it is. It's, oh, I you. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you can do is learn and move on. You know? Exactly, and exactly. Speaking of that, I can't wait to come up there and run. I I don't know if it's going to be this year or next year. Oh, you'll, have, oh, that, you'll have a lot of fun. Decker dared me, so I said uh, challenge accepted. I'm wait, oh, wait, wait a minute. What, uh, what show? Uh, I'm going up to San, San Felipe Smash. Well, you weren't going to tell me. Uh, well, <laughs> Maybe I want to go well, to San Felipe Smash. Hey, we can go together. <laughs> All right. it is, it, I, I wouldn't mind sharing the track with you, but I think we're sharing the track together a lot sooner than that. Yeah, boy, that's yeah. right. Yeah, we're, uh, we're yeah that's a good that's a good time. Great cause and yeah. and Gully and uh, Josh and Buell, the whole spinning wheels camp. They and that you know that I'm part of that. They have me they have me come and help talk with their shows and and uh, it and I'm very selective anymore. And the, the, and that being said, is is the ones that are really trying to progress and and move the sport, like like TJ and yourselves and spinning wheels. You know when it, when it, they're the ones I stand, you know, stand behind. Tixie out in Minnesota, you know, with with him, and in uh, even when Frankie, when Frankie was here, you know, I came several years with Toby and helped to help yeah. and helped out with Toby, and and um, it, it just with scheduling and time wise and shows, it just didn't work out. But uh, no, I think that's a great thing that that you guys are branching out, and uh, that it should be uh, I, I, great success, you know, you know. And, uh, that, that's awesome. DJ and, and and I and TJ, you know, DJ and I, like, we don't own any part of Dead Man. No. But we are included in the decision-making like Correct. we own a part of Dead Man. Correct. And, and that makes us feel vested in this company. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we don't feel like an employee. Like, if you talk to most of our guys, some of them maybe not, but most of these guys say we, our company, yep. the way we are moving forward as a company, right. it's right. not – the way TJ's got going right. forward with Dead Man, it's right. us, right. you know, and it, yeah. it's just a, it's an attitude that we bring. I, I had some guys over here yesterday, DJ and I were talking to them, and the guy acted like he was faking, like he was going to hit me, just real slow motion. And he's like, and you're still smiling. How is it that all you Dead Man guys are always <laughs> smiling? I said, dude, we're having fun. Yeah, yeah. we are We enjoy fun. what we're yep. doing. We are. Exactly. Yeah. You yep. know, and, and one thing you'll ever see about TJ you will not see him come into one of our inspection lines and step on our toes. That now, helps. even if he doesn't agree with our call, he will not step on our toes. He'll let us make it. Then after the show or later that night, he'll say, now, can you explain to me what that was about? Because yeah. I don't see it the same way you did, but I will not step on your toes in front of a driver, and I'm not going to have you go change your call. Yep. Just yep. explain to me what you saw there. Exactly, exactly. Because a lot of people don't realize, but Mr. Fabry right here, is is a big reason for for like TJ's notoriety. He built TJ his first good engine. TJ went to the bash and won with it. He builds all of TJ's engines now. Yep. I mean, so DJ has been a driving force behind TJ literally since day, <laughs> day back one. in the day. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's what I love about TJ. He'll call me like, hey, like I'm standing in the airport, like me and my wife and my children, we're we're getting ready to fly back to PA from Florida, and I get a text message that says, hey, I'm like. Eight for ten and a ninety-eight there too. I'm like, what are you talking about? 
he's like, my winnings and stuff. I'm like, well, that's good for you, you know? I love 80s cars just as much as you do. And he's like, no, man, I just wanted to let you know that your engines, it doesn't matter what car I was in, you built my career. And it, I, you get, I'm, not, I'm you, not that guy. You, you have let him know, though, that he can go over, uh, like, 3,000 RPMs oh, with well, him, right? That's a, that's a different story. <laughs> That's a different. I had to say that just to bust oh out. I had to say that. And there, but like, I don't, I don't like that in a way. Like, I, yeah. I'm glad I'm helping people. Like, I yeah. started building engines because I was that guy that, I guess you could say, couldn't afford it. My dad would say, "Here, figure it out." Right. You exactly. Know what I mean? Exactly. And my dad was good with engines, and I'm like, and now to see like. To hear TJ say that, it's it's pretty cool. It really well, is. yeah, and then, the, you know, kiss Ken. Oh, Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, man, I mean, that's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that Stoneboro, that Stoneboro yeah, show. I was like, just getting ready to say that. What the <laughs> hell was my, that in that <laughs> car? Yeah, my, my, mine, have, mine have ruffled a little feathers yeah, on that one. Yeah, 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 but. but yeah. Um, Listen, if you don't know anything about DJ Fravery, yeah. just, just get on YouTube and look up Stoneboro 2021, their first derby that Hardcore had there. And uh, watch Ken Kiskadden run, and that's a favorite build under his own. Exactly. And on my birthday, to boot. <laughs> <laughs> on my birthday. I mean, that, that dude put that car. I, yeah. Listen, I drove. It's like three hours from my house. I drove out there and watched it by myself. You were texting Nobody me. wanted to go, and I'm yeah. like, dude, he is flat on the mat the whole time with yeah. this thing. Like, we got, uh, we got <laughs> Fatty and uh, – Fatty and old Bobby headed out to interview the winners. We've been sitting here babbling the whole time. And <laughs> didn't even really commentate that heat, but. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, guys. that's, you know what? Like you said, yeah. nobody's perfect. <laughs> I'm sure no. <laughs> I'm sure they're. I'm the, I, you know what I mean? That's, that's, uh, that's what Josh gets for leaving me in here doing interviews. <laughs> I'm excited to see the raffle engine. I want to see some little kid that just started on a face. Yeah. Today. I mean, yeah. I don't care who gets it, but I'm so excited. The well, guy that won it last year didn't even derby. Dude, he's like, I don't want He it. sold it at the gate to his buddy. His buddy's yeah. like, I'm just, DJ goes, I'll the, buy it back. There was right. a line of people trying to buy it. Yeah. I just, I want to see that kid or that guy, any of them. <laughs> like, hey, dude, I, I don't have that equipment. I want to see someone with it. Yep. Because my engines, whether it's a raffle engine or it's some, for someone, there's no difference. No. It gets the best of everything. Yep. I don't skimp on anything. Nor, you know, Ooh, a lot of guys. out there. What Hyman won that? I think John, yeah. Jonathan. Yeah, Hyman? he did. Oh, I he, think, oh, look at he's smiling. He's the money smiling. Maker. He's smiling. Tell me one, Hunter, buddy. They're gonna go out fatty out there. Oh, he loves to talk. Fatty loves to talk. He, now he's, he's, now he's walking the other way. Okay, that was like a, that was like he's building it up. He doesn't want to release the excitement too much. <laughs> He cracks me up. Maybe, maybe he thought he Hyman won it, and he actually didn't. Well, you know, that that could be the case. I, I, th I thought it was down between Hyman and, and uh, Sickles. Sickles. I thought so, too. Hyman was probably messing with him, saying, so, yeah, I, yeah, I won that. Yeah, now, okay, I'll do an interview. And then he got down there and says, no, I didn't do it. We're going to talk about the derby after it's over. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone uh, I was like, can you stop talking so we can yeah. do this? <laughs> So yeah, so we got talking about your motors. I mean, you've had real good, real good luck in uh, your your. Is it you like open? Like a lot of engine builders, it's kind of like some of them are like a select, there you know, is. a select people and only certain ones. Are they not? Are you like open to the public? Like Joe uh, Schmo from from you talk and call you up and say send me this three eighty three motor. Yeah, you um, know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty open. Yeah. Uh, I'm just limited to I still have a full-time job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, parts. Parts oh my is crazy. God. Yeah. It's not even good. And there. a family. And, and, and a, family. a family. I have yep. three little ones, and it's hard to come home from work and then and work till midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. Like the, Correct. Like the girls got dance and all oh, that. Yeah. But yeah. I, I love it. I, yeah. I, I love it. Like I was talking to Jeff Coase the other day. I'm like, I'm looking at him. He's looking at me, and he's like, how much you making? I'm like, eh, not much. He's like, me either. I said, I'm not in it. I'm yeah. in it. it. I love it. You love seeing your product out there I just just screaming I, and, I and, love and, it. and and making people smile. But uh, I'm I might go full time, uh, full blown business with it rather than working. So COVID <laughs> ruined my job. So yeah. I'm really kicking it around right now. Yeah. So my machinist is actually 80 years old. Oh, uh, but you know what? 
them old school guys know the oh, dirt. Oh, he's so good, and he's like, you're you're taking these machines. Okay, so it doesn't look like it was Sickles or Heilman that won. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> oh, my God, we're Those way guys off. were messing with him. So, we're Hunter, you about ready, buddy? I guess we'll find out here in a second. This guy's got, he's got trophy to him. We're going to be out the fatty. It was awesome. The track's nasty. It's tacky. It's fast. Your head's on a swivel. Okay. <laughs> we come down to you, Jonathan Hillman, and Stephen Sickles. How's that feel? Uh, you know, it's I'm in a like a hard spot with that because Stephen let me borrow tires today for the Honda. I never ran a Honda before. I'm a W body kind of guy. Oh, and cute. I messaged Stephen the other day and asked if I could use tires. And then me and Jonathan, we're really good friends. You know, we help each other out a lot. And to be honest, if it wasn't for Jonathan, I probably wouldn't be derbying anymore. Really? Okay, so when it come down to the three and you're like, okay, I'm going to have to take these guys out to win, who was first? Who was first on the chopping block? <laughs> uh, Ew, first on the chopping block, whoever was hitting me, and I was all over Steven. You know, he <laughs> hit me good one time, and I tried staying on him. But, uh... You know, coming out here, not knowing a lot of people, you kind of feel outnumbered, you know, so you kind of go with the flow and see what happens. You put on a heck of a show, and like you said, to beat them too, that is awesome. I, this mini car has become what I want to watch now. Uh, I used to be a big car guy, <laughs> not no more, man. I come here for this stuff and the way you guys put on a show, and we greatly appreciate it. Everybody back home, these people in the stands, they were going crazy when you guys were hitting. Don't that, does that pump you up, you know, when you hear them scream? Oh, yeah, I'm all about hard hitting and, you know, getting mad dogs and whatever else. Uh, yeah, me and Jonathan, we ran out Ohio a couple times together in different shows, and it's always mini mods, and I hold it wide pretty much everywhere I go. <laughs> and uh, tonight I was, wow. yeah, we talked, and right. I said, I'm going to use my head a little bit. I was in the heat you know the dead man compacts i got stuck up on the tires i was using my head a little bit this one i kind of lost it there towards the end but i don't know how the car didn't die it held together and it stayed in there for the win you did really good we really appreciate your time up here go enjoy your win bud thanks you you deserved it yeah way to redeem yourself buddy thanks. congratulations <laughs> man bob it was awesome guys, heat, was it guys, not? These guys are the best Jonathan together. Jonathan Hillman he just enough. told me, he said he couldn't remember how many times he's won on this track. This is his local yeah. hometown track. And then Steven Sickles, unified point system. We're not talking any pressure there at the end, are no. we? No. No, for him to win this, that's got to feel incredible, man. Especially because he says he's like a mad dog type of guy. Then to just stay and calm then, yeah. and then under the pressure with them two, hats off to the young man. So what did you think about watching Decker? That was my first time getting to watch him. <laughs> Seriously, like, were you impressed, not impressed? I I know you might not have been, but I hear everybody, like, dog on him. He's a sandbagger. He, he put the mail down. I mean, he really did try. Well, I mean, we'll give him an A for effort. But uh, back to the hog barn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, those guys! <laughs> oh, oh, we're gonna shit. do Hunter. Go back to him, buddy. Yeah. Hunter, go back to him because he's gonna do Elliot. Oh. You ready? Mark Elliot, <laughs> Unified <laughs> Points Mark's Series. Going. How yeah. we doing, sir? We are doing fantastic. <laughs> uh, good der derby yesterday. A good day at derby today. And uh, we do want to give a shout out before I forget to my buddy BJ. BJ, if you're watching home, we love you, brother. Oh, BJ. You can't beat a better character than OBJ. No, oh, no. I'll tell you what. Best yeah, every, every crew needs a BJ in their crew, <laughs> for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, I got something to say. So, TJ's been calling you out, right? 100%. TJ's been calling you out. There we go. Well, he, he's acting tough. But I can say I've known you for many, many years. I watched you in Arkansas. <laughs> So everybody knows at home, he wears an open face helmet. <laughs> He's got a little special effect with his uh, teeth that he does for the other drivers. <laughs> I watched three cars push him up on top of a roof of an, another car. And they were like fist pumping, like they had him. Marky, sorry, I call you Marky. Marky just smiles. He just had that giggle, that shit eating grin, sorry. <laughs> and he had that, that special effect into that open helmet. 
and he dropped her in drive and put on a clinic like he always does. So what I had said, I told TJ he needs to get two seat belts and he's going to call you out. How do you feel about that? I don't even take it serious. He tried that crap in Stoneboro and I just told him he wouldn't stand a chance. I, mean, I didn't mean nothing bad by it, but that's just what I think. And I, there ain't no way in hell that'll ever happen. And, uh, you know, he, he likes to put on a show. That's one thing he does a darn good job of, of uh, entertaining fans. And the fans love it up there. He sits down here and talks crap and they love it. And he came up there earlier he was pouting a little bit. He's like, Mark, you turned my own crowd against me. I was like, well, then stop talking crap. Well, I say you do it and then give him his own, give him a stunner afterward. Give him a stone cold stunner. I don't Come know. on, Mark. Maybe give him a couple people and then it'd be fun. I don't know. <laughs> That's Mark Elliott for you guys right there. He is a true legend. I mean, he is. He uh, He's somebody I've always looked up to. And then what he's doing for the Derby now, guys, with this point series. Taking the derbies to another level. Oh like, my God. We definitely appreciate what you're doing. Can we not talk about the Dent champion? We're not going to bring Dent up, but I am going to bring one thing up for old Marky here. Marky, I've been to a lot of derbies in my life. I really have. And I've never been to one when they start, I get goosebumps and the hair raises up on the back of my neck. And, and I thank you for that. Like, it's an experience watching you start the event really off. And, yeah. and yeah. thank you, because yep. nobody else Hard does on. it like Mark really Elliott does. Yeah. I don't know what happens. I don't know if I black out or what. But honestly, people telling me stuff like that is probably the only thing that makes me do it. it every, every time I go to a show, I'm wondering why. I, I'd much rather be in a car than doing it. But uh, people telling me stuff like that, it, I don't take for granted what it means to other people. and. People talk about the prayer and people talk about the, the respect of the flag and the firemen right. and all that. And uh, you know, I just do that stuff from the bottom of my heart because, uh, I mean, it's a we're a rowdy bunch, but it's a good sport. And mm -hmm. I, I don't think there's a better Family. sport out there. And I'm glad I'm a That's part of this fact. one. What's the chances of you coming in the hog barn for a little bit? <laughs> It's, it gets rowdy in there, but <laughs> yeah. I think you can handle yourself, man. The yeah. hog barn could definitely use you to come in there. Yeah. Well, at know. that point, who's going to yell at TJ? <laughs> <laughs> well, that being said, Marky, thanks for your time. Thanks for everything you do, brother. We appreciate it. Appreciate Thank that. you. Thank you for taking time to talk to us. Yeah, I mean, I freaking love you guys. I love, love what you, you guys do. So uh, you guys have a good rest of the show. I can't, I can't wait to get them feature cars out here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, track sir. Shot Live, you heard it here. Marky <laughs> will take on TJ. I'm going to give him a couple TJ more cars to make yeah. it yeah. fun. <laughs> Marky's forgot more about derbies than TJ. <laughs> 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 All right, back to the long car. Oh, 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 that's classic. Oh, that was great. Oh, that was awesome. You know, Mark is one of the – if you've never derbied against Mark Elliott, uh, when the Bash for Cash first started, the first couple of them, there was two in one year. There was a spring show and a fall show. And Mark yep. and I both ran both of them. And it's something that's like he's – one of us is a, like we're like magnets. Like when we get on the track together, we just derby. Like neither one of us cared that the show paid $11,000 to win. We're just derbying, just right. like trying to kill each other the whole time. And he's got that open face helmet, and he smiles at you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's TJ? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. He's listening. Yeah, he's yeah. listening to see what we're he's saying. He's going, those, those guys are smiling yeah. way too much in there. I need to know what they're saying. No, but, uh, Mark Elliott, enough said, TJ. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it, I will tell you, Mark is one of – It's a, I love that he does this, but I hate that I don't get to watch Mark on the track more because I'm telling you, if you've ever seen Mark drive – he truly is one of the best wheel men you'll ever see in this sport. Professor. Uh, he can drive as hard as you want to drive. He can take a guy one-on-one -on -one and, and, and out derby him. He can take three guys and usually he's going to out beat them. Yeah. Or yeah, he, he can drive for the money and be there at the end. He exactly. showed that at, uh, was it River City Rampage there yep. a couple years ago yep. that he won? Yeah. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, River City Rampage. And he's right there. We Like we've been talking earlier. I mean, we've been throwing, you know, B-dubs in there. In uh, Whitt Bobby Whitaker, and we put in, you know, uh, putting Toby Hiley out there, yeah. you know, and then you got to, you know, you got even Toby's dad. Yeah, uh, Randy you know, Hiley. Yeah. Johnny Rutherford. I mean, you could go and, you know, uh, Doodle. Yeah. Even Doodle, you yeah, know. Lynn, and Lynn Lewis. It, Lynn Lewis, yep. And uh, you could just go on and on and on oh, and on yeah. with names. And, 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 uh, and, yeah, okay, these a lot of these guys, some of them are derby and still, some of them aren't derby and still, but. To bring this full circle back, to see what we're seeing in the 
younger classes to youth classes, oh, the 16-year-olds, the 17-year-olds, the 13-year-olds running it, you know, it's like we're going to have a lot more of them coming up through, you know, and, and, and it's that's what makes it fun, and that's what, what we enjoy about it. And um, it's only I'm really fun. appreciative that promoters like TJ <coughs> are allowing – that younger younger group to come up through and, 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 and to be able to experience it and and see all different aspects of it. So and uh, heat one last great. night of the pro stock. That's our heaviest built class, right? We had a fifteen year old kid out there. Yep. I mean and he was doing an also uh, he said he broke the aluminum rack in his O three is what actually happened that yep. took him out. But i d I'll be honest with you, I think if he hadn't broke the rack he'd be in the feature. Oh, yeah. I mean absolutely. he didn't break the rack, he actually broke the aluminum cradle between the rails. Yes. But that kid I I I'll be honest with you. I've never seen. I think his name's Josh Minoski. That's, right? that, that's Josh. Oh, Minoski. Yeah. yeah. And Josh yeah. just he turns it up. Yep. He can turn it up, and uh, he's he's teaching his boy to drive the same way. Mm -hmm. And you know, you said it's fun, and it is awesome to see all these kids coming up. Except for us old guys that still love the Derby, are like, man, they're all together. They're all friends, and we're <laughs> gonna have to learn <laughs> how to beat them all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, and they're got like these yeah. these kids. Some of these little kids like little Freebie and Mason Stacy and these guys oh, and and, and Clem, the Clemo and kid they're, and yeah they're building like 15 16 cars a year. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. That, yeah, ain't, the, that ain't me no more, dude. Like yeah, I, I yeah. can't do it. Yeah, the one. Yeah, I built, you know, the, the one kid I forget who it was, he built 20. He's yeah. like, "How many did you build last year? 20." Jeez. You know, and we got we got uh Jake Hackett. I mean, we call him Jake from State Farm. <laughs> he uh just got his I think he's got his permit now in last year it uh it was San Filippo he ran compacts went out and I think he won compacts then he won another class then he took it out into the the um for the San Filippo smash he we bust Bobby about it because he was out there he was he put a clinic on on Bobby <laughs> here's doing the old one finger out the out the oh, windshield no. full track oh, and I'm coming God. down <laughs> and, and and but this kid he's uh his father and, and his mom basically said you know okay if you we'll show you some stuff but he's doing his own he's welding on his cars he's, he's right. working on his own cars and everything else so um yeah even in our area you know it seems seems others you know a lot of different areas are more um more uh congest you know and not yeah. congested but more have more uh of a more of a volume more yeah, volume yeah, per yeah. se more volume than others but you know but it's 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 reassuring because there's at least a little bit yeah everywhere you know other areas more but at least a little bit in different spots but so i will say that anyone who's been listening or whatever talking you know listen to our broadcast here if anybody's thinking about, like I say, if you look up that Stoneboro for one of DJ's engines, if you come out, there's there's a few big shows this year. I don't that there will be. I know for a fact there's at least two of them that'll be at the Bash. Yeah. I know for sure that I'm going to be in a heat with two of them at Iron City this year. Uh -huh. <laughs> at least two of them in that heat. Uh -huh. um, so I mean. And, and let me just tell you, if you want to see really how good they run, you better come to Iron City because I think we're going to have our work cut out for us in that yeah. heat. We're going to have to do some work out there, you know. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I, I, I am <laughs> I am building myself a, a, a big hammer for myself. So <laughs> I, I'm not going to say much more than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah okay. It's, it's been in the works for about six months now, and, and uh, I, I'm really anxious. Awesome. <laughs> it, it, awesome. I'm really anxious. Um. It's a, it's either going to be the, a big deal or or it's, it's not gonna be so. a big 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 dump or a big <laughs> yeah. deal. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty confident and I'm just very excited. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. That's I'm awesome. Excited. That's I'm, awesome, guys. Awesome. Yeah, to be able to do that. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to share share the track with this guy mm -hmm. here. We're going to no teamwork, of course. But right. <laughs> if Steve's no, listening, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not uh, any not any more than anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm pretty sure we're the we were the first heat the way we registered. But how I take it is we're the last to run because it's going to be. I uh, think we're the second now. I think oh, it's, we are. I was told today. I don't. I I don't know. I haven't asked. I haven't been told yeah. anything. But I had a guy, another guy in that heat, run into me today and say, "Hey." I mean, you're heat at Iron City, and uh, we're the second heat. And I was like, uh, okay, it doesn't really matter uh, when when we run. That's fine. We're going to uh, – I'm 
we're going to tear it up. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm well. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward we'll see to you, it. We'll see what he's. Josh, you want to come on now or no? You still taking a break? It's been on forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we you can, know, cycle, we can cycle them out. That you guys have been here and done for our shows. I've never been on. TJ's always like, you got to get in there. He tells me and DJ every show, well, it's like for us, it's like I don't want to walk away from there and yeah. come in here. And now that I did, I'm, I'm glad I did. It's been yeah, a good time. Good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. This is one of the best views. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, especially if it's raining. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> all we're missing is the heater. Yeah. But <laughs> Look, you guys need one of them little propane buddy heaters, man. We like usually that, bring that. like a salamander, but we're like, oh, it's supposed to be 70 degrees. We it's won't bring it. Nice. <laughs> 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 hey, good, I want to say good run, Josh. Yeah. yeah. That was You were hammering, dude. Like yeah, the poor guy. The poor guy in the square body down here, you hit him so hard. Oh. We, we went out there, we said, are you all right? He's like, man, my steering columns broke loose. Uh, the shifter doesn't really want to work anymore. And and honestly, I'd just like to get out. It was, it was awesome to watch. Uh, was awesome. Again, I just was here for fun, you know. And I enjoy your guys' show so much. You know, I want to add to the show. So I, I just wanted to have fun. And, and I love that class, you know. Oh, yeah. So that's old school for me. That class and that fun. class is fun, dude. Yes. When it got down to the end, them two are junking each other. You know, either it could have gone either way, you know, and really, honestly, both shots weren't good shots, you know, and they're right. just junking each other, junking each other, heat's done. I mean, was that even 10 minutes? Right. No, Forget I don't know. The, uh, no. That's one of the only heats that usually I time all of our heats. Yeah. I usually, I told you that last night, I sit there, I set my stopwatch, and I just time, even when I'm not on the wall, I just like to time the heats and see how fast the show progresses. And I'm standing there watching that heat, and all at once I'm like, man, I wonder how long it's, oh, I never set my stopwatch. <laughs> like, Six or eight minutes. It was fast. Yeah. You know, Can I give a suggestion, though? Let's go old iron in that. Let everything in that bone stock. I think you'd have a. I think you'd have double the cars. And let's be honest, them four sixes can outrun a lot of carbureted motors, right? Them you little know, four I'll sixes can that. run. Here's the one thing that we would have to monitor that makes it really hard. Okay, yeah. so like DJ builds a lot of engines for guys who have short valve covers. You go home. You tell DJ, I don't want you to do anything to the block. I just want you to build me an engine with short valve covers. You go home, you put an old set of Chevy valve covers on it and a great big four-barrel breather or something on top of it. Next thing you know, you got one guy ruining it for everybody with a expensive-built engine, small-block Chevy. Just point them out. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Just point them out. I'm telling you, you ain't going to win. Don't worry yeah. about that. Yeah. Just point I, – I know what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, Dead stock. I mean, for me, I mean, 80s – I got why everyone went to the 80s, but like old iron, I, I watch in our area, we run old iron with 80s, right. and 80s usually win. Yeah. Uh -huh. 80s usually yeah. win. Uh, Them Fords will run forever. You know the biggest thing that used to happen in Ohio all the time, and, and TJ actually, when street stocks first started, the bone stock type class like that, the thing that was killing all the Fords was luminous. Right, yes. Oh, and, and now yes. promoters like Luminous have to run with the bone stock minis. Why? If Why? a guy in a mini car wants to get out there with the full-size bone stock, let him do it. Sure, right? sure. Because if they're not smart enough to know that he can outmaneuver them, mm -hmm. that's on the driver's side. Sure, man. sure. Like, and you better junk him quick. Yeah. Because he's going to out-drive out you on the track because you are not as fast as him. Right. Yeah. No, I, I, I really love that. I love your track. I love this track. I told oh. TJ, like, I know we all love Maryland. Yeah. But Jesus, I we, mean, I was out there. It was fun. We just talked about that. We are spoiled with the help that we have for these tracks. Yeah, yeah. Spoiled. yeah. We are spoiled. So between Bill and Jesse, we are spoiled. Yeah, yeah I can't. I can't say it enough. I'll keep saying it. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. we were all out of here. What ten o'clock, ten thirty last oh, yeah. night? All of us left. Bill Glowacki was on that bulldozer on this track till two o'clock this oh, morning. I, I, right. Yeah, right. I get a text right. message at one forty-five a.m. He's like, "Check this out." He sends me a picture. I'm like, "Beautiful." Are we back in Cumberland. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I mean, right. Yeah. I'm like, well, uh, "Wow." Well, those are the things I tell TJ. Those are the little things that stop you. When you say you're going to be a national show, yeah, it's those little things. You guys are killer on your track every time. We've had some bad nights of rain, right? We've had some nights that you're that it was stacked against you. Right. Yeah, this show Today, last year. Agree, right? Oh, agree, agree. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys pull it through, you know. But it's because of the crew. But it's the little things that why I love your shows. <laughs> you know, I mean, I really do because the pace is good. And people at home want to watch this, right? Yes. And, and and it has been, last night was, what, 11 heats of it. Today we're going to go 14 heats of it. I mean, just action, 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 you know? I think action. A, I think a lot of that is our whole, okay, so we're real nice in inspection. DJ and I, you know, we're we not. make sure he tells his guys, I tell my guys, we kill them with kindness. Yeah. We're always nice. I don't care if you cuss my mom, I'm still going to be nice to you Absolutely. because that's my job here. I'd have no reason to be mad at you. I push the rules when I build cars, so I expect you to do the same thing, right? right? Well, when these guys, like, 
you know, they, they come through and they want to beat you down on that stuff, man. And it's, you just have to stay that way. And then when you come out with a driver's meeting from TJ or myself or DJ where we say, guys, this is your warning about hitting. If we, like I told my pro stock guys tonight, guys, if one of my guys has to stop the derby and get on the track to tell you to hit, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love if, it. I love it. If we we're not, it. look, we want this show to keep moving. And if we, I know it's for $10,000, but this set of rules like that, a lot of people don't realize the pro stock class, I had to beg TJ last year, like, let me come up with a set of rules for this class. And, and you can put it all on me. If it fails, I'll take it. Sure. You know, <laughs> and if it succeeds, we'll all share in Love that glory, it. you know? Yeah, man. Because I, that's the style I like to build. Yeah. And I, I told these guys, guys, these cars are awesome. The yeah. worst one out there is still hard. Run them. Right? I expect no you joke. to hit. Agree. You're, you're, you're 100% uh, right. And that's what people at home want to watch, right? That's yes. what people in the stands want to watch. Oh, boy. <laughs> are we doing a suicide start in a half-ton truck class? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me Go ahead. What were you going to say? Uh, that's a weird-looking decal on the side of that black one. I didn't see it. What is it? It said Fabry Bill. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> boy. All right. Let me run through the names, guys, real quick. I got Kenny Kiskadden. He's going to – he is the our boy today. He's got a – there, the vehicle he's running today is in memory of a friend of theirs that yes. they lost in a four-wheel accident. And uh, well, let's just take a second to, uh, you know, remember our friends that we lose. So, uh, Kenny, we're rooting for you as always. Ken Marsh in the 14K out of New Bethlehem, PA. David Conrad, 29R out of PA. Travis Meyer, 17M. Marvin Wedge, 196 out of PA. David Dwab, 007. Chuck Kaiser, 13C. Andy Arnold in the 36, Rodney Matthews in the M99. Tom Zembauer, he's going to be fun to watch in the Z1. Bob Glacki in the 11. Nick Franco, 681. David Peak in the 14 out of Maryland. Mike Hyatt in the 422. And Cody Mad Miller in the 24. All PA and one Maryland boy. So. Ooh. This is going to be wild. You guys, I love the build of these. Uh, I think this is going to be the wildest heat of the night. Uh, I wildest think right. heat. I agree. There's this one down the way at the end with the green roof sign. I can't see his number. Okay. That's a Cadillac Escalade. Yes. Yeah. That's. Uh, <laughs> I believe that's Tom Zembauer in that one. It may one. be. It came through the line. I was out uh, okay and some stuff on feature cars, and a guy, one of our Escalade. guys goes, dude, we just had an Escalade come through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love it. He backed it? No, that yeah, Kenny Marsh back then. This is gonna be interesting. Oh my gosh, I'm yeah. excited right now. I did that one time in a little derby outside of my hometown, and I backed in in an 03 and newer about eight years ago. And the guy thought he's like comes around and he's like, you know you backed in. I, said, <laughs> I go yeah. He goes you're gonna get hurt. I said no no just 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 get back on the wall and wait a second. <laughs> he's like oh you're something wrong with you. I think we got one backed in facing us right on the back side of this black oh, suburban no. right here, too. Oh, boy. Let me ask you, the one that's running a motor here, is, what is it? What kind of motor? Tell us quick. Uh, that there is a 377. I built that uh, for uh, Kenny's father-in-law. Um, 377. Yep, 377, okay. and uh, it's uh, – it's, it's, it likes the party. If you hear that thing singing out there and you want one, your man's right here. <laughs> Hit him up. <laughs> Rodney's a good guy right there. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet in your life. Awesome. Do any of them take the shot? Uh, this is this is one. exciting. One. I think there's they're there's always one. one. There's always that one. There's guy. always one. Oh, I'm betting man. it's the one with the phone number on the back of it down there. Oh, I hope I'm right. <laughs> See, I love how you guys change things oh, up, boy. right? You even change the how you're starting each heat yep. and stuff. It adds excitement. Kenny's going. Yeah, Kenny. Kenny. Is. Woo! Yeah. Oh, you can hear it. So much room on this track. I see an avalanche out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, where? Oh, yeah. Right down there. Yeah, the blue avalanche. Dark blue, navy blue. Chevy avalanche. Some Suburbans. I see a couple Dodge Rams. Oh, we got a bumper. I think I saw a bump. Yeah, there's a bumper out there. I, man, I'm so glad you got us in here because do you know how heavy that bumper probably yeah. is? It's laying oh, on the track yeah, right thank now. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. I picked enough up today. Oh, my I'm God. glad you didn't kick us out right before oh. this heat started. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I love this seat. It's the best seat in, in derbies, right? We get well, to just chill in here well, out of the rain. TJ Absolutely. told me, he's like, he, he told us both, he's like, hey, guys, listen, um, 
you can be in there for the half ton trucks and then you have to be back out here on this track <laughs> oh, yeah. like well he's been telling me to have you guys on and i say it's like yeah anything you want man just send them up just send, but i know how it is is you just run out of time or you're just too busy to get up here but i'm glad you guys are up here too don't say the name but oh yeah i just go <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Watch so that, maybe. All right, I see a bunch of four. Just a good mix of trucks out here. This is called the Half Ton Class, so yeah. half ton and smaller. A lot of them are Expeditions and Lincoln Navigators. Yeah. Ooh. Good front, front frames on those. We, yeah. We run them up north, too. You know, when they called last year to ask if they could run a Lincoln Navigator, I was like, are you, are you really serious? I, I no, they're good. They're good. Oh, broke the wheel right off. Oh, man. Lost the wheel on the wall. The guy in the Escalade's got a five-speed in it. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's what the guy, I, I personally didn't see it. The guys that inspected it said it's got a manual training in it. Wow. Awesome. You can see him, see him. I bet it's a three-speed, though, because it looks like it's on a... Forward, straight forward back. I, I always ask Ryan Oldham how he does that. I I don't know that I could do it with a clutch pedal. I couldn't. I, I just. Nah, I need I, to focus on I the track. I brace myself. That I too, that myself. too. Yeah, I brace myself with my left foot. He said you get used to it. So. It's just one more thing to think about, yeah, though. Yeah, I don't want to think about it. Yeah, right. me too, me too. Right. I think they're better for a guy that likes to run like a mad dog all the yeah, time. Yeah, I agree. They sound good. When you're just hammering on them. And you don't need a big gear in the rear end if you're right. running a manual training. True. You know, you could have like a 308 rear end gear, and with a three speed, you're going to have something. Yeah, she'll be sudden. Oh. We got all kinds of parts falling off these trucks, man. There's another bumper, I think it is there. Wow. Bumper's broken in the half, falling off. If I could go back to letting old iron in the 80s real quick, I just want to sell you guys on it. <laughs> because I have lots of them that I'd like to bring to the fall show when you have this class and you let old iron. Then I can run like a shot. You know, let us run some. Uh, bring the Chryslers. How are you going to bring Chryslers back? You don't All have right, no divisions listen, yet. That's your division. Without TJ on here, you want to let old iron in the bone stock? The bone stock? Yeah. Yes. Like what he's talking? Come watch in New York. I'll show you. Oh. You'll say, like, damn, it's a fun show. I, I well, I'm cool with it. Okay, so good look, good look. <laughs> okay, two, listen, two, like two, two of the two of the three votes okay, that decide okay. that just said yes. So you know what that sounds like? That sounds like we're gonna have old iron in the boat. Okay, I love that. Alive. I love That's that. A, I mean, I, I grew up in my county fair. We we never it all mixed together. Yes, yeah. I mean, a cars. I mean. America, if you're listening, message these guys and message TJ and say, like, yeah, old iron in the stock class. Listen, it's happening. I'm telling you <laughs> I right love now. It. I love we're going to change it. It'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do it. And I think you'll have more cars. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, if you got a rusty old iron, you know, what else are you going to do? Exactly. That M99, man, he's... That's all right. You can just yeah, okay. throw it right off. Throw it right off. You're good. Mad Miller just sending it oh in that God. teal All green right. dodge. Just some good action out here. Woo. Some good, I knew good it was action. Be good. Yeah. I knew it was going to be good. Action. Half ton trucks. It's such a tough class because, like, picking your bumper height is, like, kind of crazy in this one, right? Yes. Where do you go? Uh, these, some of these guys are running the back slow, but you're seeing all these frames buckle down, especially the Ford products. They're just yes. buckling them down. Yep. 
That's one thing I've never done also. I've never ran a truck. Oh, I love trucks. I've never tried a oh, truck. Oh, I love trucks. Hey, there's always been two things. I've never ran an Imperial. I've never ran oh, a truck. Oh, what? I know. Dude, you're missing the I two know. best. I know. Oh, my Never God. got the chance. Never got the Oh, my God. I love Imperials and uh, trucks. I've helped build Imperials. Never got the wheel one. Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's good. What are you saying? You Someone listening out put there, that. put me in an Imperial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. Yes. Hey, back to the old iron and the bone stock. Yeah, go ahead. You know the thing I don't understand about today's derby drivers? We grew up running like, we, you know, we didn't have a lot of money. So we ran Crown Vicks when they first started. And they're not tilted or anything against Imperials, wagons, yes. and pallets. Nowadays, a guy in a kicker, a kicker Crown Vic is like, an Imperial's going to be out there? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to run against an Imperial. Uh, I think it's crazy talk. Like, I love it seeing is. them at Blizzard Bash because they're hard out yeah. there, dude. Like, yeah. Well, you guys have proven that they can be bent. Yes. And, oh. and you know what I'm saying? I mean, just, I, I think people have to just start letting them run. I know it sounds crazy, but the, look at Blizzard Bash. They were getting junked. Only a couple Imperials made it through, right? Are you all scared of them anymore? No, come on, let them in. Right. And Chrysler, guys, we don't have a car. That would be our car, right? You guys got your wagons now, and you're all buying your wagon. And I know you're going to say, well, Chrysler Imperials suck. Okay, let us run them. Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> if they do, let us run them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they're definitely they're definitely an animal in their own right, no matter what you build an Imperial for. you you got to know. My favorite's a hammerhead. Honestly, if you told me I had an all Imperial class, I want a 1967 Chrysler Imperial. And yeah. I want, if it's a more stock build, or even if it's not, I want a 74 Chevy front bumper on it. Dang right. Because you don't even need a bumper. The point will flatten nah. out against the, the point will flatten <laughs> yep. out against the beam, and that's where it'll stay. Yep. And it'll just be a nasty machine. Some of my favorite pictures I have is a beak smushed on the front of a subframe. Yes. I mean, just looking at that, it's like you did some work, son. Yes. <laughs> Man, I ran the last. 70s championship at New Alec, uh, 2010 maybe. All Imperials. I was in a four door 76 Impala. Heck yeah! You want to talk about scared? <laughs> oh my god! Were you last place? Uh, no, exactly, I was exactly. You beat some Imperials. Uh, I actually got third. I actually had it won. Pulled up and was celebrating. There was no pulleys, no water. And I'm celebrating. Here, this battery's dead. I let off. I let out for a second, and that was it. Click, click, click. <laughs> One of the Imperials fired back up. It was like the most embarrassing. Lesson learned. Big, Lesson oh, learned. It was terrible. Hey, we all been there. Terrible. <laughs> I have stories like if that. If I could have any back, I would, I would take yep. that one back. Yep. That's did, it. It uh, looks like Kiskatten might have lost a front it wheel sure over there. It sure does, doesn't it? Or at the very least, a ball joint or something. He's really leaned down on that right front pretty hard. If yeah. that's any of his good motors, it won't even matter. It's actually, he said this is the first run on that <laughs> yeah, engine. Yeah, this is oh, okay. uh, for his Coth motor. Yeah, he got okay. uh, JK. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which, Je Jeff's a great guy. Yes, yeah. he I is. got to know him uh, recently, and, man, he's a great guy. I met him at the Smith Metalworks Expo last year. I wasn't able to go this year, but I met him last year, and I talked to him for a long time, and he's just, he's, you can tell he's very knowledgeable. He's awesome. He knows what he's very doing. Very knowledgeable. I like to talk to other guys like that. He's great. And Ken's one of those equal opportunity guys. He has three drivetrains, I believe, and they're all three from a different engine builder. Yeah. Kenny's a good dude. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, he's just one of them guys, like, yeah, he's a good dude. He, you just know you're going to laugh when he comes to the inspection line about no, something yeah. that he's got to say. I don't understand how he makes his car so hard. I mean, the last time he ran, dude, and he was running so damn hard. I'd say he lost the wheel. Yeah. All right, that Avalanche still looking stout. 14 carry looking good. Matt Miller takes a shot in that back tire. Woo! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Woo! Sealed that. Oh, uh, it ain't over yet. Oh, uh -oh. man. Oh, and then takes a shot. Oh, that Avalanche is nasty. It is. <laughs> it didn't bend it a bit either. It it is. Is. It's even it's perfect. Yeah. I might start looking for one tomorrow. <laughs> I tell you, the, the, when we inspected that thing, the front frame on those are hard. Big. Nice. Yeah. Running the LS and oh man, he smoked oh, that a roof sign. Yeah, we got a roof sign. I just saw him fall off. Roof sign. Yeah. Wow. Wow, this orange and black wow. just smoked the tires. Hi, Rodney. 
He's running the crap out of that thing too, man. I told him just break it in soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like he's knocked the radiator out of it, so it, it'll get broken real, yeah, 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 real fast. Yeah, yeah, it'll break in real fast that way. Yeah, that's what I told fast. Danny. Is this stand on? It. You know, they used to tell you when you bought a new truck, drive it for the first few thousand miles the way you're going to drive it the rest of its life. So I mean, yeah. if you plan on hitting with the front a lot and you knock the radiator out while it's new, I mean, yeah. is that how it works with a derby engine? Well, I told Ken, <laughs> if you're not beating it, then what's the purpose of having it? That's what's right. Cool? What's the point of having it? I agree. Right? <laughs> I agree. Right? I agree. I think when you interviewed him in Stoneboro, he said the same thing. I, I told him to stand on it. That's cool. I mean, the, when you guys are spending the money on these motors, I don't understand yeah. how these guys can spend the motor money and then not keep their foot in it. I mean, I would just uh – -huh. I, I can't – I'm telling you, this is why I, I – the only reason I haven't got one of yours is because I know I could not keep my foot out of it pinned to the, you know, Why? I just. That would keep, that's no, because then you'd be yelling at me like, no. just take your foot off, no. just shift at least. It's like, no, no I'm not. Did, did I love it. Did you see Kenny run stone, bro? He's no okay way. with you. Uh, no, I'm, I'm like, okay <laughs> with it. I'm okay with Hey, things break. Yeah. I, mean, I don't care who built it or, you know what I mean? Look what we're doing. Well, we yeah, absolutely. Stand on it. <laughs> if you don't care about having to fix it or blowing it up, <laughs> nope. stand on it. Nope. Right, break it in the right nope. way. Man, I, I this mean, heat is rocking. I would kind of take it as a badge of honor. Right. You know, if you blew I an engine builder's motor up, it'd be like, all right, well, I'll yeah. stand it on that all old right, girl, you bring know. It back. Let me, yeah, uh, let's retry it again. Right. Q and A. I tell you, the expeditions and navigators are nasty. They're hard. Your motor sounds good. I hear it. Here. Woo! Yeah. He's gonna get stuck. He needs to hit him from the other side if he wants to get him out of there. Waved him. Kenny this waved him. The motor mounts are broken in this orange one. 17 M. Woo! Wow! The 007 Adopt just put a huge hit on that guy. There we go. Wow, he flipped over Kenny. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop. Woo! Stop, stop, what is stop. This? Safety, safety, guys. Please, I'm right. flipping out. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't think the orange and black has brakes. Uh, well, the I don't think the avalanche meant to roll Kenny. He just caught him as he was trying to drive out of the way of the orange and black. Yeah. Don't, don't hurt Kenny. We're going on vacation in a couple of days. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jeez, come on, Kenny. He, he's too tough for that to, to get him. He's all, all right. right. My heart is pounding. Yeah, Look buddy. at him. Good to see him stand up and give the crowd, you know, a little notification he's all right. Holy cow. And, guys, I want to – this is a prime opportunity to say that's why we – we like – Next year it will be forced that you have to have that Little John bar is what it's called. A guy in Indiana with the last name of Little John was rolled in a truck few several years ago and killed because a guy hit him in the roof. And that's why we mandate that bar over to your dash bar. Yeah, okay. From your roll bar. Understood. So I think Ken's is inside. His roll bar is inside the truck, and I think his is. So if that happens and a guy can't get stopped, it's still – I'm pretty sure Ken has one. He can't really see it from here. If he doesn't, that's rare because he normally has one. But, yeah, no, I understand. That's a good, um, that's a good idea. Just because, I mean, and that's what it was implemented for. A lot of people are just call it like a, a dash bar or whatever, but it's a front window bar. But it's the guy's name, uh, I believe, was Little John because, you know, it's always just been called a Little John bar, and you put yeah. that in there to keep that from happening. That's a great idea. Like, well, look how fast. I mean, that was <laughs> – dude, that was – the like, craziest five seconds in a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. Maybe five seconds. All that just happened. Travis Myers is a 17M, and he's in that orange and black. His motor mounts are broken clear free. I mean, the motor's just shaking inside there. I don't think he had brakes there at the end. Because he smoked that avalanche. I don't think he went. I don't know. He could see Kenny. I don't know. This is wild. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Come on, Rodney. Send that thing. Yeah, I mean, he... Dob in the 007. Stellar looking. Travis right now. Myers is headhunting too. Look at him. Oh, he missed a big oh, right. Whoa! Swinging him. Tired. But Travis is definitely headhunting that avalanche of Dob. 681's got to be careful here. Yeah. Broadside, and they're going to eat him if they get him here. And it looks like he's got a flat front on this side, so that's going to be. 
just as scary. Man, this avalanche is fun to watch. Yeah, it is. Oh. Man. Travis Myers. Woo. He getting busy. But his motor's flopping all over. Awesome. He's just pounding on it. Yeah, he is. He don't care. God, I've oh, never seen it coming. No, he never, never saw seen it. it coming. No, he did not. Woo! Got to keep. Got to. What's the uh, the old guy with the insurance commercial? Got to be quicker than that. Oh man! <laughs> oh, almost flipped the avalanche. Chuck Kaiser in the 13C doing a slick of business. Great battle here. These are four hard trucks. Got him. Ooh. Matthew's driving smart, kind of staying out of the mix sometimes. Smart move. Coming back yeah. down. Oh, the avalanche broke his top. Top A arm's gone. Oh. Finish him. Yeah, exactly. Finish him. That LS is singing, though. Well, Travis is going to, too. He's not going to let up. He's one of those guys I've noticed when he runs for us, when he gets it in his mind that you're the guy, yeah. Yeah. you're going to be the, the guy. guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. Woo, good shot. Got out. Rodney gets out of there. Oh, he just broke something. No, he didn't. Wow, that avalanche with the broken tire not giving up. No. But they're getting over the top of that bumper. It's gonna get oh. it's gonna get hairy for him here. Yeah. He's gotta get the truck kind of flipped around. Travis, now he's back at the firewall. Heavy, oh. but he's gonna start using the back. I like it. Look at the motor flopping. In the orange and black. Just shaking it there. Lost the train, lost who, who is it in the black and blue truck down there? His, I can't see his number. It's 13C of Chris uh, Chuck Kaiser. Yeah. Man, he's he's really, I mean, he's put on a good show. He has. And he's looking really good right now. I'd here. say he's the best, the best looking right now, I would think. I mean, that's a tough, tough. And I believe that truck, that's actually like a 2008 or 9 F-150. F-150? Interesting. Because it's half-ton truck. When he ran and buried alive, I got a few text messages the next day saying, you passed the Super Duty. And I'm like, no, we didn't. And I <laughs> right. called, I know Ken just kind of knows him, so I called Kenny. I said, hey, dude, what's the black and blue truck? He, what was that truck? He's like, it's a 2008 or 9, whatever it is, F-150. Wow. wow. Interesting. Man, the guy in the avalanche is not going to stop. Yeah. Yes. Look at the frame rails in the yeah, black and orange. boy. It Woo! dumped him. It dumped him in front of the back tires. That was like worst case scenario for the, the black and orange because they were bumper to bumper. Oh, man, the avalanche is kind of hung. Oh, oh, he's digging himself. He's done. He's buried, yeah. Oh, no. Matthews is on the crank down here. He lost reverse. Ah, he so did, he's, yeah. he's stuck against he, the wall. He has drive, but he has no reverse. And Travis is dead in the water, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, man. I just seen the guy in the avalanche, I think it was, make a huge mistake. All you derby drivers, listen, never break your own flag. Never. Absolutely right. Because Absolutely if right. they got you both on the clock at, at the least, see, Travis waited till he saw that avalanche was broke. He knows he can't move, so he'll break his flag, and the guy in the black and blue right here is going to win the derby. Yeah, you you're never right. take yourself out of a derby until the officials tell you to. Track shot fans, if you've been watching for a few years, we've watched a lot of drivers miss out on the money just by breaking their own stick. Yes. That is a rule. We've and watched then, it. And then the guy gets out and goes, I'm third, right? And you're like, no, Absolutely you're fourth because I had you in, and him on the clock. Right. Mental and he was error. On, yeah, right. Mental error. Yes. That, that comes to the track presence, right? I mean, you can't say, like, no, no, I should have been. Well, hey, you broke your stick, man. Listen, That's the man. rules. Oh, the Unless the official physically, like, forces me to bend it over, yep. I just don't even. I'm just like, okay, I'm out. I'm I'll with just sit you. Here. I'm not going <laughs> to bend it you. over. I'm not admitting defeat. I'll I'm just leave gonna... it up there all night. I agree. <laughs> that that I agree. team derby. Yeah. At Roaring Knob I was in last year. Oh. He celebrated. He was so excited. He celebrated, broke a stick off, and threw it up in the air. Lost it. No. Lost it. 
Lost it. Oh, yes. They still had another guy on the clock. Yes. Oh. He celebrated, broke it off and threw it up the air, excited, and lost it. Oh. oh, no. Oh, I don't know if I could sleep that night uh -uh. at myself. You oh, still, yeah. <laughs> still probably couldn't sleep. Uh, no, no. Right. What do you think it's like being in the garage with your teammates after you cost them a team show? For oh. no they never <laughs> let you. <laughs> oh. You might as well not hang out for a while. <laughs> and you, They're never going to run with you on a team again. No. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, man. Well, I guess we probably better go to work, DJ. Yeah. Two features. I'll stay working here, I guess. Uh, mercenary. <laughs> we got. Uh, it's all going to be good here, right? Mercenary mini car team feature, and we will finish with my baby, the Pro Stock cars. Yeah. Okay, right. so I actually think the next heat, right? Should be oh, mercenary. 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 Now, okay, before you leave real fast, can we talk about this class? Because yeah. I actually yeah. dig this class, and I got some New York boys in here, and, I mean, I've been listening to them for months talk about how they're going to junk this thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now, everyone. I know, I know. But I said to them, you have to work. You have to Man, what a heat. Wanted. What oh, a oh, heat. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to use a little phrase. My old buddy Cody Wood just said, the trucks never disappoint. How was it out there? Uh, it was a little rough. Uh, it's to be expected. It is every single time we run these things. I mean, Balls to the wall, just crazy. And that's exactly what it was. Now, when it come down to four of you, you guys were getting it on. Did you know any of those guys out there, or uh, was it just like a free-for-all? A couple of them. My buddy Travis right here in the uh, expedition, and I didn't know the other guy. Oh, so it was, we're going to save Travis and kill the rest of them, huh? Oh, Man, look at this trophy. TJ, what would you think about them trucks, brother? They never disappoint, do they? <laughs> I just said that. You can't use my stuff, TJ. I'm just saying, you can't you, you can't use my stuff. Well, you're doing it, not me, my friend. All right, well, just go ahead, go ahead. But the trucks are cross. This is why we continue to pay high for the trucks and continue to run you guys and put you at prime time because those fans wanted to see exactly what you guys gave them. So thank you so much, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Heck of a show. Well deserved victory. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, folks. Um. Where is Bobby? Not sure where uh, backseat Bob yeah, went, but uh, but I, I'll do a solo, not a big deal. Oh, Bob's <laughs> in the home trough or barn. He must be eating again. He's taking a nap. He's but, taking uh, a nap. All right. Well, back from, uh, I guess it's the fatty show right now. Uh, right. Back to the barn. Oh, man. Too funny. Too funny. <laughs> he is hilarious. Yeah, he's a great time. He's oh, been on a roll. <laughs> and listen, I've known that guy for almost 30 years. Oh, like, shit. we used to, so locally, when derbies were really popular everywhere, you know, mm -hmm. His whole family derbies, all me and my buddies all derbied, and we would all just go to – we were all at the same derbies all the time and mm -hmm. derbying against each other. His dad, had he not lost his leg in an accident, would be right now known as, as one of – still to all of us as one of the best ever to do the, to do the thing. I mean, mm -hmm. he's just one of them guys that could win in anything. Yep. I yep. mean, and him, his brother – I mean, his – he won his first derby. His brother won his first derby. Their sister won their first derby. Oh, awesome. I mean <laughs> – Ah, that's and, awesome. And that's the, awesome. Sister, the won, sister won in one of your cars. She won a town and country wagon. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's my kind of girl. <laughs> Real quick, can we talk about mercenaries? Because If you guys had run this class, right, because you, you guys set this up, would you attack this thing? Would you get with everyone attack? Or are you just as soon as he came on the track? Okay, you would. I I wouldn't. No, you'd run away. Bro. I wouldn't. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'd run away from it. I'd let it do the work while I'm doing work somewhere else. That's a good. That's a yeah, but you I, add a thousand dollars to the person. Nah, uh-uh. See, but I'm yeah. kind of with him. I see what he's saying. Yeah. Like, let him. Let, let somebody else do the work. Yeah, I'm. 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 I'm working on someone over here. Let that car do. <laughs> see, okay, okay. I. I tell you what. Whoever. I want to see a wheel man win that thing tonight yep. because, yeah. listen, folks, if you're watching on on Track Shot Live and you don't realize this, Mike DeFrisha is about to run a fresh. 71 uh, was it Gorgeous uh, it or was Olds. Olds. Olds wagon that I was underneath of it today in inspection this is a really nice car he's going to run it in the mercenary heat and he says I said Mike why are you running it in this heat he said because I want some of that car absolutely he's like they me all. Yeah. He, he's got a buddy I think in there with him he's like we're beating that car. Absolutely. So I want to see someone win it who can battle it out with them, you know? Yeah, yeah. and that come out of Texas. They come from Redbeard out of Texas, that clam uh, yeah. wagon. Yeah. Brian and it. Yeah, right out of the dry, clean Texas sun, you know, it's 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 pretty. I, <laughs> I opened know? the boxes up and it was like. Yep, yep, so yep. I didn't yep. know what to say. I seen it. Speaking of Kenny Kiskat, and he told Mike, he said, Mike, listen. Back it in the corner, do all the hitting with the front, then you can clip it and run it for fifteen thousand in the fall. <laughs> <laughs> right. And Mike, you know, if anyone if you don't know Mike DeFrisha, 
He ain't that guy. No. He don't, does not care. Everybody's like, oh, it's a wagon. Mike's like, it's a derby car. Yeah, yeah. it's a derby. It's a derby car. It's not a wagon. It's not an old iron GM. He's one of – like, that dude can wheel anything, man. Yes. Mike is, yes. like, amazing to watch. I and love watching him. And he's one of the nicest guys you will Absolutely. ever meet in your life. I love him because he'll win underbuilt. Yes. Underbuilt. And I love dudes that I've, can just I, wheel I got, it. I got to run against him two years ago at uh, New Relic, and it, 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 we had a good time. Yeah, I, I, he's a great dude. I, You know, well, I, he's a guy that come, come – you know, we all come from a little bit of no money. And yes. then worked our butts off, and he's a great guy. Has a great family and a great spread right now, and it's like he earned it. Right, well, I love it. I appreciate you having us on here. Yeah, I've got to go figure out, out the time limit for the Reapers. How long we're going to hold them back in the Pro Stock feature? Interesting. Uh, <laughs> if it's up to TJ, it'll probably be five. If it's up to me, it'll be like eight or ten minutes. Hey, okay, yeah, okay. you get to work, I'll be ready. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> hang out, I just, I'm, do your thing. Yeah, I'm just send somebody in if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I'll stay on for another minute. Yeah, absolutely, man. We're we're just chilling. And I'm telling you, this Absolutely. is like the best spot to sit. Yes. <laughs> I could use a seat. Yeah. Well, when you get out there, you start feeling the wind, yes. right? Like, yes. there's no wind in here. Yeah. I hope it died down. Yeah, right. I've been in here for a while, so I couldn't tell you. I was in here for a couple hours, and then when I got booted, it was the raining time. So that sucked. Listen. Oh, God. Here he comes. <laughs> there he is. Welcome to, what did you call this, the hog? This what is, is it? This is the hog barn. Well, what the it was is we sent Bobby out by himself one <laughs> time, and uh, he said, back to you upstairs. Well, clearly this is a single level. Uh, <laughs> so instead of calling it the upstairs, Bob and I conferenced about it, and it, oh. it's the hog barn. The hog barn. Yeah. Yeah. The hog yeah. trough. No, Bob was the in the trough. Barn. This oh. is the barn. Oh, okay. That's, he must have been doing that while we were supposed to be. <laughs> right. Typical Bob oh. fashion. Hey, stops working halfway through the day. Hey, Bob. What time is it? Like 6.30? Yeah, you're getting Dawn. sleepy. 4.30. 4.30, yeah. Mm. Calling hours. Or calling calling it quits hours for Bobby. Well, Bob, we'll finish up the night. And, uh, yeah, yeah. We can no, he'll get mad now. He'll get mad. Oh, Josh being mean. Well, it's. I don't get mad like you do. Why don't we have more headphones? Yes, you do. Oh. We need more headphones. No, All right, listen, I don't, listen. No, no, no. Hey, no hey, more hey, than three hey, people hey. at a time. Hey, not in front of the children, guys. No. All right, let's oh. break that up. Not in front of the children. Shit, not in front of the children. <laughs> All right, I've, and, and I don't want to. We almost got beat up yesterday by some children, didn't we? Power wheels. Oh. The Dude. two over here said they were going to take us. Oh. Was that yesterday? I saw that. Yes. 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 Yes, it was. We yesterday. We decided we were both too old. So listen, Dominic. Can you do me a huge favor? I, I, I'll try. <laughs> Can you give Decker a good engine? Uh, we've been talking about this. I mean, a couple times now. I'm, I promise. I promise you one thing. I ain't gonna drive it how this SOP drives. <laughs> did you see his performance out there? Yeah, he, he did actually. He was driving. Do we want? Thank you. He, he, he was on his camera. Thank you. For, for this a, is actually a real motor builder that wants to hear his motors. Yeah. Uh oh. He doesn't want to hear idling oh. across the track. This guy wants to hear him loud, so I'm probably is a better choice than you. So you like to watch him make like three hits and then their car exactly. Oh. Yeah. Is that what you you're guys, into? Whoa, Decker, I'm, you almost went down. I'm glad I'm sitting in between you guys. Well, it's, it's been this way for hours. It's it's yeah. gonna be funny because Fatty's gonna call me for about six months asking to come back on, and it's like <laughs> yeah. I never got your call, dude. Yeah. I never got it. <laughs> oh, tough, that's tough right. luck. Tough well, luck. what's messed up is I asked him for his phone number earlier, you know, because I got to contact him through Pass. Messenger. Pass. I got shot down. Pass. No. So you know what I did? I got Cody's number. It's for so closers. Now he, he can't hide from I, me. Actually, I appreciate that. Anybody that wants to message me, call me, or go through Cody. It's fine. Yeah. I'm so cool with that. He, he goes to me. <laughs> Ask him. He goes to me. <laughs> the, the, like, do you got his number? Like his personal phone number? Negative. Down? No. But what the we heck? do need to get him an engine. You're right. I'm fine yeah, with that. I'm, I'm fine with that. What. I mean, I have well, lots of engines, but I would like one that I could run long periods of time and not worry about it. I would love that actually. Well, actually, well, I'd actually still like to stick my kid in that. Listen, yeah. do you can you tune one for 715s on the back? <laughs> Yeah. You can't you can yeah, get the oh, horsepower yeah. to turn them babies? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Nah, okay. We're gonna try. Uh, your sure. jokes are as weak as your driving, I'll <laughs> tell you that much. They're not dude. jokes. I mean no. Decker, what size tire did you have on the back I of I had seven hundreds. Oh we can turn them. I'm a just trying I'm just I mean, trying to make sure that when we get this engine uh, you know what actually <laughs> I might have to wet it down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean I know you all New York wet track guys, but they're so fast, you know what I mean? Is that how you get them to turn the tires? Is the okay? 
Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How about them trucks? Them trucks were. Them trucks were. I mean, they never disappoint. They never do. Never disappoint. We were fascinated by the uh, avalanche. I tell you what, Cody actually brought up the avalanche. He was like, you know, I always wondered what they did. I told him, I said, those bail, bed rail things, if we was in Ohio, they'd be clear to the tailgate. Right. So it had never been. <coughs> Decker, what's your next show? Uh, are we talking about a track shot? We're going to California. We'll be in Iowa in two weeks. We'll be in Iowa. Prusman Show, Jacob Prusman, 448 Design. Oh, then good. we're going to Cali, which I'll probably be running 700s in Cali. You ever run in Cali? I'll be. So <laughs> then I'll be in Utah running a few months after that. Have you ever run out there? I'll be. Have a great day. i probably run 700s on them when I'm out there, too. I'll tell you what. And you? I'll tell you what. I'll have trophies from out there. And when you come to my house, I'll show them to you. I'll point them out to you. Will you run the California show in October? No. You're lucky. I have stuff to do those days. My homeboy's gone. I'm not worried about that. You're lucky. I'm lucky. Lucky. You know, a, a crappy driver like you says shit like that all the time. Mercenary. All the time. Mercenary car. I have a, I hate to say this. Decker. I, you ever heard of Dent? Yeah. I won that. Yeah. It was the 80s. No one cares. Yeah. It wasn't. Dent that's so. Wasn't, I'll wasn't tell you what. I'm telling you right now. Listen to me. Utah. Out of 40,000 people that are watching right now. 39,000 have no idea that you won or care. Yeah, but 39,000 39, them. Or message them. All 39 of you message them. 39 grand of you. Just message them. Dent, who cares? Well, actually, Bobby told me to say that because you threw, you hurt my feelings. And let's, Utah comment. and let's be honest. You didn't even build that car. I, well, I wasn't allowed to work on it in between the heats. I didn't make the cut that. Yes, but I stripped it, Decker. <laughs> I was 19. You're such a Truth bully. of the matter is you got bully. lucky. You're like let's a talk bully. about the mercenary. He's such a bully. <laughs> I have a feeling they're going to get a hold of the mercenary car. I mean, at least I strip my own cars, Decker. <laughs> ben! Child labor laws. <laughs> I got kicked off again, Decker. Damn it. All right, well, All right. I'll see you guys I'm later. All right. Yes. I'm going to get back to work. I appreciate it. Yeah, brother. Thanks for coming on. Yes. I had a good time with you. you know? Absolutely. Always. And, and thank you. Let's do old iron for bone stock because I will bring old iron. <laughs> Later, brother. All right, mercenary class coming up next. There's only 11 in this one. Now, this class, <laughs> I think this class was originally supposed to be 20, 25 cars. 11 of them ended up making it through. I do think some people were loaded in this class. Yeah, then they said some people couldn't get their cars fixed, so there was going to only be three going to the Conti, so they pushed them through. Okay. So they tore some stuff up in the heat. We must have lost some skiddies. Well, there's one over here, and then I see this dozer, but... Yeah, the dozer's been doing more work than skiddies. What do you think about the truck getting flipped over that was out? That's Ken Kiskadden, dude, and Kenny's the man, and he, he must have been. He was out. He was out. He must have been. No, 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 no. All right. <laughs> no. no, not you, sir. All right, so Kenny, you know, if I think really the problem was the wheel. You know, he was right. The, he, I mean, and I, I don't think the avalanche, he was trying to get around him and just caught him hard on that wheel, you know. But he didn't let out of the gas. Like, he stayed in it to get, you know, off him. And he stayed in it to get off him, yeah, because he, he spun him like a circus. <laughs> <clears throat> but then the shot he took after he spun him all the way around, did you see that? Oh, yeah, it was oh. crazy. No, Ben, that orange and black didn't have brakes? Oh, he had brakes. He had brakes? Oh, yeah, he had brakes. It's going. Yeah, okay. Um, Uh-oh, girl won it. He hit that. He hit that Ooh. avalanche. Though. I mean, he was doing 30. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were and on the gas, man. It's a good thing he got a hold of. Good thing he got a hold of the black suburban that sat down here, because that was uh, Cascadens. Dad. Oh, uh, dad. No, father-in-law. Uh, whoever Some, it was, whoever like it was, had him lined up for a yeah. shot down there, and it was like after after that happened, I was like, Ooh. I love that class. Right? Uh, me too. The final four trucks. I mean, there was some. That was fun. But that was fun. That avalanche you guys battle. probably already talked about it. That avalanche was f nasty. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you know, now, man, you know how many of them things there are in junkyards? 
I thought avalanches were three quarters, though. Half, they are half. Half ton, yeah. At least ones I see. You can might be get. Some. I think you can get them in in uh, three quarter ton. But. This is probably the only thing they're good for because they're one of the ugliest they trucks are. I've ever yeah. seen. They are. Inner back windows leak no matter what. Yeah. yeah. But the back of that thing was like Nasty. boxed up hard, right? Yeah. 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 I liked how it looked, and he was rocking with the front. That's the thing. Like everybody out there was hitting. Yeah. That's why I like this class. I like the the little cars. Like it's just the black and orange one, Travis. Tra was it Travis Myers? Dude, he was he was sending it. Travis Myers. He was hitting Dude, people. His man. motor was not even hooked inside it. You were watching it flop around, and he's just hammering, hammering. Later, Coach. Did you see him miss the – he come over on this right side of us. He missed the car and hit the tires and went up yeah. in the air, yeah. man. Dude, they were getting deep in them tires. Yes. Like, they were smushing them halfway through. <laughs> you know, I was like, I didn't see any cars putting that kind of dent in them tires. I like how they do this with the tires and then build the bank. This is probably one of the safest tracks, you know. Yeah, yeah, because you the way these guys are heading, you wouldn't want it, your doors or any part of your your car or truck against that that concrete barrier. Well, you figure a K rail, how it's concave. Yeah, it's that would be they would have been shooting them into the to the stands. Yeah. And it doesn't do any damage to the cars, right? Like where we're from, you try to jam people up in them. I mean, even 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 the shot on that he took there, I don't think it did any damage, right? Yeah, the only time you're really if they started filling them, right? If you start scraping a track and dumping it inside them tires, sure. yeah, right. And then it sets for a year. That'd be like pouring concrete in. This lady is gonna run this. Uh, Mercenary I hope car? she junks dudes. I hope she just junks dudes. Big old smile on her face. She's junking them. That would them. be funny. Either that. <laughs> That's the reason Cody stayed a little later. Yeah, I know. He was yeah, hoping he'd win that, man. It. He was stoked to win that. Five hours. Cody's got five hours home. I love Cody. He helped me out this weekend. He's like, Josh, my old lady says i got to be home for Easter. And it's like, well, it's going to be a long night for you then. <laughs> he's, he's a, a great good kid. kid. He's a fantastic oh my gosh. kid. But, you know, it was like um, at the stables of my cousin, I uh, own a towing business and let us build our derby cars and this and that. And every... Every one of us that teenagers that came out of there, we respected people, we respected things, and it seems the same way with your house. Sure. Your your son is so respectful. Thank you. He will do anything. He's Have a great worked kid. His, he's worked his butt off this weekend. Oh yeah. And he then Cody, complain. he hasn't complained. No, and he hasn't complained once. Yeah. No, he hasn't. No, he's getting an education. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I keep telling my kids like they get. Why do I gotta go? Why do I go? My daughter. Why do I go? I'm teaching them to be entrepreneurs, man. Yeah. I, I want you to learn that you can do this. It's like, okay, all I got to do is do this and this and this, and I can have a job, you know, own my yeah. own business or whatever. Yeah, do it. It was, it was pretty funny for me. I'm almost 47 years old and had to ask your son for the money for change when we sold some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Trent, can I, can I have a 20? <laughs> Right. Well, I'll tell you, I, I was telling, well, I mean, I was telling you that I just like the idea that he has, you know, a fat wad in his pocket. It's like, start getting used to that, kid. Yeah. Start getting used to that, you know, yep. like, because, uh, you know, you know, when you start working for money and realizing that you earn it and then you get to do things with it, like, he's just starting that, right? Mm -hmm. And he's kind of fighting the job thing, I'll be honest. He's, like, every day I'm like, hey, you ready to go get your Typical job application? Teenager. Oh, is it? Typical. No, yeah. your kid's worked. Uh, but same struggle. I mean, my don't get me wrong. My daughter's polar opposite. My daughter is she goes, you know, want to get a job, get a job, get a job. I'm gonna pay for this, and she busts her brother's balls all the time. You know, <laughs> it's, it, reminding him of certain things, and it's but that's the brother's th sister thing, which yeah. which you know, because you know with uh, with Trent and Bailey. Um, but no, it's 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 just the generations coming up through, because they have friends or they know people. That basically can sit home That's, exactly. and either game right, exactly. or be on her computer and make hundreds and hundreds of dollars a day. But the, doing it, and, and it's and it's just it's the difference in generations. Because yeah. like I said earlier about you know I believe every kid should have to work on a farm. I agree with that. And, and, and <laughs> you know and I go through it. it. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, we're fortunate enough to to have great kids and, what? and um, I can't yell at him about not having an 8 to 5 because every weekend we go to derbies right, and, right, and right. he's selling shirts and he's, and he's doing and look things. At, look at the different type of 
cultures, different type of people, different type of atmospheres. And, and in a way, it's not just going to a derby. It's a, it's a overall total learning experience for them because they're meeting all different kinds of people, exactly. all different type of cultures. They're getting, they're in all different types of situations. Yeah. They're exposed to every type of situation you can just about imagine. Yep. And it, it really, really, it just sets them up for um, not such a, you know, you know, quote unquote, smack in the face when they hit it through, hit the real world. You know <laughs> exactly. what I mean? It's like it, it's not all peaches and cream. You know, they, they they're seeing all the all the different levels and the different different stuff. And, it was funny because I asked Trent earlier, I'm like, you think you'll do the two-man extreme with your dad? And he said, eventually. I don't want it on all spill. Just point it on the track. Can you? Can you just point it on the track? I'm sure people at home are getting really sick of this, just staring. It's been staring at me for a while. It's like, you know, I can only stare at myself so long. Well, hey, so I can imagine you for five, six, ten you hours. You are a good-looking individual, Thank though. you, Bill. That's all. That's what I want. Yeah. Um, Thank you. I appreciate it's that. It's getting tired of that white is what it is. Yeah. That's why I turned the, you know that. turn the Aviance light on up there. You know, on yeah, the I like that more. Yeah. I like that more. Yeah. You need enough just to see so you don't stumble over the quarters. But. All right. So here we are. Three more to go. Mercenary full size. It's going to be, I, I think he changed it up. Mercenary last. I, no. I thought he changed it because of circumstances like if something happens, that's not the last. Yeah, he put the mercenary last. He did? It was last, and he put it two more up. Oh, yeah, duh, duh. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. I ben, that. you're you're getting sleepy, maybe. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. No. I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's just I had that Reese's fried Reese's peanut butter cup And you didn't thing share. I share everything Dude, I that have was, with that's you. Dude, it's bite size. There it's, was, like... Skinny brought like six of them back. He, he, well, he, I, only one when the oh, plate got to me. So oh. you forget I was all the, all the way at the end of the trailer on the cold seat where Josh is right now. The cold seat. That That's was so funny seat. when you like Cody was like my my, my, my arms arm, my right cold. arms cold. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He, I don't know if you heard him, Josh, but he thinks he's gonna he can beat uh, Fatty in a one on one. Yep. Him and, Fatty, him, him and Fatty, him and Fatty were talking each other smack so much. Are we talking about like on a track? Yeah. yeah. Cold would junk Fatty. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. Oh. Cold can drive. Oh. Fatty would just be bopping around. Cold would just be eating them all. Dude, the best thing you guys ever did is go out on that track and grab Mark Elliott. That was awesome. <laughs> that was classic. Yeah, maybe I'll let TJ have, bring a few friends so it's fair for him. Yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys have probably never watched him drive. Oh, yeah, I've seen him drive. He is he's an incredible just, yeah, driver. He, he puts a clinic on every yep. time. Just when you think you got him, mm -hmm. nope. I'm telling you, I, I can talk about it over and over. When he smiled and he's missing that tooth and he's got the open face helmet, and came down off those cars. It was, it was one of the best moments I've ever seen in Derby, <laughs> man. Kind of like tonight. All I've heard is Josh, like, rabble about how good he can drive. And I've always given him crap. I mean, Move I really on. have. Move on, Bob. Well, and to see yeah. him tonight drive yeah. like that, it was, and then to get that award, that was very impressive. Hey, he played, Why are you telling me to move on? I'm not <laughs> fatty. Like, I like you. I had enough of it today. I'll no, tell you that. I was impressive. It really yep. was. I because had, I had a good time on my three shots. That, I'll tell you that I had a good. time I got on a my picture of the car that you hit broadside. Oh my gosh, you you that car. I seen it. <laughs> I was proud of it. Yep. And then you, your next shot was a full track. I shot. broke like everything on it. I yeah. don't. I, it, you should have seen like he had a piece of he had the the plastic for wiring that goes up on the dash. When you hit him, that stuff come flying out know. of the car. Yep. All right, let's get this mercenary class going. So is the person that won it going to drive it? I don't know. It was that woman, so I'm just kind of – I don't see them putting her in the car, so I'm not quite sure. And no, I wonder if she picked somebody. Right. I wonder who won the engine. Oh, wait, maybe she won the engine. Maybe we – no, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I think they did the car because otherwise Cody wouldn't have left. 
<laughs> right, right. True, Ben. <laughs> True, Ben. Because he told he goes, I'm not leaving until they draw that. So the class that you qualified for, you can't run because you're going to be out of town. No, I had, Spinning Wheels has a huge derby. It's a Imperial Derby in memory of Adrian Gilbert's wife that passed, Julianne. And uh, it's going to be a very great, fantastic day for Spinning Wheels, which uh, TJ is going to have a fantastic day down here, but I have a very special day planned on the exact same day. So all Imperials, man. Cody's got one ready to go, man, 72 with his Magnum in it. He's got my Mosiers in it. He'll, he'll be sending it. And we lost a, a a big supporter of ours, lost his wife on Christmas, and uh, they've never had Imperials at this county fair, way up in the north of New York. Never had Imperials. We're bringing it for the first time in memory of her, and uh, there's so many guys building for it. It's Where's he at? Where's? Lowville. Lowville, the 23rd, July 23rd, Saturday, we're running Imp class. You, I thought, I thought Lowville. I Replays? Thought. Give me one second, Bo. Yep. I thought Lowville, that's where the Grave Digger guy was from years ago. I don't know that. But, yeah, I don't think, but he never, oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be an awesome show. Yeah, it's a sad story, so it's great that you are, you guys are putting something together for that. Um, where they are, Julianne owned the junkyard, and um, they've owned the local junkyard. So in the town of Lowville, the, all the Derby guys would go there. I mean, guys have been taking their junk cars to them. So they're, they're iconic in the in the Derby world, and she'll okay. be missed, you know. So for sure. And for their town, I think it's, like, fitting. Oh, yeah. It's fitting. Yeah. And the last time I seen her, me and Trent, she was so great to Trent. Uh, I went and derbied. Me and Cody derbied at a derby, and everyone was against us, booing us. And the whole time she was rooting for us. And on her live videos, she's the only one who can hear people against us. Nice. And, yeah. and uh, yeah. What's yeah. that? No, go home. Just go. Just, no, no, go home. Yeah, just go home. Bob's got it. <laughs> I'm All in right. the hog barn. We are the final. We are on the final car. Mercenary car has some. Yeah. Oh, somebody's got a. I think she's in it. She's in that. She's in it. I hope she snoots some dudes with that thing. After all that, all the rain we had. Look at this track. That track is super tacky. Yeah, it's getting better. Oh. Let's run through the names in this one, Ben. Only 11. Just 11? Oh. Yeah, right? 11 in yes. it? Yes. Yes, Ben. Oh, this <laughs> right? is going to be nasty. The track is huge, right? This, people can do some work on this yes. thing if they get it. Yes. Okay, who are we going to see? 79, Joshua Hall out of Massachusetts. 18, Jesse Lovejoy. Suicide I bought from Tim Showers. I gave it to Jesse. He's going to be running tonight out of Newark Valley. 81, Justin Lovejoy out of Newark Valley. Okay. Team hated. I got him. A, yep. No, he got he, this one is a 71 Pontiac he got out of Virginia yes. on Marketplace for 300 bucks. One of the cleanest 71 to threes I've seen in a long time. For 300 bucks. Dude, he messaged, he's down there in Virginia and he goes, I'm on Marketplace. This is this a good deal for this car? And he's like snapping me pictures. I'm like, get it right now. And he showed up home with it. He's like, this is going to be my. He bought an LS. Let me tell you real quick. Justin Lovejoy's first V8 Derby, well, first real one. I gave him a junk metric wagon to run, but built an LS, got a tranny, got a rear, got a slider, got a shifter, everything. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying. He went and got everything brand new. You know, like, he, he spent the work, and I know he's tired and exhausted right now, but when you go to do that, you're, you're adding a lot to your plate when right. you come from the compact world and you oh, decide yeah. you're going to go transition. to the V8. Yeah, and yeah. he did. Right now, you're about to watch him transition. And he's got an LS. He's going to be a singer. Oh, man. Rampage. Ryan LaTourette out of Honesdale, another one of our drivers. He This this is a great yeah. class for him. Ryan wins a lot of our limited welds up our way. I think he won back-to-back. -back. 8V, Jake Boogertman out of Howery, Pennsylvania. Andrew Myers, 73. Andrew Myers out of Maryland, he ran the mercenary car the original time. Right. The original time he was the driver of it, Andrew Myers. 
9X, Andrew Mullen out of Dunkirk. He's, thank you, Trent. He's in a suicide, I think. I'm pretty yeah. sure I've seen him in a suicide. 333 Pennywise is James Mintier, Adamsville, Pennsylvania. He's going to be running with the 2R of Mad Mike DeFreesha oh. out of Adamsville. So 333 three, three, and 2R together. Mad Mike in a clamshell wagon. That's supposed 71 to be stupid olds. cherry. It's from Redbeard. Wagon. It's the one that Redbeard oh, had. Oh, really? Mad Mike traded a driver 74 Rivy. Or 70, driver 74. 76 Rivy. See, Hunter knows. Just, Hunter, Hunter knows, knows everything. everything. That was good. He that, does. That was, a, uh, that was a good trade on Mad Mike's part. Right? Well, but, but, 100%. But Redbeard. But Redbeard can get clamshells. He wanted a Rivy, right? He wanted right. a driver Rivy. So right. what I'm saying, all the ones you want to get rid of, the 76 is the best one. I'd well, get rid of it in a heartbeat. Huh? See, see, listen to Ben. He knows the I, ins and outs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but, you know, if it was a 74, I probably would have, you know, been upset. But Well, just an interesting trade because Redbeard hits me up. He goes, what do you know about Mad Mike? Because there's one's from Texas, and I go, fantastic dude. And he's like, well, I'm going to trade him this. You you think it'll be good? Yeah, I go, he's a, the guy's awesome, you know. And then, yeah. bam, he's got a Texas clean clamshell up here getting wrecked in PA. 77H, Marcus Hayes out of Guy's Mill, Pennsylvania. And the last one, 8-0-B. Daniel Cordell out of Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. This is going to be intense, I think. I do, too. I think there's... I think there's All right, first car here, I'm pretty sure, is Justin Lovejoy in the suicide. A suicide with a small block Chrysler. They just got it to, together the other day. They put it together. Wrong flex plate. Had to take it back apart. Change trannies in it. Got it back in there. Do you have any desire to run a car like that, Josh? Suicide? No. Well, I mean, like this build. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll run this in a heartbeat. I just don't want to do the work. Right. I don't have time to do the work. But I would love this class. They actually were begging me to run. And Ben has a car that I could have run, but I'd have to. Uh, I didn't want to cut the things I had to cut. All right. I would know. No, right? I know. All right. But I'll take it somewhere else. Jesse Lovejoy here in the suicide. Here for the Reaper. Yes, they are going after the Reaper. These guys are hitters. Tony Chilson. I miss you, Tony Chilson. I have Tony Chilson? Yes. No, he's, he's messaging me. He's oh, watching. Oh, okay. To you like remember? Tony. Yeah. yeah. I haven't Tony. seen Tony forever. Every I used to have good times with him. Uh, all right. The Jax is Justin Lovejoy. Mullins in the suicide. Oh, Chris Ryman's in here, too, the 13C. Good kid in an LS. I think it's his. He, I think it's his first time with that LS. Seventy-three, Andrew Myers. Yeah, I don't got Ryman's number on this for some reason. Okay, they're starting to heat with the mercenary in it, guys. Someone just posted on the Northeast Derby page that they want an Avalanche. <laughs> yeah. People are saying you guys yeah. just went made avalanche prices go up. Yep. That's funny. That's funny stuff. Eight zero eight zero B, last one in there, Daniel Cordell. Where's Mad Mike? Yeah, where is Mad Mike? Mad Mike ain't in there. Where's and Mad Mike's partner's not well, I don't they run together, James Mintier. Wow. It must be this weather change because all of us got dry throats. Yeah. Like everybody's. I think it's a hotel. Cough. You know okay. that, it could be the hotel air. Yeah, hotel. And like you said, I don't normally talk this much in a month. I love it, Ben. You, yeah. you put in some hours. Yeah. Every time in Maryland, you put in hours. Well, last time I was in Maryland. That's okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got it. <laughs> they were say. probably way out in the back 40. The trick is, is. Uh, no shower curtain in the <laughs> in the room, and then he goes crazy on air. Okay. <laughs> Here's Mentir. Something I've never experienced before in my life. No, 100%. What did you do, put towels down, or you just showered and then we just, didn't even we, care? We warned each other, hey, it's, it's slippery. So there. <laughs> yeah. there was, like, you you would try. You'd angle it towards the wall, but it still, still splashed out. Marcus Hayes in this Ford wagon. Ford wagon, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Ford wagon. Uh, that looks. Look at the front rails on that. It sounded sick when he drove by. Oh, he's got it's old three frame. Okay, it's I on wanna, old. I want to say it is. Yeah, it's on old three frame. Now, does a wagon fit on a a P seventy four frame? I think. You I don't. Gotta, you I gotta, don't know. If if I remember right, a P seventy four frame and a wag put a wagon body on it and the back two mounts. I think are the ones you gotta mess with. If I remember right. Ben Ha. Ben Ha. Eighty one. Here's Mad Mike, and we love uh -huh. Mad Mike. Yeah, but it's strange seeing him in the wagon. I know, and he's gonna be driving backwards right here. Yeah, I know. It is awesome. Mike, we're excited for you, brother. We're excited for you. <coughs> now, we had a great conversation earlier. Would you attack this mercenary? DJ was saying, no, nah, I'm going to let someone else do the work. you know. And Jake's like, no, I'd attack it, which I'd attack right, it too. Would you right guys off, attack? Right off the get-go, if I was over here on this side, right off the get-go, I'd head right for that driver's side front wheel. Yep. Yeah, that's when they were talking about it earlier. They're like, would you go for the back or the front? Well, and I'm like, absolutely the not front. Not the back, yeah, no, not the back. Absolutely the front. You waste shots in the back. Yeah. You're, you're going to hurt yourself on the back, and you just you, you go for wheel shots. Wheel shots, and if you could get that front to drop, then then it's all, all she wrote. I think it'd be pretty easy to drop a ball joint on that spindle or whatever. Uh, I'll see her come out with, ooh. Woo. This is going to be fun, because I think she's going to drive it. Rampage is Ryan Latoura out of Honesdale, Pennsylvania. A lot of, couple Sueys, good mixture of cars here. Three Sueys, bunch of Vicks on O3 frames and some old iron. Oh, right oh, after right. Red Mike. <laughs> oh, man, they're following them in. Woo. It's gonna be good. Wow. Oh, oh boy. What a shot. I've just never understood a hit in the car in the cage, though. And they don't care here in New York, they just put the hits on. Sometimes they just want to rattle you. Yeah. I like to rattle people. I rattled one a day. Yes, I hit you in the did. cage. I didn't care. I get it. <laughs> if well, you're trying to win the derby, it's not the right move. They're bending cars. Oh, they're, going oh. At, they're going after that mercenary car. Mid-tier, I think, broke his tranny, guys, in the 3-3-3. 80B seems to be all done also. Yeah, there's sparks flying underneath the center of it. Oh, yeah, look at it drop. Drop the train right out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Suey's coming in on that clamshell. Piling them in here. Look at all the O3 and newers I know. out here. Doing work. Wow. Lovejoy with a good shot on Myers and the tire. Lovejoy might have broke a control arm. Good shot, nose and nose. Old iron on 03. If that's that girl that's driving that, that we've seen going out there, she is putting it down. She's, she is. Uh, she's got herself sideways now in a bad spot. She's got a flat up front. Yep. Lovejoy gets it fired up. Here comes Ryan Lotterat. On Myers, nope, let's him go. Gets Mad Mike though. Broke the rear end. Broken broke the rear axle. End. Yeah. yeah, Lovejoy broke an axle. He's gonna lose it here in a second. Oh, good shot by Ryan. Mullen coming around with the Suey. Mercenary. Doing work. On a dead car. Ouch. Well, 
Love, Jesse Lovejoy get fired up in that white suicide. Thirteen C. Chris Ryman bat heavy in the nose. Back's looking good though, Chris. Lazarette looking real good in the orange and white rampage. Lovejoy not giving up in the one axle. Mad Mike looking good. He took some shots, but still looking good. I don't think the girl's driving. Mad Mike just came in hot. That, ben, is it timing or what makes it pop like that? Hotter than shit. And yeah. I was gonna say maybe the stacks loosened up. Sometimes it's loosened up in the, the air. You yeah. got bad Mike. Somebody got out. Now remember. The mercenary will not stay out when it's down to three. The mercenary cannot be in the well, final it three. Well, it just took out one of the top cars. That orange and that orange one. Yeah, you just got a front wheel shot on it with the back end. They're out there talking to the mercenary car. Every time he's done that, I, I thought he just usually sends them out for a little bit and pulls them off. Let me ask you guys, I think the weather warmed up. Yeah. Like after the rain come through, I, or are you still freezing? No, it's cold. Oh, okay, I'm not cold anymore, but. Ben's got two hoodies on. I have two I have two hoodies and, and a long sleeve. I'm freezing. That's why I couldn't, I was cold this morning, and you're in shorts. <laughs> <laughs> they said, I don't know, I didn't know you wore pants. I said, I don't, I had to borrow them. <laughs> I, I was I was uh, somewhere and somebody bumped me and it got a little wet and so I had to borrow some pants. <laughs> It'd be nice to know what they're telling them. I love it here. You just see so many different types of cars. True. You know, back home it's just all Vicks, you know. So to see this is, I, I like this. One of the things I loved as a kid was all the different cars. And, and that's back when people would run 67 LeSabres and just really junk junk. Right. But I loved all the different cars and stuff. And I don't like the cookie cutter style, you know. I can't even say that. Sometimes I do, actually. I, sometimes I do. I was telling him earlier, I thought I had something really cool. I was uh, given a, a 67 New Yorker. And I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be so It was so clean. Went out there and made one hit, and the back, back bumper was touching my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
spent a bunch of time painting it up. Thought it was cool. Did you wear pants back then? No, I didn't start wearing pants until uh, at Mayhem. My dad came out uh, after the heat race and seen me in slides and shorts and put put the smack down and said, if I ever see you in slides and shorts, you'll never build a car in the shop again. So I started wearing the green pants, and then that's how everybody okay, associated okay. me with the green pants. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know you green pants. Yeah, everybody, Dr. Bob. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob. That's oh, Welder's Tuxedo. Yes. How many nicknames you got, Bob? Man. <laughs> Backseat Bob. <laughs> oh, that's the funniest. Bumper Bob. Underbuilt Derby. Ben's other half. Oh, shit. Well, on the road. All right, so we have no idea. I mean, this is a big pile. Who knows who's going to separate out of here? We have no idea. Here comes the mercenary. Going to pile them in. The sheet metal has actually been on the back of that car. Yeah. Dewey's working on it. Rampage. Whoa! Got him right in the passenger door and bent him. Bent Myers, I think, not, not Mad Mike. Oh, well, they're going after him. They are him. definitely Woo! going after Mike. Man. Red flag. I don't think I've ever been to a derby that's had this many red flags for the last, uh, both days. Axel, who's is that? Love Joy's finally come out. Oh, that could be. That could be. Myers breaking off. Oh, suicide? It was a suicide. Oh, suicide? Okay. So Myers in the 73 breaking off. He's against Mad Mike. He broke off? No. Oh, I he's was like, oh, man. He's break, breaking up. He's tied up against Mad Mike. Mad Mike's back of his car is right up against his uh, window bar or I whatever. That. I see that. Could it have been the mercenary's axle? Oh it looks like gosh. it's sitting low on that I side. You could be right. Breaking a tranny. Mullins is burning a tranny, right? Stacks. It just sounded like it didn't sound, yeah, yeah, the yeah. tranny didn't sound right. Oh yeah. Mad Mike has such great drivetrains. Right. For so long, man. You said he lives in Texas? No, Mad Mike lives right around down the road. Okay, that's what Red I thought. Redbeard lives in Texas. Oh, okay, you know okay. Redbeard? I've heard of him. Yeah, Redbeard lives down in Texas. And they trade it. They just happen to message each other and trade. I like how Mad Mike's got his halo. At a 45 towards the back, too, to help hold the roof down. Yeah. Our fans are telling us that it is the mercenary axle. Awesome. It is. Yeah, that is awesome. Now there's a $1,000 bonus if the mercenary gets beat. So whoever wins this is now going to get a $1,000 bonus. Nice. Mad Mike's axle. Look at it. Or uh, rim there. So TJ's got to buy a new rear end and give up an extra $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> We are 
are down to our final two. Ryan Latara and Mad Mike, two great drivers here. A lot of feature wins between the two of them. I don't think uh, uh, he is running. Is he running? I don't yeah, he's taking oh, his yeah, time. He yeah, okay. he's just, he just kind of letting him work. I think... Yeah, Ryan. Mad Mike is back and forth, front Steer. to back. I think his stern is gone. Great run, Mike. Ryan gets it moving again. Oh, he might have no reverse. Oh, what a shot. Mad Mike, your winner. Great run to both of you. Mad Mike, your winner. Wow. That was great. Man, what a heat that was. They beat up the mercenary car. He's pretty pumped in there. <laughs> Understand. Oh, it's his birthday. <laughs> it's his birthday? Yeah. Wow, happy birthday, Mike. It's his birthday. He gets a $1,000 bonus because the mercenary car got beat. His waggy, awesome. his waggy, awesome. as Skinny would say, yes, now, sir, is now. in pretty good shape, oh, I would yeah. say, yeah. Some people are saying that he's crazy for running a wagon out there, but he just won with it, got the bonus. I mean, it actually turned out to be a great move, right? Yeah. He took a nasty shot there on that left side, and that's the side you fight to want to come in. And then, as me and Fatty were saying, oh. then he squared it up a little better there, and he was rocking and rolling, and that sucker looks good now. Got Fatty and Bobo out there with Mad Mike. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready when they're ready. Nope, I don't hear it. Turn it up, Hunter. It's all the way up. Nothing. This is the interview you want, too. Shine the light at him. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh, same thing, Bill. Hold on. We'll get to it. What do you got, batteries in Bill, this thing? Hold on, everybody. We got a battery. Hold on. We got to switch a battery. Bill's on it. No, no, no. There we go. Yep. Hello. Yep. 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 You're yep. good. Good. Yep. yep. Thank you, Hunter. All right. We had a little te technical difficulty. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, America. <laughs> hey, give him time to get congratulated. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Once again, happy birthday, Mike. How was it out there, bro? It was awesome, man. I haven't ran around back in 13 years. I was just glad to pull it off. And uh, I love these dead man shows. TJ makes it fun. I don't know. There's something about them. I like them. We'll definitely be back. Well, you never know what to expect out of TJ, that's for sure. Yeah. I'll tell you what, right off the rip, that looked like they was kind of coming after I you know, a little I'm bit. How'd you I feel about Am I the mercenary car? Because <laughs> everybody was on me, but hey, it weathered the storm. And Now, what'd you think about the mercenary being out there at the start? I've never seen that. Usually it's like send them out, take yeah, them off. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I didn't care. I was just trying to knock his wheel off. I knew not to hit him front to back. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so I, we were talking the same thing. We've watched you run forever and have never, I've never seen you in a wagon. So to see you in a wagon, you look so comfortable in it yeah, though. I don't know, 30 years of doing it, I guess. Just, I loved it. I won my first derby 2003 in a 71 Olds my uncle heck gave yeah, me. Heck yeah. And I just, I wanted to run one more. So here That's we cool, are. Mike. That's cool, well, it's Mike. been a heck of a birthday for you yeah, hell yeah. and we greatly appreciate you giving us the time yeah, to talk man. to you especially Any on your time, birthday brother. hell yeah man hey congratulations hey, mike thanks jeff thanks yeah. guys hey are you sending it back to the hog barn well we got a couple uh, problems with the hog barn right now <laughs> you're in a dog house in the hog barn do, do you really think he's mad at me <laughs> he'll get over it i mean i'm getting messages saying decker's, mad at at me. decker's irritated well the best thing to do is we let it go and then we just start barking at Ben and uh, and uh, skinny? skinny. Skinny. We'll take. Let's take it to Skinny. <laughs> yeah. Scripted Skinny. Scripted Skinny. I'm right here. I mean, scripted no, Skinny. I don't understand. The tr does the truth hurt, Bob? Let's not go there. Okay. All right, back to the hog barn. <laughs>
<laughs> love you, Dexter. <laughs> Better love probably your last time on. <laughs> So, oh, I love it. You got Alex out there with the crash cam, and boy, there's some stuff that got junked. Oh, yeah. There. And that was a way to go out with it, junking on the way. Yeah. And standing it up and not nothing, just skinny pedal express. <laughs> Mike DeFresa, congratulations, bud. God, he worked for that. Oh, yeah. He worked for that. Oh, and these Sueys were just sending it down oh. the track. You know, those Sueys wanted a piece of something out there. And I won't lie, the most Sues I've seen run back our way besides California is this way, to yeah. the east. Yeah, they're still running them this way quite a bit too. And, and TJ's bumper bracket rule for kind of oh yeah, it, you know, puts a ball yeah. Yeah, and that's what that's why a lot of areas they vacated from it because everybody started changing mm -hmm. the bracket rule, which benefited the Sues. But yeah, I'm sorry. Let's go a little bit farther. When you say that, what do you mean? Longer bumper brackets? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> As in, getting you past 12 that sweet. Tell it's, us, tell yeah, us. I'm not ten, in, ten inch is nice, but you, fourteen, oh baby, <laughs> yeah, they got yeah, all they need. Yeah. But a ten inch will get them into where you need them to be, yeah. you know. Yeah. But I'm gonna say, if I'm ever running the Sueys, it's got to have a rear GM bumper on the front. Mush nose flat, keep it like an Imperial. You want it just a mush in, yeah. and a rear GM bumper fits so nice on the front of a Sui because you can get so much welded to the beam yep yep out front you know at All the right. beam of a Sui what's it what's that word I don't know now let me ask you when you're welding to the, the body of it yeah right yeah because beam it's is body it's, right? yeah it's technically a unibody car yeah, so. that's true across sort of right you're putting it right on top of the beam so the bottom of your bumper is uh -huh. on the top of the beam no I'm asking no no, I'm not on top. No. You're flat with it? Yes. You're smooshing into the beam? Yes. Like an Imperial? Yeah. Yes. I want yeah. them both I'm yes. together. I'm asking. I've never built yes. one. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Rear GMs work great on them, just like a Mopar flat works great on the front of a GM. Mm -hmm. Yep. But they're, <laughs> I mean, it, they, did, they, I think they, they perform pretty decent. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, then you got the um, Lovejoy had tough luck with his with his. Let me say hi to this Grand young Prix. lady. Hold on one second. Go ahead. Yeah, no, he, you're absolutely. Uh, Lovejoy seemed like he's fighting. Um, 18 Lovejoy fighting heat. Oh, yeah, yeah, from yeah. From the yeah, word go. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Even in the pits, it didn't look like it was, you know, just all there. Right there. Yeah. Yes. That young girl used to have a Power Wheels and. She had her power wheel said Decker on the side of it. Oh. Remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. For years, she ran a Decker power wheel. Every nice. time I see her, I just want to hug her. She's not <laughs> running them anymore, huh? Well, now she's probably in the youth division. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Just watching these, you know, it's Gotta so crazy it. how fast kids grow, you know, because it's like, oh, this is a little kid. No, she's like, like now she looks like. Totally yeah, but Decker, you're so used to seeing him as, we call them track rats back west. So, you know, all our kids as they grew up, we call them track rats, yeah, and that's yeah. literally what they yep. were. And you knew who they belonged to, where right. they went, yes. and they were allowed to do wherever, or be wherever on the, you know, yeah, running you knew around who the, the pits. parent was, sure. Yes, sure. yeah. They were, like, confined, right? Yep. So, no, you're right to see him involved. Like, I'm looking back at Hunter and all his friends, man, that I know him all. Maury's kid, you know, Michael Maury and Seth and all of them, and Little Bugs, and these guys have been together 15, 16 years, yep. always at the derbies together. Yeah, I laughed at some of the pictures you put up of Hunter when he was like. Yeah, right? It's like, dang, huh? You would have uh, thought he would have never grew into what dang, he is, huh? you know? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You were little. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was listening to y'all chime in on that derby. That's the same uh, weekend as our county fair. I was telling you, like, y'all need to come south. But, yeah, you guys are running the imps yeah. up there July 23rd. You know, it's tough in the middle of summer. It's tough to put on standalones yeah. because there's so many fairs. And sure. It's so hard to peel drivers from their county fair. Oh, well, yeah. A lot of us, I haven't run my county fair in seven or eight years, but a lot, yeah. of, a lot of people, That's if they're going to run anything, yeah, oh it's yeah. their county fair. I'm, I'm then that, they go somewhere. I'm that one. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm that one. Yeah, you are that one. I'm that, that Well, person. luckily your car's done for this year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just got to come up with a lot of money. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I want to say thank you to Alex there running that camera, getting us all that carnage out there. Great job, Alex, all for him racing. Dude, and that wagon is in. Thank you to all our oh, sponsors. It's perfect, right? All those sponsors you guys see rolling at the bottom there, those are all our sponsors. Support them, please. They support us. Take care of them. We got a lot of them.
back of that wagon is folded She's all right in now, nice, yeah. And folded yeah. in nice. <laughs> Amen. What, and you know what? He don't have a lot of work to do really on that front. Ben, he was really squaring up nice yeah. and really driving that front end hard and deep. Yep. Oil pan deep, we've been told this weekend. Oil pan <laughs> deep. Okay, I never heard that. Well, I mean, in, in not for nothing, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a, uh, a Vic driver by no means, but Mad Mike has driven his share of Vicks. Hey, man. Oh, yeah, know? absolutely. So, in my opinion, I mean, just from what I've seen, when you're in a Vic, you, you want to hit square. Yeah. And he's so used to hitting square with a Vic. I sure. Mean, he's, he, he was yeah, and it took him right here, exactly. In the you're mode, right. and he's he's hitting square, you yep. know. So that's that's kind of a nice thing about it. Amen. Know? His name fits him. Yep. Now that I've seen, that's I, that's the first time I'll say I've ever seen Mike Dirt besides, wasn't he out there at Dead Man in Maryland? Right? Yes. So I did see him yeah. there, yeah. Yes. Yep. But, like, really to say I watched him now. Right. Start to finish, just let her eat. Dude, one time I watched him. Remember when him and Steve Sayopa at Brookville duked it out for like 45 minutes? Mad Mike and Steve Sayopa. You remember oh, that? Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah they Steve battled. had the war attack, and they just battled, battled. two of them for like 45 minutes. It's like, yep. and none of them made a mistake, you know. I, I, I do enjoy watching that when you're watching some drivers just – you know the first one to make a mistake's out, right? And it's like that; those are fun nights to watch. Yeah. Interview here, Mike and TJ, just really Bill, getting it. Bill, did you want to go to a commercial or something? You want to go to a commercial? Tomorrow's his birthday. It's close. Close enough. Hey, have Easter birthday for Mike. My name is TJ McCullough, a.k.a. The Dead Man. I'm with my beautiful wife, Kayla, Dead Girl. We are Dead Man Derby Productions. We're here today at the Fayette County Fairgrounds in Dunbar, PA, for No Mercy 2. It's the second coming of the hearse. We are ready. It's going to be a jam-packed evening. We have 12 different classes, over 300 cars registered. We're here to bury the competition, to show no mercy. We're about ready to get started. A Dead Man Derby Productions got started in 2022, which was crazy because it was a COVID year. And that's absolutely insane. People always ask us. How did how was it starting off in a year like that? And it was such a big challenge, but we we, we dug deep. We had an amazing support from our fans and our drivers. And sure enough, here we are, we've survived. And now it's time to turn it up to the next notch. And what I really love is what Kayla has done to really add to that next level, to turn that up and put Dead Man in a different direction. 
So when TJ came to me with this idea, if you know TJ, you know he's level 100, 110% in everything he does. So I said, if we're going to do this, we have to do it wholeheartedly. And we've really decided that we want to be more than just a derby. We want to be more than just a show. We're Dead Man Derby promotion. So we're going to promote a whole event from you. From the moment you walk through the front gate to all of our staff we have, every, every part of the show, something for kids, something for your family. Um, even our apparel line. So we pulled um, Dead Man Derby Apparel Company and started that. And then at the end of last year, we added to that with Dead Girl Apparel. So we really try to have something for everybody, the guys, the girls, the young, the old, come make an experience and be part of our family. Girls absolutely love to shop. And that's one thing is that Kayla has given her twist to her apparel line to make the girls. Hey, listen, when you come to a dead man show, if you got kids, we got something for you. If you got a wife, we have shopping for you. I mean, what more could you want? And if you're a Derby fan and you love Demolition Derby, this is the place to be. Now, let me tell you why we're different. And I really think that that is so hard to drive home to some people until you actually feel it, until you're here. I always say that Dead Man Derby Productions is a feel. You really need to be here to understand what we're all about. What we want to do is be different on a level. And what I like to do is keep you guys on the edge. And what I like to do is make you not feel comfortable on the track. For far too long, everybody's driven on that track and said, I don't get nervous anymore. I even say it. I challenge you promoters, get out there, make your drivers nervous don't give them that confidence put them on the track throw something at them and see how they react because that is television that is action you want to see a real true response come here tonight watch track shot live tonight and watch what we're going to do with this mercenary let me show you some of the things that we do we have a 1972 cadillac hearse this is the mercenary this car was clipped with an 03 and newer front frame section. It's got kickers going down to behind the A-arms. It's got a cage that runs all the way back. The rear bumper is attached to the cage. This thing is an absolute monster. We ran this last year. Andrew Myers came out and showed that death was there. He absolutely put on a show in this car and we brought it back for its second coming. This time, we're gonna give one lucky fan a chance to drive this on Saturday night to close out the entire No Mercy 2. Really looking forward to seeing who wins this thing, who turns it up. We do different twists. We do triple threats in our constellation. So don't think that you can just park with your buddy because we might make you fight to the death to get to the feature with your buddy. You never know what I'm going to do. And let me tell you right now, there's 330 guys here today that have no clue what's about to happen. Everything else is just a derby. This is Dead Man. Mr. Mark. Well, invite me to my house. Thank you, brother. We're back at it, everybody Thank here. You. Thank you very much. Thank Ran you, you some videos there. Mark, thanks, brother. Appreciate you. Good see you, Mark. <laughs> <of America>. Amen. <laughs> Mark Elliott with us. Great job, Mark. I uh, lost the way. Here it is. Yeah, where'd you go? I laugh at that because Mark always says... You know, you got a good hand, handshake, but he don't realize that this is the hand I broke. <laughs> <laughs> the right hand? How'd you get along? Huh? How'd you get along like without the right? Like having a new girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mary was back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I told the doctor. There we are. I, <laughs> I told the doctor that they fall off the chair. Oh, oh, Lordy. Had fun with that one. Who turned on the closing lights? Bill loves these damn lights. Yeah, I hate these stupid yeah. lights. We, we, you don't we, even care to see us. I we, know, like we boycotted them last. Decker, night. there's people that actually enjoy looking at you. you know, what's <laughs> That's got? why Decker never has his face what's in his he got videos. What's going on with the camera <laughs> down there? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He's he's going that way. You, you are, what, was the, what was the neighbor from uh, Mr. Wilson that you could only see his eyes yeah, over? Yeah. <laughs> That's Decker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like showing my face. Oh, I love it. I love looking at it. I got it next to my bed, too. <laughs> like you got mine next to yours. I do have your picture next to my bed. It's odd that I do. Yeah, it's okay. But you're in a picture with a million dollars. So yeah. It's, it's, it's worthy. It's worthy. <laughs> <laughs> it's worthy. <laughs> yep. Yep. One time Skin and I had our hands on one million dollars. <laughs> kind of. Good times. <laughs> 
Vegas was so much fun. The first Vegas Derby ever was like, God, I wish. It was a blast, buddy. God, it was fun. Love to go back there. Take this clay. having fun. Take this clay and ship it to Vegas, oh. and we would have a banging yeah. show. I wonder if but I'm a firm believer, bone stocks is the only thing that belongs there, like Florida, and you can have the greatest show. Or they got it running on blacktop, right? Uncle Amen. Bill, Uncle Bill, what are you doing down there? He's climbing. He's I checking his somebody, batteries. I wonder if somebody unplugged it. Oh, well, battery, it's wireless mic. Wireless, wireless mic. Yeah, Hunter says his battery's dead. Uncle Bill. Sorry, everybody. It's, we're getting long in the tooth here. People, listen to me. Last <laughs> time we all go to dinner. We've been going to dinner the last two nights oh, in a row. And I want to apologize to everybody there on the chat and everything. Yes, we do have people watching it. Mod There's, yes, we know we have bots on there. Yes, we know they're getting spammed out. We're trying to kick it out. All you do is help us and report that stuff, please. Is it on YouTube there. or It's on Facebook. YouTube, Deck. No, it's YouTube. America, I'm sorry. We don't, I mean, like, yeah. I, and Micah and, and Sauer and all the guys are trying to help on the backside. We yeah. apologize. I it's, sat out here trying to get rid of but, you know, it happens, right? It's. Well, it is social media. Where's YouTube? Where's YouTube protecting Yeah, yeah. Why don't YouTube yeah. protect, you protect us? They're, lo yeah. they're looking for uh, music copyright. Exactly. Yeah. They're going to get the national anthem, but they can't stop the bots. <laughs> yeah, right. Come on. <laughs> they're sending them all over from walks we of life. I wish we would just wipe out all social media and start from <laughs> scratch. They're, they're all garbage. They're getting a cut of it. Damn right, Ben. Oh, they're all I love garbage. It. It's probably one of their employees, disgruntled employees. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get the mail delivered to him. Yeah, no. we apologize about that. I don't know what to do about that. Right? Yeah, I, there well, is that, adult we that try to stay ahead of it. There's, there's billion dollar companies is getting that crap done to them. Right. That have exactly that getting have, paid I, to do that. Yeah, BS. That, ha that have you know twenty five IT staff. You oh know, yeah. Around the clock that are like Einsteins when it comes probably hackers. They yeah. pay hackers to work for them. Real quick, May seventh, we're going to be in Missouri. Palmyra, Missouri. Filthy Promotions, Skinny, yeah. and, Skinny Bobble. and Bobby. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a good time. Yep. We're going to be at uh, 448 Design. No, there. Yeah, actually oh. do work. Yeah. 448 Designs <laughs> in Iowa. And yep. Skinny and I are going. To, that's on a Friday, Saturday. And yep. then Skinny and I will be on Sunday in yep. California. So, America, you're going to get to watch Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Iowa, Iowa, Cali. Kelly. And I actually might get to run in Cali. Nice. I might get to run, which I'm super excited about. Um, I wish people build me cars, Decker. What do you do to get I them cars? I warned you about this. Remember, I told you about this earlier in the year that I was going to make this happen. I'm running in Utah too. God, you are you are everybody's just go to build me I a got car. I got a van go. next week. I'm, I'm 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 no. I'm going back to running 20 times a year. I'm going back to what makes me happy. You see some smile on my face today? I need more of that in my life, and I'm going to go back to that. Your bumper matches your face, smiling. <laughs> okay, I'm cool with that. I don't know where that was gonna go, but I'm fine with that. <laughs> no, yeah, because we go there, then we're in Missouri. Then Missouri. Then we go to um, the end of the month. Correct. We got that damn derby. Nebraska. Damn derby, yes. Which we love. Will I mean Steinbeck? Yep, they're putting together a great show again, folks out there. That away, even wherever you're at, that damn derby. Look them up. Well, I'm excited about Missouri because that's a new area for us. That's, sure. That's a lot of. The same groups have kind of showed that area, but now we're kind of we're a new new life in that sure. area, and I'm yep. excited. And uh, Filthy Promotions is excited, so I don't know. I'm a lot of people stepped up for us this year, and I'm excited about it. So then, yeah, then we got Damn Derby. Then we're going to New York, Mini Meltdown. We're gonna just junk stuff. 265 cars are already pre-registered, <laughs> America, and we're gonna junk stuff for two days in, in New York. You know how that goes. Clearwater, Minnesota. After that, now this is a good show. This is not one of Tix's shows. This is another show in Minnesota that we're going to go to. Clearwater, Minnesota, June 24th and 5th. July, all of July is quiet till the last two days. We're not doing much because it's fair season, everybody, right? And it's tough to compete against when you're at fair at a derby and we're trying to stream the same night. It's tough. But as you spoke earlier, we want to run our fairs too. We do And too, we yeah. all got our fairs in July, so it's yeah, kind of a mutual agreement. So July 29th and the 30th, we're going to be in Heber City, Utah. Heber $100,000 payout. Wasatch Wipeout? Wa it's, it's called, it's not Wasatch oh. Wipeout. Same called, place, though. But it's called Wasatch Derby because it is put on by the Wasatch. I forget. Maybe it's, it's a ro rodeo. Fair, folks. yeah. Fair rodeo, yeah. yeah. I got to deal with the fair board. Nice. Fantastic people. We're super excited about nice. that. Nice. Glad I'll to be, be back there. Bone stock that night also. I'll be in an 80 metric. Same thing I ran tonight. August 6th is Mobridge. Mobridge has been such a great one for us. Love Mobridge. I love Mobridge. Last year, Mobridge was one of the, damn, that's good action. The, the 
people junk stuff. I love the builds, mm -hmm. right? It's just good stuff, yep. Bullbridge. Two-man team is great to watch. Sir. It is. Linden, Washington. You're going I to go to – I love it. Linden, Washington. Was, I loved when they were jumping the ramps last year. Yeah, it broke that it up fun. nice. Dude, it wasn't – yeah, we all love Demolition Derby, but it's part of motorsports. And watching these guys crank off, the best was the four homies in the Accord wearing their seatbelts yeah. and locks. Yeah. All the guys went boing, boing and then hit. It was like in tandem. It was so that cool. Was fun. That was Dudes fun. in the backseat like they're riding a roller coaster yeah. put their hands up. <laughs> now we're going to go from the state of Washington to the state of Maine. Love it. Wow. You are, especially. Yes. Skinny's going to go coast to coast. Now we're in Maine and our friend... Mike Gilbert Memorial Derby in Skowegan, Maine. Our friend September Mike, 10th. September 10th. Our yes. friend Mike lost his son. It's a Memorial Derby. Skinny and I went last year. Hunter won three thousand bucks. Our kids are going. Our kids' vehicles are already up there, so our kids are already going to battle there. I'm going to take you back. I'm going to take you back in time. Yes, sir. You know, I'm going to take you back in time. And we're going to have fun that day. But you know, if you're someone that only can watch mod classes, just skip that one. This is going to be a day of pure fun. They let minivans run in the regular car classes. We're all taking minivans. Yes. Okay. Now, Morris, New York, we're back to San Filippo. On the 1st and 2nd of October, San Filippo smash two days. We'll smash 300 and something cars. There's so many great. Uh, we already have so many good things in the works, better than last year. Muscle car classes coming back. Cody got a 68 Charger. <laughs> 68 yeah. Charger. Yeah. We're going to smash it. It's going to be orange like Dukes of Hazard. It's going to be for real. We're going to put a <laughs> zero one or a, yeah, Cody wanted a zero, no, 85 for Cody, but we're going to make it just like Dukes of Hazard, right? Nice. And we're going to junk a 68 Charger. You getting clean. upset about that? You getting California upset about that? clean, no, I heard. No, no, <laughs> no. I heard each quarter panel is worth a half a rock. Now, after that, we're going to Tixie Show in Dakota County. Minnesota, we're going to be in Tixie Show, and the final one of the year is going to be back Dead at Man. Dead Man. Now, we don't know Maryland for sure. TJ said he'll figure it out. He'll let us know. He didn't want to let it out of the bag tonight. I'm cool with that. So, the end of the year, wherever Dead Man is going to be, we're going to be, and we're going to finish the year. So, that's our season. Our season's going to be killer. Again, we're coast to coast. We're in the middle. We're all over the place. I'm super excited about it. Nice. Great one, schedule. One time somebody told me that we would never be able to get yeah. to the West Coast. You'll yeah. never be able to get to the West Coast. Three bangers. Three bangers out there. And I'll tell you, the West Coast is great because they got so much iron. Yeah. So much iron out on the West Coast. And great food. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I was telling Ben about this. Imagine you lived in an area where you could have a car profit, preference, right, old iron. You only run 58 Mercs. You only run Sueys. Sure. You only run Caddies. Okay. Now, where I live, you have to take what you get. What right. comes for sale, you can afford at the time. No, no. These guys are picking 58 Mercs specific. Yeah. I want the fat frame only. Whatever. They can we still don't be get choosy. to do that. Yeah, yeah. They can yeah. still be choosy. And just to be out there and see that that was, it actually, like, made me feel good a little bit because, like, everyone says, Dermine's dad, there's no cars. What? Shit. I went to an area that still got that's still a thing where they got to go pick their cars and choose. And I got to hear about some stories of some honey holes and stuff and pictures of honey holes yeah, out there, yeah, right? Because yeah. I love honey holes, you know. Oh, yeah. There's guys with honey holes. There's some <laughs> honey holes in Cali. <laughs> honey holes, you know. I'm talking hundreds of cars. In sure. Honey holes. No, you're right, Dak. And out they there. can sit there forever. Yeah, but, you know, I'll say this. That was a place you went and got your wagons out of the West Coast. Now... There's no problem. The locals would tell you fifteen hundred. <laughs> yeah, right. Six hundred fifty bucks. I'll buy that way. Now yeah. paying thirty five plus for them, the locals. Sure. You know. Sure. So now it's tough to get one out of there. But then you're gonna go to the next car. It'll be caddies. You know. Oh yeah, two twenty five. Them damn near priced out like wagons right yeah. now. Yeah. Seventy three and four two door caddies. Oh, they're worth a couple bucks. We'll just take minivans out there and junk all that old iron. It don't matter. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Minivans are great, man. They are really fun. I, I, one thing Kansas, they allow us to run with the 80 and newer. You know, I don't, Compact I don't care for it, but I believe they belong in an SUV class. I like the mini SUVs, yeah. like the Mighty Minis Ticks runs. That's where Dakotas and stuff. That's where minivans yeah. should be, in my yeah. opinion. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree with that. All right, Compact, you want to go through Team Compacts? There's just a ton. Uh, it's a ton. This is Team Compact 
feature. Skeezer and Company, 777, Keith Brown out of Maryland, 187, Robert Stephenson, Lesby, Maryland, 810, Eric Soup out of Maryland. Then you got Rapid Fire, which is 211, Cody Adams, 17, Jared Stones, 94, Jeff Hand, all out of PA. Amateur Hour, 199X, Corey Herzog out of New York. Uh, Jim Smith, 20X out of New York. OK, Luke Hover out of Farmington, New York. Send it, 7, Hunter Klein, uh, 001, David Klein, 47X, Nick's, Nick Froney, all out of Ohio. Team Carnage, Tristan Blazer, 51, Aaron Smith, 54, Justin Foltz, all out of Virginia. Flirting with Disaster, 313, Cheyenne Andrews, 2469, Evan Barrel, RU18, Dylan Kissinger, they're out of PA. W and W Demo, Austin Davis, 76, Austin McCurdy, 512, Caleb White, all out of PA. Uh, Uniondale in Indiana. Dixon Derby Team, 117, Jeremy Dixon, 76D, Tyler Dixon, 13D, Seth, Seth Dixon, all out of PA, Forge City and Worthington. BWC Semper Fi Fat, 18, Cody Cloud, or Walker Cloud, 34, Tyler Dodd, 283, Scott Dravenix, Carlton, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio. Upstate Savages, 23X, Brett Hibbard, 13K, Ben Bryant, Byington, 1R, Raymond Patterson. They're pretty much all out of Bath, Naples, and Prattsburg, New York. New York Nasty, 315, Zach Herman, 18R, Patrick Dells, and 37W, Freddie White. Seneca Falls, Casterland, New York, and Oshmigo, New York. And that rounds up your three-man compact feature. Some right on. Of them, some of them might be a little light in... Uh, out of three man, you might see two. Seen two teams like that so far that have pulled yeah, out. Yeah, so this is gonna be this is gonna be a banger. This is gonna be pretty fast paced. These guys have been waiting a long time for to get sure. Here, get it done. There's some cars that are super stout yet. What up, skin dog? What up, Bobby? Backseat Bobby. Backseat Bobby. Oh, Did you it. tell everybody you went down Airport Road as a young child <laughs> before you could even see the light? I don't know what you're talking right about. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree, Ben. These guys and Bobby, they're going to send it, man. I don't – there ain't no bag in here, man. No, these, no. I don't care how much money down the line. I really don't believe these compact guys give two cra – it's nice, but they're here for bragging rights. They're after the hardware. Junk that, remember it, right? Oh yeah. Reapers. <clears throat> You'll never remember the fatties of the world winning, but you sure remember the Deckers getting them Reapers. Getting the Reapers. <laughs> Man, fatties done put Decker over the edge. Uh, I said hey. thank you very much. And you know what the funny thing is? Fatty leave. No. no, he's hanging. Right. So when I would always get in trouble, it'd be because something that <laughs> Bill would do and tell me to do. Well, tonight is the same thing. It's Bill. Bill telling Fatty what to do. <laughs> so I love Bill's it. Bill's an instigator. Yeah. Uncle I've learned Bill. it goes down the line here. Because he knows he can't fire Bill. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, said, I said, Fatty, I am so glad you came on because, bud, I'm sensitive and I got rode so hard last year <laughs> i'm like poor ben had to save me like three times a week you're still putting lotion on your chat uh -oh. <laughs> i was just lucky enough to get refriended by decker <laughs> on facebook i guess i can change uh. his name in my phone back to something normal now. <laughs> <laughs> the josh decker please yeah. <laughs> no i love it i love our group oh yeah our entire group everybody now you got Hunter I've heard over nothing there. but good things today with everything going on. Got Hunter they absolutely there love Bobby and switch Fatty. Crew, switch crew all, yeah. over there. All I know is he's 100% absolutely in trouble when the whole group is to get, gets together. Oh, show. yeah. Well, that's yeah. us. No, the whole, I mean. Like, I, well, Micah, we, didn't, we don't Micah, even have sawed-off stump ticks here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Micah, Imagine we had Micah, him. Micah, Tixie, Sour. I mean, it, it's. No, Michael's rolling with Decker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're super tight. Yeah. Hey, I'm really busy tonight, Josh. Can you do YouTube comments? <laughs> okay, Micah. 
I love it. <laughs> My gut's rolling right now. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes. Uh, oh, shoot. Yep. Uh, no, we've had a good one here. We're all slap happy. We're at the end yeah. of the wire here. Man, Long, cold day. This is a damp for all day, and it's to everybody's bones. There's I've some told bars. these. There's some oh, yeah. There. It's full. Yep. Ben, I'm going to need you to start bringing firewood, please, when you drive. we got plenty of barrels. We just we can fire up a bump I barrel here, a man. I have trunk of fire. Trunk right. right back. It's got we could be 43s feeling. and firewood. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bring it to the next one, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> It'll still be there <laughs> with my 23s, so I still feel like I'm a derbier. Yeah. Have you got tire wood? Bring that tire wood, too, please. I got tire wood. Yeah. We can start that up for you. <laughs> I totally was going to bring I have that little propane heater, and I'm like, oh, no, it's going to be nice. Yeah, we, I said the same thing. Huh. Yeah, we all... We all pooped the bed, Fred. Yeah. I did I did uh, so much so that I had to borrow blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Yeah. Oh, you didn't you only shorts? Yeah. Wow. I, that's how I always do. All right. Yeah, you are a short wearer. I don't see you in pants too often. All right, here we go. Man, this is gonna be Three good. man compact features. Who y'all calling at home? Let's hear it. I wanna know who's winning at home. Chime in, post it. Let's go. I wanna hear it. YouTube and Facebook. Who's winning it? Go. Oh, yeah. 8-10. Dropping it right off the bat. Wow, is there a lot of compacts, guys? Yeah, there is. Look at them all. Good old days of the big features of old iron now have sprung to compact. Yep. Where the show is at. It is the show now. Absolutely. Yeah. Compact drivers are the show, if you ask me. We need to put Ben in one because they build a bunch of pedals and see the steering wheel. We gotta get Ben in one. A Dodge Dynasty. Come on, Ben. You can probably just make that thing work. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a Mopar, Ben. Dodge out, Few of the teams are doing really well staying together, man. Oh, that man. little wagon is just on a mission yeah, to junk stuff like he's been doing. And the lights are still uh, in the back flickering. Yeah. We have the colored lights in there. Oh, yeah, right? They got the party disco going on yeah. still. Saturday Night Fever, Bobby. So last year, they only lasted a minute in their heat race. Now this year, oh, was that the, the minute future. crew? Yeah. Right on, cool. Well, they surpassed that by 12 seconds. Yeah. Woo -hoo! Uh -huh. Red oh, flag. I'm over the wall. Fire department's running down there. What is it? Yeah, they flipped the car over. It's over the other end. See it? Flipped it yep. up on the side. Yeah. I love this class. Oh, was that Nimrod or is that one of Dulles' cars that was flipped up? Yeah. Huh. Freddie White, Oswego, New York, guys. It was almost over. I love these tires so much better than K Rail Skinny. I know. I'm. I Bobby. I'm agreeing with you guys. I heard y'all speaking about them earlier, and I 100% agree. There's a safer bear. There's they are. A safer yeah. Bear for uh, for demolition derby, like NASCAR has theirs. Yes. The track. Yep. Red flag. Out 
if somebody's hurt. Might be. Too bad Uncle Bill wasn't on the drone. He could be flying right over. Yeah, he put the drone away. When it started raining, yep. he said that ain't flying. Real news. Huh? Real news. Well, real. It's not fake news. It's real news. It's real. Yeah, we're not CNN. Sorry. Yeah, fake yeah. news. <laughs> Marcy Mitchell checking in. All the way down there in Parent, Texas. Redbeard's wife. Yeah. Watching. I bet they're not in sweatshirts. <laughs> they probably got one of them fires going. Yeah, a little fire. It looked chilly down there. My homie, I don't know who Tiny is, but they got a party going on, and they actually had the deck heaters going, so I think it's a little chilly that way, too. Well, you say duck heaters? Deck. Deck heaters. heaters. They're propane. Propane heaters. Brings in the rattlesnakes on the porches, you know. Right. Rattlesnakes. <laughs> Skin dog. Bobby Ben huh? Skin dog live. He's a Hunter and Bill getting it. Skin Snapchat dog it. is. You are a multitasker, Skinny. Yeah, you liked that, didn't you? Yes. Oh, good shot. Oh, Look at that front end, right? Oh, hey, that little wagon was hurt, but he actually just frowned that wagon some more. Triple seven just buried her in the middle of the track on this end. He got out of it. So much action on the track going all over the place. Ben, it's, it's watching an old tennis match right here, bud. This is playing Pong, Ben, yeah. on Atari. You remember them days? <laughs> Frogger. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, like level 10 Frogger. <laughs> This was getting on some of them for not hitting. I've definitely seen a lot of engines coming loose this weekend. Yeah. Well, I like Maryland's track, but I'm this track is pretty dang nice, man. Oh yeah. Nice. I, I just love how square up and big it is, wall to wall, man. Well, tire to tire. Wow, they're just punishing 13D. is just getting it on 18 down here on this end. He got out, though. Man, making that right turn is just not good. You guys are getting pinched. 810 with the disco frown front end, still getting oh, it done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are some bright lights inside their car. Let him in, but don't let him out. Good shot. Took him right off A10, though. Yeah, he A10 has a shot. Oh, follow the He returned. Oh, he returned the favor. 70 60. Driver off the steering wheel, head off the A-pillar, and neck off the headrest. Whoa. Wow. The shots you don't see, guys.
Rapid fire looking good. Yeah, though. There's so much action, it's hard to follow it. Yeah, Upstate Salvage is really still looking good. Oh, here comes the big one. Nice. Oh, oh, his head hit the steering wheel. Good thing he has a neck brace on, Bobby, because wow. he sure used it. Wow. Bounced it right off the steering wheel. <laughs> Slanky going down yeah. the stairs there. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you see him? He just grabbed yeah. his helmet. Just watching this just reminds me why I'm never getting into one of these compacts. <laughs> Maybe if I wanted to ride around in a rascal the rest of my life. <laughs> right. These things are just rough. Man. It is crazy. Uh, man. And then you talk to these guys and some of them are like, yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the ones that didn't get tracked yeah. up on the wall. Yeah. Again, I think that's just stickers on his helmet. I don't think he's wearing a neck brace. He uses he straight up uses a steering wheel to save his neck. <laughs> right. Wow, that was a hit. Thank you, everybody out there watching. Appreciate it all. Love to get to y'all, but just can't get to y'all. These upstate savages, the three of them are just hanging together. And they're just staying in the corner, and they're just taking people off. Which color is that? Upstate savages, the, the, these guys. Oh, I see them, yep. And where are they from? What are you thinking? Oh, they're, that's Hubbard, Clayton, and Patterson. They're out of bad Naples and Bradford. Nice. That's a weird place for your overflow. Look at that car just fitting out the fender. Yeah. All right, Cameron says amateur. My pick is amateur hour or upstate savage. All the smoke, it's hard to tell how many cars are still running. It's like his radiator hose just let loose right here. Oh, yeah. Bumper on the track. <laughs> Earlier tonight, man, in the mini cars, I've never seen so many airbags go off. Oh, I know. It must be a prerequisite. You gotta let leave one of your airbags in. 
Well, what it is is a lot of times you just you get focused on that one in the steering wheel and you forget the one on the passenger side dash. This car buried pretty high. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh man. They're like four deep right there. Piling in right here. He's laying down some hits. Yeah. yeah. Oh, seven R is it or one R from Upstate Savage? He's just working this corner down here. Him and 76D are in a battle. Yeah, he just got it done over here on his teammate three. Okay. It's 23 to help clear out that 76D. There it is, good shot. We're down a quick seven, eight here. Yeah. Right, 10, we're sitting around 10 or 11. Sorry, can't see the other end, but that's what it's looking about like. Seventy six D and seven R in this corner up uh, by us. Uh, Just bad. don't want to leave each other alone. No. These guys have been in it. He's gotta get out of those. Seven R's gotta get out of seventy six D is hot and bent hard. Tranny slipping it sounds like. I think uh, the one R you think he's a lone wolf out Okay, there it now. is one R, my bad. Okay, yeah. He thought, is. Yeah, I believe is, yep, you're right, Ben. His teammate just uh hovered yeah. just the one one seven. I'd be cutting that wheel hard if he's gonna try to go back. Cut it hard left. Swing that driver's side around in front of him. He's been trying to get out of that corner. I think he's just helping him back in there every time. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah, but I was about to say, here comes his homie. Thirteen C coming in there hard on one R. Upstate Savage. They're down to one. No 
more reverse. Again, you know, after this, Hunter ain't going to want to upgrade uh, cats anymore. He's going to be flying everywhere with Bill. <laughs> guys are hooked up here. Yeah, a little push. Oh, he's going to get a peg one here in a second. This track's so long, it's hard to see the other end to see how many yeah. are moving. Yeah, there's all of 10, I think, running. Nice thing about these headsets, it keeps your ears warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're trying to get 76D's attention, if I'm not mistaken. He's done. Is it him or the one, or the one on? I think the other guy's done. They're trying to get a hold of 76D. They're going to throw a red if they don't help him. Yeah, TJ's got the light. TJ's got the light on him right now. It's a heck of a show TJ has here. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen one disappointment yet. Third year. It got quiet really fast. Yeah, it did. It's just nervous. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three, four, five. Five or six? Six, yeah, I'm seeing seven. I'm seeing seven. We just lost a quick three down here. This end's all beat up, clogged up like I-94 oh. through Chicago. And the <laughs> far end over there is like yeah. living in the country, wide open. Oh, yeah. That, that old guy's the green, lime green and black in the middle. It looks like he's getting ready to lose his bumper. The 13 car, possibly. Can't get through there. Yeah, that bumper's just hanging on there, Bob. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> He's going to get the nickname Bumper Bob. <laughs> yeah, passenger side <laughs> is definitely just barely hanging on.
Four to five. Amateur hour. There's one of them left in it. Two of them in there, all right. Ah, uh, it got pretty got pretty still down the other end. Yeah. yeah. Wow. They just go from like five to two. <laughs> yeah, Ben. Ben Ha. Ben Ha, huh? Ben Ha. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, you, you're very, yeah. We got two left. Well, that might have been a, that might have been a kill shot. Amateur hour, and who's the other one? Uh, Hard to see it. Is that um, is it that one? Uh, sorry, Ben, I'm trying to, not riding, right? I couldn't hear what Mark said, Elliot. Did he is say it a rapid fire? Pin? Maybe. Can they do pin to win in the feature? Yes. Yeah, it's team show. Backing up, makes a hit. How did Fatty get back in the trailer? Oh, Josh isn't here. Oh, yeah. Who is the amateur and who? Who won it? What's the other one? Sorry, guys. That's crazy how it just was that like. That almost says about a half hour heat. Uh, would that be Dixon Derby team? Is that who won it down there? I, the car sure. looks black. I'm not for sure. Sorry, everybody. Well, it's all the way at that far end we'll of the have, track. We'll have uh, we'll have Alex down there. He's gonna basically have our. Uh, you'll be able to see who it is. Sure. We don't have our binoculars. Uh, he's walking up here, Bill, between the cars, middle of the track. So what's next, the pro stock feature? Yes. Uh-oh, here we go. Fatty's bringing them. Fatty's the, got You got the flashlight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Fatty. Fatty's like, I got a trophy like that. Except it says D. Oh, <laughs> baited him with the trophy. Yeah. <laughs> you want it, come get it. Ready, Hunter? Fatty moving people for us. There we go. Fatty's on top of it. Ready? Nice to get them all lined up in there. He was bragging how he used your beard comb. Mm -hmm. Skin dog. Wow. Is that thing on? It's on. We didn't get interviewed last night. It wasn't on. It's on tonight, boys. You guys <laughs> made, it, made it to the big show tonight. I'll tell you that. Wow. What was you guys thinking when it come down to the last three teams there? Third was at least good. <laughs> I didn't know it was down to the last three oh, to I the last guy. guy. <laughs> I know that guy. He's from up on the I don't even know what to say. I'm just pumped right now, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, do you guys run a lot of these team shows? or this time First time together. Do you guys run a lot of local shows together? Yeah. Or? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. 
Congratulations, guys. Thank Anybody you. you guys want to thank or anything? Yeah. Over here, here, man. I got to thank this guy. We talked like every <laughs> night for the last month. Coming yeah, up let's with, step over. Let's step over come, a little bit. All right, yeah, right here. Coming up with tips and tricks. We called each other every single night for the last month. I got to thank him, my girlfriend, for dealing with it. Luke. My dad. We got to thank my dad. He's helped us a lot on the cards. He's a motor head, so I want to thank I want to thank these two guys, my son, and my family. My wife puts up with a lot. My family was here. My father-in-law came out to help us this weekend. It was an awesome time. Family trip. Great time with my friends. It's a good time. Nothing more better than family and friends. Congratulations again, guys. We're coming back next year to defend the title. <laughs> you guys better watch Shake out. Shake and bake, baby. Shake, Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Amateur hour in the house. Back to the hall. Amateur Park. hour winning it. Okay. Congrats to them, guys. Woo. Great. Awesome. Well, I'm here to tell you, we're going to definitely be able to play some really long commercials uh, after this because uh, it's going to take a little bit to clean this off. Oh, yeah, it'll be a minute. We're going to light a fire in the meantime. All right. Oh, I bet he's excited. <laughs> he can get on. I'll lock the door, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah. Fatty. This, is, this ain't my normal head, so I guess. That's all right. How we doing, gentlemen? Fatty, man, you were on like a hiatus or something for a little while. Uh, well, yeah, I had like some... You know, behind the scene things. Behind the scene stuff. Yeah, okay. no, behind okay. the scene things. Okay. okay. All right. Yes, sir. Man, what a heat. Whew. Yeah, Tell it was like what. there was like 15 cars, and all of a sudden there was like seven. Yeah, they dropped fast. Yeah, it when went it, fast. It went boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And it was only about a half hour. That's wild. About a half hour. That's good. That's good timing. That was a track full of cars. And then we're going to come out and have Pro Stock feature with 14 in it. On that track? Yep. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. That's going to be amazing. Yep. Now, when you go out there and interview them, you always try to get the trophies that, because you haven't had too many of those in. What, I mean, really, the money's great, but the trophy's yeah. awesome. You yeah. Know? So I always want to show the, the, the trophy, because they'll, they'll get to look at that the rest of I their life. Well, I the, didn't know if you were trying to, like, show it off for them, or just because you don't get very many of those. No, um, no, no. Well, the big, tall ones, I got probably eight of the six yeah. footers but oh, the important ones eight. important ones what yeah. what would you get that a belt buckle or was that that crystal the crystal no i got a ring for them oh the ring yeah okay, and then they give you that trophy with zizzleman standing on the top of oh okay it. Yeah, okay that's yeah, pretty okay, cool okay. and then your name goes on the one the big one yeah but does it does it say fatty no <laughs> it should though it should <laughs> i wonder whatever happened to that big trophy Oh. Like, like it put all the winners on it, like the Stanley yeah. Cup. I wonder, wonder Maybe what they it's ever. Maybe the Smithsonian. Wonder what they ever did with that. It's probably in California. I think, there, I think there was only like nine people that won that. I think they had like nine of them. I think. And Tobe won two. The doctor. The doctor. doctor. The love doctor. Uh, the love doctor. <laughs> I remember Kept being there one year and he was pushed up on something's back wheels and I'm like, oh no, and he just pulled right back down. Man, what aggravates me with Tobe is. They give you a hat when you won. It says, like mine said, 2002 Dent Champ. Dude, I wore this thing out so bad. My grandma had to put Velcro back on the back of it, so it snapped. Toby's looks brand new. Oh, yeah, because it's not wore, a visor. Yeah, yeah know, it's, not a visor. it's not a visor. It's not a Nothing. And then he sends you pictures of, you know, flipping you off with both rings on the finger. Does yeah. he actually play golf? He should. He looks like a golfer. That's what I was going to say, because he the visor. Like, like seriously, if, if he was standing on a golf course and there was, like, a hundred people there. Would you pick him to be the great derby driver? No, golfer. No, no golfer. Not. Golfer. No, golfer. Yeah, golfer or a frat kid on vacation. <laughs> Guaranteed, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, on yeah, vacation because yeah. you know. Yeah, we. Yeah, yeah. He, he has and a picture of me. He wins and he's got a Eric Eric freaking sweatshirt on. Oh yeah. You know, you oh know, yeah. It's like okay, you got your you got your Louis Vuittons. Yeah, his your, polos. You know, your and, Gucci's. Yeah. You're gonna go put your Gucci's on. Uh, Z Cavaricci's. Yeah. <laughs> you had the Z Cavaricci's yeah. on. <laughs> oh. I'm I, 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 busting his balls like this. I, next time I see him, he's going to punish me. Oh, yeah. 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 All so you got to do is get on your step stool and he'll be six inches taller and he won't touch you. I'm already tall. Or, or if you just, like, do this with your fingers, Spirit, that will scare him. Spirit fingers? If you just spread your hand out and show him you have fingers <laughs> that will scare him scare him oh, <laughs> really yeah i should have done that when i was derby <laughs> i don't know how he holds the steering wheel to be honest 
You know, I never. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> when I see first time I met him, I was like, I thought you'd be taller. Yeah. But. Yeah. So, man, we get skinny out there dancing, dancing. So are we? Uh, are we, is tonight going to be a sheets night or uh, hey, Applebee's everything? Again? I guarantee you everything's going to be closed when we get out of here. I don't think you're getting this out of here tonight. I think we're going to come back in the morning. I'm not. This because they're going to they're going to have to dig this out. Remember? Guess what? This this SOB is coming out of here tonight. It will be hooked to my truck and it will be back at the ben, hotel. I gotta drive home tonight. Why? I got my babies. This Easter Bunny's coming tonight. Gotta be there when they wake up in the morning. Hmm. It's only three and a half. I'm. Yeah, I, I, I get to wake up in with Ben Ha for uh, Easter. Man, that's the best bunny uh, in the world. It's, here yeah. we go. Here we go. Yep. I get to crack the eggs in the bed and. <laughs> Feed them. <laughs> uh, oh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, After today, they're, well, they're for sure hard boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's why I want to leave the trailer tonight so we can go back and color eggs tonight together. Yeah. Yeah, I got a picture from my wife sent me a picture of Vivian, my, my five year old. She was collaring eggs tonight. So, yeah. So, yeah, I got to make sure I'm there in the morning. She told me when I come in to wake her up. Yeah, I'm probably not nice. going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I bet LJ be waiting. Oh, LJ, it, it, he's he'll probably about waiting. out by now. Yeah. Bet he'll be excited to see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah he. I got, Is he excited that you actually got real friends now? I think so. Like he's probably like, dude, get away from me. <laughs> get a life, Dad. Get he's a like, life, I'm Dad. Seven, dude. I don't want to hang out with you all the time. <laughs> yeah. He's something else, man. I tell you what, no matter how bad a day you're having, you walk in and. There ain't nothing but love from that boy. I love getting like your snaps or whatever oh, when he's dude. down working on the derby car. Oh or whatever. yeah, yeah, he likes that. He likes it. until you start it. When you start, he's gone. He said, "I'm gone." <laughs> right? Yeah, he ain't about that. Uh, Alex giving us some great footage down on the track. All the carnage. You can't beat Alex. No. All for him racing. You He's cannot beat that. Yep. His, his 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 truck's all wrapped and stuff, and it says where Derby never ends. And he's exactly right for Correct. him. He Correct. he's always always going. And I love how it's a family thing with him. Like his wife, most of the time goes. Sometimes oh, they yeah. take their kids. I just love it. He's such a family man. Well, it's wild. I, I remember his early videos where he's yeah. videoing from the grandstands yeah. and stuff, you know. And they were still great videos then, yeah. you oh, know. Yeah. And, but, man, where, where he's come from is just unbelievable. Yeah. And, and you won't meet a nicer guy no. than Alex. No. I mean, Do you tell everybody that? Because that's what you told I, me. No, I think that just people's really nice to me, Bob. They're not jerks to me like they are you. So I just really think everybody's nice. No wonder Decker's mad at you. I don't know. You just don't have people skills, bud. Well, I'm working on it. Okay. Thank God you got Ben to bail you. Oh, yeah, don't hang around me if you want people skills. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Well, I mean, just to get him out of trouble. He's oh. been fired like three Whoa. times a night. Yeah, I think he's yeah, got the he's record broke, over he's me. He broke your record. Yeah, 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 yeah he broke yeah, my ben, record. But, but, yeah. all, but Ben's fired me twice so <laughs> out of the three. So. Because Ben. Because I've to, never done that. Yeah. Oh, you never fired anybody? Never fired. I'm anybody. your first. Yeah, that's special. I popped Ben's cherry. Yeah. Oh, whoa, that's whoa. special. That's special. I'm. We got the eggs tonight. We can you, <laughs> Sorry. Like, do you got to get on my guy? <laughs> Sorry. I mean to intrude. This is the only. This is the downside. <clears throat> is when you have big features like this yeah and it's like once they're done everybody's like okay it's party on the track yeah it'd probably be a little easier if they'd get everybody off the track yeah. so if you just won the big show you wouldn't want to stay out there and chat with a couple drivers you just like get go load your car and get out of there i yeah. don't believe you well no usually because people want to look at my car after the derby <laughs> <laughs> so we're out of there yeah it's like get it off the track yeah let's get out of there put it on a trailer yeah. Yep. Must be an Ohio thing. I learned it from watching Tobe. Shut <laughs> 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 He said, you'll get the check. They'll give it to you. Even the car, if the car don't have to be on the fairgrounds to get your trophy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just need your ID. That's what he said. I remember one time we, he derby so many places, but we'd always go follow him to watch him. 
the kid had a torch and a coat hanger welding his sheet metal back together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, the best derby I ever seen Toby run was Johnson. I think it's Johnson. It's somewhere in Indiana. Him and Fushi and all these guys went over there. Well, the promoter comes up and goes, hey, it's uh, it's going to be like 40 on three. And Toby was like, okay, not a problem. He lasted about eight seconds. They had him push so far on the dirt wall. I've never seen it happen to Toby before, ever. Well, it's because yeah. like, like when I mean on the dirt wall, all four tires were off the ground. He was on the dirt wall. It was probably the greatest derby I've ever seen Toby <laughs> run. Best performance. Me and, me and my Uncle Russ, we sat there and laughed and laughed and laughed. But, you know, Toby got out, didn't say a word. Oh, no. Didn't say a word. Yeah, because he still had a fresh car. Yeah. You know, well, he probably went and won like $40 million with it after yeah, that yeah, derby. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it's probably the one that's still around. Yeah. It's the one that's had enough birthdays to drive <laughs> itself. Right, it's older than Tobe. Yeah. I, would, uh, I would totally love to see Trey Nichols back in a car. Trey? You I know what's funny about that? You say that? Trey lives two miles from me. Same road. And, you, and he doesn't talk to you. Why? Well, he don't derby no more. He's just, he sold his stuff like you. Oh. We're smart. He beat Very, probably, <laughs> probably. I can afford to pay my house payment now. Yeah, actually, the last car Trey had, he uh, he stored it at my house. Yeah. The, the, well, the last one that he that he uh, I forget where he, I think he ran it at uh, Freedom Hall. Dude, him yeah. and him and Doodle and Lewis kicked the shit out of me out there. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Old then Trey. he comes at night. He comes up to me. He goes, you know, he goes, some Imperials ain't all what they're cracked up to be. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I said, yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember when Trey used to have the chrome connectors that you can get at AutoZone for your headers. I remember he was that guy. He was running like '71 and two Impalas, and with you know they had big monster tires all the way around. And he was 22 then. Now he's. Two, 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 two. But I never understood this. Why wouldn't he run five, five, five? Yeah, Trey Nichols. Trey Nichols. Triple five. Trey. I but never he, understood he, that. But did he get that number at Dent and he just stuck with him? Maybe. Nah, well, he, probably. He probably seen me with it somewhere and jumped right on oh, that. Oh, right, 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 right. Old Trey. Yeah. Old Trey. I'll tell you what, him and Toby and Marky, they went on a rampage one year. They had a point series down in Kentucky. At, they, they, it was, they, 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 they was on a rampage. You ever try to do an inter track interview with 3,800 people out there? <laughs> it's a little tricky. Yeah. Uh, the disco lights finally went out. The battery. Finally I don't know died. if I could do that. I would not like that at all. Turn it around and you got like a. It's yeah. like a rave party going out in the yeah. track. Yeah. But to each its own. Mm. I wouldn't Bill, have a clue what that's about. Bob, how far a drive you got? A little over seven. Between oh. seven and eight, you know, just depending right. on traffic. Right. I'm going to, well, I won't have seven because I guess I'm towing this back. No. Oh. Yeah, Code done left. Cody done went home. Yeah, he didn't win the chance to drive that car, so he checked out. He was, he was a little hurt about that. Yeah, he said, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't wait to see him mop you up. And Josh says he's going to whip your ass. And Josh said that he, yeah. He's gonna, he said Cody's going to just get on the track with Cody. Cody's going to pound you. Really? Yep. If there was a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. So yep. not only did Cody say he can do it, Josh seconded it. Mouth will say anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Bill, no. what do we got for commercials? We got some commercials we can run? Bill does great. I know. Oh, he's incredible. It's going to be. I feel. I feel we haven't. We haven't fulfilled our commercial quota. If if that's a thing. But it is. It definitely is. But I feel if I keep talking, I'm not going to have no voice. But I'm starting to get that way myself. Yeah. Like I said, it, I'm, it's, I haven't talked this much in a month put together. So. If you didn't have to leave, Ben's got this remedy for that because I didn't have a voice this morning. Ben, yeah, I'm leaving. Ben, ben Haas got the remedy. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
event tour shirt or event tour shirt, whatever you want to call it. All right, hello Track Shot Live World. We are here. We are totally stoked to talk about the great new apparel that we got going on. Hats, shirts, first ever tour shirt. We are totally stoked. It's almost like a KISS concert or something like that. Pretty cool. I love it. You know, hey, America, remember, www.trackshotshop. That's where you're gonna get all the apparel from us. And we just got our page reset. We got all new stuff coming out this year. Free 99s, if you didn't get your free 99 or Skinny Ellen last year, you still can get it. We just put it back up today. Check out these cool simple shirts the Sour did, these little tags. We got our stadium shirts, our on-air shirts, and like Tixie said, we have this new shirt out that has a list of every single show. Now, I know what you're saying. If you bought a shirt last year, you're saying, Decker, it took you a while to get that shirt to me, right? I want to take responsibility for that, America. That was my fault. I did not order enough off the bat, and then I had to reorder and reorder. I'm sorry. This year, I ordered a ton off the bat. So if you order today, they're going to put this bag, this shirt in a bag, and ship it to you today. It was my fault, America. I don't usually say this. It usually is yours. But today, I'm going to take this one. This one was my fault. You know, the crazy thing is Gumby's not here to blame or anything like that. This just almost seems to be wrong. Josh Decker is finally stepping up for responsibility. Gumby, there it is. It was my fault. So remember, everybody, track, shot, shop. Go in there right now for us. Just so you know, all of you that bought apparel from us last year, you are the reason that we're still here this year. That a little bit that you spent on those shirts helped us get here this year. And I need it again. We need it again. Help us buy a shirt. We got super cool ones. Track, shop, shop. Dot com. We love you. 2022 is going to be killer. See everybody later. Peace. Hi, I'm Celeste Campbell. I am an illustrator and a graphic designer. And as you can tell, I love dragons. I paint a lot of them. I am also a huge fan of Track Shot Live. And while I love Tix, Josh, and Skinny, we all know that they're better halves is where it's at. That's why I decided to design a t-shirt for the women of Demolition Derby and Track Shot Live. So I drew this super awesome Demolition Derby lady and to tie it into Track Shot Live, I drew a camera and a drone. I put it all together on this design over here on my computer. So let's celebrate the women of Demolition Derby. Hi, Bill. Here with Bobby. Just gonna make a round through the vendor section here. So fatty, uh, where are we? What fairgrounds is this? This is Fayette County in Dunbar, Pennsylvania. For the Dead Man Show. Dead Man. Two days of crazy, crazy driving, crazy cars, hard cars, team cars. Look at all these vendors out here. Yep, we got little cars, we got big cars. We got pro stock cars. I'll tell you what, the pro stock cars are really impressive out here. I'll tell you, we'll just drive around, we'll take a look at them. Uh, you guys got a lot of New York guys coming down this year, Bob. Do they, uh, do the New York guys hit harder than what Decker does? Cause he's from New York. Well, Decker's, I, uh, to watch Decker's videos, that's how we go to sleep at night at my house. Okay, okay, my, mine too. We even have them uh, at our uh, Thursday night church group. Yeah. We uh, we watch those, and uh, because he's such a soft hitter, you know what I mean. He's like a, a carrying young man. Look at these cars. Yeah, we got old style sedans. We got Roundbacks. We got Crown Vicks. I tell you what. What here. would you What would you prefer, a wagon or a Crown Vic? I uh, depends on the rules. But this is Roger Rafferty from Ohio. Hi, Roger. Let's let's ask Roger some questions here. Well, come on over. It looks like Roger. Is this a '98 to '02, Roger? 92, 98, 02 frame, yeah. 96 body. Yeah. What made you go with the 96 body? Because it had the rockers in it. <laughs> had the rockers in it. I'll tell you what, it makes a big difference on these Crown Vicks, don't it, Roger? Yes, sir. It, it, especially when you come to a bigger show like this, you you got to have the whole whole ordeal. you right. got to have a clean body, clean frame. Where are you from, Roger? The Jackson, Ohio. Jackson, Ohio. It's about three and a half hours away. Good. Not good. bad drive. Yeah, so yeah. are you in the you in the mini car class? Is that what this is? <laughs> yeah. Is this your my first derby with the little mini car? Yeah, my little man kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky his boy's not here. Lucky his boy's yeah, not here. He'd be yeah. kicking you for sure. So what would you would you come here with a wagon or are you a, you a straight wagon? Crown Vic guy? Uh Crown Vic or more all around for this type of build. 
Now, are you going to go straight after the wagons, or are you going to see how it plays Nobody's out? Nobody's going down until it happens. Are you a heavy foot? Like, yeah. I'm just learning who you are. We're, like, we're, Fatty's talked about you, so I'm learning who you are. Are you a heavy foot, light foot? Heavy foot when I need to, light foot when I need to. I'll roll with the pace. If the pace is rolling, I'll roll with the pace. So is your nickname Chameleon? Yeah. Could it be Chameleon? They call him Driver. 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 That's old Driver. <laughs> old Driver. Old Driver. Well, good. Roger, do you always paint him brown like this? Yes, they've always been brown. Why brown like this? Just blend in a little better. So you're a Chameleon. Chameleon. Bob See? was right. Bob was right with the whole Chameleon thing. Good looking build here, Roger. Good thinking build. Thanks for coming out this weekend. Good luck to you. Thank you sir. Good luck. Good Thanks. luck. Thanks for your time. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Let's go check some other stuff out here, Bob. While we're right here. Got the head Header caps right here. You run them. Uh, you know what? That looks like I'm not, yours. I'm not making no fun, but when I first started, I had the four in a row on each side and the little clampers. <laughs> How did and, you and tell if it was knocking or not with that click, clank, clank, click, clank, clank, clank all the time? Because I didn't drive a, I didn't have a Chrysler engine in there, so we didn't have to worry about clank clanks. Uh, you know, Bob, I noticed something about the one behind it. It might be missing a little something up front here. Where's the driver of the 99C here? All right, what's the secret to the no radiator? Uh, usually you're running out. Oh, let me come over here. Got the round bar for the back bumper. I like it. What, what's with the no radiator here, sir? Uh, don't plan on running long enough to need one. I'm How on long? alcohol too. Oh, so you're on alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah. alcohol. Oh, they don't well, touch. They don't have alcohol rule here where they test you for like point. Yeah. Back yeah. home, it's like point oh eight. Yeah, you can't drive on alcohol okay. back home. Yeah. yeah, they lived it past here. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you like a Bud Light, Bush Light. What do you do? Whatever's in a can. Whatever's nice. In a can. I noticed you got some tow here. What's the, is that for the turn or, or what, what's the deal? Doesn't help any, it's just. That, just, just towed, that bad, just yeah. towed. See, when I seen it, I thought, because have you seen the track? Like we're talking straight clay, like dirt track clay. So we thought maybe you're gonna go out there, get some speed and hit, yeah. hit really hard. Yeah. Is that what you're gonna do? Are you gonna, gonna put finish, it down? Gonna finish this car off. Nice. What's your name, where are you from? Buddy? Uh, Luke Cannon, I'm from Accident, Maryland. Accident. What engine do you run? Uh, an LS. Five, three. Just you, you built it, or do you have, have it built? It's a, it's a stock, stock bottom. Everything's stock. It, get it out of a junk pickup and just run them. But they come with some power. Yep. What yeah. about the rear end? Like who's uh, rear end? It's a 14 bolt GM rear. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Transmission. It's a Turbo 400. Anybody you want to thank back home? Uh, I'd like to thank my uncle back there for helping me and my nice. dad. Good. Good deal. Good deal. We well, appreciate yeah, your time, yeah. right, Thanks Fatty? for coming out. Thanks for coming out. Just. Just never, just never seen such a thing back where we come from. You ever ran without a radiator, Bob? <laughs> I always had a radiator. Always had a radiator. Hey, good luck to you this weekend, fella. Thank you. All right. Oh, Bob, what do we got back here? We got a. We got Bob, a, what do we got back here? What's his name? This is Cameron Grandstaff. Look at this. Look at this pretty wow. thing. Cameron, what are, you, what are you running today? Oh, it's a '74 Buick Electra. I like it. I like it. What made you pick this car? Well, uh, my buddy Bill here picked it up, and we do a little, little wheel and a deal and back and forth. And we got bored one night, so we signed up. And I, I said, "Hey, go ahead and throw this together within two months." And that's what he did in a couple months. Oh, it's pretty. Do you run a radiator? Yeah. You do have a radiator in this. Yes. Okay. We've seen it optional at it's, this it's track. Optional yeah, here. optional. It's no. very optional. Yeah. Very beautiful build you have here, Cameron. Yeah. Now, uh, for people back home that are just getting into this, you know, the younger kids and stuff, can you tell them what gives you the drive to want to do this? Like, like instead of going and doing drugs, is this not like the biggest high you've ever had? Oh, yeah. You can actually go out there and hit something and not get in trouble for it. Right. And it keeps you busy education because of you know you're learning angles right even just like building your cage look how amazing this cage is so you have to learn angles and stuff right uh, yeah i didn't do anything on this like i said bill bill <laughs> oh whatever. you're you're very bill, humble you did, good work. Yeah. You did yeah. good work bill yeah. now yeah. can you explain what's inside your car what, what's what's this thing with the big handle right there oh uh, this is a uh, smith's metalworks cable shifter they do uh, good work oh yeah i got their trans uh cooler their pedals uh, NOR battery box, they're at uh, switch, uh, Circle Z fuel cell. It's it's got most of the good stuff in it. Now, uh, I've I derbied for a while, and this this whole new brake setup thing totally different. Can you explain that your master cylinder is in the back and not where normally people would see it up here? Oh yeah, that is the best option. Instead of 
fighting with your foot in here, stepping on the brake lines. You got it all the way back here. You can run a short brake line. Uh, I love that Smith came up with that and makes it a lot easier, nicer, cleaner. I run that myself. I run that myself. I'd say I, I, couldn't, love I, I, I love it. I couldn't afford that kind of stuff, Eddie. Yeah, well, <laughs> when you don't quit derby and Bobby, uh, you, you just keep buying newer stuff instead yes. of selling it. Um, that's that's but, the big but thing. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, you just keep uh, you know, buying, updating. Yeah. Uh, but no, that Smith Metal Works, it's the best, it's the easiest brake system I've ever had on derby cars. Now, now is this no the line. biggest oh. show you've been to, or do you do all uh, big shows? I ran a bash a few times, a couple times, but we're starting to travel around this year, go out of state, where we signed up for their show over in uh, uh, Portland. And uh, Where are you from, Cameron? Uh, Howard, Ohio. So, nice. a little, awful lot of Ohio drivers Bob, here. Bob, Ohio no wonder you're smiling. Yeah, I mean, I, I might know a couple guys out here, you know. So, well, Cameron, good luck this weekend, buddy. Thanks. Beautiful build, beautiful. Yeah, build. it's a really beautiful yeah. car. Well, yeah. Bill's the one. Bill did you did a good Bill, job, Bill. You're getting all the credit. Yeah, you did good, Bill. I, I just get in here and I hold the wheel. That's <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> nice. Well, Cameron always drives hard, so it'll be a good it'll show. Be a good show. Yeah. yeah, this thing will oh, be he's all from Ohio, so we know it, he's it'll be, be twisted heavy every way, uh, which I'm, we're right. Fine. I'm trying to get out of there quick. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to get some some liquids in me. That's so. right. <laughs> That's right. Well, good luck this weekend, right, buddy. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, let's Bob. Why don't we take a little stroll? Uh, we got some mini car action going on over in the other building. Uh, we can. Uh, we, we got all kinds of stuff your, going your on. Your didn't like when I asked him if there was a mini car. See, well. I'm still kind of learning, you know what I mean? Well, so, Bob, you, you've sold out a couple times, <laughs> you know, I mean. I, well, I didn't sell out. I just wanted to help a younger guy from Kentucky, wanted to get involved. So I thought, what better way to support the sport than to sell it to him? Yeah, that's fine. You sold out. Okay. All right, everybody. Uh, we're going to go check out the, uh, the rest of the stuff here at Dead Man. Always a great time here at Dead Man. Especially with Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill. All this. Uncle, Uncle Bill. Bill's here. Couldn't He's do it without man. him. We could not do it without him. Couldn't do it without Uncle Bill. That's for sure. Thanks for your time, guys. Thanks, gentlemen. Good, good luck. luck. Yes, we good. Man, that is a beautiful car. That's a beautiful car. That is a beautiful car. All right, we got a mini car here. What about the weather, Fatty? Oh, it's beautiful here today. Isn't it not? Beautiful it's, it's here today. To, it's supposed to get in the 70s. Maybe get a little cloudy. Maybe a little rain later tonight, but not. Nothing, nothing we can't handle. Right? No, no, and it's a little windy, so it's going to dry everything out real, real nice, I think. I'm telling you, that track, like, that track is amazing. I'll tell you what, I was walking across it earlier, and if tires stick like my shoe did, should be a, it's going to be phenomenal. Fatty, we're, we're live, you cannot lie. I've not seen you walk yet today. <laughs> well, my golf cart on the okay, other side, okay. um, <laughs> yeah, it got pretty good. You got to remember, your friend, friends and family are Bob, watching you. They Bob, don't want you to lie. Bob, what about the, the mini car team show this weekend? I, I, when I was driving here, I passed some of them. Uh, I'm there's pretty, a couple Canadian teams here, and I'm super stoked. Yeah, I'm excited. You got, you, look, I think this is Mason Stacy's van, uh, bus right here. And you know, back, back home in the day, you're like mini cars. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go work on my car. Yeah, there was always a filler. Oh my god, not no more. These mini cars put on the show. Yeah. I uh, I was. Hi, Mason. I love it seeing the younger you kids. It's a three generation. You think we should talk to Mason? Let's yeah, I'll tell you what, Mason. Where's your car at? Why don't you stand next to it? We'll just pull up here and talk to Mason real quick. Mason is a force to be reckoned with in the youth or the adult division. Mason, how we doing today, sir? Goodish. How we doing? How, how you feeling? Feeling good. Now, is there a youth class here this weekend, Mason? Yeah. Is that what you're running? Yeah. If I'm is that look. legal? Is that legal? I don't know. We're not talking about. You're that. not. You're not. Do you really? Is it really fair at this point? I mean, what'd you get in the, the unified point series last year? Second. Is it really fair for you to run the youth class at this point, Mason? I don't know. Still let me in. They, they, hey, I agree with. They let Bob in here. So I mean, I'm Bobby, nice to meet you. Yeah, this you. is Bobby I've Brockway. Heard, heard a lot about you. I'm just getting into Derby, and so get to come out here and and learn a little bit. And I'll tell you what. I've been around Derby's a long time, and I've never seen that. It's homemade. Homemade. What's the theory behind that, there, Mason? Well, I can't get forklift tires, so I decided to make it. You made them. What was that made out of? Trailer tires I had from Point Cars. I have so many extra ones. I just wrap steel around it. I got to figure out a way to put the treads on better. And that's and then, something you come up with all by yourself. Yeah. How old are you, Mason? 15. How many cars a year you built from start to finish? Uh, so last see, year uh, I did 20 something. 27. So the self tappers is what keeps the rubber around it, right, Mason? Yeah. 
Is it, have, you, have you done ran this before? Or is this the first time? First, first time. First time. Bob, we we'll have to keep an eye on that. We're gonna watch this and learn. We're, we're gonna watch that. You, there won't be a self tapper screw on the property after he runs his no, hand. No, no. <laughs> he just started something new. Yeah, that's. Yeah. You, that's nice. Okay, what Mason, you, you, what you want? What are you running, Mason? Sorry, I mean. No, no, no. That's what we was what just getting you, ready uh, to. What are you running here? Uh, Toyota Camry. Is that your uh, choice, or is that what you had laying around? My choice. Is it a four or six cylinder? Four cylinder. You prefer the fours? Yeah. Why is that? Longer of heat, last longer of heat, the rad blows. Oh, okay. Now, how's the safety stuff, the admissions? Is it hard to get these to run after you take the dash and such out of them? Not really. You make a simplified harness for it and put your own wiring in. Nice. Now, is that a little freebie harness? No, that's my harness. Oh, that's your harness. Yeah. You probably showed a little freebie how to make that harness. I get it. I get it. Um, it's a nice build, Mason, and you do all this yourself. You put your own cage in, you yeah. do it all. Uh, I do it all. Do you, do you do you run the same engine that comes with it, or do you have an engine that you run? I run, depends on it. This was a V6 car, and I put a four-cylinder in it. Okay. Just any four-cylinder, or do you have one that, like, that, that's my four-cylinder right there? I did. I burnt that one up already. Ah, probably trying to beat a little freebie, huh? We don't talk about that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, Mason, you got a beautiful build here. Uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Uh, if you need anything, call Bob. It was nice, really nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah. Bob, he's won more derbies than you will ever win. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> and he's 15. And he's 15. You they know what I was doing when I was 15? All right, it's a PG. Okay, good luck, Mason. <laughs> All right, buddy, have a great weekend. <laughs> nice meeting you, buddy. Thanks. All right, great kid. Great kid. We should... We should probably get a GoFundMe for the hair. Yeah, I was a haircut. I was gonna ask him, like, because I thought uh, I thought mullets were the style. What? Well, I think he's from Michigan. They, that's a muffaletto. That's a muffaletto. Muffaletto back home where I'm from. I like that. Man, look, look at, at the paint jobs on these. Oh yeah, we're pulling up. We're pulling up. I'm all about this mini car. Uh, I team told you, of like it. I said before, I wouldn't watch them. Now I love watching them, man. They go crazy, one into the other. Oh, look at these. And the thought process to build these cars. Oh, it's insane. Is the driver of this car here? Oh, let's take this. Look at that. Look at you. You're look at this. Good. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the cage in this thing, Uncle Bill. Look at that. You got a second, buddy? Talk about your car? What kind of car you got here? 93 Honda Accord wagon. You prefer the 93 Honda Accord wagons? This first year I ran the wagons. I usually run from 93 to 91 uh, regular. Just uh, Hondas? Yeah. No kidding. No kidding. Is this aftermarket here or is this something like you can start selling? I might. I, mean, I have not seen this and I really like it. The it blue was, goes with the purple yeah, nice. Yeah, I like it. I know. How long did it take you to build this thing? We've, about a, we've been on it for about a month. About a month? Yeah. Okay. Factory engine and everything? Factory Stock engine. engine? You don't yep. pull the engines or yep. nothing like that, huh? We've been Works asking good. people like, do you just run the engines that come in the car? Yeah. You don't have a special engine yep. back home? Nice, nice. So for somebody that wants to get started in this, like, Fanny and I are amazed by these many cars. For somebody to get started, how much do you think that a youth could get started in something like this? I mean, the hardest thing is finding the cars right now, but you probably have about seven, eight hundred dollars out of it. Instead of thirty thousand dollar car to go. This one here, I got about almost two grand in it. Bob, we'll have to get the one with the sunroof. Car. Something for my fat head. No, you're well. If, or my if belly. It, if it catches on fire, Bob, we gotta <laughs> so have an exit. You get out. We gotta have an exit. Well, they they tell you 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 know you look pretty stocky, so if you're gonna bulk up, you gotta put on. Well, TV you gains get, forty pounds. Sixty. <laughs> okay. Um, so what do you you're here with the team, correct? Yeah. Which you're, uh, you guys going out there, setting the pace, you know, go out there and see how it goes. Go out there like we did last year, see what happens. How'd you finish last year? We were done less than a minute. Oh, so we're here to redeem ourselves. Always so, oh, see what happens. Now, now the, the, the two teammates you got, did you uh, you run with them quite often? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Local fairs and stuff. You yeah. from, where are you from? St. Mary's County. Oh, okay. Who okay. would you like to thank for uh, getting you out here, getting the team together, putting the stuff in? Just all the teammates. Good, good deal. Well, hey, we appreciate your time. It's a beautiful car, and good luck this really you, buddy. You beautiful good. car. Yeah, thank you. All right, Bob. So we need a, a 93 Honda wagon with a sunroof. So that if something happens, I can get out. So you can get out. It's just, um, it's safety. It's not a fat thing, Bob. What about oxygen, like, on the top so when I get struggle to get out, I can... Well, we bring oxygen to every derby because we're going to have to cut. <laughs> good, so, good call. So... 
You want to go check the track Let's out? Go check Let's go check this track, track out. out. Yeah, we like, got to show Uncle Bill. Like, yeah. Yeah, he's I, seen it a couple times, but he's got to see it with you walking on it and your feet actually sticking. I, I tell you what, if if this track holds up, it's going to be gnarly this weekend. It really is. And I keep hearing all this stuff about these New York guys coming down, Bob. I, I tell you what, I'm not going to lie, Fatty. I uh, went to San Filippo, which uh, you got to go there. It's an experience, which I know you have. But the way they hit, they don't care if they win or not. Yeah. They just want to put on a show. Have you ever had that mindset going into a derby, Bob, that I don't care how I finish today? Going with a fresh car. Never. Ne me neither. Never. I, don't, I, I wouldn't know how that... How you just prepare yourself just to go junk everything you worked on for the last three, they, four, six months. And it's not just one or two drivers from New York. It's Look at all the drivers, but hashtag Daddy Decker. Yeah, and the only one that And he worked. makes fun of me. Uh, yeah. And he makes fun of me. Yeah. But, but Bob, Bob, look at this. Look at this track. Look at this track. Bob, look. I'm telling you. Look at that. It's This is look at that. dirt track. I'll tell you what, Bob. Bob, you get a little water on this, it dries up. It's gonna be it's and, gonna be fast. They were prepping this track so much so that the loader was driving in, packing it down in between each tire. That's how much yeah. time they're taking to prep. Bob, this they're track. still prepping the track right yeah. now. That guy there on that skid loader is a machine in itself. Yeah, TJ and his crew, they put on one heck of a show. Oh, they don't miss anything. They do everything for the drivers. Yep. And uh, anybody that wants to talk bad, like. He's the type of guy you got a problem, go head, hit him head face. Oh yeah, right to his right. face and talk to him. And that's Tell what him how I like. Feel. And that's what I like about TJ. He's right in your face about everything. Yeah. Nothing to hide. Nothing nope. to hide at all. But this facility, Bob. This Amazing. This facility for a derby. Look at this. Covered, covered venue. Covered venue. All kinds of food. To make skinny, skinny's here. Oh, uh, look at skin, skin dogs dog. here. Skin dogs here. So we're talking about this track. track skinny. Skin. Look at this what track. What about the track, dog? This track is hard, hard. It's a great track. It's going to be fast track. Three on three compacts out here. Oh, did we we're talking see, about. We've seen some compacts. The compacts like the, back home where we three came on from, three. skin, like Indiana, Illinois. Back in the day, compacts, you're like, uh, They were fillers. They were fillers they, while you were working on the no, they're, they're an event. Yes. They're the event they, now. And some shows, they are the main event. Compact cars are the main event now. It's just not your big full-size old iron anymore. These guys bring the mail, and that's what it's all about. Wrecking stuff. It, yeah, it's, it's, ask a kid. Ask it. A kid will not lie to you about anything. They like watching the minis because they hit. Yes. They hit hard. And then we were out there talking to a young man, 15 years old. Mason Stacy. Ready to put on a show. Skinny. Love it. Got second in the Unified Point Series last year. 15 years old. Builds all of his own cars. Welds. Dude, he's got hair that you would just die for. So he, puts, would die he for puts all of his money into his cars and spending time doing schoolwork. So we're thinking maybe a GoFundMe to get him a haircut. Yeah. Make him a I think he needs about 12 bucks. He's got a muffaletto right now, but we figure we can get him the skullet or great, something. Great Will kid, it? though. Great Hold kid. Hold a sack. Hold a sack. Hold a sack. Yeah, great kid. Great kid. Awesome. Yeah, no, this track is going to be fast. It's going to be a great show. Y'all got to tune in to Track Shot Live because that's where it's going to be. Free 99. Always free 99. If you're not here, you're missing out. Yeah, it's definitely. Be, you've seen the cars. You talk to the drivers. You see the pace. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's do it, Bobby. Let's go find food. Let's go find some food. Skin knows where the food's at. <laughs>
All right, here we are, people. We're back. What up? We what just, up? We just ran a marathon of commercials because we had a marathon of cars to get off the track. So oh, here yeah. we are. We got the last two sole survivors on the track are going to get punted like a football here because everybody wants this pro stock feature <clears throat> coming up. Yes, sir. And we got 14 cars that are going to be coming out. And uh, the Reapers will be coming in out of the heat er, from earlier in the, the night. And everybody doesn't know what he's going to do with that. Either he, whether he's going to come in in a minute, come in at five minutes, then be out there to start. But the bonus for being a Reaper, and I don't, don't quote me on the amount of minutes, but you get a Reaper out of a heat in this feature, it's after every so many minutes he sends the Reaper in. Okay. Right. So out of a 14 car feature, five minutes, wow. five minutes, three minutes, yes, skin sir. Bobby, yes. that makes all the difference in the yeah. world. Because, ben Haas, skinny. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. So right now we got for Pro Stock Heat feature, and I didn't write the Reapers down. You can shoot me. But um, right now who we have going out there, we have the 78H. Hammer and Harold Humphrey, the 067 of Greg White, the 117 of Roger Rafferty, the 75 of Chris Aversush, Averish, sorry about that, the number four, Jared Cannon, the 511, Mel White Jr., the 13 of John Seeger Jr., the 530 of Shane Nyhart, the 126 of Cameron Grandstaff, the 324 of Tony Boggs, the 411 Anthony Moon, the 27 of Corey Buddy, 299 Joel Moon, and the number 11 Chris Woodworth. Nice. Now, people, hmm. I don't know if that includes the Reaper cars, but that's who we have on the list right now. We didn't get any special lists saying, here's the Reapers that are going to come in. I know it's going to be short a few cars, short a couple Reapers, definitely. Uh, one being Cody, Cody Riley. He broke a tranny and uh, wasn't able to put a tranny in it. And uh, Dave Early, he was a reaper and uh, he had a he had a break, so he wasn't able to make it back out for the feature. Um, and they would that that those two drivers on top. I mean, they, they, top of my head. I mean, those guys coming in as reapers, they would have put some damage. Down. Oh, absolutely. Um, not taking away from the other guys, but that's just because I personally know no, the guys yes. and seen them drive. Yes. Um, but that we're in for a treat. Everybody, we've waited a long time for this. It's been a long day. It's been a long, long day. It's been 10. Broke, Bill bro said we broke a record for uh, about an hours streaming a derby and uh, Back before they started clearing the marathon compact, <laughs> it was uh, we were at ten hours. So I don't uh -huh. think Bill's been up this late since he was eighteen. No, we're we're, we're breaking them in. We're getting them. We're getting them broke in. There's no Applebee's two two for tree. It's yeah, gonna be yeah. tree for tree. It's gonna be two for tree. Hey, just don't. Uh, get who we got here? We're gonna announce them again. Why not? Yeah, we 53. got the five three zero of Shane Nyhart. <laughs> We got the 13. 13 Madden. Uh, uh, Madsen. John Seeger Jr. The Mudder Taxi. Yeah, Mudder Taxi. Mudder Taxi. Who we got? Oh, I, I remember this guy from the heat. <laughs> that's that's Ra uh, Rafferty, I think. Roger Rafferty? Yeah, that's that mini car. 117, Roger <laughs> Rafferty. Then we got 11. That's uh, Chris Woodworth. She looking good. His He's quarter's all the way over his frame rail. Well, that's the that's the guy in the heat that uh, the old iron, uh, old iron caddy squared his back end up on. Is that 75, 73, 75, 75, Chris Aversett. 303. And then we got 303. Oh, we 
don't have a 303 on here. Sorry, people. Okay. That's a white. 511 is Mel White Jr. Yeah. 411 is yeah. a moon. That's uh, that would be Anthony Moon. You guys got to do this to me. My eyes aren't that good. Oh no, mine aren't. 299 either. of Joel Moon. Does that look like 324? Yeah, yeah it looks that way. Tony Boggs, 324. Uh, 126. He's the boy uh, with the old iron Cameron Grandstaff. That look, that thing looks sweet right now. <laughs> it, it does. And he's a he's an odd duck out. He's the only out, old iron out there. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. These new style might go. I don't know. Yeah. What about they might be they might what about get, that wagon? They might get a little prejudiced on that old iron. Isn't there a wagon coming out? Uh, I don't Wasn't think there so. a, I thought there was a oh, wagon. Oh yeah, 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 was, yeah, was, yeah, there was the wagon, yeah. Did he break something? Because um, he uh got the Reaper. That was well he's a Reaper, so he's coming out later. Oh yeah. That's what he's gonna bring the Reapers out later. Gotcha. So my guess is all this and Harold Humphrey got a Reaper. So he's not out there. So my guess is this is we got a 14 car total feature. No kidding. Including, where, including where, the where's Reapers. Her, where's Harold at? He'll Harold, come out he's later. A oh he's yes, yes, he did get a Reaper. He's a yes, Reaper. sir. So there's so my, my bad yes. motherfucker. I can't cars wait. I can't out wait to see as him. Reapers. Uh, you're right, homie. Woo. Yeah, Gosh. he did get the Reaper. That last changed. Night. That changed. Can we get dynamic. a little closer? Yeah. What's that? Can we get a little closer? Yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. Okay, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Can we all stand in a row? Yeah. Hands on the shoulders? Yeah. Okay. I've drank lots of fluids, so. Ha <laughs> you're good. 303 is Chris um, Aversetch. Okay. Is that how you say it? Aversetch. Aversetch. 303. You didn't have 303 on your list. No, I didn't. No, we don't have a 303. Okay. Thanks to our fans out there. We yeah, we love them. Up. We're on top, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. See, they're the 12th man. 12th man or lady everybody needs a 12th man or lady person yeah and everybody needs the wall as their friend here yeah the wall that just don't give uh, track has been awesome oh, oh my gosh all weekend would long. you love to be on it right now oh my gosh Woo! right these guys yeah. are just gonna turn and burn sure and then think about that reaper coming in <laughs> from that entrance in a buck 10 buddy yeah. oh man what did you say it is a 407 no, 358. 358. 358 dirt modified motor, basically, on methanol. Okay. Sucker zings, man. Ooh. Here we go, people. Said you can't run it on any type of race fuel because it gets sure. hot too fast. Cause sure. Like, I guess it's got such high compression. I'm not a motor guy, so it's I'm just doing what I'm just saying, repeating what people have told right. me. Right. Last show of the night. Track shot live. Oh. Right? Last, yeah, this is the last feature. Show. Last year tonight, let her rip, Tater Chip. Let her rip, Tater Chip. That Seeger, that that that's that thing's looking pretty sweet. That mutter taxi thing. Yeah. The back of it's stout. It's got solids on the back. This guy's coming in backwards. That would be that's that's the the That's the wagon. That's great. Oh, look who's right behind him. And Harold behind him. Harold. There ain't nobody gonna want to be sideways on this track. No, when they, when they no sir. And you know where I'd be, Ben? Down there blocking the entrance. That's where that. That's where that one uh, Ohio boy's at. That old iron and that caddy. He makes sure he's looking right straight at that entrance. Yep. I don't know. I don't know if my no, I'd have my nose looking at it. Or I'd be in the corner right next to him. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Writing letters to our troops and making sandwiches. You be that cracker around that cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 303, as John likely said, and 75 was Chris, his brother. Okay. Oh, they just got a hold of that cat. Oh, man, they got a hold of the back of that 126. Number 11 there. I might have been a little payback. 
Oh, I got that right front. So I think we got about an 11 o'clock start time. So we'll see how long this runs. The big, the big question was, the, he's not, they were worried because they got rumored that he wasn't going to stop the show. Yeah. To let the reaper in. So you, you sweat bullets a little bit. They got driving sweat bullets. But sure. They're going to end up red flagging him so they can't come out and fly over. Oh, they laid over the front wheel on, on that uh can't see the number. Man, they're punishing. What happened to your murder taxi? You made that hit. I don't man. know what happened to him. That's, yeah. that's a bummer. He took that shot. Unless he snapped something. He could have snapped something. That caddy might have... That he break? He's been sitting there. Or Buick. Caddy or Buick. Yeah, that 126. 126, he sat there. Yeah, he's been sitting for a minute. Oh, man, that's... Yeah, it's, they're getting his attention now to break yeah, him off, they man. Are. That's too bad. Yeah, had a beautiful man. car go in the feature. Steering's messed up on number 11. Oh man, what's he doing down there? with a good shot on 11. Oh, 530 coming with a nice shot. The thing is that you hit Corey in the back, you're just hitting casting protector. Yeah. That thing's all the way yeah, back it's, there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a front tire. Heat. Oh, that sounded good. Yeah, it did. Woo! That's at 27. Yeah, it's Corey. Corey. Oh, oh, a 303 lost the front wheel. Oh, here comes the Reaper. Here comes the Reaper, guys. Yep, there's probably the guy get the wheel off the track. And I would imagine the Reaper would be coming on the track. Tony, light a fire. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> oh, they're bringing them both out. Oh, man. All three of them. I bet you told him go anywhere you want on the track. That's awesome. Oh, 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 man. <laughs> Harold just laid her out forward. Yeah, he's like, I'm stuffing her out there. Oh, boy. This guy in his wagon is going to dust somebody. Yep. Just got turned up, gentlemen. Yes, yeah. it did. Kill or be killed. Reaper on a Reaper. Well, all Reapers oh, on Reapers. Man. All the boys are in the in the field to play now. So 
That bumper on the track, right? Yep. Yeah. It's crazy because these guys are starting to dig down. Yep. <laughs> I love listening to that engine. <laughs> Counting the cylinders. <laughs> yeah. You definitely, you definitely feel like you're on a Friday night at the at the speedway. Sorry, Ben. You're all right. You're all right. This old boy said that's enough. <clears throat> Burr. Yeah, that wind shift. So what's that door? Yeah, we can shut the door and just watch the camera screen. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Not the same. No. Harold's looking. Harold's he's being smart. I'm telling you, he's driving a good derby. Damn. Yeah. yeah. He's got to get loose. Get her, Harold. Get her. Oh! Just breaking that lead pack apart. Oh, the other guy's waiting for him. Just a digging. Look at the horsepower change the track conditions. Oh, yeah. Just digging. There he goes. Harold's shoving him, trying to. Oh, yeah, he's all up in him. Yeah. Staring might be in jeopardy now on Harold. There he is. Ah, off he's him. got it. He's got it. But he's tangled with both moves down there. Got to get off that. He's driving it. He's driving it down. He's got him down. Five thirty, looking good and just punishing people. Oh, good shot, good shot. No. I'll tell you, it's a chest match down there. Dragging that wagon, doing work. Yeah, weight and horsepower is showing up here. Oh, oh, big shot man. on that, Harold. That was the other mad dog that came in with him, guys. Just stroked Harold. Did he ever? Harold's trying to push through the middle. Oh my God, are these guys just giving it? There he comes, there he goes, there he goes. Oh. Miss. Do not stop, right? This is oh, stay yeah. moving, glance and yeah. blows. Nothing that you're gonna bury yourself. Oh, he's down there laughing you now. Oh, big shot. That was a big shot, that wagon. Greg put on Bud. 
buddy, yeah. Wow, did he have a heck of a rebound. <laughs> like a nine foot nine. Just getting out there and getting it. He launched himself. Yeah, he did. Wow. Oh, hell, man. Fire. Impressive, guys. He hit that tire so hard, knocked in reverse, and was launched in reverse, hit the floor, took off like a scalded dog. Harold's uh, pinion break is glowing. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, and that Reaper's header looks like caught maybe the breather. Excuse me, I fire. Yep. Woo. My bad. We're going to sleep good tonight. Tell I'm not what. sleeping. Thanks. By the time I get out of here, I'll go back shower, head to the airport. All right. You guys got to leave at like 3.30. Tell you what. He touches the throttle on that. <laughs> He's gone. Dude, that sucker just lights and goes. Yep. But Rafferty, Rafferty took a, a good wheel shot on uh, looked like the passenger side. His passenger side wheels um, lean pretty good. This is a good heat. Oh, no. this is excellent. Excellent. Yeah, this is going on. We've had some great heats and features all day, and this one's right there. They're on the gas, kicking. Yep. Kicking ass, I'll say it. Yes. Yeah. I'm not in trouble for it. No. Sweet. Um, but you notice the ones that picked flights with them already have moved oh, the other end of the track. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, our scenery's changed. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody hiding nowhere. Oh. He's digging. Levin is abused. That left front's in rough shape. Yeah. Sounds like Harold's getting warm. Levin's doing a great job of trying to stay out of the corners, away from the wall, trying to stay inside the mix. He's fighting staring. Reverse ain't helping him too well. Yeah, Harold's wormy hair dogging. Eleven is hanging in there. Nice, there's Harold. Hey, he's just shoving Rafferty right side. Yeah, he is. Track. Wow. Two ninety nine, is it? Over here, he's got a. He's got some ponies under that hooder. Trying to get Levin's attention. He's been working it. Oh yeah. I don't. I, they're trying to get his attention to break him off. I think. Well, I thought he. I, unofficial, but I thought he was st still doing pretty good. Oh. Oh. Man. 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 Oh. 
That's Chris oh, Woodworth. Chris Woodworth side of uh, Massachusetts. No, well, they said evidently he didn't make a hit. He took his helmet off. That's dangerous. Yeah, yeah he's got to put it back on. <laughs> he's like, you'll stop this derby. I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> oh, he's he's not happy. No. He's a big boy, too. Oh, he just kicked the gate open and kept on going. Yeah. 299 just spinning uh, rims inside the rubber. Yeah, his rails are, his rails are in down. the ground. Yeah. yeah, the hammer put him in the ground. Oh, yeah. Well, wow, that's what Rafferty's trying to do to Harold right now. Harold said, enough of that. Enough of that. Where do you go? He'll catch him. Oh, right into the window bar. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, he's got staring, though. Jeez. Yeah, hey, that baby's lighting the fire again. It's smoking bad. It is. Yeah, you right. can hear it bouncing a little bit when he come around, but he's he'll, still in it. He'll blow her up. He don't care. Oh, that's, yeah, for sure. The way I've seen that man drive. Greg slowed it down from when he first come in. You know, he's pumped the brakes on the old wagon. Is that tranny smoke, you think? They hung our, yeah, something happened there. Harold's done. The hammer's done. I don't know if you got that right front or something happened there, but it's no, done. No, it's, uh, he, he looked down and shut it off. There it is. Wow. Yep. yep, it just lit up, broke the trans. Yep. Yep, that trans is burning. Yeah. Put it out, guys. Good run, Harold. Putting it down. Yeah, he knew he snapped that sucker. Yeah. yeah, Ben. That was transmission. He was eating up actually. That's a that's a double dog. That's one of the ones I brought back. Nice. Uh, he worked that old girl. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. he might have broke it. I think that's what happened. Yeah, broke I think it, it snapped it. Yeah. Because the way it kind of went out of power there, flashed and then lit up. It lit up right there. Right yeah, you the seen him looking down like, yeah, something yeah. just happened. Lit once, up right at the bell. Once again, I think uh, Corey uh, Buddy's going to pull uh, another hard car feature off, I think. Ooh. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, Rafferty's looking pretty good, yeah. Yeah, 100% tranny. They're having to soak that sucker. Yep. Dumping some fire. Hey, he's got to be happy you didn't blow the motor up. <laughs> right. Oh, there's no, no doubt he was giving it. But that one shot up on that right front, that what's the yeah. feller's name in the brown car? And the nice Rafferty. Rafferty. He got him good. It was a hard shot. Yeah. Because he's 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 on the ground. He is definitely causing carnage to that. wheels and axles. Which we're assuming it broke it. Who knows? Oh yeah. Could have could have been a fitting. Could have snapped the fitting. Yeah. The line. You know. You never know. Yeah. But the way the fire went around the whole bell, it looked like the way it went down, up, and around in the back of the engine there. Yeah. The circle of fire. The circle of fire. Yeah, yes, sir. We should have ran out there. We could have warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down here on my freaking <laughs> knees right now trying, trying to get out of the wind. <laughs> you don't make much noise. <laughs> no. I don't want people to know how special you are to me. <laughs> oh, man. Been great action. There's no doubt oh, about yeah, that. This heat, this heat's been great. <laughs> There's stuff just jumped out here. Yeah. Looking around now. All right, back green. The wagon looks yeah. like the wagon. The back end. It looks like the driver's side rear leash spring. Yes, there. she's loose, Ben, and she's definitely got some mess going on in the leash spring. Oh yeah. Turn her around, Greg. 
That's a lot of nose left. Excuse me. Okay. Sorry, buddy, looking good. Okay, them three said that's enough for him. Yeah, 5'11", and Corey and Buddy been working on each other for a while here. Them bumpers just sliding off each other. Oh, yeah. going steering hunting now. Yeah. Oh, oh great oh, shot. Man, he caught great it shot, Ben. Woo. Mel White Jr. in that 5'11 came around there and just put it on Corey Buddy. Oh, he's stroking. What a shot, guys. Hmm. Wagon, you're 100% right. He really isn't. Uh, he must sense something's going on back there. Yeah, he's losing yeah, it, man. Yeah. He got to turn that sucker around. I don't know. In my opinion, I would. Just knowing oh, how oh, nasty that front ends are. Oh, he, he, we all know where the cars come from, right? Yeah. And they're they're well built <coughs> to the caliber of Blizzard Bash builds. Yeah. Got a hell of a nose on it. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Corey and White still going at it over here. Sides are broke loose from the rails. Oh, uh, Rafferty's starting to get hot. Uh, he's yeah, he is. pretty good. Yep. I guess good thing Hunter shut the AC off in the room, huh? Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Ben, there's gonna be ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> it was at 60 or uh, uh, like 64. Woo. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I'll be putting my hood up. No, I'll, uh, I'll get in there early enough to. Yeah, change just it. turn the shower on a little hotter for you guys. Yeah. He had it on so hot the uh, uh, other day, kind of burnt me a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rear end starting to move around in uh, Greg's wagon. The waggy. He's using <laughs> he's using a hammerhead now. Corey's Corey has slowed down white now.
Man, the rest of this seems so scripted out there now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. man. I mean, it was going it was going hot and heavy and now it's kind of scripted. There's a few dollars on the line now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Starting to go on the wagon. All right. This, this is our first media timeout. Per se. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no skin dog, I love you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a little warmer. A little warmer. What they stop it for? I had an axle look like on the other end or tire. At least a tire. I don't know if it had the axle still attached to it. Green flag to green. Greg getting a good shot put on Rafferty. Uh, He's flaming up. Yeah, is that flames or is this heavy spark flame? Is that the SMW wagon? Yes. I was going to say that roof sign looks familiar. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? I thought you knew. Oh, I'm not as smart like you. Did you know that's what it was? What's that? That wagon. SMW wagon. It's a Blizzard Bash wagon. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. White just put a hit on oh, that dead car. Boy. Oh, boy. Corey pushing Greg in that wagon. Ooh. Well, he's got a right rear flat on the wagon. Look at that rail's just swayed. Springs swayed. Springs unhooked. I just started pointing it from the side. Come on, buddy. Nice shot, Greg. Oh, they beat up 411. Man, he had an old front wheel, nothing on Yeah, he got hit hard by White. Nice oh, tripod in this. A little bit of tripod going on over yeah. there. He about ready to go to a bipod. <laughs> <laughs> and with a jack stand. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Skinny. Oh, he got himself down in the bottom. Ah, I got to get out of there. It doesn't matter what it is. You always have the finishing touch. That wagon, that yeah, wagon, that wagon's got himself in a bad spot. He's down in that he's down in that soft spot down in the corner. Oh, yeah, Ben. Put her in their nose deep. Don't keep going in, right? Oof. Oh, he's in trouble. Ah. Hope to God somebody can help you. White should be his only help right here. Yep. Can White get in there and help him? Got to get him turned. Yeah, they're kind of, they see what's going on. They're kind of holding them up. Yeah, that left side, look at that. She's wiggling. She is in and out. Oh, man, it's good. I, I think it's, oh, boy. You don't have much left. You don't have much time left. Oh, man. Oh. 
Might be down to four here in a hurry. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we're down to four. Oh boy. I believe Greg's yep. going out respect to the fifth. Three new style, one all iron. That front is still nasty straight, yeah, look at man. That. Oh, but dude, I mean, pushed. Corey were in a great dude, battle. Look, maybe he pushed on the driver's side a little bit. Man, Rafferty still. Oh. Yeah. I'm telling them all to mix it up now. Might as well. It's down to what? Three now? Four? Four. A little trainage going on. Yeah. <laughs> Your style there, Skinny. They're cold too. Woo -woo! <laughs> yeah, they're warming up. Yeah, they're cold too. I wish you guys at home could see Skinny right now. He's got his hoodie over his knees. Yeah, I'm about ready <laughs> Down to do his that myself. <laughs> I'm now shivering. I'm about to light my fat on fire, have a grease fire up in there. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh. Watch me burn, baby. It'll smell good, though. Oh, he's got right front. Yeah. Laid right over. Nice. Oh, he got under him, though. Rafferty got under him. Yeah, but Corey got over him. Yeah. Got a rad shot on him. Oh, Is that yeah. like you don't want to do that too much for that old buyer. I think he might. Not want that. Looked like Corey nosed up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. As I'm saying, that old iron still hasn't really. Nice. White coming in there, sticking it to him. He's, he's wiggled. He, I mean, he's, he's, he's definitely pushed, but he's going to do a lot of damage. He's going to do a lot of damage before he's done. Oh, he's stuck on his bumper. Yes, he is. Oh, look at that shifter just work. Got stuck on his own bumper. He did, guys. And I think Corey's seeing that. Oh, yeah. I think Corey was going to come light him up and said, nope. Seventy-five is in that other one, right? I believe it is. Yeah. Oh, they just went nose to nose, and Corey just went up about six more inches. Ouch. And, Ra and Rafferty's just going, "Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'll back yeah. up and poke you know. Oh, man, you're seeing you're seeing a clinic right here too. Oh yeah. This is this is great feature and great group of drivers. Ooh, right in the tire. Yeah, great shot. Wheel. Oh, and the wheel again. Yep. Okay, they're telling 514 he's done. Corey's Corey out. pulled it. Or is he Some, looking? No, he pulled it. Something must have broke. Really? Oh, he's waving. Because now he went to fourth because I don't believe. Yeah, they, they made him. Uh, oh, they did? Okay. Yeah, they, just, well, they've been flashing the light at him. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's out of Rafferty. No. Boom. No fire. Yeah. Seventy-five was lugging that trans for a while. Yeah. There's a tranny burning there. Yeah, Rafferty's definitely. This. It's. It's safe to say. 
safe to say Rafferty took the, took, took the win on that. Dude, that was a big fire. Yeah. Another training breaking in Grenadin. Or that one just Grenadin. See, and that's the reason right there you don't break your flag until they make you. Right. Because yeah. Corey probably could have just got second. Sure. There, go, there goes Fatty. Oh, Corey looked like blue drive shaft. He just threw it in the back of the car, I believe. Oh, no. Fatty so pumped up he forgot his microphone. Who's he got it in his pocket? Um, what a show. Rafferty. Good job, bud. Great, Congrats great. to him. Super great. What run. a great feature, guys. Whoa. That was awesome. Old Hammer and Harold, I think if there's a, a mad dog in that one, I, I would he's gotta be in contention. Yeah. That was good. Well, that's some hard hitting. Wow, was yeah. it ever. Man. Great, great show. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to get done some meat. Wow, what a great ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I'm I'm in a onesie now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is right. That was awesome. Can I see your round eye? There you go, Fatty's yeah. gonna take the trophies. Like I'm a, I'll get him to interview. Yeah. I don't think he's got the mic. I think uh Yeah, I think uh the cold weather is taking yeah, over. And and him getting spanked. For sure. He got scolded again, so. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. That guys. Awesome. Guys, heat. yeah. Okay. Well, Bill's got it on us. We are we got a flashing red light looking at us right now, so we don't know if the camera's going to take a dump. Because <laughs> it's like we're 11 hours in. What plus. a day, y'all. What a Long. day. What a weekend. Yes, yesterday, great show. For, Thursday was a great yeah. time together. Yeah. For somebody that had to switch venues, um, didn't know about this venue, never been here, never put a show on here, uh, hats off to the to everybody involved with the grounds and, and with the with the track crew, track, track prep, mm -hmm. because whew, this – they got a little rain today. Yesterday was beautiful, but today was sketchy. But I'm telling you what, I bet you go out there and talk to them boys on that track right now, and they're going to be like, that was a kick-ass track. It was. And track was great. Hats off to the drivers for putting on such a great show once again. Everybody and, uh, this weekend. I'm going to shut up now, and I'll let it leave it to you guys. You're going to shut up, man. Why? No, you're doing really good. Yeah. But you're totally right, TJ and his crew. You know, they overcame some things, and it still is incredible. Um, I can't wait to see what next year brings for number three. I can't wait to see. Uh, can't oh, wait to see the fall show. I can't wait to see F Fatty and Cody go at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate you guys letting me be a part of this. This is Absolutely, great. Absolutely, Bobby. Is incredible. Yeah. Team. So yep. much fun. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Thanks to all the firemen and ambulance people that were here today, like yesterday. Thanks to Skinny for always making us laugh and feel oh, loved. everybody, we're a great group of people together. Absolutely, we'll definitely need to um, bring a little more sensitive side for ja for Fatty over there. <laughs> no. He's gonna need some hugs. No, we're good with it. Um, I want to thank all Trenton, Hunter. Yep. Hunter on the keyboard running everything and switching up. Trenton, take care of the merch. Everybody, Uncle Bill, you're awesome at what you do. We had a great weekend here. Dead Man Derby Productions, No Mercy 2, 2022 from Dunbar, PA. What a awesome facility, yep. awesome track, great time. Couldn't do it without everybody. Everybody here at Track Shot, all our fans out yep. there. Thank you we, so much. Yes, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for everything. All the little desserts we get and everything, too, from oh, all the fans. Was that incredible? Yes. Taking care of us. We yeah. love it. Thank you very much. You know how to get to a fat man's great side. Even a Feed him guy. cupcakes. Yep, even a skinny kid. <laughs> oh, he's the apple and dumpling. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Great time. But, everybody, our next show is going to be Iowa with 448 Designs, which is Jacob Prusman. 
And then we're going to be in California that same weekend bringing you Red Bluff. So please tune into those next two shows that we have coming up on TrackShotLive.com. Free 99. Free 99. You guys good? We're we good. out. Bill, you ready? Bill's kicking us. All right, y'all. You all have a great night. Thanks for watching us. God bless everybody. Be safe. Happy Easter. Spend Happy it with your Easter. family. Thank you for allowing us in your home all weekend. Good night. Good night. Bye.